Wu Dong Qian Kun, aka Martial Universe, by Heavenly Silkworm Potato. Synopsis. The Great Yan Empire exists in a world where respect can only be earned through strength. Within this Great Yan Empire, the four great clans have always stood above the rest. Among them, a particular incident in the Lin clan resulted in the banishment of a certain individual who went on to start his own family, in hopes of one day being recognized again by the Lin clan, and rejoining them. Hailing from a banished family of the great Lin clan, when Lin Dong was very young, he watched, powerless, as his talented father was easily crushed and crippled by the overwhelming genius of the great Lin clan, Lin Langshan. With a despairing father, a heartbroken grandfather, and a suffering family, ever since that fateful day, Lin Dong has been driven by a deep purpose, to take revenge on the man who had taken everything and more from his family. Armed with nothing but willpower and determination, join Lin Dong as he unknowingly discovers a destiny greater than he could ever hope to imagine when he stumbles upon a mysterious stone talisman. Book 1. Great Yan Empire. Chapter 1. Lin Dong. Wu. When Lin Dong gathered every ounce of strength to open his heavy eyelids, a simple, crude yet tidy room appeared before his eyes. This familiar scene caused him to blink distractedly unable to make sense of why he was here, though soon after, he promptly turned his head in a flash of understanding. Sure enough he saw the two figures of a man and a woman seated at a table in the room. Father, mother, as Lin Dong gazed at the two figures, he grew spirited and let out a soft cry. Dong Er, you've woken. Hearing his cries, the woman first turned her head, as she saw Lin Dong finally opening his eyes, she immediately exclaimed in happiness. Dressed somewhat plainly and about thirty years in age, the outline of her cheek gave a sense of elegance to her face and also a type of sweet-tempered and gentle feeling. This was Lin Dong's mother, Lu Yan. Unskilled and yet you pick fights with others, you are literally asking for trouble. Seated besides the woman was a man who looked to be about thirty or forty years old. His body was slightly frail yet he had a bit of sternness in his brows, he also seemed to be suffering from serious injuries as his face was pale which in turn masked up a large part of his sternness. This was Lin Dong's father, Lin Xiao. Turning to face his oftentimes stern father, Lin Dong ostensibly displayed a sliver of fear, pulling back his neck, though soon after he somewhat defiantly declared, who asked him to call my father useless right in front of my face. As he spoke, Lin Dong reached to feel the still aching wound on his chest, and clenched his teeth. Today was merely one of the tests for the Lin family and he had only went down to gauge his progress. Today's setback hardly dented his faith in himself, because he had only been training for about half a year and he did not expect to make much progress. He remained confident that given the same time and conditions to train, he would not lose out to anyone. Nevertheless, right after the test ended, as Lin Dong was preparing to make his way home, he encountered a fellow which he had some bad history with. His original plan was to ignore that chap. However after a few rounds of deliberate provocation, he could no longer stand it and in a moment of fury, the young and hot-blooded Lin Dong attacked the provocateur. Nonetheless, the results were clear as day as he was immediately soundly knocked out by a heavy punch. Lin Shan, you had better remember this. The next time, I vow to smash your head into a pulp, or my name is not Lin Dong. Lin Dong ground his teeth together. The Lin Shan mentioned, was the perpetrator of this incident, and also the number one enemy in Lin Dong's heart. Because their fathers had bad blood between them, Lin Shan constantly tried to inconvenience Lin Dong, and the latest incident was just one of many. One moment he was resolutely clenching his jaw, yet the next, Lin Dong was hanging his head dejectedly. Though Lin Shan was extremely vile, the fact remained that he was currently already at the fourth layer of tempered body. In the Lin family, this kind of achievement was considered better than average. Compared to the second layer that Lin Dong was at, it was indeed much better. In the path of training, the body should be trained first as everything begins with one's body. After all, the human body is the most wonderfully mysterious thing in the world. Simply said, Tempered body was the cultivation of one's body, allowing one's body to gradually strengthen and eventually grow stronger from outside to within. 
When the muscles and bones within the body have strengthened to a certain level, it will give rise to a seedling of Yuan power. Only when a seedling of Yuan power naturally appears in the body, can one then be called a true practitioner. Tempered body is divided into nine layers. The difference between the first three layers is not significant as it only improves one's physical body and foundations slightly. Only when the body has been cultivated to the fourth layer, will the advantages of training gradually surface. At that level, the skin will slowly harden to become as tough as wood or rock, and both one's strength and speed will be substantially upgraded. Since Lin Shan was currently at that level, Lin Dong, who had only mastered the second layer of tempered body, was clearly outclassed. As for why there was such a disparity between the two, although they were both of similar age, it was not due to a difference in their potential. For the tempered body levels, talent was not a key factor, in fact it could be said that anyone could train in it. However, how far they were able to progress, would depend on one's wealth and affinity. Nonetheless, to reach the ninth layer of tempered body is an extremely difficult and tiring affair. This was because only by constantly pushing the limits of one's physical body, could one's body gradually grow stronger. Yet this way of testing one's limits was akin to squeezing out the potential in one's body. If one's body was not sufficiently restored after the squeezing, one's body would be injured due to the strain. At that time, not only would the training be affected, but the whole body would be riddled with injuries. An overall loss. Thus, as one attempts to master the tempered body, they would need various nourishing elixirs to supplement their body before they can progress with their training. However, as these elixirs are mostly expensive commodities, those without adequate wealth would not be able to afford it. And this is the so-called wealth. The reason why Lin Shan was able to surpass Lin Dong by two layers was not because he had trained for half a year more but largely because his father was in charge of the finances in the Lin family. In comparison to Lin Dong who lacked this good fortune and therefore the access to elixirs to nourish his body. Thus his training progress was naturally much slower than the former. Suddenly, as Lin Xiao heard Lin Dong's mutterings, his palm that was resting on the table clenched tightly, as his expression grew a shade darker. To the side, Lu Yan who had seen this change promptly signaled to Lin Dong with her eyes before the latter hastily shut his mouth. No need to whine, concentrate on training and others will naturally shut up. Lin Xiao waved his hands as he said, Lu Yan, take that red ginseng and pass it to Dong Er. With the red ginseng, his training should go slightly faster. There's only half a year left till the family competition. If he doesn't make the most of this time to train, he will only bring shame to us. Little brother, that red ginseng is for your injuries. Lu Yan hastily said before she fell into a quiet stupor. I am already a useless person. No matter what kind of remedies are used, it would all be for naught. In the future, I will spend more time finding elixirs in the mountain for Dong Er. Lin Xiao declared in a self-mocking tone as he shook his head. Father is not useless. Father used to be the strongest practitioner in the family excluding grandpa. Hearing Lin Xiao's words, Lin Dong exclaimed, red-faced. As a child, his father was the biggest figure in his heart. Strongest practitioner. Lin Xiao sumptuously clenched his fist tightly as a deep pain flashed across his face. A moment later, he stood up and tiredly walked outside the room. Lu Yan, brew the tonic for our child, my injuries are fine, it's already been so many years, what use would one stalk of red ginseng possibly be? Gazing at his somewhat decrepit back, Lu Yan's eyes reddened, who could have imaged that that the man who was once the most gifted and remarkable man in Qingyang town would end up in such a slump. Mother, don't cry, Dong Er promises that he will work hard in his training. And when the time comes, I will find a way to cure father, Lin Dong softly said as he pulled at the corner of Lu Yan's clothes. Dong Er, don't blame your father if he is strict towards you. It is just because he has devoted everything to you, after all, you should know that you are his only hope. Lu Yan muttered softly as she lowered her head, lightly wiping at her eyes and stroking Lin Dong's tiny head while she gazed at the earnest expression on Lin Dong's young and tender face. Mother, 
I have heard that top three contestants in the upcoming family competition will obtain a type of third grade elixir called vermilion blood clotting fruit. I once heard an uncle say that it is very effective in treating injuries. If I manage to obtain it, it would definitely aid to heal the wounds in father's body. As if he had suddenly thought of something, Lin Dong lifted his head as he said while watching Lu Yan with shining eyes. Vermilion blood clotting fruit. Hearing these words, Lu Yan was slightly taken aback. Nonetheless, she helplessly shook her head. It is not easy to be the top three in the family competition. It is good that you have the heart. Mother will leave first and brew the red ginseng for you. As she finished, Lu Yan turned to walk out of the room. Within the current younger generation in the Lin family, there were already a few that had obtained decent accomplishments, therefore it would not be easy for Lin Dong to enter the top three and obtain the vermilion blood clotting fruit. Hence, she did not take this matter too seriously. As he gazed at Lu Yan's leaving back, Lin Dong's lips pursed tightly together, clenching his tiny fists. Mother, rest assured, I will definitely obtain the vermilion blood clotting fruit and heal the injuries in father's body. As Lin Dong thought of Lin Xiao's injury, a deep hatred suddenly surfaced in his eyes. The reason why father was often ridiculed by many in the family was all because of that one man. The Lin family that Lin Dong belonged to was only a small family. Even in Qingyang town, they could not be considered the best. Yet this unremarkable looking Lin family had a highly respectable background that would shock many people. They were of the Lin clan. One of the four great clans of the great Yan dynasty, the Lin clan. From a certain point of view, the Lin family of Qingyang town could count as an extension of the Lin clan. Yet to Lin Dong who had never traveled beyond a hundred miles of Qingyang town, the overwhelming strength of the Lin clan in the great Yan dynasty was just another unfamiliar and distant thing. What Lin Dong knew from the occasional scraps of information gleaned from his father, was that the branch they belonged to was actually once part of the inner circle of the Lin clan. It was only because of one mission. The failure of Lin Dong's grandfather in that mission had lead to a huge loss for the clan. Consequently, he was expelled from the inner circle and banished to Qingyang town. Here, he established this small Lin family and over these tens of years, he has tried everything he could in order to fulfill a lifelong dream, to return to the inner circle of the Lin clan. Yet all his efforts did not amount to much. All that he had accomplished was not even worth mentioning to the huge and incomparable Lin clan. Therefore, he could only turn his attention to other places, such as the ten-year clan gathering of the Lin clan. This was the most important gathering of the Lin clan and also an extremely famous event in the entire Great Yan dynasty. Held every ten years, each gathering presented the perfect opportunity for the younger generations in the clan to stand in the spotlight and make a name for themselves. Moreover, many of the prizes for this humongous competition were naturally so generous, that they would draw covetous gazes. Yet, the most appealing caveat for Lin Dong's grandfather lay in the fact that as long as one could enter the top ten in this gathering, even if you were an outsider to the clan, you will be promoted into the inner circle with no obstructions and obtain unparalleled honor. Thus, the clan gathering had become the new dawn in Lin Dong's grandfather's long night of despair. But because of his age, he was already unable to participate, therefore he placed all of his hopes onto his five sons that came from different mothers. Naturally the most outstanding one of them all, Lin Dong's father, became grandfathers and the entire Lin family's ray of hope. Even though Lin Dong's father carried this heavy burden on his shoulders, he did not betray their expectations. Among the five brothers, he was the earliest to break through the ninth layer of tempered body, and advance into the Yuan stage. Furthermore, in another short four years, he once again broke through the Yuan stage to become the second heavenly Yuan master in the Lin family after grandfather Lin Zhenshin. This spectacular progress caused the normally quiet and stern grandfather to elicit a kind and gratified smile on his aged face every time he met his father. It was said that in all of the ten long years, this was the time that grandfather smiled the most. However, when the ten-year clan gathering finally arrived, the outcome shocked all the members of the Lin family, and left them deep in the abyss of despair. One move. In just one move, his father, 
the shining ray of hope for the Lin family, was cruelly defeated. Furthermore, this happened in the first match right at the start of the gathering. Years of expectations and nurturing crumbled into dust within that brief moment. The final reward for losers was naturally countless peculiar gazes, as well as an endless stream of mocking sneers. Like a pack of stray dogs, they returned to Qingyang town defeated. That night, his father left the inner district of the Lin family and moved to live on a small, desolate hill at the furthest reaches of the Lin family territory. From then on, he never again touched anything from the Lin clan. According to him, he had already lost all right to do so. However, fortune never arrives in pairs. Disaster never strikes alone. After that defeat, what had been bestowed onto Lin Seo was not merely depression. Afterwards, he was even more grieved to find that the person he had fought with not only defeated him with one palm, but also, without a shred of mercy, used an almost beast-like violent Yuan force to ravage the insides of his body till it was a total mess. With injuries of this degree, Lin Xiao's lost his heavenly Yuan level of strength and returned to the earthly Yuan level. In addition, the serious injuries also caused the channels in his body to be disrupted and clogged up, and no matter how he trained, he found further advancement nearly impossible. Within the family, what was once respectful gazes had gradually turned to sighs and disappointment. Faced with disaster after disaster, Lin Xiao finally gave up all hope. Every time he got drunk, he would furiously pound at his own chest. The sound of the dull thuds broke his mother's heart as she quietly stood aside and brushed off her falling tears. Even though Lin Dong was still young when he witnessed this scene, he felt as though his heart was sliced to shreds. At the same time, in his young heart, seeds of hatred were quietly planted towards the man who had humiliated and devastated his father. He not only destroyed my father, but he ruined his family as well. As for the man in question, later on, Lin Dong by chance heard his uncle and the others mention him with loathing and powerless tones. At 10, he started training. At 12, he broke through the ninth layer of tempered body to enter into Yuan territory. At 14, he advanced to the earthly Yuan level. At 17, he advanced to the heavenly Yuan level. At 25, the Yuan key in his body exchanged yin and yang, finally succeeding in forming a dan. Like a carp that became a dragon, in one fell swoop, he joined the ranks of the rarefied few in the great Yan dynasty to ever form a Yuan dan before the age of 30. The story of his life was practically one legendary feat after another. His name was Lin Langshan. In his room, Lin Dong clenched his fist tightly, as thick hatred brewed in his eyes. Chapter 2. Penetrating Fist. In the wee hours of the morning, stood a lonely mountain peak surrounded by a thick white fog that caused one's vision to become fuzzy. Huff, huff, within a dense forest behind the mountain peak, a sudden and intense gasp sounded out. Upon taking a closer look, in an open space within the woods, a tiny figure could be seen hanging from a thick and sturdy branch using both of his hands. This tiny body borrowed the pulling force from his arms to move up and down repeatedly. As he made these movements, his body formed some strange poses, the kind of poses that utilized all the muscles in the body, exercising all of them together. Additionally, there were a few pitch black iron weights hanging on his arms and ankles. Sweat dripped off his clothes and onto the metal weights, causing them to likewise become dripping with wetness. Naturally, this tiny figure was Lin Dong. Unlike his peers, he did not enjoy the luxury of wealth and riches, due to his childhood circumstances, but rather his strict father taught him that the most important things for training were willpower and diligence. These things were his only advantage over the rest of his peers who were blessed with a good amount of wealth. Sweat dripped into his eyes causing a stinging pain that made Lin Dong clench his jaw in response. He could already feel the pain stemming from extreme overexertion. At this point, most people would definitely choose to take a break and rest. However, he remembered what his father told him, that only during this time, will one be able to break through his limits. Hence, he must endure. He absolutely must not let go. For the family competition half a year later, he needed to train as if his life was on the line. 
The sensation you receive as you approach your limit leaves you feeling dizzy and nauseous. Nonetheless, Lin Dong gritted his teeth and persevered on. Suddenly, he felt a strange heat gushing from within his body, and immediately this feeling refreshed him and lifted his spirits. It was the power of the red ginseng. Several days ago, the stalk of red ginseng was meant to be used to heal Lin Xiao's injuries. However, upon Lin Xiao's insistence, it was finally delivered into Lin Dong's body. It must be said that this kind of elixir truly provides a major boost for a low-level tempered body practitioner like Lin Dong. Within a mere few days of training, Lin Dong could clearly feel that his body had become at least twice as strong as it used to be. However, while the red ginsengs provided a major boost to Lin Dong's training, the power of the elixir was not unlimited. After all, this red ginseng was merely a grade 1 elixir. Therefore, after five days, the effects of the elixir gradually started to dissipate. However, as the effect of the elixir dissipated, it did not completely disappear. This was because Lin Dong's body was only at the initial stage of the strengthening process, thus it was unable to absorb all of the medicinal effects of the elixir. Hence, some of the medicinal effects remained hidden within the deepest parts of his body. Only when Lin Dong's body was pushed to the extremes, would it finally be squeezed out and devoured by his hungry body. As the warmth of the medicinal effects slowly seep into his body, Lin Dong felt as though he could hear the countless cells in his body rejoicing together as all his fatigue and pain were gradually replaced with an invigorating energy. Hey! Lin Dong grabbed onto the tree trunk and violently flung his body, with a somersault, he flipped in the air and steadily landed on the ground. He stretched his back as all the bones in his body suddenly made popping sounds. To Lin Dong's delight, he found that his body had indeed become much tougher. Tempered body third layer. Lin Dong gripped his tiny fists tightly as he enjoyed the power surging through his muscles, his tiny face breaking out into a smile of surprise and delight. Due to his family circumstances, ever since he started training, he had little opportunity to make use of elixirs. Thus, he did not expect that just after a single use, the results actually turned out so good. Hmm, not bad. As Lin Dong was busy celebrating his advancement, a voice echoed from beside him. He hastily turned his head to see Lin Xiao standing below a big tree, clothed in a plain attire. Furthermore, he could see a shadow of a smile emerging on Lin Xiao's usually stern face. Father, Lin Dong excitedly proclaimed when he saw Lin Xiao who was standing beside the tree. Lin Xiao nodded his head as he approached Lin Dong, scanning his son's body, a rare smile finally emerged as he said, tempered body third layer, not bad. It was all thanks to the red ginseng, Lin Dong chuckled as he dipped and shook his head. The red ginseng is merely a grade one elixir, even if others consumed it, it will still take them at least one or two months to advance the tempered body from the second to the third layer. This is the result of your hard work and training. Lin Xiao softly sighed as he gazed at Lin Dong who was standing before him. He had naturally noticed how hard Lin Dong was pushing himself during this period of time. Several times, he would see his wife tearing up and even though he did not say anything, as Lin Dong's father, he nonetheless felt some heartache. He understood that the reason why Lin Dong was training so incessantly was because he desired to achieve a good result in the upcoming annual family competition that was half a year away. This would restore some of his father's honor and reputation in the Lin family. Lin Dong grinned happily as he felt that all his hard work and effort after all this time had finally bore some fruit. He felt that he was catching up to the top students in the Lin family. You can throw away the iron weights now. Since you have already mastered tempered body third layer, you are now just eligible to train in martial arts. Let me impart a set of fist techniques to you, Lin Xiao said. Upon hearing this news, Lin Dong's jet black eyes immediately lit up. Even though he had finally reached tempered body third layer, he did not know any techniques at all. And when he fought with others, he could only rely on brute force. Therefore, in his heart, he was very eager to learn these martial arts in order to boost his fighting potential. However, because of the temperament of his father's body, Lin Xiao had yet to teach him any martial arts. 
Now that his chance has finally arrived, he was naturally ecstatic. All the martial arts in the world can be classified into nine levels and three categories. The levels 1, 2 and 3 belong to the lower category while the levels 7, 8 and 9 belong to the top category and the rest belong to the middle category. What I am about to teach you is a lower category, level 1 fist technique, termed as the penetrating fist. Lin Seo explained. Lin Dong nodded his head. He did not feel upset even though he was only learning a lower category, level 1 fist technique. He understood that you need to take things step by step, and that for most people, it was already a great opportunity to learn a level 1 martial arts skill. It is said that within the Lin family, the highest martial arts was merely a level 4 martial arts skill and this was obtained by Grandpa from the Hidden Scripture Pavilion through chance when he was still an inner circle member of the Lin clan. Even though martial arts have different levels, the most important part lies in the user himself. In the hands of a strong user, even a level 1 martial arts skill can become a powerful and deadly force. Therefore, the stronger one's body is, the more powerful the martial arts attacks become. Lin Seo extended his palm and signaled to Lin Dong. Come, use all your strength and your greatest speed to attack me. Lin Dong blinked his eyes, as he discarded the iron weights strapped on his wrist, before dashing forward to deliver a punch at Lin Seo. As he faced Lin Dong's full power blow, Lin Seo merely stretched forth his hand, and deftly slid his palm across Lin Dong's sleeves. A crisp crackling sound then followed before Lin Dong jumped in pain. Gritting his teeth, he hastily rolled up his sleeves only to discover that his entire arm had turned red. Penetrating fist requires one to exert force while sticking closely to one's clothes. If I had exerted more force or even used a trace of Yuan power, your whole arm including your bones will be completely shattered. Lin Seo casually followed up. In order to master penetrating fist, you need to train with your clothes. Since this martial art emphasizes on exerting force while sticking closely to one's clothes, when you are training in this skill, the clothes that stick to your body will produce a sound as well. There are a total of nine forms for this skill, also known as the nine echoes. This is because when you use each form, a crisp sound will echo out. And as each form is used in succession and the nine echoes eventually all sound out, its power can even be comparable to that of a level 2 martial arts skill. You had better watch closely and memorize all nine forms closely. With a low shout, Lin Seo stretched out his limbs and positioned his stance, seeming as fierce as a tiger. And when he exerted his moves, it looked as agile as a monkey. A series of crisp crackling sounds continuously sounded out from his clothes. Lin Dong gazed attentively as Lin Seo's fists danced around, his mind concentrated solely on the sight before him. Everything else was ignored, and all that was reflected in his eyes was this set of fist technique. Because he was teaching Lin Dong, Lin Seo purposely slowed down and repeated each move a few times. Finally he gently slowed to a halt and turned to face Lin Dong, asking, Have you memorized it? Lin Dong muttered to himself for a while before nodding his head, somewhat unsure. Oh, why don't you show me? Astonishment streaked across Lin Seo's face. Although he had slowed his speed by quite a bit, these nine forms of the penetrating fist were not extremely easy to learn. Moreover, this was Lin Dong's first ever contact with martial arts. Could he have actually managed to memorize it so quickly? As if he could sense Lin Seo's astonishment, Lin Dong took two steps forward, and extended both both fists outwards before he performed a set of forms, though in a shoddy and slow manner. A smither of delight emerged on Lin Seo's face as he stood to one side and witnessed his son go through all nine forms of the penetrating fist. Even though his performance was very amateurish and carried little substance, his accomplishment was still impressive especially considering that this was his first ever exposure to the penetrating fist. Moreover, this also demonstrated that he was a gifted and talented learner. Upon discovery of this fact, Lin Seo felt overjoyed as he realized his son had inherited the kind of potential that he had at that age. Father, why is it that when I use the penetrating fist, there isn't even a single sound? 
Lin Dong helplessly asked as he completed another set of forms in shoddy and slow manner. You little brat! If it was so easy to produce a sound, then this set of moves would not live up to its name. Lin Xiao chided before continuing. Remember that as you train, carefully feel your power flowing. As long as you can make your clothes follow your power and not the other way around, then you would be considered to have successfully learned this set of moves. Come, try a few more times. Lin Dong's mouth chanted these words a few times before he tried to turn theory into action as he drilled. Meanwhile, Lin Xiao stood beside him, while occasionally pointing out some mistakes or slip UPS. On the vacant land in the woods, a figure of a boy continuously danced about. Even as sweat sprayed his body, it did not distract him even the slightest bit, as his tiny face remained especially serious. The afternoon quickly passed as Lin Dong continuously practiced without rest, and his efforts was not for naught. Lin Dong gradually became more proficient at the nine forms of the penetrating fist, and although he was still unable to produce any sounds, his attitude did not waver at all. Let today's training end here, you can resume your practice tomorrow. Lin Xiao suddenly said as he glanced to the sky before turning back to look at Lin Dong, who was perspiring profusely. The amount of dedication and persistence the latter had displayed in his training had caused even him to be somewhat moved. Soon after, he secretly sighed as he moaned the fact that his many years of dispiritedness had forced his child to mature a lot faster than normal. N. Father please go back to rest first. Let me stay just a little longer before returning home. Lin Dong replied. His fists did not stop as he concentrated on following Lin Xiao's instructions to feel the tiny movements and changes in the power flowing through his muscles. In response, Lin Xiao could only helplessly shake his head. Lin Dong's improvement was very distinct. But to cause a sound with the penetrating fist was not easy. Lin Xiao had previously trained for a whole week before he finally succeeded. Quickly informing Lin Dong that he was leaving, Lin Xiao turned around with his hands at his back. As he turned, a smiling expression surfaced on his face. The perceptive ability that Lin Dong displayed today caused him to be extremely satisfied. This child is unusually perceptive and possesses an unrelenting willpower that even surpasses me at my prime. This shouldn't be too difficult for him. Pa, as this thought flashed across Lin Xiao's mind, a loud, clear and crisp, pa, sound abruptly sounded out from behind. Immediately, his face went rigid as he staggered forward. Yet, at this moment, a bright light sparkled in his eyes. It appears that it was not too difficult, but a rather easy matter for him to accomplish. Chapter 3. The Mysterious Rock Pool. A sound. In the open space, Lin Dong stared blankly at his fist as a euphoric look emerged on his small face. Yet when he lifted his head, he saw that Lin Xiao's figure was already slowly walking out of the forest. Hey hey, tomorrow I will show father, I am sure that he will be pleasantly surprised. Lin Dong grinned. Suddenly waves of pain emitted from his arm, he hastily lifted his sleeve only to find that his entire arm was covered in blood red marks, so much so that there were even places where the skin had peeled back as blood continuously oozed out. Hiss. Previously, he was so wrapped up in practice that he did not realize, but now that he had stopped, the pain suddenly rushed forth, causing Lin Dong to grimace in pain. He knew that this pain had been caused by the practice of the penetrating fist, injuries due to the friction accumulated from long periods of rubbing his skin against his clothes. There's still some time, I guess I'll go to that place first to soak for a while. Lin Dong lifted his head to glance at the color of the sky before abruptly running off to the back of the mountain. Approximately ten minutes later, a steep cliff appeared before his eyes. He scanned his surroundings cautiously, before following a path of jutting rocks down the cliff. These rocks were not easy to find, yet they formed nicely into a secret path. Lin Dong was quite familiar with this path, thus as he carefully descended, there were no accidents. After a while, a cave that was hidden from sight by a few huge rocks appeared before him. The cave's location was very well concealed, and it was also very well hidden behind the few huge rocks around it. If one was not specifically searching for it, it would be nearly impossible to find. Moreover, in a normal situation, 
No one would bother doing this kind of thing. Leaping into the cave, a cool and refreshing feeling blew away the stench and sweat on Lin Dong's body. Compared to the blistering hot weather outside, the cave was like a different world, and also a great place to take shelter from the heat. The inside of the cave was not extremely spacious. Other than a 6 to 10 meters wide rock pool at the center of the cave, there was nothing else special in this cave. Walking towards to the rock pool, one would see that it was filled with crystal clear water, and atop the water a slightly cold breeze floated back and forth. Splash! Arriving beside the rock pool, Lin Dong quickly took off his clothes, and straightaway jumped into the water. The slightly cold air caused his body to shiver for a little but he quickly adapted to the cold. Lin Dong had found this cave by chance during his younger years. Only King Tan and him knew about this place. The water here was much colder than other places and at the height of summer, Lin Dong loved to come here and immerse himself in the pool. However, besides being cool and refreshing, there seemed to be no other effect. Of course, this was not exactly accurate as every time after Lin Dong soaked in the water here, he would unknowingly feel his mind become particularly sharp and no matter what he did, he would be able to quickly enter into a concentrated state. There did not seem to be any merit to this kind of feeling before, but now that Lin Dong had learned the penetrating fist, he realized that being in a concentrated state had quite a substantial effect on his training progress. Or else, he would probably find it hard to pick up penetrating fist in such a short period of time, not to mention practicing it until he managed to produce a sound. Is it just me? As he laid in the rock pool, Lin Dong cupped some water in his hands and watched it slowly flow off. His small face creased. If this thing was so miraculous, he would have achieved the level of Yuan power long ago, unlike his current slow pace. Once I've trained till the tempered body sixth layer, I would be able to refine essence into Yuan and with Yuan power, I would finally become a true practitioner. Lin Dong excitedly proclaimed as he slapped the sides of his face, looking forward to that day. Nonetheless, within the younger generation of the Lin family, there were only a handful who had reached that level. Yuan power was the most important thing in training. It is said that a strong practitioner would be able to cause landslides with just a sweep of his hands. This earth-shattering might was difficult for Lin Dong to imagine, as he was still a tiny brat at the first stage. And the source of this kind of might was Yuan power, a type of miraculous force that floated between heaven and earth. Yet to absorb the Yuan power from heaven and earth, one is required to train until a Yuan power seed is produced. Only then, could even more Yuan power be absorbed into one's body. Lin Dong leaned against the edge of the rock pool, as he relaxed, his head facing upwards with his eyes shut. His thoughts ran wild for a while before unexpectedly, he gradually fell into a deep sleep. This period of training was too extreme for him and now that he had finally found some time to relax, his pent-up exhaustion started to spread out from his bones. As Lin Dong soundly slept, the cave once again became peaceful as the pool water gently heaved about. Plop! Amidst the silence, a disturbance suddenly started in the clear water. A dark red drop of blood rolled down from Lin Dong's injured arm and quietly fell into the pool. As this drop of blood fell, the originally peaceful water abruptly started boiling. One by one, bubbles with faint traces of blood-like color emerged to rise up from the surface of the water before bursting around Lin Dong's resting body. Traces of faintly red-colored liquid scattered in the air and as if they had a mind of their own, moved to twine around Lin Dong's body before finally quickly entering through his pores. Just as these faintly red-colored liquids seeped into Lin Dong's body, it gave rise to a sensation as if the muscles all over his body were violently compressed. Like a tide, a torrent of sweat gushed forth, converging together and then streaming into the water. Just as the sweat riddled with black impurities seeped out from his body, Lin Dong, whose body had previously grown by a centimeter after he broke through tempered body third layer, felt that his body had shrunk back to its previous size. This sensation was akin to ferociously squeezing out all of the water from a wet sponge. After approximately 10 minutes, the water in the pool stopped boiling. Just as the pool water began to calm down, Lin Dong suddenly awoke and shouted, Hot! 
Splash! As he shrieked, Lin Dong swiftly ducked his head and immersed his whole body in the pool. After a while, he finally broke the surface to catch his breath. A look of bewilderment was plastered on his face as shortly before he awoke, he felt as though he was being baked in a furnace, and the burning sensation he experienced was what caused him to involuntarily scream out. Why would it be so hot in here? Lin Dong pondered as he stood in the pool for a while in order to cool himself off, before he finally decided to climb out. Standing besides the rock pool while thinking for a while, Lin Dong wordlessly shook his head. Just as he grabbed up his clothes and started to put him on, his gaze suddenly paused at his arm. Ha! Huh. Lin Dong stared at his arm in wide disbelief. He clearly remembered that this arm was previously scarred with bloody wounds, after his training, yet now all of his wounds seemed to have miraculously disappeared. Perplexed, Lin Dong gently stroked his once wound-ridden arm, suddenly, his body stiffened. An incredulous look swiftly surfaced on his face as he discovered that the skin on his arm had substantially hardened. This kind of situation was a sign that he was rapidly approaching the tempered body fourth layer. How? Is this possible? This discovery left Lin Dong dumbstruck as he stood in a daze on the spot. Chapter 4. The Secret of the Rock Pool. Illusion. An illusion. It must be an illusion. Foolishly gazing at his arm for a moment, Lin Dong shut his eyes and firmly inhaled in a few breaths of air. Only when his mind gradually calmed down did he once again gently stroke his arm, though still slightly trembling. Under his touch, the outer layer of skin felt reasonably hard. Although it had yet to reach the level of hardness of rocks or wood, Lin Dong's skin was clearly several times harder than before. This was indeed a sign that he was just about to advance into the tempered body fourth layer. He just needed to wait for this kind of skin to harden a little more and then it would truly be at the tempered body fourth layer. Yet, Lin Dong's mouth fell open. The disbelief on his face was like he had seen a ghost. He had only just advanced to the tempered body third layer today and it had not even been half a day since then. How could he suddenly be on the verge of advancing to the tempered body fourth layer? This miracle straightaway caused Lin Dong to be somewhat giddy. Flushed red with excitement, he continuously walked to and fro at the side of the rock pool. If he were able to continue at this kind of pace, would the top three in the family competition even be worth mentioning? Even if it were the ten-year clan gathering of the Lin clan, he would not have the slightest worry. How did this happen? Although he was still giddy from happiness and excitement, Lin Dong had matured at an earlier age than most, therefore he managed to regain his calm and wits after a while. His tiny face tightly wrinkled up as he started to recall all the details of this affair. Yet there was nothing strange about the cave. Thus, after taking a slow look around the cave, his gaze eventually came to rest upon the rock pool. Could there really be something strange about this rock pool? A stunned look flitted across his face, but soon after he quickly shook his head. Since young, he had soaked in this rock pool countless times, yet it was the first time something like today had ever happened. What had actually happened? It could not possibly be because of the red ginseng as it was merely a grade 1 elixir. The fact that it allowed him to reach the tempered body third layer in 10 days was already a sky-shattering achievement. There was definitely something different today. Lin Dong tightly pursed his lips together, a stubborn determination on his small face. He understood that it would be of utmost importance to him to discover the mystery within. I was more tired than usual today, yet this was not the first time, that I have slept in here. I've slept in here before. Lin Dong squatted beside the rock pool, his brows tightly knitted together in thought. His palm subconsciously moved to stroke his arm, and he froze. His gaze slowly moved to fix on his arm, where many traces of blood used to be. Blood. Lin Dong's eyes brightened. He suddenly pulled out a small dagger hidden in a slit within a pile of rocks near the rock pool that he had previously left behind. Lin Dong gently sliced his fingertip with the dagger, causing a drop of blood to emerge he hesitated for a second before he carefully dripped it into the rock pool. Plop! The sound of blood dripping into the pool resonated clearly within the quietness of the cave. However, Lin Dong kept his eyes keenly peeled onto the location where the drop of blood had fallen. Just as the drop of blood touched the rock pool, 
A wave of ripples emerged as the reddish hue of the blood gradually dissipated. Water bubbles swiftly emerged from the serene rock pool, startling Lin Dong. A reddish liquid was faintly discernible within each bubble. Lin Dong's throat clenched as he hesitantly extended his hand into the rock pool. Instantly, the water bubbles exploded and a gooey light red liquid stuck onto his palm. The liquid then slowly seeped in through his pores. As the light red liquid seeped into his body, Lin Dong's palm suddenly experienced a burning sensation. This sensation was exactly the same as how he felt when he was abruptly awoken. Moreover, this time he could clearly feel that as the liquid seeped into his palm, the skin on his palm was gradually becoming tougher. This is indeed the case. As he noted the changes to his palm, Lin Dong's tiny face instantly lit up. His had guessed correctly. The water in this rock pool required blood to activate their special properties. Lin Dong gripped then extended his palm a few times, only to discover that the skin on this palm had indeed become much tougher than the rest of his body. Furthermore, this effect was achieved after only a short exposure. According to Lin Dong's calculations, he estimated that the effect of this water was truly legendary and even exceeded the effects of those costly level 3 elixirs sold in Qingyang town. Hmm, how is it that this water can bring such a remarkable effect that even surpasses that of a level 3 elixir? Over the years, Lin Dong had found out that the water from the rock pool was merely normal spring water. Even though the water was refreshing, Lin Dong was fairly certain that this spring water did not possess any special effects. However, now that he had encountered this situation, he could not find an explanation. Lin Dong sighed deeply as he rubbed his forehead. This mysterious rock pool had overly excited his emotions and he decided to lie down beside the rock pool to take a breather. Regardless, even though he was unable to uncover the reason why this rock pool held mysterious powers, this discovery was still bound to be highly beneficial to him. Due to his injuries, Lin Xiao requires several elixirs in order to nurse his health. However, these elixirs are expensive and owing to Lin Xiao's stubborn nature, he refused to accept any financial support from the Lin family. As such, he would often try his luck and go hunt for elixirs by himself. Inevitably, this resulted in Lin Dong being unable to enjoy the same privileged training conditions as his peers in the Lin family. Hence, at this juncture, the effects of the rock pool was especially important to Lin Dong. The effects of this rock pool must absolutely be kept a secret. Lin Dong gripped his tiny fist. He understood that he not only required the aid of this rock pool, but that if news of this rock pool spread out, it will surely lead to a huge commotion. At that time, perhaps several other factions in the Qingyang town may get involved and this may spell a small calamity onto the whole Lin family. Possessing treasure is no sin, but it will often lead to trouble. Even though Lin Dong was still young, he clearly understood this principle. As Lin Dong tightly pursed his lips, he formulated a plan in his heart. Just as he was about to leave, something suddenly caught his eye and he softly gasped. He immediately turned his vision onto the ceiling of the cave as he caught a glimpse of light flickering over there. Under normal circumstances, if Lin Dong encountered this situation, he would not give it even the slightest notice. However, now that he knew the effects of the rock pool, he became extremely attentive to the whole area surrounding the cave. Lin Dong kept his eyes firmly locked onto the location where he spotted the flickering lights. Under his watchful gaze, the flickering light appeared again. However, it looked as though the light was flickering slightly more hastily. Soon after, a ray of light fell down into the rock pool. Due to the ray of light, a gentle ripple emerged on the surface of the rock pool. Lin Dong stared at the location where the ray of light had fell into the rock pool. As he swallowed, he remembered catching a glimpse of what seemed to be a dark red liquid within the light. That liquid, it was exactly what Lin Dong saw after his blood fell into the rock pool. It seems that the secret is hidden above. Lin Dong softly murmured as his eyes brightened and he lifted his head to gaze above at the ceiling of the cave. Chapter 5. The Mysterious Stone Talisman. What is this? Lin Dong stared blankly at the object in his hand. It looked like a faintly ash-colored stone piece and was about as big as two fingers put together. 
Though it looked like a stone, as he rolled it over in his palm, it felt strangely soft. This kind of softness did not feel like that of a stone. Yet it was also not like jade and even more not like wood. Like stone yet not stone. Like jade yet not jade. Like wood yet not wood. After Lin Dong had painstakingly climbed to the roof of the cave and searched about, he finally managed to find this stone piece in a hidden crevice. From the location it was found, it seemed like the liquid that had dripped into the rock pool had originated from this object. Embedded within an extremely clear palm impression in such a dark place atop the mountain. If one were to take a closer look at the impression, he would find that it was so well imprinted that even the lines on the palm could be clearly seen. As he looked at the mysterious palm impression, Lin Dong suddenly realized that perhaps, someone had already arrived at this mountain cave long before he ever did. What a mysterious object! As Lin Dong muttered, he noticed that on this thumb sized stone piece, some cryptic patterns which looked like some sort of mystical characters were faintly discernible. These mystical characters covered every inch of the stone piece, causing it to resemble a mysterious stone talisman. At this juncture, besides the cryptic and profound-looking mystical characters on the stone talisman, there were no other unusual aspects. Yet Lin Dong understood that the shining drop of red liquid he had just seen was definitely not an illusion. The reason why the rock pool possessed that kind of special property must have something to do with this stone talisman. Lin Dong sunk deep into thought. Previously, he had personally seen a drop of light fall into the rock pool, and only this was the only evidence that could explain why the rock pool would possess such a miraculous property. Pa, as Lin Dong reasoned to himself, the noise of rubble rolling sounded out from outside the cave. Immediately, he stuffed the stone talisman into his inner garments, placing it at the spot near his chest. Big brother Lin Dong, he he, I knew that you would be here. Just as Lin Dong managed to hide the stone talisman, like a butterfly, a figure fluttered and appeared at the entrance of the cave. The figure was revealed to be a young girl who looked to be about 13 or 14 years old, wearing simple light-colored clothes. Yet these simple clothes were unable to conceal the quick wittedness on her small face. Though the girl was rather young, her small face was rather elaborate, her huge eyes glittered, making her look extremely adorable. Gazing at the young girl, Lin Dong secretly sighed in relief. The girl was not a member of the Lin family, rather she was adopted by Lu Yan not long after he was born. She was younger by Lin Dong by just a bit so the two of them had grown up together and their relationship was akin to that of brother and sister, extremely intimate. As she was an orphan, she did not take on the Lin family name. Thus Lu Yan helped choose a good name for her, King Tan. And like her namesake, she was full of liveliness like sandalwood. Big brother Lin Dong, the sky is almost dark, mother has been calling you for quite a while. King Tan laughed merrily as she approached her small hands naturally pulling at Lin Dong's arm as she dragged him out of the cave. As she walked, she mumbled, If the sky had gotten dark, you won't be able to see the rock path here. Don't tell me that you planned on sleeping in the cave like before. Gazing beside him at King Tan, whose voice chirped melodiously like a lark, Lin Dong could not help laugh. Soon after, his arm moved to lightly touch his chest area. At the center of his chest was the talisman, which was emitting a cooling sensation. Although he did not know where this stone talisman came from, Lin Dong's intuition told him that it was definitely no ordinary thing. As the dim light of the night shrouded the land, the cool and refreshing moonlight flowed down, washing away any remnants of heat from the day. In the room, Lin Dong was fast asleep. Strands of moonlight sprayed from the window, some of which shined on Lin Dong's body. Suddenly, the moonlight started to ripple like water, soon after a bizarre scene occurred. The moonlight unexpectedly started to gather at Lin Dong's chest area, as if in response, the simple stone talisman emitted out a bit of light, causing it to be faintly discernible at the center of the light. As the stone talisman shined, the originally sleeping Lin Dong slightly cracked opened his eyes. However, before he could fully open his eyes, a suddenly dizziness gushed forth from depths of his mind. Following which, he alarmingly found himself in a dark dark space. There was no light here, 
only silence and cold. This sudden change caused fear to rise up in Lin Dong's heart. No matter what, he was still a 14-year-old kid. Snicker. As Lin Dong choked in fear, a sudden voice broke the silence of the pitch black space. Soon after, a glowing figure suddenly appeared before him. Carefully examining the figure, he realized that to his surprise, the figure looked exactly like him. However, its face did not have any signs of life, rather it was expressionless like a doll. What is going on? Lin Dong blankly gazed at the glowing figure in front of him, his brain somewhat paralyzed with fear by this weird sight. Pa, while Lin Dong was still in a daze, the glowing figure of Lin Dong suddenly moved. The figures had adjusted its body and extended both its fists, displaying a familiar fist technique with those hands. Is this penetrating punch? As he gazed at the fist technique displayed by the glowing figure, Lin Dong's eyes opened wide in bewilderment. Soon after, a startled expression surfaced on his face as he realized that the penetrating punch displayed was even more elegant and refined than Lin Xiao's. Pa 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 pa. In the darkness, the glowing figure maneuvered swiftly as it moved its fists. Its moves were smooth and agile like a monkey, and seemed much sharper than when Lin Xiao performed it. Nine crisp echoes. Lin Dong stared in awe at the glowing figure that resembled him almost perfectly. As the figure executed penetrating punch, he could clearly hear nine resounding echoes. Nine echoes. Just as Lin Dong mumbled to himself, suddenly he felt a jolt of shock. Just as the glowing figure finished performing the set of fist technique, its body jerked strangely. Immediately, a soft echo resounded from its arm. What? The sound generated was extremely soft. Only because Lin Dong was in a state of high alert within this quiet space was he able to hear that last sound. Ten echoes. Lin Dong looked at the glowing figure in astonishment. He clearly knew that there were only supposed to be nine echoes generated from the penetrating punch, yet this glowing figure was able to generate a tenth echo. At this point, Lin Dong was fairly certain that even if his father personally performed the penetrating punch, he would not be able to generate this last echo. What is going on? Lin Dong was shocked at this sight. Moments later, he finally regained his composure and started to contemplate the situation. Even though he had only witnessed it once, Lin Dong could sense that the penetrating punch displayed by the glowing figure was even more natural and sharp than his father's, or perhaps, perfect. As to why this glowing figure was able to display such unique ability, Lin Dong was clueless. Nonetheless, he understood that this time, he had found a treasure. As this thought crossed Lin Dong's mind, the glowing figure had yet to disappear. Instead, it once again displayed the same set of penetrating punch moves restarting from the beginning. As Lin Dong stared at the agile glowing figure, he realized that the fear that plagued him at the start had unknowingly dissipated. Feeling a little lost, he decided to gather up his spirits and concentrate onto the glowing figure. With a particularly serious expression, he watched every move again and again, memorizing even the most minute details in each move. After observing for some time, Lin Dong finally shifted into a stance. Opening up his feet, he began to mimic the glowing figure and slowly executed the penetrating punch. Pa, in the darkness stood two similar figures, one human shadow and one glowing shadow, tireless repeating the same set of fist techniques. A series of crisp crackling sounds continuously echoed, though a majority of them were generated by the glowing shadow. Nonetheless, Lin Dong did not feel discouraged. An earnest expression remained on his tiny face, as he unconsciously adjusted his moves to resemble the glowing figure. Even though these adjustments were merely minor changes, it was akin to adding the finishing touches to a masterpiece as each tiny adjustment brought about significant effect. Pa, 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 pa. As he wielded his fists, Lin Dong's movements were nimble and agile like a monkey. Suddenly, four crisp echoes sounded continuously as enough force was finally generated by his fists. Four echoes. Both of Lin Dong's eyes instantly brightened. He did not expect that a few minor adjustments would cause penetrating punch to flow so much more smoothly. This sensation was akin to having guidance from a legendary master. Moreover, 
The level of mastery attained by this mentor was a truly terrifying one. Lin Dong was ecstatic. He had achieved such remarkable progress in just one day that even his father's jaw would drop after witnessing him produce four consecutive echoes. In fact, his father took nearly a month of training before he could reach this stage, yet Lin Dong managed to exceed this by more than ten times. After making such progress, Lin Dong's spirits were lifted. Without taking a break, he once again shifted in fight stance and repeated the penetrating punch moves one by one. He was determined to perfect these moves until they were exactly the same as the glowing figures. As if time had stopped flowing, Lin Dong continuously imitated the glowing figure within the pitch black space. And as his sweat dripped off his body, his fist technique came to match the glowing figures more and more. In the pitch black space, a glowing shadow and a human shadow moved in unison, like a pair of lively monkeys. As their fists punched out, the sound of fists breaking through the air echoed out. Chapter 6, 7th Echo. Groan. In the middle of his room, Lin Dong could already feel the sun's rays shining down on his face as he struggled to open his eyes. As he glanced at the sunlight, he suddenly leaped forth from his bed. Though as his feet made contact with the floor, an extremely aching pain suddenly filled his body almost causing him to lose his footing. This, the sudden aching sensation shocked Lin Dong. It was as if he had spent an entire night on intensive training. It was not a dream. Suddenly, Lin Dong seemed to have recalled something as a look of awe surfaced on his face. Immediately, he gritted his teeth and positioned himself into a stance to begin practicing penetrating fist. Looking at the proficient way he maneuvered his fists, it was as though he had already practiced these moves countless times. Only he knew that he had only just learned this set of moves from Lin Xiao the day before. Still in the room, the young man executed a familiar set of fist techniques with a serious expression on his face as a series of crisp echoes sounded out due to the friction between his arms and clothes. Pa 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 pa. When he finally managed to produce five crisp echoes, Lin Dong's body stopped. On his face, a mixed expression of shock, happiness and a slight tinge of fear was plastered. How could I have mastered it so quickly? Lin Dong muttered to himself as he gazed at his palms. He could feel that five echoes was definitely not his limit. In fact, if he wished to, he could easily produce seven echoes now. This training progress bewildered Lin Dong. Among the younger generation in the Lin family, there were several others who practiced penetrating fist as well. Nonetheless, he was one of the rare few that could produce seven echoes at such a tender age. How did this happen? Lin Dong frowned, the eyebrows on his face knitting together. Moments later, his hand moved to his chest area and retrieved the mysterious stone talisman hidden in an inner pocket. This was the object that he retrieved from the cave yesterday. If there were any items worthy of suspicion on Lin Dong's body, then this stone talisman will definitely be at the top of the list. This object, is it really this powerful? As Lin Dong held the stone talisman, he felt a cooling sensation spreading out from his palm. Thanks to this sensation, the aching pain in his body was slightly soothed. Swallowing the churning emotions in his heart, Lin Dong carefully hid the stone talisman back into the inner pocket. His intuition told him that this stone talisman possessed extraordinary powers, and he knew that if news of this discovery got out, it would definitely invite a catastrophe. Therefore, it would be much better if no one else knew about it. After he kept the stone talisman, Lin Dong opened the door and left his room. First, he proceeded to eat some breakfast prepared by Lu Yan before he slipped off back to the rock cave. Currently, his body was aching with pain, he knew that if he continued to his intensive practice now, it would definitely injure his body. Thankfully, he had discovered the miraculous properties of the rock pool, thus this was not an issue for Lin Dong. Dripping fresh blood into the rock pool, Lin Dong enjoyed a half-hour soak before he finally got out. The ache in his body had disappeared without a trace and his body had returned to its peak condition. He felt the skin on his body, reveling at the fact that it had toughened substantially once again. This brought a smile to Lin Dong's tiny face as he knew that at this speed, he could officially advance to tempered body fourth layer within the next ten days. 
Climbing out of the rock pool, Lin Dong decided to execute the entire set of penetrating fist moves again. This time, he used all his power, holding nothing back. Pa 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 pa. Seven echoes. As his fist fell to indicate the end of this session, Lin Dong's tiny face flushed red with excitement. Armed with this seven echoes penetrating fist, he was confident that if he met Lin Shan again, it would definitely not be a repeat of their last encounter. He would not be so easily beaten without a chance to retaliate again. Lin Dong's excitement finally faded as he once again regained his calm. Chuckling at himself, he climbed out of the cave and started his daily intensive training. Even though he now had the aid of this miraculous rock pool, Lin Dong still understood a fundamental principle. In the journey of mastery, the self is the most important. Outside aid can certainly make smooth the path to mastery. However, how far one ventures along this path is still ultimately in their own hands. Hence, even though he had the aid of the rock pool, Lin Dong understood that he must continue to strive and work hard. After all, that was still his greatest asset. A day of training passed. Sometime in the evening, a stern-looking Lin Xiao came around to inspect the Lin Dong's progress. With regards to Lin Dong's training, he was often extremely harsh and strict. However, after witnessing Lin Dong produce three consecutive echoes from penetrating fists, even though he tried to maintain a strict expression, a slight trace of surprise and satisfaction leaked out onto his face. Seeing the expression on his father's face, Lin Dong secretly heaved a sigh of relief. In his mind, he chuckled to himself as he imaged what Lin Xiao's expression will be if he knew that Lin Dong could already produce seven consecutive echoes. In the midst of the summer heat, every single member from the younger generation of Lin family were earnestly training. They understood that the family competition that was coming up in six months was extremely important for them. As the Lin family was not an extremely powerful or reputable family, they were unable to provide every member with the best kind of treatment. Therefore, if one wants to obtain the best martial arts training and elixirs from the Lin family, one must prove himself to be exceptional. Therefore this family competition was a chance for them to showcase their talent and stand above the crowd. For most of them, this was also their first ever competition, yet on some levels, the results of this competition determined their fates for the rest of their lives. A man that was heavily groomed by the family will definitely progress much faster in his training as compared to training by himself. Of course, there were some special exceptions. As everyone was intensively preparing for the upcoming family competition, Lin Dong did not encounter much trouble during this period. And for the next ten nights after he fell asleep, he would find a perfect teacher waiting for him in the dark space. It was increasingly difficult to produce the next echo from penetrating fist. Especially after the seventh echo, the difficulty soared exponentially. Therefore, even after ten days of intensive training, Lin Dong was barely able to produce the ninth echo. Moreover, he was still clueless on how to produce the final tenth echo. Nonetheless, he was not discouraged. He clearly knew that being able to produce nine echoes after just ten days of training, was already a terrifying feat. He knew this fact from Lin Xiao's expression when he assessed his son's training progress. After Lin Dong showed his father six echoes, Lin Xiao started to look at his son with a strange gaze. When he first started training penetrating fist, it took him two whole months before he was able to reach this stage. Yet, Lin Dong took only 10 days to match that feat. Hence, upon witnessing his remarkable progress, Lin Xiao was at a loss for words. Moreover, even as Lin Dong was drilling in penetrating fist, he also continued to train his tempered body. Thanks to the miraculous effects of the rock pool, he was able to stealthily multiply the intensity of the training regime given by Lin Xiao. Every time Lin Dong dragged his aching body into the rock pool, he would wake up refreshed and re-energized after just half an hour of soaking, ready for another round of training. Even though his training was painful and exhausting, its effects were extremely clear. After a few days, the skin of his body had toughened to such an extent, whereby at times, he could even directly punch at rocks without injuring himself. Furthermore, when he utilized penetrating punch, 
he found that the force produced had grown by more than one and a half times. Based on this speed, it will only be a short while before he finally reaches tempered body fourth layer. Chapter 7. Tempered body fourth layer. In the cooling cave, Lin Dong relaxed in the rock pool, enjoying the mystically refreshing sensation of the liquid soaking into his body. A look of enjoyment on his tiny face. Within the rock pool, traces of a light red liquid gathered on Lin Dong's body as it gradually seeped through his pores, nourishing his aching muscles and strengthening his bones. Likewise, Lin Dong's body hungrily devoured the liquid, as if it were a starving ghost. Buzz! As Lin Dong lay with his eyes shut, he suddenly felt the pool water surge and an itching pain started to swarm across the underside of his skin. This sudden itching pain caused Lin Dong to panic in response. Hastily opening his eyes, he saw that his body was shedding small bits of skin. At this sight, the panic on his face turned to joy. Skin shedding. This was exactly what happens when one advanced to tempered body fourth layer. I have finally reached this step. Lin Dong licked his lips, his heart filled with excitement. Tempered body consisted of nine layers, the first three layers were simple physical improvements. It was only after advancing to tempered body fourth layer, could one finally gain the real benefits from training. After shedding one's skin, the new skin will become hard like rock or wood. Moreover, one's strength and resilience will be greatly enhanced, thus the tempered body fourth layer is much stronger when compared to tempered body third layer. Under Lin Dong's watchful gaze, the skin on his body rapidly peeled off. After all the skin had been shed, he dipped his entire body into the rock pool before jumping out. He slowly felt the new skin with his palm, finding it akin to touching smooth wood or rock, except it was a more special kind of toughness. Pa, 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 suppressing his excitement, Lin Dong immediately began to execute penetrating fist. The wind flowed with his moves, causing the dust on the ground to rise up. His aura was evidently incomparable to before. With a grin on his face, Lin Dong put down his fists. He cast a glance to the rock pool and chuckled. Thanks. As he laughed, Lin Dong suddenly recalled something. He frowned as he stared at the rock pool. Over the ten days of absorbing, he felt that the amount of light red liquid inside the pool seemed to be gradually decreasing. Looks like the amount of light red liquid in the pool will eventually run out. Lin Dong scratched his head not the least bit frantic at this fact. He took out a tiny and transparent bottle hidden within a pocket in his clothes. Upon a closer inspection of the bottle, two drops of red liquid were revealed to be contained within. After carrying the stone talisman on his body for a period of time, Lin Dong managed to uncover a little secret. He realized that every five days, a little crevice on the stone talisman would be filled with a drop of red liquid. This drop of red liquid was not unfamiliar to Lin Dong, as it was the exact same liquid that he saw in the rock pool when it came into contact with his blood. However, compared to the light red liquid in the rock pool, this drop of red liquid was clearly much more concentrated. It appears that the rock pool cannot hold the liquid indefinitely. Lin Dong contemplated. If not, after all these years, the rock pool should be completely saturated with that red liquid and should not show signs of dissipating after he had used it for a mere 10 days. It seems that I will have top it up myself on my next visit. Lin Dong caressed the little bottle, a little unwilling to part with it. This liquid was extremely rare and valuable. It took a whole five days before he could obtain just a tiny drop. He had also hoped to find a chance to secretly feed a drop of this liquid to Lin Xiao. Since the liquid held miraculous effects, he believed that it would be a great help in treating Lin Xiao's injuries. Lin Dong softly sighed as he kept the bottle. Putting on his clothes, he slipped out of the cave and returned to his training spot. Yet, just as he was about once again start his training, a figure suddenly rushed over from a distance away while shouting, Lin Dong, bad news. Lin Chang Chang, what has happened? Casually muttering those words, Lin Dong cast a glance towards the figure before he lowered his head and then proceeded to resolutely lift two solid stone blocks. The incoming person looked to be a 13 or 14 year old youth. He was a little plump, and his figure was round like a ball. 
The youngster's name was Lin Chang Chang, and he was the son of Lin Dong's fifth uncle. The two of them were on pretty good terms, though Lin Dong knew that this guy had only befriended him because he actually fancied King Tan. Nonetheless, Lin Dong still had a decent impression of Lin Chang Chang. Something has happened to King Tan. Lin Chang Chang huffed as he struggled to catch his breath. Thud. The rock blocks in Lin Dong hands fell to the ground with a thud, causing dust to scatter about. With a stern expression on his face, he questioned, how? Lin Dong was very protective of his little sister. She was a very sensible girl and even though she was young, she did not display the haughtiness usually seen by girls around her age. As such, within their house, even their usually strict father could not bear to be angry at her. Therefore, even though she had no blood relations with him, King Tan was undoubtedly princess in the family. Blasted, it must be that bastard Lin Shan. Lin Chang Chang swore. Today, King Tan found a stalk of Qiyang grass in the woods behind the mountain. However, she was spotted by Lin Shan and his gang, and now they are refusing to let King Tan go. Lin Shan again. Upon hearing this news, a raging anger flared in Lin Dong's eyes. He knew that King Tan had been going off to the woods in order to find some elixirs to aid his training. In the past, she had done so before. However, after a previously incident where she nearly injured herself while venturing for elixirs, their father had forbid her from doing so again. Nonetheless, after a peaceful period with no incidents, she had now sneaked out again. Take me there, Lin Dong commanded as he dusted off the dust on his palms. Hey, just you alone, why not bring third uncle along? Seeing that Lin Dong wanted to leave by himself, Lin Chang Chang quickly tried to stop him. He knew that Lin Dong had been beaten unconscious by Lin Shan previously. Hence, he was afraid that this time was going to be a repeat thrashing of Lin Dong. Even though he disliked Lin Shan, he had to admit that he was a tough fellow. Stop dallying. If we are late, King Tan will definitely be bullied and I will make sure you never play with her again. Lin Dong frowned. The third uncle mentioned by Lin Chang Chang was his father Lin Xiao. However, an adult intervening in matters of the younger generations will at worst result in a harsh dressing down and this was not enough to quench the anger in Lin Dong's heart. All right, you win. Follow me. Later, when Lin Shan attacks, let me help to block some of the hits. After all, I am a tempered body third layer so I can definitely take some blows. Lin Chang Chang scratched his head, slightly taken aback by Lin Dong's threat. He then proceeded to lead Lin Dong to his sister. As he watched Lin Chang Chang's round body, Lin Dong involuntarily let out a laugh. However, in the next moment, his facial expression turned darker. Gritting his lips, he swore, Lin Shan, this time I am going to beat you like the dog you are. Chapter 8. Clash. There was a relatively vast forest in the mountains at the back of the Lin family district. If one were lucky, one could occasionally be able to find one an elixir or two in that forest. Thus, whenever they had some time, the younger generation of the Lin family would always come by to try their luck. As such, one could probably say that the forest was a rather popular place among the Lin family. At this time, there was quite a crowd at the entrance of the forest. These people were all young teenagers, clearly the younger generation of the Lin family. Past the human wall, a group of sturdy figures towered at the center of the road, just happening to block off the pathway. Behind these figures was a young girl in a light-colored attire. The girl's features were like a painting and her skin was white as the freshly fallen snow. Though she was still young, her beauty was already causing many to be breathless and stunned at the sight. And at this moment, her eyes, which were normally full of life, were now angrily staring at the figures in front of her. Her tiny dirt-covered hand tightly grabbed a fire-red plant which was emitting a faint fragrance. Lin Shan, don't be too overbearing. King Tan glared at the one particular figure at the head of the crowd, traces of anger in her normally lively voice. Hey hey, we had already discovered this scarlet sun grass yesterday, it's just that we waited till today to retrieve it. Yet you've taken what was ours, how can you still say I'm the overbearing one? 
The figure at the front turned out to be a youngster, who looked to be about 14 or 15 years of age. At this point, he was grinning with his arms crossed while gazing at the angry King Tan. That's nonsense. Hearing Lin Shan trying to twist the facts, King Tan's tiny face reddened in anger. She had spent a lot of effort to find this scarlet sun grass. How could that scoundrel have found it first? And if he really did find it first like he said, how could he have possibly left it there? Could it be that he was deliberately waiting someone else to pick it? I'm not speaking nonsense. Lin Shan gazed at King Tan who looked adorable even when angry. Nevertheless he was all smiles as he said, King Tan, give me the scarlet sun grass and I will let you go. Don't even think of it. King Tan grinded her teeth. Over this period of time, she had seen how Lin Dong had so painstakingly trained, as if his life was on the line. She also understood that if Lin Dong does not perform well in the upcoming clan competition, not only he, but his parents as well, will suffer a tremendous blow. Thus, during this period, she had always come here in hopes of finding even just one elixir sage that she could help Lin Dong increase his training pace. And having finally found one stalk of scarlet sun grass today after much difficulty, how could she possibly hand it over to that horrible scoundrel? Since it's like that, looks like you can only spend the night in this place. Lin Shan chuckled, glancing towards King Tan before continuing. Just now, that brat Lin Chang Chang seemed to run away. He should have went to find Lin Dong right. Good. I'm still not satisfied from that last beating I gave him. At these words, King Tan's tiny face changed. She knew that Lin Dong and Lin Shan usually never saw eye to eye and they would be itching to fight every time they met. However, every time they fought, Lin Dong always ended up on the short end of the stick. Give the scarlet sun grass to me and I will not beat him. How does that sound? Seeing King Tan's tiny face change, Lin Shan laughed heartily, pleased at himself. You scoundrel. King Tan bit her lip, her eyes already somewhat red. At this look, many would feel somewhat sorry for her. Although King Tan was not a part of the Lin family, but because she was already so beautiful and such a lively young girl, don't even bother mentioning the Lin family, she held the adoration of many many youngsters. Even in the entire King Shan town. Yet, though many in the crowd were sorry for her and felt unsatisfied at this turn of events, after some consideration, they decided not to step in or say anything. Lin Shan was a little tyrant among the younger generation of the Lin family. Not only did he have a substantial amount of strength, but his father was also the one in charge of the Lin family's finances. Thus no one was willing to offend him, and even if they did go and report him to the older generation, Lin Shan would at most be locked up for only one or two days. Plus, after getting out, he would definitely retaliate against the one who reported him. Therefore, among the younger generation, there were very few incidences of anyone coming into conflict with him. Won't you hand it over? If you don't hurry up, I'm afraid Lin Dong will arrive at any moment. Lin Shan taunted while deliberately acting as if he was surveying the surroundings, as if he was looking forward to Lin Dong's arrival. Take it. Tears of grievance welled up in King Tan's eyes, yet she stubbornly endured. Tightly gripping the scarlet sun grass in her hands one last time, she gritted her teeth before fiercely throwing it towards Lin Shan. Hey hey, good girl. In response, Lin Shan gleefully stepped forward to catch the scarlet sun grass which had been flung his way. However, just as he was about to snatch the scarlet sun grass out of the air, a figure suddenly broke through the crowd and heavily smashed into his body. The tremendous force straightaway caused him to roll two rounds on the ground before finally coming to a halt. This sudden turn of events caused everyone to be shocked. Their gazes hastily turned to look at who had come before turning to ones of sympathy. Bastard! Lin Shan crawled up from the ground, not caring about the dirt all over his body, he stared at the figure who was now standing at the spot he had occupied before. A malicious intent suddenly rose up in his eyes as he sneered. Lin Dong. Good. Looks like you've grown some balls in the few days that we've not seen each other. I guess I might have led you off too lightly the last time and you've yet to learn your lesson. Lin Shan, I've already given you the scarlet sun grass, what else do you want? 
King Tan said in anger as her tiny face changed upon seeing Lin Shan's malicious look. She quickly picked up the scarlet sun grass that had fallen to the ground and threw it over to Lin Shan. I will take the elixir and also beat him today. Lin Shan caught the scarlet sun grass, sneering. You! King Tan's tiny face grew hot with anger at these words. Her small hands formed into fists. Even in her wildest dreams she had never imagined that Lin Shan would be such a scoundrel. Lin Dong also could not help but sneer at Lin Shan's rude and unreasonable conduct. Soon after, he pulled King Tan to one side and returned Lin Shan's words. I will take the elixir and beat you today. Ha ha. At Lin Dong's words, Lin Shan was clearly stunned though he quickly regained his wits and laughed out loud. With a mocking gaze, he looked at the former and said, Looks like I might have hit your head a little too hard previously. The rest of the crowd also looked towards Lin Dong, baffled. Though it was good to be strong-willed, if one oversteps his boundaries, one would be asking for punishment. The two had fought many times before, but every single time it always ended up in Lin Dong being beaten black and blue. Big brother Lin Dong, don't fight with him. We don't need that scarlet sun grass. Seeing that Lin Dong wanted to clash against Lin Shan yet again, King Tan quickly pulled him back, a trace of worry in her voice. Yeah, Lin Dong, a true man knows better than to fight when the odds are stacked against him. Go back and train for a while longer before you come back and teach this bastard a lesson. Lin Changchang who had followed closely behind Lin Dong promptly opened his mouth to advise the latter. Want to leave? It's not that easy. Lin Shan sneered. In the next instant his figure dashed forward. In a few steps, he appeared before Lin Dong, his five fingers quickly gripping into a fist which flew towards the latter's chest as it faintly emitted the sound of rushing wind. Pa! Lin Dong gazed at Lin Shan's fully powered fist, the corners of his mouth turning upwards into a sneer. Yet he did not duck nor dodge. Instead his palm reached out and smashed into Lin Shan's fist, causing the crowd's gazes to turn to that of astonishment. As fist met palm, a loud noise like that of rocks smashing together sounded out. However, what amazed the crowd was the fact that Lin Dong had actually managed to receive Lin Shan's punch. Tempered body fourth layer. After that exchange, Lin Shan could sense that something was not right. His opponent's skin felt as though it was at least as hard as his. Such a tough skin clearly belonged to someone who had reached the tempered body fourth layer. How is this possible? This brat was only at the second layer half a month ago. How could he have suddenly rose to the fourth layer? Lin Shan could not believe it, yet he clenched his jaw. Even if you have reached the tempered body fourth layer, don't even think of fighting with me. Falling rock fist. Lin Shan withdrew his fist and suddenly let out a shout. On his arm, blue veins started to pop out, quickly extending all over his arm. Soon after, multiple images of fists appeared. Like rocks, they smashed ferociously towards Lin Dong's head. That kind of power was akin to the rocks flying out from an explosion. Lower category level 1 martial arts, falling rock fist. To think that Lin Shan has also started learning martial arts, Lin Dong is really unlucky. The crowd was in an uproar after seeing Lin Dong's current situation. Lin Dong's gaze fixed itself on the multiple incoming fist images. Although Lin Shan's falling rock fist was not weak, he wondered why it appeared so full of flaws and mistakes in his eyes. Without hesitation, Lin Dong straightaway executed penetrating fist. Pa! 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 The sleeves of his clothes slapped against his arm, causing a crisp and loud sound to echo out. At the same time, Lin Dong's fist collided against Lin Shan's fist images. Thump! Just as their fists touched together, Lin Shan's body shuddered as a huge force rapidly rushed forth from his fist. After which, to his shock and amazement, waves of pain transmitted from both his rock-hard fists. Penetrating fist, three echoes. How is this possible? At this very moment, Lin Shan's eyes were thick with shock. Naturally, he had heard of penetrating fist, it was very well known among the level 1 martial arts. He had originally planned on learning this fist technique, yet he was still unable to produce an echo even after 10 days of training. Thus he had no option but to give up. 
Who could imagine that Lin Dong, who was previously never a match for him, would actually be capable of such success? It's not three echoes, it's four. Lin Dong icily smiled, his arm jerked as another crisp sound echoed out. Following which, an increasingly heavy punch struck against both of Lin Shan's fists. Thud, faced with a four-echo penetrating fist, Lin Shan's falling rock fist stance fell apart. Step by step, he staggered backwards before finally falling, to the amazement of the crowd of onlookers. Yet, just as Lin Shan was about to fall, an arm suddenly reached out to grab his shoulder. With a gentle push, Lin Shan was stabilized. G. Lin Shan quickly turned his head to gaze at the figure who had appeared at his back, suddenly extremely happy. The surrounding crowd's expressions also changed as fear flashed across their eyes. Chapter 9. Lin Hong. Gazing at the figure behind Lin Shan, King Tan and Lin Chang Chang's expressions changed as a look of worry surfaced in their eyes. Lin Dong's face was stretched taut, as he similarly cast his gaze behind Lin Shan. A youngster clothed in white was holding onto Lin Shan's shoulder, steadying him and preventing him from falling to the ground. The youngster looked to be around 15 or 16 years old and he had rather handsome facial features. A small smile was on his face, yet in Lin Dong's eyes, this smile appeared slightly cold. Lin Hong, Lin Shan's elder brother and a fairly outstanding member of the Lin family. He was only 15 years old, yet he had long ago reached tempered body fifth layer. At this stage, he needed only one more step before he will be able to cultivate a Yuan power seed. After which, he would definitely be ranked top three among all of the younger generation in the Lin family. G. Although Lin Shan was extremely overbearing towards others, he became as meek as a sheep in front of the seemingly gentle-natured Lin Hong. With just this level of skill, why do you go out and embarrass yourself, instead of practicing properly? Lin Hong chuckled as he loosened his grip. It was only because I was careless. If we fought again, there's nothing for me to fear. Lin Shan's face flushed red with embarrassment at Lin Hong's words. Yet Lin Shan's retort seemed a bit forced, as it was clear that Lin Dong's punch was indeed very powerful. Four echo penetrating fist is not something you are capable of blocking. Lin Hong's gaze turned towards Lin Dong, scrutinizing the latter for a while before saying, Lin Dong, looks like you've been hiding this for quite some time. Lin Hong also knew about the difficulty in practicing penetrating fist. No matter what, in order to train till the fourth echo required months of effort. Yet prior to this incident, he had never heard that Lin Dong even knew this martial art. It's just trickery, hardly worthy of Lin Hong, big brother's attention. The corners of Lin Dong's mouth pulled into a wry smile as he replied. Perhaps because of the feud between their fathers, even if you put it nicely, Lin Hong and his brother had a strained relationship with Lin Dong. Likewise, Lin Dong harbored no goodwill towards them. Though Lin Hong seemed polite and friendly on the surface, Lin Dong knew that compared to the menacing Lin Shan, his brother was actually much more fiendish. The reason why Lin Shan could be a little tyrant within the younger generation in the Lin family, was not only due to his father, but also Lin Hong, who had quite a far-reaching influence himself. Of course, most importantly, Lin Dong had heard from Lin Xiao that half a year ago, Lin Hong had actually asked to be engaged to King Tan. Thankfully, this request had been flatly rejected by Lin Xiao. This matter had further deepened the enmity between both parties. Big brother Lin Dong, let's leave first. King Tan stealthily tugged on Lin Dong's sleeve as she whispered. Though she was extremely surprised that Lin Dong had managed to defeat Lin Shan, Lin Hong stood heads and shoulders above Lin Shan in regards to both martial arts and wit. He was definitely not someone to mess with. Hey hey, King Tan, it's been so long since we've met. Lin Hong chuckled as he turned his gaze to King Tan with a strange luster in his eyes. Although King Tan was young, she was a blooming beauty. Among the younger generation in Qingyang town, many secretly admired her, and naturally, he was no exception. Lin Shan has always been such an impulsive brat. However, if you need any elixirs, you just need to approach me. A grade 1 elixir like the Scarlet Sungrass is after all a little lacking in quality. 
Hearing Lin Hong talk to her as if they were on familiar terms, King Tan's crescent-shaped eyebrows tightly knitted together. However, due to the other party's strength, although she was not too pleased about it, she chose not to talk back. Damn it, this guy is so repulsive, I will definitely beat him to death in the future. Lin Chang Chang muttered behind Lin Dong's back as he was also extremely disgusted by Lin Hong's words. Much thanks to Lin Hong, big brother's goodwill, however we'd rather depend on ourselves. It's not easy for the family to earn money so it's only right that we try our best to save even a little of it. Lin Dong smiled, ignoring the mutterings of Lin Chang Chang. If he saw Lin Hong in the past, he could only hope to retreat before anything happened. Yet it was different now, as he possessed the secret stone talisman, he knew that surpassing Lin Hong was only a matter of time. Oh, younger cousin Lin Dong's unyielding character is exactly the same as his father's. Indeed worthy of his legacy, though Lin Hong was smiling, anyone who heard his words could tell that they held a hint of ridicule. Anger flashed across Lin Dong's eyes as he heard these mocking words. Hey hey, since the Scarlet Sun grass was found by King Tan, then it must be returned. Fret not King Tan, after all this, I will definitely help you teach this rude fellow a lesson. Lin Hong took the Scarlet Sun grass off Lin Shan's hands and then waved it at King Tan while smiling. Seeing his actions, King Tan pursed her tiny lips, not daring to move forward to retrieve the Scarlet Sun grass. She was worried that Lin Hong may seize this opportunity to create trouble for Lin Dong in the future. If so, she would rather give up this scarlet sun grass. In response, the corners of Lin Hong's mouth could not help but slightly raise. Seems like big brother Lin Hong is truly a magnanimous individual. Yet, before a smile could form on his face, Lin Dong interrupted it with a laugh. After which, under the watchful gaze of the crowd, Lin Dong stepped forward and approached Lin Hong as he unapologetically stretched out his hand to grab the scarlet sun grass. Lin Dong's sudden actions caused Lin Hong's face to turn rigid. The latter stared straight at the former with an icy look in his eyes. Lin Dong's actions in front of the crowd had hurt Lin Hong's pride. However, Lin Dong turned a blind eye to Lin Hong's stare as he attempted to exert more force to snatch the scarlet sun grass. Nevertheless, he found that Lin Hong's hand continued to hold onto the scarlet sun grass like a pair of metal pincers. At once, Lin Dong smiled and asked, So, does big brother Lin Hong suddenly fancy this scarlet sun grass now? Upon hearing these words, the corners of Lin Hong's eyes twitched as he slowly released his grip. Staring daggers at Lin Dong, he laughed and said, Younger cousin Lin Dong, I am also interested in your penetrating fist, would you be willing to engage in a light duel with me? Without waiting for Lin Dong's reply, Lin Hong suddenly took a step forward as his palm flew towards Lin Dong's chest. The gust that followed was much stronger than before when Lin Shan attacked. Seeing as Lin Hong launched his attack as soon as he spoke, Lin Dong's facial expression darkened as he swiftly raised both of his arms in front of his chest, to protect his vital organs. Thud, as they exchanged blows, Lin Dong immediately felt a vigorous force and sharp pain ricocheting through his arm, forcing him to move ten steps back. Thankfully his foundations were solid, thus he did not end up convulsing on the ground. Yuan Power, tempered body sixth layer, steadying his body, Lin Dong muttered as he stared at Lin Hong. He had clearly seen an extremely weak light engulfing the latter's fist. That was obviously the effects of Yuan Power. This means that Lin Hong had actually entered the realm of tempered body sixth layer and a Yuan power seed had been born in his body. Lin Hong shot a glance at Lin Dong, his brows knitting together. The fact that he had unexpectedly failed to defeat the latter in one move did not sit well with him. Yet, he remained confident that he could defeat Lin Dong within five moves. This was the confidence that he had in himself, who had achieved tempered body sixth layer. Younger cousin Lin Dong is indeed skillful, come again. The dangerous glint in his eyes hinted that Lin Hong did not plan to let Lin Dong off so easily. With a quick laugh, he once again rushed towards the latter. This time, however, 
Many in the crowd gasped in response as they could clearly see that on his body was shrouded in an extremely weak light. As he stared at that formidable Lin Hong, the rage in Lin Dong's eyes intensified. He gritted his teeth as he prepared to launch an all-out counter with his penetrating fist. Yet before they clashed again, an angry voice suddenly shouted out. Both of you stop right now. Lin Hong's footsteps immediately halted as the voice filled his ears. As he turned to look, he saw a young lady walking out from the crowd, red-hot anger on her beautiful face. The young lady was clothed in red, and she looked approximately 17 to 18 years old. She was slightly older and bigger than the rest, and her facial features could be considered beautiful. As her brown ponytail hung down to her slim waist, her slightly vertical eyebrows gave her a heroic spirit that would not lose out to any man. It's Miss Lin Chia. Upon witnessing the said lady, the surrounding crowd erupted. Oh, looks like it's Miss Lin Chia. Lin Hong smiled at the lady clothed in red. Lin Hong, since we are all from the Lin family, do you really need to use Yuan power during a duel? Lin Chia replied, frowning as she surveyed at the crowd. We were just playing. Since Miss Lin has spoken, we are naturally all good now. Lin Hong casually muttered. At this instance, Lin Dong also withdrew his fists as he politely greeted Miss Lin Chia. This lady was the daughter of their first uncle, and even though she was female, she was the most outstanding individual among the younger generation in the Lin family. In fact, it was rumored that she had already advanced to tempered body sixth layer half a year ago, and right now no one knew just how far she had grown since. Lin Chia's reputation could be considered pretty good, even among the younger generation in Qingyang town. Hence, in the Lin family, she held quite a high status, and even Lin Hong did not dare to offend her. What is the point of fighting against your own brothers from the same family? If you are really capable, when the Qingyang town hunt begins, you ought to compete with the younger generation in other families. Only if you win, then can you be considered as skilled. Lin Chia retorted. Like a female gang leader, her words carried some weight. Miss Lin Chia is right. Lin Hong lazily replied. He approached Lin Dong with the scarlet sun grass in hand and threw the elixir towards the latter. Promptly using a soft tone that could only be heard between two, he lightly muttered, I will enter the top three in the family competition coming up in six months. After that, I will ask Grandpa to allow me to be engaged to King Tan. In the meantime, please take good care my future bride. As he finished, he patted Lin Dong's shoulder as though they were already brother-in-laws before he turned around with a smile on his face, and left with Lin Shan. As Lin Dong stared at Lin Hong's back, he slowly tightened his fists into balls as an icy look flashed across his eyes. He will definitely stop this bastard from marrying King Tan. Want to be top three? It's not that easy. Even though Lin Hong's abilities were vastly superior to his, Lin Dong remained confident that with the help of the stone talisman and his own hard work, he would definitely catch up with Lin Hong before the family competition. Chapter 10. Golden Jade Branch. Lin Chia watched Ling Hong and his brother leave before walking over to Lin Dong, a smiling on her face, younger cousin Lin Dong, are you alright? Yes, thank you Miss Lin Chia. Lin Dong nodded in acknowledgement. Lin Chia and her father had always been good to him since young. Hence, their relationship was considered pretty good and it was only because Lin Chia has been busy with training these past few years that their interactions had decreased compared to before. I just witnessed your duel with Lin Shan. I'm guessing you've reached tempered body fourth layer. Lin Chia asked, surprised. She knew that Lin Dong's had only been training for less than a year, yet he had already reached fourth layer. Truly an astonishing pace. It's just a fluke. It was not easy to hide the fact that he had reached tempered body fourth layer. After all its effects were showcased at the outermost layer of one's body. Hence, Lin Dong did not bother to conceal it, nodding his head in response to Lin Chia's question. Looks like you've inherited your father's talent. Lin Xiao grinned, her expression turning serious. However, the current you is still way behind Lin Hong. According to my knowledge, he had already progressed to tempered body sixth layer three months ago, and birthed a Yuan power seed within his body. Hence, 
It is best for you to avoid fighting with him, or you will surely lose out. Yes, I know. Lin Dong did not try to put on a brave front. Based on his current abilities, he knew that he was still outclassed by Lin Hong. Nonetheless, he remained confident that he will definitely surpass the latter. He he, all right, keep up the good work, I will be heading back now. Remember to work hard for the upcoming family competition, you know how much your father cares about that event. Lin Seo smiled as she patted Lin Dong's head. Then, after she greeted King Tan and Lin Chang Chang, she swung her ponytail and walked away suavely. He he, Miss Lin Chia is really cool. Even Lin Hong had to back down in front of her. You know, Grandpa really adores her, and sometimes he even teaches her martial arts personally. Lin Chang Chang enviously said, as he watched Lin Chia's slender figure walking away. You were just lazy. Lin Dong rolled his eyes at Lin Chang Chang. Without further ado, he immediately signaled to King Tan and turned to leave. Lin Chang Chang followed them for a short distance, but as he saw the darkening sky, he somewhat reluctantly left the two. Big brother Lin Dong, I am so sorry. I promise not to sneak off to find elixirs again. King Tan pitifully cried, as she tugged at Lin Dong's sleeve on their journey home. It's fine. Once I become stronger, no one will dare to bully you ever again. Even though Lin Dong had initially planned to scold her, her pitiful face was like bucket of cold water over the flames of rage in his heart. He helplessly shook his head, before slapping his chest as he replied with a laugh. I want to train too. King Tan suddenly said, as she lifted her cute nose. Weren't you afraid that training would make you ugly? Lin Dong jokingly asked. No way. Look at how beautiful Miss Lin Chia is. If I could become like her, then Lin Hong will never again dare to bully big brother Lin Dong anymore. King Tan replied cutely as she stuck out her little pink tongue. Lin Dong smiled as he shook his head, his finger moving to flick King Tan's forehead. He then told her, when we return home, do not tell anyone about what happened today. Do you understand? Okay. King Tan childishly dragged out her reply, as she a frown formed on her tiny face. Although Lin Dong had reminded King Tan not to mention anything, in the end, he was unsuccessful in concealing the day's event. You fought with the Lin Shan and his brother this afternoon. Lin Xiao casually remarked during dinner as he laid down the chopsticks in his hand. Upon hearing these words, Lin Dong and King Tan immediately felt their bodies tense up. Lu Yan, who was also present, also helplessly shook her head as she gave a disapproving look to the two of them. Father, this has nothing to do with big brother Lin Dong. It's all my fault, King Tan timidly said. Lin Xiao glanced at the two of them, his facial expression steady. He kept his eyes glued onto Lin Dong as he asked, I heard that you defeated Lin Shan. Lin Dong scratched his head, wryly smiling as he nodded. Give your hand to me. At Lin Dong's acknowledgement, Lin Xiao's eyes flashed as he stretched out his wide palm and gripped the latter's arm. Gently tapping the arm, a smile surfaced on his usually stoic face, tempered body fourth layer. Yes, Lin Dong once again nodded. Ha ha, excellent. Upon receiving Lin Dong's confirmation, Lin Xiao finally let her out hearty laughter, filled with joy and contentment. As he watched Lin Xiao laugh so heartily, Lin Dong's heart finally heaved a sigh of relief. It looks like he won't be scolded after all. Lu Yan could not help but purse her lips into a smile when she saw Lin Xiao's heartfelt smile. Looking at Lin Dong with doting eyes, she understood that Lin Xiao had invested everything he had into Lin Dong. He had always blamed himself for causing the loss of a genius in the Lin family and destroying their hopes. Therefore, due to his stubborn nature, he had always hoped to, return, a genius back to the Lin family and that genius he had hoped to, return, was naturally Lin Dong. Correct me if I'm wrong but you had only just reached tempered body third layer ten days ago right? How did you progress this quickly? Even though he was ecstatic, Lin Xiao had his suspicions. To progress from third to fourth layer in ten days time was an extremely rapid pace. How did a Lin Dong without the aid of any elixirs manage to accomplish this? I'm not too sure either, 
Ever since I ate the red ginseng, my training progress feels much smoother than before. Lin Dong's heart skipped a beat upon hearing Lin Xiao's queries. After a slight hesitation, he eventually decided to tell a little lie. Somehow, he always felt that it would be best not to reveal the secret of the stone talisman, or else there would be a major calamity heading his way. Oh, Lin Xiao frowned upon hearing Lin Dong's reply. The red ginseng is merely a grade one elixir, how could it be so potent? Maybe Dong Er's body has a special affinity with elixirs and can absorb their effects more effectively. I have heard that some people are blessed this unique gift and their bodies are able to absorb elixirs more effectively than most people. Lu Yan offered a possible explanation as she smiled. True, it might be because of that. Lin Xiao nodded his head in agreement. He had also heard of similar cases before. If Lin Dong truly possessed this miraculous body constitution, it would not be impossible for him to train at this breakneck speed. Looks like I have been neglectful in the past. If Dong Er really possesses this gift, it will not be difficult for him to achieve a good result in the family competition. Lin Xiao smiled in contentment as he reached into his garments. Carefully taking out a bundle wrapped in a roll of cloth, he gently placed it on top of the table. As he spread open the cloth, a fragrance instantly spread out across the room and a light golden branch appeared before their eyes. The branch was colored gold, and within that golden glow a light green liquid gently flowed through, similar to a chalcedony. This is, a grade 2 elixir, golden jade branch. Lu Yan gasped as she saw the golden branch. Is this what a grade 2 elixir looks like? Lin Dong peeked at the golden branch out of curiosity, the corners of his mouth pulling downwards. Even though it looked out of the ordinary, the amount of Ling Qi contained within was lackluster compared to the mysterious liquid that came from the stone talisman. Hey hey, I had the good fortune of coming upon this elixir in the mountains yesterday. Lu Yan, boil this elixir for Dong Er tomorrow. Lin Xiao smiled as he said. Yet soon after, his face turned slightly pale as he violently coughed twice. Father, I do not need this. Please keep it for your own injuries. Lin Dong hastily replied. No worries. I merely expended a bit of energy to deal with a troublesome beast yesterday when I was acquiring this elixir. It's no big deal. After all, I have lived with my injuries all these years. These elixirs will hardly be able to make a difference for me. Lin Xiao said as he waved his hand from side to side. Besides, in a few months' time, it will be the family competition. During this period, you should focus on your training. Do not worry about the elixirs, let father handle this problem. Lin Dong's eyes reddened, as he saw the happy expression on Lin Xiao's usually stern face. Without a word, he lightly nodded his head as he muttered to himself, Father, do not worry. I will not disappoint you. It's late, get some rest. You still have training tomorrow. Lin Xiao waved his hand, beckoning Lin Dong to go and rest. Yes, after Lin Dong replied, he and King Tan left the dinner table and walked to their rooms. Even as they left the room, they could still hear Lin Xiao's hearty laughter. This laughter was something they had not heard in a long time. As he gently clenched his fist, Lin Dong turned his head and indicated for King Tan to return to her room to rest. Yet, he suddenly saw her beautifully sculpted face turn pale as threads of white and cold air gradually seeped out of her body, causing frost to grow on the surrounding ground. Oh no, the chilling cold has flared up again. Upon witnessing this abrupt development in King Tan, Lin Dong's expression also changed. Chapter 11. Yin Pearl. King Tan has the chilling cold flared up again. As he felt waves of chilling cold emit from King Tan's body, Lin Dong could not help but shiver as he anxiously asked. Yes, King Tan squeezed out an answer through clenched teeth. Her frail body constantly shivered from the cold, a look of suffering on her tiny face. I'll go and call father. Lin Dong quickly said, no, please don't go. Upon hearing those words, King Tan swiftly grabbed onto Lin Dong's sleeve. Immediately, the chilling air swiftly formed a thin layer of frost on his sleeve. It's no use. Besides, it's rare to see father in such a good mood. Please do not trouble him, 
I can endure this. As he looked at King Tan's tiny yet deathly white face, Lin Dong felt a growing ache in his heart. Gritting his teeth, he finally nodded. He knew that King Tan was right. Even if he called father over, it would be of little use and will instead only increase the number of worried people to two. King Tan had frequently suffered from this chilling cold since young. After a certain period of time, an extremely dense chilling air will explode from within her body. Under the effects of this chill, her insides will be tormented by extreme pain. Over these past 10 years, she has suffered immensely due to this chilling cold. However, even Lin Seo could not find any solution to alleviate her condition. He once tried to use Yuan force to forcefully expel the chilling cold, but in the end, he had to spend nearly half a month in bed in order to remove the chilling cold that entered his body. Therefore, every time the chilling cold flared up in King Tan's body, the three of them could only helplessly watch as King Tan suffered while their hearts were cut to pieces on the inside. Let me carry you back to your room. Observing that King Tan was paralyzed with pain, he suddenly lifted her up, hugging her tightly in his arms, and ran like a madman towards her room. Hiss hiss. As he dashed into the room, Lin Dong swiftly placed King Tan on her bed. Then, he hastily rubbed his arms, which had turned numb from the chilling cold and felt as though they were being pierced by needles. Big brother Lin Dong, you, you should return first. I can endure this. King Tan hid her frail body under the blanket as she feebly mumbled. However, as she spoke, her body started to tremble even more violently. It seems that the chilling cold was even more intense compared to previous times. So cold, so cold. King Tan popped her little head out of the blanket, her tiny face white as sheet and her hair glittering with ice crystals. Upon witnessing this scene, Lin Dong, who was standing beside her, became extremely anxious and agitated as he paced up and down her bedside. Suddenly, his footsteps stopped. Clenching his teeth, he tore off his shoes and jumped onto her bed before proceeding to hug King Tan tightly through her blanket. People who train posses are strong and vigorous life force. Lin Dong hoped to use his body warmth to alleviate some of King Tan's pain. Even though he understood that his actions would hardly amount to anything, he could not bear to watch King Tan being tortured by the chilling cold all by herself. Big brother Lin Dong, please don't. King Tan hurriedly replied as she felt Lin Dong's embrace. Even though King Tan was nearly unconscious from the chilling cold, Lin Dong's movement caused her to regain some of her senses. She clearly knew how potent the chilling cold in her body was, as even Lin Xiao, who was at earthly Yuan level, had a difficult time dealing with it. How could Lin Dong, who was merely a tempered body fourth layer, handle it? Be good, I'll be fine. Clenching his jaw, Lin Dong tenaciously held on to King Tan tightly. Even though they were separated by the blanket, he felt as though he were hugging a piece of millennial ice. The bone-piercing chill was akin to thousands of razor-sharp needles relentlessly stabbing into his body. Needless to say, moments later, Lin Dong's body began to shiver as well. Frost appeared on his eyebrows as his teeth chattered non-stop. Nonetheless, despite the pain, Lin Dong's grip only grew tighter. King Tan rested her tiny head on Lin Dong's chest, her eyes gazing at the constantly shivering Lin Dong, who was now biting his lips as he endured the cold. Tears began to flow as she felt a faint warmth blossom from the depths of her heart. She knew that she was only an orphan, yet Lin Dong and his family had always treated her like one of their own. Thank you, big brother Lin Dong. King Tan lightly mumbled as she slowly lost consciousness, her eyelids slowly falling in response. As the layer of frost on Lin Dong's body grew thicker, his consciousness began to fade as well. Suddenly, moments before he was about to faint, a strange suction force arose from his chest area. Soon, he felt the relentlessly chilling cold in his body gradually sucked away by this force. The bone-chilling cold swiftly left his body and Lin Dong slowly began to regain consciousness. As he stared at the melting frost on his arm, he was dazed for a second before he hurriedly opened his shirt. There, lay the stone talisman that he had kept close on his body, emitting a light glow. At the same time, 
He could also vaguely feel a cooling sensation coming from it. The stone talisman sucked up the chilling cold. Lin Dong blinked as a disbelieving smile surfaced on his face. He did not expect that this chilling cold, which had even stumped farther, could actually be sucked away by this stone talisman. While Lin Dong was still in awe at this turn of events, King Tan, who had originally fainted, let out a soft cry. Her eyes slowly opened, immediately detecting the changes in her body and exclaiming, the chilling cold has subsided. Seems like it, Lin Dong replied with a smile, as he scratched his head. Then, he let go of King Tan and said, now that it has subsided, it's all good. Get some rest. Yes, big brother Lin Dong, thank you. King Tan softly muttered, her cheeks turning a light pink as she looked at Lin Dong's smiling face. We're family, there's no need for you to say these words. Lin Dong patted his chest, smiling as he said in a manly manner. Seeing that it was late, he decided not to linger any further and waved goodbye to King Tan before turning to walk out of her room. Gazing at Lin Dong's leaving figure, King Tan looked like a little bell as she laid on her bed, her languid self appearing somewhat charming and lovely. Her cheek rested on her tiny hands and her little feet, which were as white as jade, slowly swayed over her back. On her lips, a sweet smile hung, brightening her angelic face. After leaving King Tan's room, Lin Dong rushed to his room at lightning speed. He quickly locked his door before taking out the stone talisman that was tucked near his chest. Under the lights, three milky white bean-sized crystals appeared from the small crevice in the middle of the stone talisman. Lin Dong carefully removed the three milky white bean-sized crystals. As they rolled onto the palm of his hand, he felt a cooling sensation which reached into the very marrow of his bones. The chilling cold within these pearls was almost the same as the chilling cold within King Tan's body, except the chill from the crystals seemed much more gentle. This should have been condensed from the chilling cold that was sucked out from King Tan's body. Lin Dong muttered as he closed his fingers on the three white pearls, gripping them in his hand. The yin energy contained within these pearls did not have the violent nature of the one observed in King Tan's body. In fact, it could even be possible for one to absorb the yin energy from the pearls into one's body. Although he was far from reaching the earthly Yuan level, Lin Dong knew that after advancing to earthly Yuan level, the most vital step was to absorb yin energy, that existed between heaven and earth, into one's body. After which, the yin energy will merge with the Yuan power that lies in one's body, greatly enhancing the attacking potential of one's Yuan power. Subsequently, when one advances to heavenly Yuan level, one must absorb the Yang energy, that exists between heaven and earth, into one's body. Eventually, when the yin and yang energy within one's body synergizes, the Yuan Dan will be formed. Hence, this way of training was termed as, stealing yin and yang. Thus, for the earth Yuan and heavenly Yuan stages, yin and yang energy could be considered the most important components. However, within heaven and earth, yin and yang energy can be classified into different grades and categories, with each possessing their own advantages and disadvantages. Most people would, however, choose to absorb yin-yang energy directly from heaven and earth, because it was the most convenient method. After all, special yin-yang energy is not so easily chanced upon. Naturally though, this method would result in him being slightly weaker. Of course, some wealthy people would rather choose to absorb special yin-yang energy. This way, they will end up distinctly stronger than a practitioner on the same level as them. Besides, the higher the quality of yin-yang energy absorbed during the earthly and heavenly yuan stages, the stronger the yuan dan formed will be. Thus, some wealthier people will expend vast resources in order to find various kinds of special yin-yang energy to allow their yuan dan form to be of a higher quality. Obviously, though Lin Dong had never come into contact with yin energy before, he was very certain that the white yin pearl in his hand was definitely much higher in quality than the natural yin energy found between heaven and earth. Perhaps, the yin energy contained within can be classified as third grade, or even higher. And to expert practitioners at earthly yuan level, these are highly prized treasures one would kill to obtain. Chapter 12. The Tenth Echo. 
These yin pearls could be secretly given to father for his usage. As Lin Dong licked his lips, a fire lit up in his eyes as he gazed intensely at the three yin pearls in his palm. Since Lin Xiao had fallen to earthly Yuan level, if he could absorb the yin energy in these pearls, his strength would definitely be greatly enhanced. However, treating Lin Xiao's internal injuries still took priority because, the longer it dragged on, the worse it became for him. Sometime in the next few days, I will find an opportunity to feed father the red liquid from the stone talisman. Let's see if it will help to heal the injuries in his body. The current Lin Seo suffered from grave internal injuries. After so many years of dragging himself around even with these injuries, a tremendous amount of damage had been done to his body. If these injuries are not treated, Lin Seo will likely be unable to safely absorb the yin energy in these pearls. If father can recover his previous strength, our status within the Lin family will be immediately reinstated. After all, even after all these years, only three people from the Lin family have advanced to heavenly Yuan level. Even within Qingyang town, those who reached heavenly Yuan level could be considered as elite practitioners. In this town, the strength of one's faction largely depends on the number of heavenly Yuan users that they have. Therefore, if Lin Xiao was able to recover his heavenly Yuan strength, not only will his position be restored, but any impediment towards his progress should disappear as well. This was a future that Lin Dong, Lu Yan and King Tan had long dreamed of. As he imagined Lin Xiao's recover his majestic figure of the past, Lin Dong involuntarily let out a little chuckle. Then, he proceeded to look for a tiny bottle in his room and very carefully placed the three yin pearls inside. He knew that if he wanted to, he could probably exchange these items for grade 3 elixirs as they were quite valuable. After he finished, Lin Dong finally heaved a sigh of relief. Suddenly, an aching sensation emerged from his body. Even though the stone talisman had helped to suck out the chilling cold from King Tan's body, his body was still affected by the yin nature chill. Has the chilling cold entered my body? The aching sensation in his body caused Lin Dong's complexion to change. Moments later, he felt as though the aching sensation had stuck itself to the marrow in his bones. It felt as if something was attempting to drill its way into his bones. Bone refining. At this sudden realization, Lin Dong's eyelids blinked rapidly. Bone refining was a key step to achieving tempered body fifth layer, which would greatly enhance the toughness of one's bones, resulting in an enormous upgrade in both power and speed. However, Lin Dong had only just advanced to tempered body fourth layer. Based on his calculations, even if he had the aid of the liquid from the stone talisman, it would take up to 10 days before he should reach this step. How did it appear now? It must be due to the chilling cold within King Tan's body. After pondering for a while, Lin Dong finally guessed the answer to his question. Instantly a look of amazement surfaced on his face. Did the chilling cold in King Tan's body really have such a miraculous effect on tempered body practitioners? The chilling cold in King Tan's body was too savage. The stone talisman must have filtered out all of the savageness and left only the beneficial parts in my body. Lin Dong frowned as he recalled that even Lin Xiao, who was at earthly Yuan level, had a devastating time dealing with the chilling cold and had to recuperate for half a month. Therefore, compared to himself who was only at tempered body fourth layer, his ability to handle the chilling cold would be a joke. In the end, it was mostly because of the help from the stone talisman. I did not expect the chilling cold in King Tan's body to possess this kind of effect. However, it will still be a while before the chilling cold flares up again. Upon muttering these words, Lin Dong hastily spat in disgust. Every time the chilling cold flared up, it caused King Tan an immense suffering. If this is the price to pay for these yin pearls, Lin Dong would rather not have them. As he quickly suppressed this horrible idea, Lin Dong stretched his body and then laid down on his bed. His eyes gradually closed, while the stone talisman on his chest once again emitted a faint glow. Over this period of time, Lin Dong had gained a better understanding of the stone talisman. He now knew that the dark space that he had found himself in could be considered as a spiritual domain where his physical body could not enter. 
Nonetheless, everything that he learned there could be brought back completely to the real world. In the darkness, a glowing shadow and a human figure flickered, as crisp echoes sounded out continuously. With rapt attention, Lin Seo concentrated on the movements of the glowing shadow. Even the slightest twitch, by the latter, was clearly memorized by him. After such a long period of training, even though Lin Dong could not claim to be at the pinnacle of penetrating fist, he could be considered to have a very high level of mastery. On a good day, he could often generate all nine echoes. However, even though Lin Dong was quite well versed with penetrating first, he was still unable to make any progress with the tenth echo. Pa Pa, when the glowing shadow once again produced the ninth echo, Lin Dong's concentration abruptly rose to its peak. In that moment, he experienced an unreal sensation. He felt as though he had become the glowing shadow. The glowing shadow's every minute movement and even the tiniest changes in its control of force were clearly engraved into his mind. Pa, a low, barely discernible echo sounded out as a powerful force once again followed the route through the channels and erupted from the palm of the glowing shadow. The strength of the last echo was truly monstrous. So that's how it's done. Lin Dong's eyes gleamed as a joyful expression surfaced on his face. He had finally grasped the so-called trick behind the tenth echo. While he was in that mysterious state, Lin Dong had clearly experienced how the glowing shadow utilized the flow of force. He found that the tenth echo was not generated from the arms, but rather from within the body. The first nine echoes were on the outside, while the tenth echo was from within. By perfectly coordinating one's muscle and bones, one can break through the limits of the ninth echo and reach a new high. That is the tenth echo of penetrating fist. Lin Dong's body trembled in excitement. This unique combination was something that even Lin Xiao did not know about. If he had not entered into that mysterious state, Lin Dong would never have grasped the secret behind the tenth echo. Based on his calculations, if he could execute the tenth echo, penetrating fist would not be considered weak even among the ranks of level 2 martial arts. Even though Lin Dong had yet to truly grasp the tenth echo, he was confident that after this realization, he would finally be successful in mastering it. Moreover, he knew that once he had mastered the tenth echo, it will definitely become his signature killing move. By then, Lin Dong was confident that he could match up even to someone like Lin Hong, who exceeded him by two layers and wielded Yuan power. As he recalled all the unscrupulous means that Lin Hong had adopted to force his father consent to an engagement with King Tan, the rage in Lin Dong's heart burned even hotter. This time, I will make sure to thrash you until you lose all face to bring up this issue ever again. Lin Dong sneered, yet his expression quickly turned to one of seriousness. He positioned himself into the stance of penetrating fist and began to practice. He knew that Lin Hong was still ahead of the current him, thus he must continue to work hard. Pa Pa, in the darkness, the young man's figure flowed gracefully like a monkey. Even as sweat rained down on his body, he tirelessly drilled penetrating fists over and over again as a series of crisp and clear echoes continuously reverberated in the air. Chapter 13. Treatment. In the next few days, Lin Dong's lifestyle resumed its usual pace. In the day, he would frantically train his body, and once he was unable to endure the exhaustion, he would slip into the rock pool. Barely half an hour later, he would run out of the pool feeling refreshed and full of energy. Subsequently, sets of penetrating fists were vividly executed, causing a series of crisp echoes to continuously reverberate around the forest. Among the younger generation in Lin family, there was probably no one else who could maintain this intensive regime. After all, the effects of the rock pool were arguably better than that of a grade 3 elixir. Furthermore, as the red liquid was diluted, it became mild and gentle. Therefore, it would not hurt one's body at all. In fact, this was most suitable for someone in the initial training phase like Lin Dong. During the night, Lin Dong would once again enter into the darkness of the spiritual domain. In there, he would tirelessly repeat set after set of his increasingly familiar penetrating fist. As he drilled without rest or food, his mastery of penetrating fist greatly improved until Lin Dong could now easily generate nine echoes. 
With regards to the tenth echo, Lin Dong was also gradually gaining a better understanding of it. Though he had yet to successfully master it, he knew that it was only a matter of time. Furthermore, perhaps it was due to the strength that Lin Dong displayed at their previous encounter, Lin Shan, who previously loved to cause trouble for him, had stopped appearing before him. The latter probably understood that he would only be digging his own grave if he dared to cause trouble for Lin Dong again. Therefore, right now, Lin Dong was able to peacefully dedicate all his energy into his training. In a blink of an eye, a week passed amidst the peace and tranquility. Within this week, Lin Dong had actively looking for opportunities to feed the red liquid from the stone talisman to Lin Xiao. However, during this period, Lin Xiao was constantly away. Hence Lin Dong had little opportunity to do so and thus had no choice but to temporarily suppress the thought. This situation continued on till the eighth day, until Lin Dong finally could no longer endure it any further. This was because Lin Xiao was injured once again. As he was training, Lin Dong heard King Tan's anxious screams. Instantly he reacted and fled home. He barged into the room to see Lin Xiao lying on the bed, his face as pale as a sheet of paper. Drops of blood marking the ground below his sleeves. Father met a powerful beast when he went deep into the mountains to look for elixirs. King Tan softly muttered from behind Lin Dong, her eyes red with grief. Upon hearing these words, a wave of guilt gushed out from Lin Dong's heart as tears dropped from his eyes. Men should not cry. It's just a small injury. As Lin Xiao saw Lin Dong standing by the door, he attempted to lift his body up. Just as he attempted to display a stern expression, a sharp pain emerged from his wounds, causing his expression to twist up in agony. Why are you still trying to put on a brave front now? Here, let me boil this elixir for you. Lu Yan glared at Lin Xiao before she picked up a stalk of light green herb by her side. Hey, that is for Dong Er. Lin Xiao hastily said, upon witnessing this scene. Mother, let me boil this elixir. You and King Tan should take care of father. Before Lin Xiao's words could fade away, Lin Dong dashed forward and snatched the elixir from Lu Yan's hands. Without saying another word, he ran out of the room. This brat. As he watched Lin Dong slip away even faster than a rabbit, Lin Xiao did not know whether to laugh or cry. He helplessly shook his head, a warmth bubbling in his heart. Shortly after Lin Dong left, he came back holding a green porcelain bowl in his hand. The bowl was filled to the brim with a dark green medicine with a medicinal fragrance that could be smelt even from a distance away. Father, please drink this medicine. Lin Dong smiled as he brought the medicine over. Sigh, you cheeky boy. Lin Xiao helpless shook his head. Even though his heart was aching, he could only receive the bowl. Without a word, he gulped down the medicine. As he saw Lin Xiao finish the medicine, an eager expression surfaced on Lin Dong's eyes. He had naturally added a few drops of red liquid from the stone talisman into that bowl of medicine. However, he did not know how much aid it would provide to Lin Xiao's injuries. Gulp. Upon finishing the medicine, Lin Xiao placed the bowl down and stared at Lin Dong, who was intently looking at his father's face. Just as Lin Xiao was to put on a stern look, he suddenly felt his cheeks turn red as though a fire had been lit within his body. Father, witnessing the change occurring to Lin Xiao, King Tan who was standing to one side turned pale. Cough, cough. As King Tan and Lu Yan turned white with fear, Lin Xiao's body temperature continued to rise as his face became even redder. A split second later, he suddenly opened his mouth and spit out a mouthful of filthy black blood. Little brother, are you all right? As she saw Lin Xiao unexpectedly vomit blood, Lu Yan hurriedly rushed over with tears in her eyes. Lin Xiao was the backbone of this family. If something happened to him, what would happen to her and the children? As Lin Xiao gasped for air, the redness in his cheeks swiftly retreated. In place of it, a healthy reddish glow surfaced. My injuries. As Lin Xiao stared in disbelief at his palms, all of a sudden, he could feel that all the injuries that have been accumulated over the years in his body, had mostly been swept away. 
The feeling of his channels once again free from any obstruction refreshed him, and all his internal organs surged once again with power and vigor. This sensation was something he had not experienced for a long time. Lu Yan, my injuries, my injures. Lin Xiao trembled with excitement as he grabbed tightly onto Lu Yan's hands. A wide smile of delight filled his usually stern face. Lu Yan's regained her wits as she witnessed the emotion in Lin Xiao's eyes. A look of disbelief surfaced on her face as she asked, Have you recovered? Yes, yes, almost, almost. Lu Xiao had become so emotional that he lost the ability to string words together. In the end, he could resist no longer and he tightly hugged Lu Yan while letting out a joyous, heartfelt laughter. Contained within his laughter were sounds of relief after the long years of torment. During these years, his progress has stagnated due to his internal injuries. Even though he pretended to give a strong front on the outside, anyone could tell that the person who was once the most impressive member of the Lin family, was gradually replaced by a rotting husk. However, if there is a will, there is a way. After all these years, his injuries which had hindered him to no end and showed no signs of recovery were finally going away. As he looked at his jubilant parents, Lin Dong rubbed at the corners of his eyes, a wide smile forming on his face. The effects of the stone talisman had vastly exceeded his expectations. He knew that if father drunk the medicine a few more times in the future, eradicating the injuries and making a full recovery was no longer an impossible dream. And when his injuries have healed and recovered completely, Lin Xiao's strength will increase by leaps and bounds. As Lin Dong heaved a sigh of relief in his heart, he pulled King Tan, who was smiling joyously as well, and slowly left the room. Creak. As he gently closed the door, a smile floated on Lin Dong's face. He softly murmured to himself, Father, rest assured. You will definitely become the pillar of support for the Lin family once again. Chapter 14. Grade 5 Yin Energy. The red liquid from the stone talisman was more effective than expected in treating Lin Xiao's wounds. Within five days, the pale expression that had almost become a part of Lin Xiao's normal look, had gradually faded. In its place was a strong vitality, which had once again surfaced within Lin Xiao's body. The fact that Lin Xiao injuries were gradually recovering was the most delightful news in their family. No matter what, Lin Xiao was the main pillar of support for the family, if he were to fall, the rest of them would definitely suffer. As Lin Xiao's injuries recovered, the long festering resentment in his heart also gradually disappeared. Radiant smiles began to spring up frequently on Lin Xiao's usually stern face. Anyone could tell that his heart was also filled with many happy emotions. Lin Dong was naturally delighted to witness the changes occurring in Lin Xiao. In turn, it caused him to feel more energetic when he trained. Over this period of time, the red liquid in the rock pool had also completely dissipated. As such, Lin Dong had to start dripping red liquid back into the rock pool. Thankfully, each drop was able to sustain him for more than 10 days. Combined with the fact that the stone talisman produced a drop of red liquid every five days, he was still able to maintain his current training pace. Thanks to the stone talisman and his own exceedingly hard-working nature, Lin Dong's training progress was very rapid. Within these past few days, the itching pain from his bones became more and more intense. The sensation was akin to having numerous tiny ants gnawing away at his bones. Even though the sensation was horrible, this was definitely great news for Lin Dong. He understood that this only happened when one was about to complete bone refining. Therefore this clearly implied that his current stage of training had extended from his skin to his bones. When the itching pain finally reaches its climax, his bones would have achieved the initial level of strengthening, at which, he would have officially advanced to tempered body fifth layer. Of course, it took time to strengthen one's body. Even with aid from the stone talisman, it would still be approximately a month before he could complete this step. Even though time was running out, Lin Dong clearly enjoyed the feeling of the strength within his body increasing every day. At the same time, he also drilled to become more and more proficient at penetrating fist. Thanks to guidance from the mysterious glowing shadow, 
The Nine Echoes penetrating fist has been brought to the point of perfection by the Lin Dong. When he executed the moves, it felt extremely natural and also gave him quite an imposing image. As for the Tenth Echo, after the constant practice over these past few days, Lin Dong was gradually becoming better at it. At times, he could faintly hear the last echo sounding out from within his body. Even though it could not match up to the deep and low echo produced by the glowing shadow, it was still a pretty remarkable achievement. Pa pa pa. In the vast empty fields of the Lin family, a shadow danced like an agile monkey, as a series of crisp clear echoes sounded out in the forests. Six echoes. As he finished his moves, six echoes sounded out. Good. Not bad at all. Lin Xiao nodded, satisfied with Lin Dong's performance. The fact that he could generate six echoes within a month of training, was indeed a truly astonishing achievement. Hey hey. Lin Dong cheekily smiled, yet in his heart he secretly mused. Would Lin Xiao faint instantly if he knew Lin Dong could actually produce nine or even ten echoes? Father, you seem well recently. Have you recovered from your injuries? Lin Dong asked with a smile as he wiped the sweat off his forehead. Hmm, almost there. If Lin Dong had asked this question half a month ago, Lin Xiao's face would darken immediately. However, right now he answered instantly with a merry look on his face. Upon hearing these words, Lin Dong cheerily remarked, So, father should be able to return to heavenly Yuan level soon. Lin Xiao shook his head, as he let out a sigh. With a pained smile on his face, he replied, It's not going to be so easy. After all, I have suffered from such serious injuries all these years. Even though my injuries have largely healed, there may still be some after effects. Therefore, whether I can return to heavenly Yuan level, still depends on luck. Even though he said these words, Lin Xiao had a fairly large amount of faith in himself. After all, he was once the man who was hailed as a genius in the Lin family. All these years, his progress had stagnated only because of his injuries. Once his injuries were healed, there was no telling how far he could progress. Lin Dong nodded his head in understanding. He knew that it would not be easy for his father to reclaim his place among the elites in Qingyang town. Father, two days ago, I found this object in the woods. Can you tell me what it is? Lin Dong inquired as he quickly took out a white bean-sized pearl and passed it to Lin Xiao. At first, Lin Xiao did not pay much heed to this request as he casually took the item from Lin Dong and glanced at it. As he was about to dismiss his son's find, he suddenly felt a stream of pure yin energy gushing from the pearl, causing his expression to change dramatically. Grade 5 Yin Energy Lin Xiao foolishly stared at the seemingly ordinary white pearl as shock surfaced in his eyes. Grade 5 Yin Energy Lin Dong curiously asked. As he was still far from reaching earthly Yuan level, he did not know much about Yin Energy. Where did you get this from? Lin Xiao looked Lin Dong in the eye and asked him excitedly. I picked it up in the mountains. Lin Dong muttered. Though he had complete faith in his father, he had the feeling that if news of this miraculous stone talisman got out, it may lead to the destruction of his entire clan. In response, Lin Xiao was shocked. Forcing a smile, he nodded his head. After all, he realized that it would be too greedy to ask for a large supply of this invaluable treasure. Father, what exactly is grade 5 yin energy? Lin Dong asked again. Between heaven and earth, yin and yang energy, can be classified into nine grades. Grade 1 being the lowest, while grade 9 being the highest. For most earthly Yuan practitioners, when they absorb yin energy from between heaven and earth, it is at best grade 2 or grade 3. In the past, the yin energy that I absorbed was merely grade 3. Lin Xiao replied as he tapped into his memories. Based on my judgment, the yin energy contained within this yin pearl should be at least grade 5. For some earthly Yuan practitioners, this pearl holds a highly seductive appeal. Earthly Yuan practitioners absorb yin energy, while heavenly Yuan practitioners absorb yang energy. When the yin and yang energy synergize, the Yuan Dan will be formed. Lin Xiao continued, as he licked his lips. You might not know this, 
but even within the Yuan Dan stage, there are different ranks. To describe in detail, there are a total of nine different ranks, termed as the nine stars of Yuan Dan. A one star Yuan Dan is the lowest level, whereas a nine star Yuan Dan. I have never heard of anyone in the Great Yan Empire that possesses this quality of Yuan Dan. Of course, it might be because of my seclusion. And the final quality of one's Yuan Dan will hinge upon the grade of yin yang energy that one absorbs during the earthly Yuan and heavenly Yuan stages. Thus, the earthly Yuan and heavenly Yuan stages could be considered as building blocks of sorts for the Yuan Dan stage. Upon hearing these words, Lin Dong was stunned as he had never realized how important yin yang energy was. If word of this yin pearl got out, it would definitely attract the attention of many earthly Yuan practitioners. Hey, after all, grade 5 yin energy is truly a rare find, Lin Xiao remarked. He he, since father is at earthly Yuan level, please take that yin pearl and use it. Lin Dong cheekily replied. Upon hearing these words, Lin Xiao's slightly aged face reddened. Letting out a dry cough, he immediately kept the yin pearl without acting coy. After all, the yin energy contained within was indeed very vital for him. Lin Dong silently smiled as he saw Lin Xiao keep the yin pearl. Though soon after, his eyebrows knitted together. This yin pearl was condensed from the chilling cold that emerged from King Tan's body. If the chilling cold that emerged was already at grade 5, then how powerful was the chilling cold that resided within King Tan's body? Such a terrifying chilling cold. Exactly what is going on with King Tan's body? Chapter 15. Tempered Body Fifth Layer. A hot month of summer passed by in the blink of an eye. During this month, Lin Dong continued to secretly add the red liquid from the stone talisman into Lin Xiao's medicine. Thanks to its miraculous properties, Lin Xiao's injuries had completely recovered, and his previously depressed and pale-faced self had in turn faded into oblivion. During this period of time, Lin Dong had likewise achieved remarkable progress in his own training. Thanks to the red liquid from the stone talisman, the itching pain in his bones kept growing in intensity. Lin Dong could clearly feel that amidst the itching pain, the tenacity and strength of his body were rapidly increasing. This sensation delighted Lin Dong because he knew that he was swiftly advancing to tempered body fifth layer. Huff, huff. In the cool and refreshing mountain cave, a shadow firmly supported his body using only both of his thumbs, while his feet hovered off the surface of the ground. He relied solely on the strength of his thumbs to support his entire body as he moved his body up and down using his arms, what we would liken to a push-up. Sweat already drenched his clothes, yet new waves of sweat continuously dripped onto the floor, forming a giant puddle. Thud! Every muscle in his body was being fully utilized. Approximately half an hour later, Lin Dong finally collapsed in exhaustion. As he laid on the floor, hurriedly trying to catch his breath, an extreme aching sensation slowly spread throughout his body. Splash! Lin Dong clenched his teeth, as he struggled to lift his body and overcome the pain from the overwhelming exhaustion. Without taking off his clothes, he weakly fell into the rock pool. As Lin Dong plopped into the rock pool, Light red bubbles surfaced immediately and tunneled into Lin Dong's body through its pores. Lin Dong floated lazily in the rock pool, the current him only had the strength to gasp for breath. It felt as if every cell in his body was protesting against him. However, these protests instantly turned into greed as his cells hungrily devoured the light red liquid that burrowed into his body. Lin Dong closed his eyes as he enjoyed this nourishing sensation. Just as he stretched his body, it suddenly began to shake uncontrollably. A sharp pain reverberated from within his bones and swiftly spread out to his entire body. This sudden pain caused Lin Dong to clench his jaw in agony. Yet a look of excitement surfaced in his eyes. Breakthrough. This sensation was exactly what Lin Dong was anticipating. His chance for a breakthrough had finally arrived. The pain swiftly spread throughout his body. It was akin to someone drilling through every bone in his body all at once. However, in that instance, Lin Dong could clearly feel every bone in his body gradually becoming stronger and tougher. 
The sharp pain left as quickly as it arrived. In less than five minutes, the pain gradually weakened. After the sharp pain dissipated, Lin Dong felt spirited and full of energy. As he leapt out of the rock pool, he stretched his body, causing a crisp crack to sound out from within. Right now, he seemed to have grown taller and looked much fitter than before. Pa 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 pa. As soon as he landed, Lin Dong immediately executed his familiar set of penetrating fist moves as a series of crisp sound clearly ricocheted in the mountain cave. From the faint echoes, one could tell that the force behind his fists seemed to have grown to a whole new level. Thump! As the ninth echo sounded out, Lin Dong smashed his fist onto a huge boulder. Immediately, a few cracks appeared on the boulder. It seems that both his strength and power had been greatly enhanced after reaching tempered body fifth layer. Truly incomparable to the fourth layer. Upon witnessing this scene, Lin Dong grinned. Just as he was about to rest, a thought sprung up in his mind. Maintaining his form, he closed his eyes and tried to enjoy the mysterious sensation surging through his bones. As he enjoyed the sensation, Lin Dong's body adjusted and moved in conjunction with the flow of energy coursing through his body. Even on the skin under his sleeves, tiny ripples started to surface. Every muscle in his body moved in unison as waves of force surged forth and gathered at Lin Dong's arm. Pa! When the waves of force reached his fist, Lin Dong's eyes suddenly flew open as an extremely tiny echo quietly vibrated out from within his body. This echo was not loud yet it was packed with an immense force. Bang! As the force was finally about to arrive at the tip of his fist, Lin Dong took in a deep breath. Releasing a low shout, he violently punched the solid boulder before him. A low echo sounded out as the cracks began to spread all across the boulder. Finally, it exploded with a massive bang. Such fearsome might! Lin Dong stared at the rubble which was once a huge boulder, a look of disbelief on his face. The force displayed was virtually comparable to that of lower category level 3 martial arts. So this is the true power of the 10th echo from Penetrating Fist. Moments later, Lin Dong finally regained his senses. A look of excitement bubbled in his eyes. This was the first time he properly executed the 10th echo. He now understood why it was so difficult to master the 10th echo. It possessed such a terrifying strength. According to Lin Dong's calculations, if he encountered Lin Hong now, he could rely on this penetrating fist tenth echo to fight to a standstill with the latter. Even in the Lin family, level 3 martial arts were rare to come by. Plus among the current younger generation, there was no one who was capable enough to learn them. Hey hey, Lin Hong, just you wait. As he recalled the vile manner in which Lin Hong casually assumed King Tan to be his possession, Lin Dong involuntarily tightened his fist. With a sneer, he cast his gaze towards the rock pool as his eyebrows knitted tightly together. Over this period of time, he realized that the effects of the diluted red liquid from the stone talisman had begun to wear off and was now not as potent as before. Seems like the diluted red liquid is no longer able to satisfy my demands. If I want to quickly advance to tempered body sixth layer, I may have to use the red liquid directly. Tempered body sixth layer can be considered as the most important checkpoint for a new practitioner at the initial stages. At the sixth layer, one can finally refine a Yuan power seed. Once that is accomplished, one can then be considered as a true practitioner. Therefore, the significance of this step cannot be overlooked. As Lin Dong's expression turned serious, he took out a transparent bottle from his sleeves. It was already half filled with the crimson red liquid from the stone talisman. As he gazed at the bountiful amount of red liquid, the corners of Lin Dong's mouth finally turned upwards to form a smile of contentment. Chapter 16. Eight Desolations Palm. Ever since Lin Dong successfully made a breakthrough to the fifth layer, his crazy training speed started to tone down. Although he still had help from the stone talisman Ling liquid, he understood that too much excess will only bring harm upon oneself. Thus he decided to moderate his pace. Consequently, over the next few days, Lin Dong seemed more relaxed than before. Whenever he had time, he would practice his almost perfectly mastered penetrating fist. Having previously grasped the secret behind it, 
Lin Dong was now finally able to smoothly execute the tenth echo of Penetrating Fist. However, he continued to keep this a secret. After all, this was his secret finishing move. After relaxing at this gradual pace for a few days, Lin Dong finally resumed his intensive training. However, this time, he did not return to soak in the rock pool because it did not bring much benefit to him. In fact, Lin Dong planned to start directly consuming the red liquid from the stone talisman. Lin Dong had pondered for a day before he finally decided on this course of action. The stone talisman Ling liquid was extremely rich in Ling Qi. Based on Lin Dong's calculations, he reasoned that the degree of Ling Qi within was greater than that of a normal grade 3 elixir. Thus, if one was not careful, such a potent Ling Qi may instead do more harm than good. However, he had little alternatives left, if he did not use this method. This is because the diluted stone talisman Ling liquid already had little effect on him. Furthermore, there was only three months left before the family competition and Lin Dong desperately needed to advance to tempered body sixth layer before that. Only then, could he secure his victory over Lin Hong. He knew that if Lin Hong managed to obtain a good result, he would definitely ask grandfather for an engagement with King Tan. When that time comes, should Lin Xiao disagree, it would definitely cause some commotion. This was a scenario that Lin Dong did not wish to see play out. Thus, to put an end to this matter, the only way was for him utterly humiliate Lin Hong until he lost all face to make that request. However, although Lin Dong extremely disliked Lin Hong, he had to admit that the latter was indeed skilled. Lin Hong had already advanced to tempered body sixth layer a few months back, who knew how much he had improved since then. Therefore, Lin Dong knew that he must be thoroughly prepared. With all these issues in mind, consuming the stone talisman Ling liquid to boost his training was clearly the only option. Gulp. In his room, Lin Dong stared at the bowl of crimson red liquid before him. As he gritted his teeth, he took in a deep breath before he immediately lifted the bowl, emptied its contents into his mouth with a gulu gulu sound. As the crimson red liquid entered his body, Lin Dong's cheeks instantly turned fiery red. White steam started to emerge from the top of his head before spiraling upwards. Glup glup. Lin Dong's teeth chatted uncontrollably. The crimson red liquid that he had poured into his body seemed to have transformed into lava as it flowed inside his body. An intolerable burning sensation struck Lin Dong in every part of his body that the lava passed. Both his arms hugged his body as he lay paralyzed on the ground. As he curled up in pain, he tried desperately to resist and endure the burning sensation in his body. Within the room, a figure thrashed about in pain, rolling back and forth on the ground. His constrained gasp sounded a little hoarse as he was afraid that if he shouted too loudly, Lin Xiao and the rest be alerted. The inhumane torment lasted for a full ten minutes before it gradually receded. As the last wisps of burning pain faded from his body, Lin Dong's trembling self slowly calmed down. He gasped deeply a few times, before stretching out to lie powerlessly on the floor. As he laid face flat on the ground, within his body, a sudden cooling medicinal effect appeared. This medicinal effect quickly infused itself into his bones, causing him to faintly feel slightly numb, as if something had entered into the deepest part of his bones. Refining force has entered my bones. When he became aware of the numbness that spread out from the deepest part of his bones, Lin Dong's mind abruptly jolted. What he was experiencing now, implied that he was slowly advancing towards tempered body sixth layer. When the force channels merged with the bone marrow, a Yuan power seed will be born in the bone marrow. The pain was worth it. Lin Dong wiped the sweat from his face as he chuckled. Under normal circumstances, it will take at least two or three months before the refining force will enter one's bones. Yet the stone talisman spiritual liquid had shortened the time needed by an insane amount. Although consuming the liquid had caused him a tremendous amount of pain, comparing the rewards that he had gained, all the pain now seemed insignificant. The medicinal effect will linger in my body for a few days, I can't waste this opportunity. 
Time to start a hyper-intensive training regime. Lin Dong crawled up from the ground while he could feel the lingering medicinal effect of the stone talisman spiritual liquid in his body. This medicinal effect was quite valuable. Hence he knew that he must not waste any of it. After all, he had a limited amount of stone talisman spiritual liquid, and it was good for him to be frugal when using it. As he wriggled his body, Lin Dong let out a satisfied grin. He pushed open the door and exited the house in order to proceed with his daily training. Since he had tasted the benefits from directly consuming the stone talisman Ling liquid, Lin Dong decided that he will consume one drop of stone talisman Ling liquid every four days. A drop every four days. This rate of consumption caused Lin Dong's heart to feel somewhat pained. Although he did not know just exactly how valuable the stone talisman Ling liquid, he knew it definitely would not be lower than grade 3 elixirs. And, consuming a grade 3 elixir every four days was truly lavish and it was probably something only a handful of people in Qingyang town could afford to. Of course, though he consumed lavishly, the rewards was indeed bountiful. In a short half a month's time, Lin Dong could feel as if something was burning in the deepest part of his bones. This sensation was like something was about to be born in his bone marrow. And when Lin Dong was taking a break from tempered body training, he once again went to disturb Lin Xiao in order to get the latter to teach him more martial arts. After several months of practicing penetrating fist, Lin Dong had completely mastered it. Yet he was hardly satisfied. Thanks to the miraculous powers of the stone talisman, martial arts were like a shortcut to becoming strong, as even a normal martial art would transform into an extraordinary one under the guidance of stone talisman glowing shadow. Hence, for Lin Dong, it was definitely beneficial for him to learn more martial arts. However, Lin Xiao held a contrasting view. To him, martial arts were important, but the most important factor was still the strength of one's body. He was worried that Lin Dong will neglect training his body if he focuses too much on learning martial arts. In that case, it would not be worth it at all. However, despite his concerns, when Lin Dong executed the seventh echo of penetrating fist, the former was finally cornered. Lin Xiao looked at Lin Dong with a strange gaze for a good part of the day, before he eventually forced himself to admit that his son had an affinity with martial arts that even surpassed his own. After convincing Lin Xiao with his performance, Lin Dong successfully obtained a set of martial arts from the former. 8 Desolations Palm, Lower Category Level 2 Martial Arts Lin Dong was very satisfied because he knew that this set of palm techniques was the same martial arts that Lin Hong primarily focused on. Lin Dong was very eager to see the expression on Lin Hong's face once he realized that Lin Dong's Eight Desolations Palm had immensely surpassed his during the family competition. In the quiet night, Lin Dong once again drifted into the dark spiritual domain. This time, when Lin Dong appeared in the dark space, two glowing shadows also blinked into existence. As he gazed at the familiar palm technique, the second glowing shadow was executing, an impatient smile formed on Lin Dong's face. He was eager to know, just how much of an improvement will this lower category level 2 martial art experience be? in the hands of the glowing shadow. Chapter 17. Scorpion Tiger. In the darkness of the spiritual domain, two glowing shadows seemed to dance in pace as they displayed their respective set of palm and fist techniques. Lin Dong's eyes were tightly locked onto the new glowing shadow as the latter demonstrated the eight desolations palm that he had just learned from Lin Xiao today. This stone talisman is truly magical. I guess it draws from my memories and projects the things I have learnt in a unique manner. Furthermore, during the process, it perfects the moves. Lin Dong was stumped at how incredulous it sounded. However, although these mystical powers were truly unimaginable, right now, he could only accept the facts that were presented before of him. Since he could not unravel the mysteries behind the stone talisman, he decided to focus on his training instead. After all, the stone talisman did not harm him, so why should he bother racking his brains over this issue? Putting his thoughts into action, Lin Dong fully focused his attention onto the Eight Desolations Palm, the glowing shadow now displaying. The Eight Desolations Palm was noted for its ferocity. Though it looked simple, 
hidden within each move was a monstrous force. Engrossed in the glowing figure as it executed eight desolations palm again and again, Lin Dong's brows gradually furrowed more and more as he concentrated. He realized that the eight desolations palm of the glowing figure actually melded the forceful blows with traces of gentle strokes. As strength and gentleness twined together in perfect harmony, the power to devastate any opponent was born. By making a few tiny adjustments, one can actually add traces of gentle strokes into the aggressive eight desolations palm. This stone talisman is truly magical. Lin Dong marveled at the stone talisman. Though these martial arts merely belonged to the lower category, it was not impossible for some truly skilled practitioners to refine and improve them. However, the stone talisman was not a person. Combining gentle and hard strokes will increase the attacking power of eight desolations palm. In fact, if utilized correctly, its strength may even rival that of the tenth echo of penetrating fist. Though, this will definitely be an uphill battle to accomplish. Of course, Lin Dong was long ago mentally prepared for this thus he did not feel disheartened. Instead, a fervor grew in his eyes that were glued onto the glowing shadow as he moved into the stance of eight desolations palm and began to practice. Like sand that slipped through one's fingers, time passed by swiftly as he trained and drilled. In the blink of an eye, another half a month passed. During these past few months, everyone in the Lin family was training intensively. Even the usual troublemakers were forced by their respective parents to train hard. After all, the Lin family competition in two months' time was a very important event for every member of the Lin family. If one is able to distinguish himself in this competition, he will not only be given the best treatment, but his parents' status in the Lin family will also skyrocket. Therefore, many parents hope that their children will perform well during the competition. In this half a month's time, the burning sensation deep within Lin Dong's bones blazed hotter and hotter. However, the Yuan power seed continued to elude him, leading him to feel slightly resigned. Nonetheless, he took comfort in his practice of eight desolations palm. Under the guidance of the glowing shadow, he had come close to mastering the eight desolations palm. Even though he was unable to combine the gentle and hard strokes perfectly, when he executed eight desolations palm, the force that he produced was still very impressive. Furthermore, Lin Sios had also made a complete recovery. After a few days of cultivation, he also succeeded in absorbing the yin energy from the yin pearl. Even though Lin Dong was not able to pick up anything from his father's outer appearance, he could faintly sense that Lin Sio's strength was growing by leaps and bounds. Based on his speed, it was only a matter of time before he is restored to heavenly Yuan level. In the midst of the dense forest, Lin Dong stood atop a large tree as he gazed down upon the forest. Traces of blood dotted his body as a slightly bloody scent floated his near vicinity. Naturally, this fresh blood did not belong to Lin Dong, but rather to the wild beasts that he had hunted. Over this past half a month, Lin Dong could feel that something was about to be born in his bone marrow. However, no matter how hard he trained, he was unable to break through the final barrier. In desperation, Lin Dong decided to test his skills in the wild as he hoped that his Yuan power seed will be born during a real battle. Furthermore, it also provided him with a good opportunity to test his mettle. As he was unable to find anyone to engage in actual combat with, he could only turn towards the wild beasts. Over these past few days, several wild beasts have already met their maker at Lin Dong's hands. Furthermore, after overcoming his nerves in the initial fights, Lin Dong was now used to killing these wild beasts. Movement. Lin Dong suddenly froze. A split second later, he jumped off the tree and shot off like an arrow. However, he abruptly stopped as he stared at the fearsome wild beast in some distance away. Scorpion Tiger. This was a brown creature, whose body resembled that of a tiger. However, its tail was razor sharp and looked similar to a scorpion. Scorpion Tiger was a savage creature covered in fur as hard as metal, an extremely difficult adversary. Therefore, Lin Dong briefly thought about retreating after he discovered his new opponent. However, just as Lin Dong saw the scorpion tiger, the latter also discovered his presence. 
The creature immediately turned its scarlet eyes towards Lin Dong, releasing a loud roar as it stood up. Just as the creature stood up, from the corner of his eyes, Lin Dong spotted a crystal clear dark red fruit, below a tree that was right behind the creature. He could faintly smell a light fragrance emitted by the fruit. Is that, a grade 3 elixir, crystal vermilion fruit? As the crystal vermilion fruit reflected in his eyes, Lin Dong immediately gasped in a breath of cold air. To think that he would encounter a grade 3 elixir here, it seems like today was really his lucky day. Lin Dong had seen this crystal vermilion fruit before in Qingyang town, where it was being sold at an exorbitant price. Upon this accidental discovery, Lin Dong's footsteps paused mid-step. Seeing this, a murderous intent flashed across the scorpion tiger's eyes. Releasing a low growl, it leapt towards Lin Dong. At this sight, Lin Dong hastily retreated, only to see the creature trampling over a tree, which had a girth as thick as his arm. Thump! As Lin Dong side stepped behind the creature and threw a few blows in succession onto its body. The strength behind his blows sent the creature flying onto its back. However, it did not look like it took any damage. Such a tough hide. At this scene, Lin Dong froze. He knew that he had underestimated this creature. Roar! The scorpion tiger immediately jumped back on its feet and then leaped into the air as it attempted to stomp on Lin Dong's chest with its thick and powerful tiger hoof. Pa pa pa! A strong musky smell assaulted his senses. Faced with such a ferocious incoming attack, Lin Dong did not dare to take any chances. Instantly, ten echoes from penetrating fists sounded out as he delivered the final punch to counter the creature's attack. Boom! Fist and hoof collided in mid-air. Immediately, a large and small figure were blown away in opposite directions. As Lin Dong crashed onto a tree, fresh blood spilled out from the corner of his mouth. Just as rage boiled in his body, he suddenly felt an intense burning sensation. Amidst the burning sensation, Lin Dong could feel that a mysterious power was being born in his bone marrow. Yuan Power Seed. Lin Dong's body stiffened. His mouth hung open in shock as his body started to tremble uncontrollably in excitement. To his amazement, his intense battle with the scorpion tiger was the trigger for the birth of the Yuan Power Seed that had constantly eluded him. Chapter 18. Yuan Power Seed. From the depths of his bone marrow, a bizarre energy slowly flowed as an incredulous force gradually spread out from his bone marrow and started coursing through his body, eventually encompassing every part of his body. Is this the Yuan Power Seed? A look of joy sprung up in Lin Dong's eyes. All of a sudden, it was as if the whole world had brightened up. He could even feel a mystical force flowing through the surrounding air which greatly resembled the Yuan Power Seed hidden in his bones. Yuan Power. Lin Dong stood up and could not help but release a hearty laughter. After such a long period of hard training plus the aid from the stone talisman Ling Liquid, he had finally refined a Yuan Power Seed in his body today. Right now, he had officially stepped into the realm of a true practitioner. Roar! As Lin Dong laughed, the scorpion tiger nearby continued to stare at Lin Dong with its scarlet eyes. This time, it could faintly sense a familiar scent coming from the latter. However, this was not enough to deter it. With a low growl, it opened its bloody mouth and charged towards Lin Dong. Sensing the incoming murderous intent, Lin Dong lifted his head. However, in his eyes, the movements of the scorpion tiger felt much slower than before, allowing him to instantly grasp the attack trajectory of the creature. Is this the power of tempered body sixth layer? Lin Dong's eyes lit up as he gently stepped to the side and avoided the creature's pounce. Lightly extending his right palm, a weak light flashed as his palm chopped heavily towards the scorpion tiger's head. Chop! A deep and low sound rang out and scalding fresh blood sprayed into the air. Lin Dong's palm had directly chopped through the scorpion tiger's thick hide and decapitated it. The scorpion tiger's body stiffened before it landed on the ground with a thud. Fresh blood splattered onto the ground, dyeing it crimson red. Yuan power, so strong. As Lin Dong stared at the corpse of the scorpion tiger he had killed in one blow, he involuntarily sucked in a breath of cold air. Is this the strength of Yuan power? 
No wonder people often say that the fifth and sixth layers are worlds apart. Thankfully, I did not fight it out with Lin Hong previously. Or else, I would definitely suffer. Lin Dong carefully examined his palm and picked up some leaves to clean off the bloodstains. His heart was still filled with trepidation as this was his first time witnessing the formidable Yuan power. Lin Dong kicked the corpse to one side and arrived at place where the crystal vermilion fruit was in two strides. As he stared at the sparkling exterior of the fruit, an envious glint surfaced in his eyes. The price of this grade 3 elixir was rather high. Normally, one would only find them within the ancient deep forests. To be able to discover a stalk here today, he must really be blessed by Lady Luck. After Lin Dong carefully examined the fruit, he then stretched forward to grab it. However, just as he touched the crystal vermilion fruit, a faint warm sensation suddenly emitted from the stone talisman at his chest. In response to the sudden change in the stone talisman, Lin Dong fell into a daze. Soon after, he decided to remove the stone talisman and hold it on his palm. Ever since he advanced to tempered body sixth layer, his senses had sharpened considerably. Hence, he could indistinctly feel that the stone talisman was currently releasing a weak suction force. Thanks to this suction force, faint streams of energy were pouring into the stone talisman. The stone talisman Ling liquid is perhaps crystallized from the energy that the stone talisman absorbs. As this concept formed in his head, Lin Dong thought for a while before gazing at the crystal vermilion fruit in his other palm. He suspected that the sudden change in the stone talisman was likely caused by this crystal vermilion fruit. Holding on to the crystal vermilion fruit, Lin Dong hesitated for a moment before he gently brought the crystal vermilion fruit near to the stone talisman. However, just as the crystal vermilion fruit was inches away from the stone talisman, a powerful suction force abruptly emerged from the stone talisman. Instantly, the crystal vermilion fruit flew towards the stone talisman and mysteriously disappeared on contact. Lin Dong was stunned by this sight. Did the stone talisman just swallow the crystal vermilion fruit? Can the stone talisman eat? Just as Lin Dong regained his wits, he suddenly noticed the crevice on the stone talisman flicker with a vermilion glow. Soon after, the glow intensified until eventually, it condensed into two bean-sized vermilion pills. As they tumbled down, Lin Dong quickly swiped him up. Catching the lukewarm pills in his hand, Lin Dong could faintly feel that these pills contained a pure and highly concentrated energy. In fact, this energy was even more potent than that of the stone talisman Ling liquid. These pills should have been condensed from the crystal vermilion fruit. From the pills, Lin Dong could smell the same fragrance he had smelt from the crystal vermilion fruit. In addition to the scene that had just played before his eyes, it was not difficult to guess how the pills were produced. It looks like Stone Talisman is not only able to assimilate the energy from heaven and earth, but it can also absorb elixirs and refine them into pills or liquid medicine of a greater purity. Excitement surfaced in Lin Dong's eyes as he contemplated this new discovery. One crystal vermilion fruit was refined into two pills. Furthermore, the medicinal properties of each pill seemed to be more potent than an individual crystal vermilion fruit. It was as if the stone talisman had the ability to upgrade the effects of elixirs to its peak. I must obtain more elixirs. The energy in these pills seemed to be even stronger than the stone talisman Ling liquid. If I utilize these pills, I can definitely accelerate my training progress. As he imagined the potential it held, Lin Dong's could not help but tighten his fists. He kept the stone talisman properly before he sped away. After discovering this miraculous property of the stone talisman, Lin Dong was extremely excited for a few days. However, his excitement gradually subsided, as he realized that things were not as rosy as he had imagined. Firstly, he did not have enough elixirs for the stone talisman to refine. Even though Lin Xiao had recovered from his condition, he still refused any resources from the Lin family. Therefore, Lin Dong could only rely upon himself to look for elixirs. Furthermore, when Lin Dong tried to feed two grade one elixirs to the stone talisman, to his surprise, only two flimsy beans were produced. After a few more experiments, 
he understood that if he wanted to produce pills like before, he needed to use a grade 3 elixir or better. However, just where was he going to find these rare grade 3 elixirs? He got extremely lucky the last time. It was almost impossible for lightning to strike the same spot twice. Faced with these huge obstacles, Lin Dong was forced to temporarily suppress the greed in his heart. Right now, he could only hope to excel at the upcoming family competition, so that he could finally utilize the vast resources of the Lin family, and all his previous troubles would be swept away. As he suppressed the extravagant greed in his heart, Lin Dong decided to refocus his energy back to his training. Even though he had advanced to tempered body sixth layer, he knew that consuming the stone talisman Ling liquid directly still held significant benefits for him. Therefore, as time passed, Lin Dong could clearly feel that that the Yuan power seed coursing through his bone marrow was gradually seeping out from his bones. And when the Yuan power finally breaks out of his bones and flows into the channels within his body, he would have reached the first step of tempered body seventh layer, refining Yuan into the channels. Of course, even with the help of the stone talisman Ling liquid, it would still take some time before he could reach that step. As Lin Dong's strength continued to grow by leaps and bounds, the hot summer period gradually ended, heralding the most important upcoming family competition. Chapter 19. Breakthrough Before the Family Competition. Time flows like water. In a blink of an eye, the summer heat had dissipated and was replaced by cool breezes that blew across the lands. Even though the heat was gone, the fire within the Lin family members only burned hotter and hotter. This was because, the most important family competition was about to begin. In the dense forest, a shadow flickered, as a set of fist techniques were being perfectly executed, flowing as naturally as the clouds in the sky. A series of crisp echoes constantly reverberated in the forest. Just as the eight echo sounded out, the figure abruptly opened his fists into palms as drafts of wind followed behind each forceful thrust, blowing away all the leaves on the ground. In his hands, the two completely different palm and fist techniques had become exceptionally swift and nimble. His performance clearly demonstrated his complete mastery of these techniques and the fact that he had drilled them countless times before. As the display ended, the figure also withdrew his fists. Excellent. Just as Lin Dong stopped, a content voice sounded out nearby. Immediately, he saw Lin Xiao approaching with a wide smile on his face. Beside him, King Tan followed while secretly winking as she made eye contact with Lin Dong, an extremely adorable sight. Not bad, in less than four months, you have managed to reach penetrating fist eight echo. Moreover, you have also became highly proficient with the eight desolations palm. This is indeed a remarkable achievement. Lin Dong humbly scratched his head, yet in his heart he cheekily smiled. He had yet to reveal all his cards in that display. Eight echoes was an easy task for him who was already extremely proficient in ten echoes. As for eight desolations palm, after two months of intensive training, he reached the step of coupling strength and gentleness and its destructive potential definitely rivaled that of penetrating fist tenth echo. By possessing these two powerful signature moves, Lin Dong was probably unrivaled among the younger generation in the Lin family. The family competition will be held tomorrow. Since you are now tempered body fifth layer, and equipped with penetrating fist and eight desolations palm, it should not be difficult for you to achieve a decent result. For the nine layers of tempered body, only the fourth layer was particularly easy to observe. Beyond that, the changes normally occur internally. Therefore, unless one is carefully inspected, one's level would not be known. Even though Lin Dong had already advanced to tempered body sixth layer two months ago, he wanted to keep the stone talisman secret so he did not tell anyone about his frightening training progress. As such, even his father, Lin Xiao, believed that Lin Dong was only at tempered body fifth layer. Moreover, his father never suspected a thing, as it was already an outstanding achievement to rise from tempered body second layer to fifth layer within half a year. Father, have you recovered your strength? Lin Dong suddenly asked as he looked at Lin Xiao's face. Upon hearing these words, Lin Xiao let out a chuckle. As he gently ruffled Lin Dong's hair, he murmured, all these years, 
you, your mother and your sister have suffered immensely because of my illness. Rest assured, I will make sure this kind of thing never happens again. As Lin Dong gazed at Lin Xiao, he could vividly feel that the decadence within Lin Xiao had completely disappeared. Right now, Lin Xiao resembled his old majestic self, except he seemed a bit more calm and reserved. Lin Dong lightly nodded his head, as he began to tear. All these years, his biggest dream was for his father to pull himself together. Thankfully, he finally succeeded. Hey, it's getting late. You can stop training today. Rest well tonight in preparation for the family competition tomorrow. Lin Xiao said as he patted Lin Dong's shoulder before turning to leave. As he gazed at Lin Xiao's back, Lin Dong's fists tightened as he muttered in a low voice, Father, rest assured. Tomorrow, I will shock the whole family. The son that you taught will definitely be the best. Big brother Lin Dong, please be cautious if you encounter Lin Hong tomorrow. According to Lin Chang Chang, Lin Hong has already advanced to tempered body seventh layer. King Tan who was standing at one corner, came up to warn Lin Dong right after Lin Xiao departed, worry on her face. Tempered body seventh layer, Lin Dong was momentarily stunned, though soon after, he chuckled. It seemed like Lin Hong's father has really spared no expense in order to ensure that Lin Hong excelled in the family competition. However, so what if he is a tempered body seventh layer? As the night descended, moonlight poured through the windows into the room. Seated on his bed, Lin Dong retrieved a tiny bottle from his person. Next, he dripped two drops of stone talisman Ling liquid into his mouth. Over these few months, Lin Dong's body had gradually adapted to the stone talisman Ling liquid. Therefore, he was now able to endure two drops at once. As the two drops of stone talisman Ling liquid entered his body, Lin Dong's face turned red. Faint white smoke emerged from the top of his head, as his body temperature rose rapidly. Having gotten used to it, unlike his first attempt, Lin Dong no longer tossed and turned on the floor in pain. Instead, his body merely trembled a few times as he felt that the warmth feeling of the Yuan power seed in his bone marrow become stronger and stronger. After these past two months of training, Lin Dong could clearly feel that the Yuan power seed within his bones has gradually strengthened. At times, he could even feel signs that the Yuan power seed was about to burst out of his bones. Lin Dong understood that these signs indicated that a breakthrough was about to happen. Facing these circumstances, Lin Dong did not try to forcibly accelerate the breakthrough. He knew that if he wanted to, he could force his way to tempered body seventh layer. However, he somehow felt that it would be better to let nature take its course instead. And the moment that he was waiting for had finally arrived. As the two drops of rock talisman Ling liquid entered his body, the vibrations deep within his bones suddenly became more and more violent, until eventually Lin Dong's entire body began to shake. Something is finally about to break through. Sensing the imminent situation, Lin Dong immediately took a deep breath. He knew that the instant the Yuan power seed broke through the confines of his bones, it would flow into his body's internal channels. And then, he would finally be able to absorb Yuan energy from between heaven and earth to train his body. An extremely important step. Buzz buzz. His body started to tremble even more as severely. All of a sudden, a deep sound rang out from within Lin Dong's body. After he heard this deep sound, Lin Dong's vision immediately darkened. Suddenly, he could vaguely see that within his body was a glowing walnut-sized light ball, slowly coursing through his body. Moreover, a mysterious suction force gushed out, and thanks to this suction force, traces of extremely mild energy within the surrounding heaven and earth were slowly moving in accordance with Lin Dong's breathing and pouring into his body. Is this Yuan power seed? Why is it so big? As Lin Dong recovered his vision, a look of shock immediately surfaced on his face. Under normal circumstances, the Yuan power seed that just broke through the practitioner's bones, should not be bigger than a thumb. Yet this Yuan power seed was larger than normal by over ten times. Is it because of the stone talisman Ling liquid? Lin Dong held a strange expression on his face. 
The size of one's yuan power seed largely depends on how rapidly one absorbs yuan power. However, from the get-go, his yuan power seed was already so much larger compared to others. After contemplating this issue for a while, Lin Dong finally gave up as he helplessly shook his head. Lying down on his bed, he knew that all he could do now was prepare for the upcoming family competition tomorrow. Lin Hong, let's see if you have what it takes to marry King Tan. Chapter 20. The family competition begins. Just as the first rays of dawn broke through the clouds and shone onto earth, a hubbub buzzed in the Lin family as a rowdy atmosphere enveloped their manor. When Lin Xiao brought Lin Dong and King Tan to the training chambers of the family competition, it was already a lively place, packed full with people. Even though the Lin family could not be considered as a first-rate faction in Qingyang town, they still held considerable sway. Therefore, there were several VIPs who had come specially to witness this family competition in order to use this occasion to build relationships with the Lin family. Also, this competition also gave them an opportunity to assess the capabilities of the younger generation in the Lin family. After all, the abilities of the next generation is vital for the continued prosperity of any family. If the younger generation in the Lin family prove themselves to be incompetent, then the Lin family will fall sooner or later. Even though this was not his first time witnessing a family competition, Lin Dong could not help but feel slightly tensed. After all, this time, he would be the one in the spotlight. Lin Xiao patted Lin Dong's shoulders reassuringly, trying to ease the latter's nerves. Soon after, he brought the two of them and approached the VIP section of the training chambers. Currently, there were already many people already seated at the VIP section, happily conversing among themselves. Seated in the middle of the VIP section, was a somewhat lean middle-aged man who was cheerfully conversing with the other guests. Suddenly, his caught a glimpse of Lin Xiao and his children, causing him to freeze up on the spot though he quickly recovered as a frown formed on his face. In the past competitions, Lin Xiao would normally never appear. Even on the rare occasions when he turned up, he would stand in a discreet corner where no one would notice him. This was the first time in many years, that he directly approached the VIP section. On the left side of the lean middle-aged man were two youngsters, the brothers Lin Hong and Lin Shan. Tellingly, the man seated next to them was likely their father, Lin Mang, who had bad blood with Lin Xiao. Lin Xiao paid no heed towards Lin Mang's stare. Without missing a beat, just as he was about to walk past the latter, Lin Mang suddenly smiled. A teacup in his hand, he casually asked, Third brother, what finally brought you out of your house? Lin Xiao stopped and glanced at his half-brother, whom which he had a terrible relationship with ever since young. A smile surfaced on his face as he replied, is it a problem? As he witnessed Lin Xiao's smile, Lin Mang was shocked as he noticed that he could not find any traces of the usual despondency in that smile. This discovery made him feel uncomfortable, yet he remarked in an indifferent manner, there is no problem. It's just that today is an important occasion for my Lin family. Since you have appeared, I just hope that you don't embarrass us. Lin Xiao lightly chuckled, ignoring the insult hidden in Lin Mang's words, he immediately brushed past him before seating himself in a nearby seat. Humph! Lin Xiao's actions caused Lin Mang's face to distorted slightly as he coldly snorted. Ah, Lin Mang Shung. Is this the man that once had the best chance among the Lin family members to advance to Yuan Dan stage, Lin Xiao? A man seated by Lin Mang's side casually asked with a smile. Those are just rumors. How can you believe them? Lin Mang replied in derision. Ah, of course. Right now, Lin Mang brother is the prime candidate among the Lin family to advance to Yuan Dan stage. In the future, let's look for more opportunities to collaborate. The man cheerfully replied, a tone of subservience in his voice. Two years ago, Lin Mang successfully advanced to heavenly Yuan level and became the third heavenly Yuan practitioner in the Lin family. Over these two years, he was heavily favored by the family and he now controls the finances of the entire Lin family. In comparison, Lin Xiao had almost been forgotten after being an invalid for many years. Even though Lin Mang knew those words were merely flattery, 
the corners of his mouth still formed into a smile. Father rest assured. Later when Lin Dong is thrashed publicly, third uncle's expression will definitely worsen. Sensing his father's unhappiness, Lin Hong, who was sitting behind Lin Mang, reassuringly told his father. N. Upon hearing these words, Lin Mang smiled again as he slowly nodded his head. That guy is so irksome. King Tan, who was sitting beside Lin Xiao, unhappily complained after she saw Lin Mang's deliberate provocations. They're on the winning side, for now. Lin Xiao shook his head, undisturbed by Lin Mang. Just as he was about to continue, he suddenly turned towards the main entrance. There was a large crowd currently streaming in. Leading the pack, was an old man with head full of white hair and dressed in embroidered robes. He had an impressively robust aura and at this moment he was scanning the training chambers. This man, was the current head of the Lin family, and also Lin Xiao's father plus Lin Dong's grandfather, Lin Zhenshen. Following closely behind Lin Zhenshen, was a middle-aged man. At his side, stood Lin Chia, whose slim and elegant figure naturally drew the gazes of several young men. As Lin Zhenshen appeared, the commotion in the training chambers intensified as everyone hurriedly rose to pay their respects. After all, Lin Zhenshen was considered as a legend in Qingyang town. After he arrived here, he single-handedly built the Lin family. Therefore, his methods and capabilities have left a strong impression on many people. Lin Zhenshen cheerfully greeted the VIPs before coming to a halt in the middle of the VIP area. However, just as he stopped, he spotted Lin Xiao a short distance away, causing the former to be startled for a moment. Lin Zhenshen quickly recovered and swiftly walked over. Father, as he saw Lin Zhenshen approaching, Lin Xiao's fists involuntarily tightened, as he stood up and respectfully greeted his father. You are finally willing to come and visit me. As he looked at Lin Xiao, who was in front of him, Lin Zhenshen offhandedly asked, a complicated emotion in his eyes. In the past, Lin Xiao was the son that Lin Zhenshen had dedicated the most effort to. Even though the former's eventual defeat had disappointed him, the most disappointing fact was Lin Xiao's descent into despondency after the defeat. The old man was as stubborn as his son. After Lin Xiao's descent into despondency, the downhearted Lin Zhenshen never initiated a meetup as well regardless of how much he missed his son in his heart. Father, I am sorry. Lin Xiao softly muttered. He knew that Lin Zhenshen was extremely disappointed by his years of despondency. Grandpa, King Tan and Lin Dong, who were standing at one side, also hurriedly greeted their grandfather. Ah, it's Dong Er and King Tan. You kids have really grown. Upon hearing their voices, a smile resurfaced on Lin Zhenshen's face. As he gently stroked their heads, he gave the image of a rather kindly and doting grandfather. It's good that you have now finally come out. At least, you bothered to visit me before I have to enter my coffin, Lin Zhenshen said, as he turned his gaze back towards Lin Xiao. As he spoke, Lin Dong could feel a slight tremble from the old man's hand. It seems like in that aged heart, he was not as calm as he appeared to be. Ha ha, father, now that third brother has finally decided to appear, let's spare him the nagging. After all, there are still many guests around. The middle-aged man who was following behind Lin Zhenshen remarked with a smile. Lin Zhenshen sighed, taking one more glance at Lin Xiao, the former finally went to seat himself. D-A-G-E, big brother. Lin Xiao gratefully thanked the middle-aged man. The middle-aged man smiled as he nodded his head, before proceeding to pat Lin Dong's shoulder, and said, Dong Er, make sure you do not embarrass your father in today's competition. Yes, first uncle. Lin Dong nodded in response. This man was his oldest uncle and his name was Lin Ken. Besides that, he was also Lin Chia's father. As he recalled Lin Chia, Lin Dong immediately turned to see the young lady standing behind the middle-aged man waving her tiny fists at him in a show of support. After Lin Ken and Lin Xiao exchanged pleasantries, Lin Ken brought Lin Chia back to their respective seats. Soon after, the crowd finally settled back into their respective seats and the noise in the training chambers gradually began to die down. 
Everyone was intently staring at the clan head, Lin Zhenshin. Lin family competition had officially begun. Chapter 21. Lin Yun. Under the attentive gazes of the crowd, Lin Zhenshin stood up and cupped his hands together as a sign of respect to the VIP booth. With a bright smile, his clear voice rang out, Today is the family competition of my Lin family. Thank you everyone for coming to support us. Everyone here is a familiar friend so this old man shall not tarry any further. Let us go straight away to the main event. As the last word fell from his mouth, Lin Zhenshin looked to Lin Ken who was beside him. The latter also smiled and nodded before walking to the huge open space in the training chambers and taking out a bamboo tube. Many smaller sticks with words inscribed on them filled the bamboo tube. Old rules, draw lots to determine your opponent. All of the little brats who want to participate in the family competition come out and draw your lots. Hearing Lin Ken's instructions, one after another, tens of figures appeared in the open space and drew a bamboo lot from the bamboo tube in Lin Ken's hand. There are five platforms here, those who drew the front five numbers will start first. When all the participants had drawn a lot, Lin Ken smiled as he pointed towards the five stone platforms behind him. Lin Dong glanced at the bamboo lot in his hand, painted on it was the white figure of the number, four. Without the slightest hesitation, he straightaway walked to the fourth stone platform. After he had stepped onto the platform, a round thing also climbed up, at which Lin Dong could not help but roll his eyes. Lin Chang Chang, why is it you? Lin Dong helplessly gazed at the tubby Lin Chang Chang before him. I didn't want this either. Lin Chang Chang scowled miserably. After Lin Dong had defeated Lin Shan previously, Lin Chang Chang understood that the current Lin Dong could not be compared to before. It was most likely that Lin Chang Chang was not even considered an opponent for Lin Dong. Yet the lots had already been drawn, and Lin Chang Chang could not withdraw either else his father would never let him off when he returned. Lin Dong shook his head, pity on his face. Don't worry, I will go gentle on you. Lin Chang Chang was speechless, a little bit of bitterness in his expression. The two resigned themselves to their fate as they exchanged a glance. Below, seeing that the first batch were all on stage, Lin Ken waved his hand and shouted, let the family competition begin. As Lin Ken's shout faded, the mood in the training chambers abruptly erupted in a frenzy. On the few stone platforms, figures flashed before finally colliding together in sudden ferocity. Hey hey, I had also advanced to tempered body fourth layer two months ago. Lin Dong, you'd better take care too. Hearing the signal, Lin Chang Chang chuckled as his body suddenly jolted. The folds of originally soft blubber unexpectedly hardened substantially, following which he stamped ferociously off the ground and flew forward like a huge meat bullet. As that amusing sight was reflected in Lin Dong's eyes, he involuntarily broke into a laugh. In this moment, Lin Chang Chang's rapidly approaching body suddenly turned and a thick right leg rather violently lashed at Lin Dong. Level 1 martial art, rock splitting leg. Lin Dong was somewhat surprised as he felt the wind from Lin Chang Chang's decently renowned leg style. To think that this guy had actually practiced martial arts. Yet to the current Lin Dong, just this little was of no threat at all. Lin Dong's arm agilely stretched forward and bypassed Lin Chang Chang's whipping leg before lightly tapping on his thigh. Ah! Lin Chang Chang cried out as his now unstable self fell and landed on his butt. After striking down Lin Chang Chang with one palm, Lin Dong once again lifted his fist as if he were preparing to send it chopping down at his opponent. Lin Chang Chang immediately held his hands over his head and called out, I admit defeat. Lin Dong wins. Below the stone platform, Lin Ken grinned while shaking his head. Soon after, he shifted his somewhat astonished gaze to look at Lin Dong. Although Lin Chang Chang could not be considered outstanding in the Lin family, he had still managed to reach tempered body fourth layer. Though the palm from Lin Dong had looked casual enough, the fact was that it had landed on the spot where Lin Chang Chang's strength was the most scattered. If it was just a fluke, then nothing can be said, however if it was intentional, then Lin Dong who was already armed with such discerning eyes at a young age was truly a force to be reckoned with. 
After hearing Lin Ken's declaration, some of the gazes in the training chambers also turned to rest upon Lin Dong. Although they were slightly flabbergasted, in the end they did not pay too much attention to what had happened. After all, Lin Changchang's strength was only average in the Lin family. Winning over him was not a very huge achievement. Lin Dong did not take much notice of these gazes. His own eyes turned towards another stone platform just in time to see Lin Hong absent-mindedly blowing his opponent off the stage with a single strike of his palm. Easily dispatching his opponent, Lin Hong also sensed Lin Dong's gaze and turned to lock eyes with the latter, the corners of his mouth, raising to form a sneer. Lin Dong shot one last glance at Lin Hong before withdrawing his gaze and dragging Lin Changchang off the stage. Lin Dong did not meet any problematic opponents in the first round. Thus after Lin Changchang, Lin Dong once again won the match. Advancing to the top 10 with nothing to write home about. Due to his easy victories in both matches, Lin Dong did not reveal his excessively astonishing strength. Thus many people believed that good luck was all there was to Lin Dong. In contrast to Lin Dong's dull matches, Lin Hong and Lin Chia had become the main stars in the training chambers. From start to end, the two had beaten their opponents in a single move. These overwhelming victories made everyone understand that the strength that these two possessed had by far exceeded the rest of the younger generation of the Lin family. I'm afraid that Lin Hong has really attained tempered body seventh layer. Seated in the audience, Lin Xiao concluded while nodding after seeing how easily Lin Hong had fared in both of his matches. At these words, concern surfaced on King Tan's tiny face. She still remembered that what Lin Hong had said that day. If he achieved a good result in the family competition, he would ask grandfather to be engaged to her. When that time comes, if father was not willing, maybe he would once again part on bad terms with grandfather. Don't worry nothing will happen. Seeing the worry on King Tan's tiny face, Lin Dong smiled as he lightly patted her arm to console her. N. Chin Tang slightly inclined her head. A while later, she asked, who do you think big brother Lin Dong's will face next? If you win the next match, you will advance to the top five. Lin Dong grinned though he did not really care. His current strength was more than enough to face any of the younger generation in the Lin family. Let the second round of the competition begin, Lin Dong. Lin Ken's eyes turned to gaze at Lin Dong, before indicating to the big stone platform in the middle. Because they had already reached the selection of the top 10, no matter what, it would be more exciting than the previous round. Thus there were no longer five matches occurring simultaneously. Instead, competition would go match by match, allowing the audience absolute clarity. At Lin Ken's voice, Lin Dong lightly sighed before quickly walking towards the stone platform. Big brother Lin Dong, you can do it. Behind him, King Tan waved her tiny fists in the air while aiding him with a rallying cry of support. Within the training chambers, several other gazers also turned towards Lin Dong, a hint of curiosity and expectation in their eyes. Although Lin Dong's reputation in the Lin family was incomparable to the brilliance of Lin Chia and Lin Hong, his father was after all once the most talented in the whole Lin family. As they thought back to the past family competition, they recalled that Lin Xiao had effortlessly been crowned number one. Exactly how much of that capability will his son show in today's competition? From the VIP booth, Lin Zhenshin and the rest also locked their eyes onto Lin Dong. A similar curiosity in their hearts. Under the attentive watch of the crowd, Lin Dong walked up the stone platform. When he reached his spot, Lin Ken looked to the competition list in his hands as his brows slightly furrowed. After a little hesitation, he read out the second name, Lin Yun. Hearing this name, a small uproar emerged in the training chambers. Some of the younger generation of the Lin family turned to look at Lin Dong with sympathy. Lin Dong was also stunned by this name, evidently somewhat astonished at the thorny problem his opponent will be. Like Lin Chia and Lin Hong, Lin Yun was considered as one of the elite among the younger generation of the Lin family. Both parents were from the Lin family, but had died at the hands of bandits. Thus he had become uncommunicative since a young age, yet he was quite gifted. It was heard that two months ago, 
He had condensed a Yuan power seed in his body, becoming the third one, after Lin Chia and Lin Hong, to reach tempered body sixth layer among the younger generation of the Lin family. This opponent was going to be somewhat troublesome. Lin Dong licked his lips as a fire gradually burned in his eyes. This was exactly the kind of opponent he needed. Chapter 22. Crowd Stunning Martial Arts. Hey hey, that chap is really unlucky. Lin Shan inwardly rejoiced at the misfortune that had fallen upon Lin Dong, while gazing at the latter who stood on the stone platform. To a certain extent, Lin Yun was not inferior to Lin Hong. In fact, if they both were given the same treatment, it would be difficult to say who would be stronger in the future. Now that Lin Dong had actually met Lin Yin in this round, it seems like Lin Dong's competition journey would be cut short here. Too bad, I had originally planned to teach him a lesson personally. Looks like there's no need now. Lin Shan snickered as lazily remarked. To think that his opponent would be Lin Yun. When Lin Xiao heard about Lin Dong's current matchup, the former could not help but furrow his brows. Clearly, this name was not foreign to him. On one side, King Tan tightly clenched her fists, as a worried look surfaced on her tiny face. Don't be too worried. Even if he loses to Lin Yun, he would still have made the most of a bad situation. After all, Lin Dong has only trained for a much shorter period than him. Lin Xiao remarked, after he had recovered from his injuries, he had naturally became much less strict on Lin Dong. Upon hearing these words, King Tan did not say anything. As her pupils shifted to stare at the young man on the stone platform, even though she did not know why, in her heart, she was anticipating a different outcome. Big brother Lin Dong will not lose so easily. After Lin Ken announced the opponent, a youngster dressed in ash-colored clothes silently emerged from the crowd, before walking up the stone platform. This youngster was rather skinny, yet his gaze was as penetrating as an eagle's. Looking at him, you could tell that he was not only wise but that he also possessed an unwavering determination. Having witnessed his parents meet a violent death at the hands of bandits, the youngster had inevitably matured earlier than his peers. Lin Yun, the youngster dressed in ash-colored clothes, slowly announced his name as he faced Lin Dong. Lin Dong. Lin Dong courteously replied, as he solemnly cupped one fist in his other hand, giving his opponent the respect he deserved. Although he had never had any contact with Lin Yun before, Lin Dong rather admired the latter. I will not hold back. Lin Yun warned Lin Dong as he stared at the latter. Thank you. Lin Dong smiled. Upon witnessing this sight, Lin Xiao was slightly stunned, though he recovered shortly after. As he stared intently at Lin Dong, he slowly released a sigh. On the former's fists, an extremely weak radiance flickered, signaling that he would use Yuan power. Since both of you are here, let the match begin. Lin Ken anxiously glanced at Lin Dong before he waved his hand and shouted. Thump! Just as Lin Ken's voice faded, Lin Yun's eyes narrowed. In a single step, he forcefully charged at Lin Dong, as he gripped his five fingers into a fist and directly attacked Lin Dong's chest. Faced with Lin Yun's attack, Lin Dong did not retreat. Rather, to the astonishment of the crowd, he also took a step forward as his right palm quickly extended to catch Lin Yun's fist. As Lin Dong's palm collided against Lin Yun's fist, the latter was unexpectedly blown backwards upon impact. Just as his fist was deflected, Lin Yun's body stance abruptly shifted, effectively evading the palm that Lin Dong had opportunistically threw in his way. Clenching both fists together, he suddenly extended him to smash onto Lin Dong's face. Layer upon layer of fist images were like a torrent of huge hailstones falling from the sky. That kind of power was not one that any sane man would dare to clash against. Falling rock fist. This familiar fist technique caused Lin Dong to raise his eyebrows. He had seen Lin Shan execute this set of fist techniques before, yet compared to the one Lin Yun had used, Lin Shan's fist technique would appear to be riddled with flaws. Huff, spitting out a breath of air through his throat, Lin Dong knew in his heart that the power of falling rock fist would only grow stronger in a prolonged fight, making it even harder to deal with at the later stages. Thus, he understood that he could not afford to back away now. Since he could not retreat, 
He could only face it head on. Pa 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 pa. With a serene expression on his face, Lin Dong's palms tightened into fists. Immediately, a series of crisp echoes sounded out from the top of the stone platform. All in all, there were eight echoes. Eight echo penetrating fist. Upon witnessing this sight, many people in the crowd were slightly alarmed. They never expected that Lin Dong would be able to master penetrating fist to such a degree at this age. This brat, to think that he has made such progress. Lin Xiao was also shocked at Lin Dong's sudden display, though soon after, a cheerful look surfaced on his face. Yes, not bad. In the VIP booth, Lin Zhenshen stroked his beard, slowly nodding. Being able to utilize the eighth echo of penetrating fist at such an age was a pretty impressive accomplishment. Yet the force behind Lin Yun's falling rock fist is also extremely strong, and it even has the support of Yuan power. Hence, even though the eighth echo penetrating fist is powerful, it is still going to be difficult to overpower the former. Though he was thoroughly amazed, Lin Zan Tian still maintained a discerning eye as he assessed the situation, while muttering to himself. Pa, however, just as Lin Zhenshen's words faded, another clear and crisp sound reverberated in the air. In that instance, the entire training chamber lapsed into a moment of silence. Ninth Echo. The pinnacle of penetrating fist. Swish. In a flash, every member of the crowd immediately turned towards Lin Dong. This time, they managed to spot a weak glow flickering on Lin Dong's fist. Yuan power. Tempered body sixth layer. Crack. Cracks emerged on the teacup in Lin Xiao's hand, as he blankly stared at the young man on the stone platform. The ninth echo penetrating fist. Tempered body sixth layer. Lin Dong. Since when did he become this powerful? Brilliant. As he sat on the clan head seat, Lin Zhen Tian was briefly silent, before he slowly uttered out the compliment. Everyone who knew him personally, understood that the strength Lin Dong displayed caused him to be extremely satisfied. Standing in a corner, Lin Mang's expression darkened. He kept his lips tightly sealed and did not utter a single word. Standing behind him, Lin Hong's brow also slightly furrowed. This brat really has some skills. Thump, under the crowd's stupefied gazes, like a huge boulder, Lin Dong's fist crashed against both of Lin Yun's fists. A tremendous blow erupted as the latter's body flew away like a kite, whose string had broke, before finally landing on the ground just outside the perimeter of the stone platform. Crash! Seeing that Lin Dong had blew away Lin Yun with just one punch, the surrounding crowd burst into an uproar. Those who had known Lin Dong from before, had their mouths wide open, as they were clearly unable to believe that he had made such astounding progress in merely half a year. Lin Ken was likewise stunned by the strength that Lin Dong had displayed. A short period later, he finally hastily opened his mouth and announced the results. Lin Dong is the victor. The training chambers abruptly exploded into applause and cheers as they finally understood that Lin Dong had reached this stage unscathed not through luck, but by the genuine strength he possessed. Lin Dong watched the roaring crowd from his spot on the stone platform as a small smile formed on his face. He leapt off the stone platform and extended a hand to Lin Yun. Are you all right? Penetrating fist ninth echo and tempered body sixth layer. My defeat is justified. Lin Yun looked at Lin Dong with a smile also on his face. He continued, if there is ever an opportunity, I would like to spar with you again. Finishing his words, Lin Yun did not linger and instead turned to leave. Gazing at Lin Yun's back, Lin Dong also smiled. Towards him, he had quite a favorable impression. If there was a chance in the future, perhaps they could get to know each other better. However, before that, he still had to finish Lin Hong off, or else he would continue to harass King Tan. Lin Dong turned his head and cast his gaze toward Lin Hong's position, only to see that the latter was also looking back at him with faint disdain in his expression. Chapter 23 the final three. Big brother Lin Dong, that was brilliant. As Lin Dong was walking back to his seat, King Tan excitedly exclaimed while she stuck her tiny thumbs out in a thumbs up. You little brat, you've hidden it well, Lin Xiao said, with a smile on his face. Nonetheless, 
Lin Xiao did not scold his son as he was simply too astonished by Lin Dong's current strength. Furthermore, Lin Dong's stellar performance today had caused Lin Xiao's face to dazzle with happiness. The excitement in his heart was even greater than the day where his injuries healed. He he, Lin Dong humbly scratched his head as he chuckled. When he realized that Lin Xiao was not going to pursue this matter further, he secretly heaved a sigh of relief. After Lin Dong's duel ended, the competition resumed. The top 10 contestants were all fairly famous members among the younger generation in the Lin family. In fact, most of them were at tempered body fifth layer or above. Therefore, their duels were naturally quite exciting to watch. Thus from time to time, the crowd would burst into cheers. Five rounds were quickly over. As predicted, Lin Chia and Hong were able to easily secure their victory, thanks to their overwhelming strength. Besides them, Lin Dong and two other outstanding youths in the Lin family made it through to the final five. As the final five were announced, the atmosphere in the training chambers heated up. Everyone knew that the following matches were the true highlights of the competition. After drawing lots, one lucky person managed to draw the empty lot. This time, Lin Dong's opponent was a young man named Lin Ting. He was reportedly at tempered body sixth layer, though this did not pose much of a threat to Lin Dong. The two of them swiftly proceeded to their fight after drawing lots and the end result was hardly surprising. Lin Dong's penetrating fist ninth echo forcibly pushed Lin Ting off the stone platform, even though the latter utilized his full strength to resist. Thus, Lin Dong easily advanced to the final three. Nothing special happened in this duel. Therefore, after it ended, the crowd instantly turned their attention towards the upcoming duel. The next matchup piqued everyone's interest, even Lin Dong was interested. On account of the fact that it was Lin Chia against Lin Hong. The two of them were considered as the most elite among the younger generation in Lin family. In fact, most people predicted that either one of them will win this family competition. However, the two of them were to now clashed unexpectedly before the final round, this exchange would be exciting indeed. Lin Chia, Lin Ken hesitantly announced after he saw that both of them had drawn the same lot. Upon hearing Lin Ken's call, Lin Chia acknowledged in her lovable voice. With a twist of her tiny waist, she floated up onto the stone platform like a butterfly. Her slender and valiant look, drew the attention of several youngsters. As Lin Chia ascended onto the stone arena, Lin Hong also elegantly leaped onto the arena. Dressed in white, he appeared handsome and refined. At this sight, several people in the crowd lightly nodded their heads in approval. Miss Lin Chia, please go easy on me. Lin Hong respectfully bowed towards her. If I hold back, the one who loses will likely be me. Lin Chia grinned. A rare look of concentration in her eyes, she knew that based on Lin Hong's strength, she will most likely have to fight with everything that she had. Lin Hong smiled as a fire burned in his eyes. Lin Chia could be counted as the most outstanding member among the younger generation of the Lin family. If he could defeat her today, he will be able to claim the number one position. Let the duel begin. Standing below the platform, Lin Ken shouted as he signaled for the match to begin. Just as Lin Ken finished his announcement, a faint glow emerged from the bodies of the two contestants. This was Yuan Power, tempered body seventh layer. As they gazed at the rather dense glow emerging from their bodies, many people in the crowd gasped in surprise. Even though they had their suspicions after watching the previous duels, they were still amazed upon witnessing this sight. To be able to advance to tempered body seventh layer at such a tender age. This clearly showed the latent potential they possessed. If they were given proper training, they will definitely have a bright future ahead. On his seat, Lin Zhenshen had a content smile on his face as he witnessed this sight. The more stellar the younger generation was, the happier he felt. Miss Lin Chia, watch out. As the glow on his body flickered, Lin Hong's expression turned deadly serious as he abruptly leapt forward. A devastating force could be felt from his two palms which he swung in a horizontal arc towards Lin Chia. Faced with the biting cold wind from Lin Hong's palm, Lin Chia gently took a step back. 
Her long and elegant finger came together and curled slightly in the shape of a hawk's mouth. She struck heavily on the back of Lin Hong's palms, causing them to fall downwards and avoiding the attack. Eight Desolation's palm. Just as his palm was deflected, Lin Hong let out a growl. The force behind his palm turned ferocious as he continuously rained blows at Lin Chia's head. The sound of his hands breaking through the air was indeed impressive. As she was being assaulted by the aggressive palm technique, Lin Chia lightly frowned. She aligned two fingers together, and like a sword, she deftly bypassed Lin Hong's palms and stabbed towards his body, causing the latter to have no choice but to bring back his hands to defend. On the stone platform, two figures intertwined as they fought vigorously while constantly exchanged blows with their palms and fingers. With help from Yuan power, each blow was amplified, captivating the audience's attention. Big brother Lin Dong, who do you think will win? King Tan nervously asked as she involuntarily tightened her tiny fists at the intense duel. Hard to say. Lin Dong hesitated before he finally shook his head. Lin Hong has clearly mastered eight desolations palm as the force generated by his palm techniques were extremely aggressive and packed a huge punch. However, Lin Chia did not lose out to the former. In fact, the martial arts that she used was the level 2 martial arts, spirit finger sword. Even though that type of martial arts did not look formidable, if it was properly mastered, one's fingers will become a sword. Therefore, even Lin Hong did not dare to take a hit from her. As such, it was very difficult to ascertain who would become the eventual victor. Nonetheless, in Lin Dong's heart, he hoped that Lin Chia would win. While they spoke, the battle on the stone arena gradually intensified to a climax. Palms and fists collided, causing a series of deep sounds continuously rang out. This exchange lasted for nearly 10 minutes as the glow on their bodies burned brightly. Evidently, they had pushed the Yuan power within their bodies to the maximum extent. Just as the intensity of the glow reached its peak, the two of them took a step back in unison. Soon after, both of their palms suddenly reached out and collided together under the watchful gaze of the crowd. Bang! An explosive bang sounded out on the platform as both of them were jolted apart by the impact. Both of their feet desperately tried to claw onto the platform, but in the end, both of them fell off at the same time. After witnessing both of them fall off together, a commotion erupted in the training chambers. Evidently, no one was expecting this outcome. Ha ha, not bad, not bad at all. On his seat, Lin Zhenshen could not help but nod his head in satisfaction after he witnessed that Lin Hong was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Lin Chia in their spectacular duel. Lin Mang, who was sitting beside him, let out a bright smile as he smugly turned to look at Lin Xiao. This match shall be judged as a draw. Since there are only four people left, if there are no objections, Lin Chia and Lin Hong will both take first place, whereas Lin Dong and Lin Chen, will be ranked as second and third respectively. Of course, if anyone still wants to compete and exchange pointers, please step forward now. Lin Zhenshin stood up and announced with a smile. At this juncture, the rankings for the family competition had largely been decided and any further duels should likely make no difference. Upon hearing Lin Zhenshin's words, the crowd nodded in agreement. That fellow is number one. Lin Dong frowned as he turned to look at King Tan, only to discover that she had tightly gripped her tiny fists. Plastered on her delicate and tiny face, was a look of worry. After hearing Lin Zhenshin's announcement, Lin Hong's smile brightened. Turning his gaze towards Lin Dong and King Tan, the corners of his mouth lifted into a sneer. Soon after, he took a step forward and prepared to announce his intention for an engagement request. As they say, strike while the iron is hot. However, right before Lin Hong announced his request, Lin Dong, who had been observing the former, suddenly stood up with a dark expression on his face. His voice reverberated in the training chamber. Big brother Lin Hong, Lin Dong is untalented. Could you please give me some pointers? Chapter 24. Complete victory. The sudden voice caused the training chamber to lapse into silence and one by one, Astonished gazers turned to rest upon Lin Dong. Dong Er, what are you doing? Lin Xiao hastily asked, 
also shocked by Lin Dong's actions. Though Lin Dong's performance today had exceeded his expectations by far, when all is said and done, his son still had a while to go before reaching Lin Hong's level. Armed with only tempered body sixth layer and nine echo penetrating punch, it was not possible for Lin Dong to beat the Lin Hong who had already reached tempered body seventh layer. Big brother Lin Dong, don't go. Quickly regaining her wits, anxiety replaced the shock on King Tan's tiny face. She knew that Lin Dong's sudden actions were likely all for her sake. Don't worry father, I only want to exchange some pointers with big brother Lin Hong. Even if I lose, you will not lose face. Lin Dong grinned as he said. These words knocked Lin Seo out of his daze. He hesitated for a while before grudgingly nodding his head, cautioning his son, be careful. Lin Dong nodded in reply. He patted King Tan's tiny head before turning to walk into the arena under the numerous gazes of the crowd. As he was turning, a sneer flitted across his eyes. If Lin Hong had just been satisfied with obtaining first place, the Lin Dong would not even bother to excessively expose his strength. It's a pity that even with first place, Lin Hong was still greedy for the only thing he would never have. Really, give someone an inch and he'll want a mile. Since things have played out this way, don't blame me for thrashing you till you lose the face to mention the engagement ever again. Lin Dong's footsteps stopped at the perimeter of the stone platform as he turned to look at Lin Zhenshan, smiling as he inquired, Grandfather, would it be all right for me to issue a challenge? Regaining his wits, Lin Zhenshan inspected Lin Dong with an astonished look. Even after Lin Hong's strength had been clearly displayed to Lin Dong, he still dared to issue a challenge. Either Lin Dong was asking for trouble or he had some kind of assurance in himself. Looks like he seems to have found some weak point. Suddenly, a faint sense of anticipation appeared in the depths of Lin Zhenshan's eyes. In the same competition many years before, Lin Xiao had also distinguished himself in a similar way, causing Lin Zhenshan to finally find hope in returning to the clan. But no one knew if Lin Dong was able to be like the Lin Xiao from the past and once again give this old man the greatest surprise. Normal rules. Request for challenge accepted. Seeing Lin Zhenshan's approval, Lin Dong finally smiled. You brat, to think that you would come knocking on trouble's door. Even I had a hard time dealing with the current Lin Hong. Lin Chia's angry voice sounded out as she stomped towards Lin Dong. Now is not the time to show off and act brave. Lin Chia was unhappy that she had failed to meet her own expectations, and Lin Dong could only chuckle in response. Without a word, his figure leaped up onto the stone platform where Lin Hong was already standing, arms crossed and staring at Lin Dong while sneering. Lin Dong, looks like your self-confidence has swelled after reaching the top three. With a forced smile on his face, Lin Hong looked at Lin Dong, who now stood before him. Thus, I would like to invite big brother Lin Hong to help me sober up. Acting as if he did not hear the mockery in Lin Hong's words, Lin Dong replied with a smile. It's my duty, Lin Hong lazily said. First uncle, can we start? After one last glance towards Lin Hong, Lin Dong turned to ask Lin Ken who was at the bottom of the platform. You, Lin Ken opened his mouth as if he had something to say before finally sighing in helplessness. He waved a hand. Begin. As Lin Ken's voice faded, Lin Hong's originally lazy expression turned ice cold. A weak glow bathed his body. He was clearly not going to pull any punches. Lin Dong, I will now show you how huge of a gap there is between us. Yuan power rolled about in his channels as ripples of power spread across Lin Hong's body. He sneered at Lin Dong before quickly taking two steps forward and appearing before the latter. A cold force on the palm that was heavily thrusting towards Lin Dong. In the face of Lin Hong's extremely powerful blow, to everyone's horror, Lin Dong did not show even the slightest signs of dodging. At this sight, many in the crowd secretly shook their heads. Looks like the winner of this match would be decided very soon. Hey hey, to actually initiate a challenge, he is only finding trouble for himself. In the training chamber, Lin Shan smiled, delighted at this turn of events. By his side, Lin Mang was also grinning as he leisurely leaned against the back of his seat and sipped on the tea in his cup. Thump! 
Just as the blow was about to make contact with Lin Dong's chest, Lin Dong finally made his move. He extended his right palm and thrust at Lin Hong's palm. To everyone's surprise, this collision did not end in Lin Hong's victory. Rather, like an iron tower, Lin Dong's body unexpectedly endured the blow without budging an inch. It was as if Lin Hong's blow was completely unable to affect Lin Dong's in the slightest. How can this be? This unimaginable scene caused many in the crowd to be flabbergasted. How could the power of Lin Hong's tempered body 7th layer be unable to force back Lin Dong's tempered body 6th layer? Even Lin Hong's complexion changed at that moment. From what he could feel, Lin Dong's palm was akin to a thick wall that he could not break through. And at this instance, he finally felt a sense of unease. You are not the only one who is at tempered body 7th layer. Lin Dong stared at Lin Hong who was wearing a completely different expression from before making sure to pronounce each word clearly. As Lin Dong spat out each word, a weak glow emerged from his body. This was due to the undulating Yuan power. And, this kind of undulation was much stronger than Lin Hong's. The seventh layer of tempered body, hiss, gazing at the Yuan power that flickered on Lin Dong's body, gasp suddenly sounded out in the training chambers. As it turns out, Lin Dong's true strength was not at the sixth layer but the seventh layer. No wonder he dared to challenge Lin Hong, this repulsive brat. Lin Xiao foolishly gazed at the figure on the stone platform, the expression on his face slowly changing to an extremely excited one. He had yet to digest the amazement Lin Dong had forcefully fed him from before and now, his son had given him yet another heavy blow. Below the stage, Lin Chia's jade-like hands also subconsciously moved to cover her tiny mouth, her eyes colored with astonishment. Seventh layer. So what? Lin Hong's constantly changing complexion eventually formed into a sneer. With a shake of his arms, both palms abruptly extended, following which a fierce gale shot forward like a knife, ready to shred a person to pieces. Eight Desolation's Palm. Lin Dong laughed in response to Lin Hong's incoming palm attack. He brandished his own palms and from a tricky angle, Lin Dong bypassed Lin Hong's thrust, quickly slapping down on the latter's arm. Just as this casual-looking tap made contact, the power of Lin Hong's ferocious eight desolations palm was suddenly scattered, causing it to weaken. That's not the way to use eight desolations palm. Having scattered Lin Hong's palm thrust, a small smile danced on Lin Dong's lips. The latter suddenly stretched both palms forward as they cut through the air like a knife through hot butter. Compared to Lin Hong, the force behind was much stronger and ferocious. You actually know eight desolations palm too. Lin Hong cried out involuntarily at the familiarity of Lin Dong's palm technique. Just as his voice faded, he became aware of some subtle differences. The might of Lin Dong's eight desolations palm was much more tyrannical than the one he had displayed previously. How is this possible? This discovery caused Lin Hong's complexion to turn somewhat pale. He had practiced eight desolations palm for half a year. How could there be such a disparity from Lin Dong's? I refuse to believe it. With a face as white as sheet, a wild fury flashed in Lin Hong's eyes. He once again executed eight desolations palm but this time, to the best of his abilities. The Yuan power in his body madly gushed out of his palm as he hacked at Lin Dong in anger. The palm hummed with raw energy, causing the crowd to be emotionally moved. Faced with Lin Hong's final desperate counterattack, Lin Dong maintained his calm as his palm strike suddenly evolved to incorporate a slight trace of gentleness before meeting Lin Hong's blow in midair. In the moment they contacted, Lin Dong's arm strangely jolted as an exceedingly violent strength rushed forth like a tsunami. Thump! The crowd watched as Lin Hong's body was unexpectedly blown away like a kite which had been cut loose and with a final stagger, Lin Hong's sorry figure tumbled off the stone platform. An absolute silence dominated the training chambers. No one could have imagined that the originally first placed Lin Hong had been so cleanly dispatched by Lin Dong's hands. Good! Excellent. Lin Zhenshin gazed blankly at the youngster on the stone platform. A split second later, he slowly sat down, mumbling to himself as an uncontrollable ecstasy and emotion sprang up in his eyes.
Chapter 25. Accepting a position. The training chambers were deadly silent. One by one, stupefied gazes came to rest upon the youngster on the stone platform, paralyzed in their seats with astonishment and unable to utter a single word. To think that he actually won. Lin Seo was also stumped at this outcome. A split second later, his body started to tremble violently as an ecstatic look surfaced on his face. The delightful surprises that Lin Dong had delivered today was simply overwhelming. Below the stone platform, Lin Chia lightly patted her chest, as if to ease the shock in her heart, her eyes nailed onto Lin Dong. Previously, her bout with Lin Hong had only ended in a draw, yet Lin Dong had just triumphed over Lin Hong. Indirectly, this implied that even she, could not defeat Lin Dong. In fact, the true victor of this competition could be said to be the dark horse, Lin Dong. He's truly his father's son. Beside Lin Chia, Lin Ken also slowly murmured. On the ground just at the fringe of the stone platform, Lin Hong sat with a pale face. His vacant days evidently showed that he was still unable to come to terms with this abrupt reversal. Never in his wildest dreams, did he imagine that he would actually lose to Lin Dong, who he had always treated as mere dirt beneath his feet. He simply could not accept this end result. Impossible. The surrounding gazes caused Lin Hong to feel as if his back was pricked by countless needles. His face twitched erratically, as the expression on his face rapidly fluctuated. Suddenly, he let out a roar of anger as the sole of his foot stamped off the ground, and he dashed back onto the platform and prepared to attack Lin Dong. Lin Dong's brows knitted together. Although the competition has ended, Lin Hong still stubbornly refused to accept the outcome. Instantly, he took one step forwards, and like a pair of metal pincers, both of his palms readied themselves to stop Lin Hong's in his tracks. Just as he planned to push Lin Hong off the platform again, a sudden shout abruptly sounded out. Get lost! A figure descended from the skies, his hands like an eagle's claws as they grabbed at Lin Dong. Alarmed, the latter hastily withdrew his arms, yet the other party refused to let him off as the claws, went directly for Lin Dong's shoulders. Lin Mang, this sudden turn of events greatly alarmed the audience. And when he saw the identity of the aggressor, Lin Ken immediately roared out in anger. You get lost. Don't touch my son. Before Lin Ken's roar could fade away, another figure flashed onto the platform and appeared in front of Lin Dong. This figure was Lin Seo. Lin Seo, do you really think that you can match up to me? Seeing that Lin Seo had appeared to protect his son, Lin Mang could not help but sneer. Yuan power violently flickered at the hollow of his palm as it furiously swatted at Lin Seo, slicing apart the air and leaving a thunderous sound in its wake. Get lost. Faced with Lin Mang's attack, Lin Seo's expression slightly darkened. Surprisingly, he neither dodged nor ducked. Instead he directly countered Lin Mang's attack with his fist. Thump! A strong wave erupted with the clash at its epicenter, as every speck of dust was cleanly blown off the stone arena. The entire crowd was unexpectedly stunned once again, as they saw Lin Mang being forcibly pushed back. Lin Mang, who was at heavenly Yuan level, was unexpectedly pushed back. At this moment, Lin Ken, who was just about to intervene, froze in his steps. On his seat, the anger and agitation that was just about to explode from Lin Zhenshen also likewise came to a screeching halt. Your strength! Lin Mang stumbled as he tried to steady his body. Yet, at this moment, the surface of his heart was like a raging storm churning the seas. A terrified look on his face as he stared at Lin Seo. When injuries have healed, strength will naturally follow and recover. You dare to cause such a scene at the family competition for the younger generation. Do you really think that us father and son are so easily bullied? Lin Seo said icily, third brother, you've regained your strength. At the bottom of the platform, delight lit up on Lin Ken's face. A heavenly Yuan level practitioner was an exceedingly important factor that determined a faction's power. Currently, in the entire Lin family, including himself, there were only three people who had reached the heavenly Yuan stage. However, even such a small number allowed the Lin family to command a rather substantial power in Qingyang town. 
Now that Lin Xiao had made a complete recovery and his strength had returned, their Lin family would have one more heavenly Yuan practitioner. Hence, the guests in the training chambers also were also greatly shaken by this news. After all, they understood that from today onwards, the power of the Lin family will rise dramatically. On his seat, Lin Zhenshen finally regained his wits and hastily leaped onto the platform. He grabbed Lin Xiao's arm, and after sensing the surging Yuan power in the latter's body, a hearty laughter burst forth. Good. In the end, you did not let me down. Lin Zhenshen heavily patted Lin Xiao's shoulders. To one side, Lin Dong could see that the old man's eyes were somewhat red. It looks like Lin Zhenshen was exceptional moved by this. Lin Mang, even in such a public place, you actually dare to intervene because of your personal feelings. Do you really want to utterly disgrace the Lin family? Lin Zhenshen's tearful state did not last for long as he suddenly turned and sternly glanced at Lin Mang, a red-hot anger in his voice. Hearing Lin Zhenshen raise his voice, Lin Mang's expression slightly changed. In the Lin family, Lin Zhenshen's authority was absolute, and he was a respectable person who always kept his word. Even though Lin Mang had advanced to heavenly Yuan level, he still did not dare to refute Lin Zhenshen and could only bow his head in silence. Father, please let this matter go for now. After all, there are many guests here. Lin Xiao hurriedly approached and softly muttered. Lin Zhenshen took in a deep breath as he suppressed the rage in heart. Then, with a swipe of his sleeve, he commanded, I will leave you to settle this situation. Then, all of you will meet me at the backyard. As he finished, he immediately turned and left, the heavy thuds of his footsteps betraying the fact that he had yet to simmer down. Upon witnessing this situation, Lin Ken let out a pained smile as he glanced at Lin Xiao and Lin Mang. After all these years, the two of them were still at constant loggerheads, and they had even involved their children in their dispute. The Lin family backyard was considered as an important area in the Lin family. Under normal circumstances, no outsiders would be allowed to enter. In a large hall at the backyard, sat several figures. The man sitting right in the center, was a slightly enraged Lin Zhenshen. Beside him, were Lin Ken, Lin Xiao, Lin Mang and other key members of the Lin family. Lin Dong and King Tan, who were sitting beside Lin Xiao, did not dare to breathe a word in this uneasy atmosphere. Lin Mang, you have really outdone yourself. As an elder, you actually attacked one of the younger generation members. Do you want to humiliate our whole Lin family? As he glanced at the crowd, Lin Zhenshen fiercely barked before he slammed his palm on the table. Father, I was impulsive. Lin Mang softly apologized as he took in a deep breath. He had been truly traumatized after witnessing Lin Hong's utter humiliation by Lin Dong. After all, since young he had always been competing with Lin Xiao, and now, this competition had extended to their sons as well. Father, second brother was indeed impulsive. However, please do not be too angry. Lin Ken sighed, as he was forced to intervene as the oldest brother. Third brother's injuries have finally healed, and he has returned to the heavenly Yuan level. This is truly a joyous occasion. You should not be angry. Upon hearing these words, Lin Zhenshen's expression softened. As he turned to face Lin Xiao, he suddenly let out a disgruntled snort. You should have recovered from your injuries long ago, yet you chose to let your pride stand in the way. Lin Xiao nodded his head, forcing a smile. Nonetheless, it's great news that you have finally recovered. Our Lin family's businesses have been greatly expanding, and we lack manpower now. From now on, you should come back and help us out. After all, we are family. Lin Zhenshen remarked. Yes. Lin Xiao nodded his head, after a moment of hesitation. Now that he has recovered his strength, he knew that he ought to return and help the family. Seeing that Lin Xiao did not decline, Lin Zhenshen nodded his head in satisfaction. He hesitated for a moment before saying, Recently, we have been exceedingly busy at the Blazing Manor. Head over there and help manage that place. If you require assistance, Lin Ken will be there to help. Just as these words left Lin Zhenshen's mouth, Lin Mang's cheek could not help but twitch. The Lin family owned several businesses in the vicinity of, of Qingyang town. 
However, Blazing Manna was the most crucial one. In fact, every year, the profits from Blazing Manor made up almost 50 to 60 percent of the Lin family's entire income. Furthermore, this Blazing Manor used to be under his domain. Though Lin Mang was extremely unhappy, he did not have the guts to oppose Lin Zhenshin. Especially since he had only just angered Lin Zhenshin. When he heard that he would be put in charge of Blazing Manor, Lin Xiao was slightly dazed. Evidently, he knew the importance of this manor to the Lin family. Nonetheless, after a moment of hesitation, he eventually nodded in agreement. After finishing his instructions, Lin Zhenshin turned to kindly gaze at Lin Dong, Lin Chia and the still somewhat unsightly Lin Hong. With a gentle smile, he said, Meanwhile, Lin Dong's performance today was the most outstanding. Truthfully, he should be crowned as number one in this family competition. As for the competition prizes, I will assign someone to bring all of you to the martial arts library later on. Do feel free to use all the resources there. If there's anything else you three need, do not hesitate to tell grandfather. After all, I hope that the three of you can rapidly grow before the Qingyang town hunt and achieve a good result to boost the reputation of our Lin family. Upon discovering that they were now permitted into the family's martial arts library, Lin Dong's eyes immediately started to shine. Chapter 26. The Hunt. Ever since the family competition ended, it became much more lively on the small hill where Lin Dong lived. Since noon, a constant stream of visitors had arrived to congratulate them. Everyone knew that based on Lin Dong and Lin Xiao's performance, they would definitely rejoin the Lin family's inner circle, a pretty respectable position. Faced with so many visitors, Lin Xiao instructed Lu Yan to treat them all hospitably before sending him off. In the room, four figures gathered for a family dinner. This time, a bright smile was ever present on Lu Yan's face. She did not care much for wealth or power, Instead what mattered to her was the well-being of Lin Xiao and Lin Dong. For the sake of the two of them, she would gladly sacrifice everything. Dong Er, tempered body seventh layer, penetrating fist ninth echo and a mastery of eight desolations palm that is not inferior to Lin Hong's. The progress you have made is indeed terrifying. Lin Xiao commented as he laid down his chopsticks onto his bowl. Upon hearing Lin Xiao's comment, Lin Dong's hand, which was placed under the table, involuntarily trembled. It seems that his insane training speed had aroused a little of Lin Xiao's suspicion. I only just advanced to tempered body seventh layer last night before I went to bed. With regards to penetrating fist and eight desolations palm, I have been practicing them regularly. I don't really understand why but I seem to learn and master those skills really quickly. Lin Dong replied in a soft voice as he scratched his head humbly while frowning. Oh, Lin Xiao was perplexed. His eyebrows furrowed as he stared at Lin Dong's earnest expression. Some people can indeed master martial arts extremely quickly. In fact, it was reputed that these gifted geniuses can rapidly learn any forms of martial arts taught to them. Therefore, Lin Xiao could still accept that fact. However, Lin Dong's tempered body training still seemed too speedy. After all, he was only at tempered body second layer half a year ago. Successively advancing five layers in half a year, this kind of speed was extremely remarkable in Qingyang town, and even the whole Lin clan. Are you sure you did not take anything in the past half a year? Lin Xiao asked. Previously, he had suspected that Lin Dong's body was able to absorb the medicinal properties from elixirs to a much higher degree than most people. However, due to their circumstances, Lin Dong did not have access to high-quality elixirs during the last six months. Therefore, without a ready supply of elixirs, even if he was blessed with the ability to fully utilize them, what use would it be? I seem to recall, two months ago, when I was training in the woods, I found a golden fruit and ate it. At that time, it did not seem to have any effect. Maybe, it could be due to that. Lin Dong replied with a straight face. He constantly blinked his eyes as he acted as if he was trying hard to recall something. Lin Xiao was at a loss for words while he tried to figure out what exactly the golden fruit was. Soon after, he shook his head helplessly and muttered uncertainly, perhaps so. 
Never mind. Maybe you really did have the good fortune to eat some elixir-like fruit. Based on his expression, it was evident that Lin Xiao knew that something was off with his explanation. However, he decided to stop pursuing the matter. After all, it was good news that Lin Dong's strength continued to grow. Seeing that Lin Xiao had stopped pursuing the matter, Lin Dong's heart secretly heaved a sigh of relief. When the time was right, he had planned to personally tell Lin Xiao about the stone talisman. However, right now he did not want to reveal its existence just yet. I was completely stunned when you won first place in today's family competition. However, you must stay humble and remember to persist in your training. It will be the end of the year soon, and the Qingyang town hunt will commence. The younger generation of Qingyang town's other factions will also be participating. Thus, you must ensure that you do not embarrass the Lin family. Lin Xiao seriously remarked. Lin Dong naturally knew about the upcoming event. The Qingyang town hunt was held once every three years and was arguably the time when Qingyang town was at its most crowded. Even many from outside the town would join in and witness the festivities. Of course, whenever one mentions about the Qingyang town hunt, they will naturally talk about the three major factions in Qingyang town, the Lei family, Si family and the Raging Blade Dojo. The Lei family and Si family could be considered as the original families of Qingyang town. Therefore, after several generations, they had laid down deep roots within the town and they could be considered as the most well-established factions. With regards to the Raging Blade Dojo, even thought they were only established for slightly longer than a decade, they have rapidly caught up in terms of power. In fact, even the Lei and Si families knew that the Raging Blade Dojo's current strength was not to be trifled with. Moreover, this Raging Blade Dojo had a reputation that preceded them. If merchants chose to hire them as bodyguards, it was said that most bandits would definitely opt to steer clear of them. Below these three major factions, the Lin family could be considered as the next most powerful faction. In fact, ever since Lin Xiao had recovered his strength, the Lin family now had the qualifications to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with these three major factions. After all, even the Lei family, which was one of the most well-established faction, only possessed five heavenly Yuan practitioners. As for the Qingyang town hunt, it was an event jointly held by these three major factions. However, it was not really a hunt, but rather a test for the younger generation in each faction. Of course, this was also a way for each faction to secretly compete with each other. Naturally, whoever rose above the others in this hunt would bring much glory to their family. The results were determined based on individual comparisons, and whoever could suppress the rest would emerge as the unofficial victor. Therefore, every faction in the Qingyang town placed great emphasis on the hunt, and in order to secure a good result, they would send their most elite younger generation members to take part. Hence, the intensity of the competition definitely exceed that of the family competition today. And those opponents would definitely be stronger than Lin Hong. The hunt was the real deal. I understand, father. I will not rest on my laurels. In the house, Lin Dong collected his thoughts as he lifted his head and smiled. He recalled that the Lin family had performed dismally in the past few hunts, and they were thus constantly ridiculed for it. Therefore, grandpa had placed an exceptional emphasis on the upcoming hunt. Good. Lin Xiao nodded his head in contentment and said, the Lei and Si family are both pioneers in this town. Therefore, they often discriminate against the Raging Blade Dojo and us, the Lin family. All these years, they have been constantly undermining us as they seek to demonstrate their dominance in this town and force us to submit to them. At this point, Lin Xiao involuntarily snorted before continuing, All these years, our Lin family has been waiting in the wings. Now that my power has been restored, we no longer need to fear them. Therefore, you must work hard and secure a decent result for this hunt and restore our Lin family's reputation. Lin Dong once again nodded his head. Upon witnessing this sight, Lin Xiao gently smiled. He then proceeded to hand over an embroidered box to Lin Dong and said, this was a reward from grandpa. There are two grade three elixirs contained within. 
Besides, you have also gained the qualifications to enter the martial arts library. In the future, if you want to learn any martial arts, you can enter by yourself to take a look around. Two grade three elixirs. As these words entered his ears, Lin Dong's eyes immediately sparkled. Ever since he had fortunately stumbled across a crystal vermilion fruit, he had yet to encounter another grade three elixir. Therefore, he could not bear to use the two pills that were refined from the stone talisman. Now that he had two more grade three elixirs, he could finally afford to try those pills and experience their effects. All right, it's getting late. Go and get some rest. During this period of time, I will be busy with the blazing manner. Therefore, you will have to train hard on your own. As he saw Lin Dong take the silk box, Lin Xiao waved his hands and instructed. Yes, Lin Dong nodded his head as he left the room with the embroidered box in hand. He was extremely eager to find out just how potent the pills refined from grade 3 elixirs would be. Chapter 27. Martial Arts Library. As he slipped back into his room, Lin Dong immediately locked his door before he collapsed against it and heaved a sigh of relief. Soon after, he walked towards his table and opened up the embroidered box. When he opened the embroidered box, sitting atop of the red silk lining were two stalks of blood-red elixirs, which looked like they were on fire. Meanwhile, a seductive aroma filled the room. Flaming crimson rishi. As he gazed at these two stalks of rishi, a look of delight surfaced on Lin Dong's face. After all, he knew that these were pretty costly elixirs. These two flaming crimson rishi probably cost more than a thousand tails of silver. Lin Dong gasped. He had never seen such a huge sum of money before. As Lin Dong gleefully rubbed his palms, he retrieved the stone talisman from his chest and gently brought it towards a stalk of flaming crimson rishi. Upon contact, the stalk of flaming crimson rishi was rapidly drained dry as all the ling ki contained was completely swallowed by the stone talisman. Soon after the stalk of flaming crimson rishi was completely drained, three flaming red pills fell from the stone talisman and were instantly scooped up by Lin Dong. A lukewarm sensation filled his palm as he grabbed the pills. The smile on Lin Dong's face widened as he realized that the potency of the flaming crimson rishi was much stronger than the crystal vermilion fruit that he encountered by chance previously. After this bountiful harvest, Lin Dong proceeded to feed the stone talisman his other stalk of flaming crimson rishi. In the end, the two stalks of flaming crimson rishi were refined into six flaming red pills. Lin Dong nodded in satisfaction after keeping these six pills into a bottle. As he sat down on his bed, he took out two other bottles hidden under his pillow. In the first bottle, were two pills refined from the crystal vermilion fruit, while in the second, were ten white yin pearls. These yin pearls were obtained over this period of time when he used the stone talisman to suck out and tame the chilling cold in King Tan's body. According to Lin Xiao, these yin pearls were extremely precious as the yin energy contained within, was very crucial for any earthly yuan practitioners. Therefore, Lin Dong planned to save these yin pearls for his own consumption when he advances to the earthly yuan level. As he gently held the bottle with the crystal vermilion pills, Lin Dong carefully tipped it over and retrieved one pill. Gritting his teeth, he immediately popped the pill into his mouth. Even though he felt a heavy pinch of regret, knowing how valuable these items were, he decided that it was more important to raise his strength before anything else. As the pill entered his body, Lin Dong could vividly feel a stream of pure and potent medicinal power explode within his body. As the pill took its effect, Lin Dong's body became like a hungry ghost. His muscles and internal organs fervently devoured the pure medicinal effect. As his body hungrily gorged itself, the Yuan power seed that was flowing within his body's inner channels also released a suction force, as it gradually grew while consuming a part of the medicinal effect. This situation continued for approximately 10 minutes, after which, the potent medicinal effect began to weaken. Another half an hour later, Lin Dong finally opened his eyes slowly. Such a potent medicinal effect. As he opened his eyes, Lin Dong could feel the vigorous energy flowing through his channels and the growth of the Yuan power seed. 
A look of uncontrollable excitement surfaced in his eyes. This was his first time consuming a pill refined from a grade 3 elixir, and its effects were beyond his expectations. In general, most elixirs would supplement one's body. However, due to various reasons, they also lead to unexpected side effects. However, the pill that Lin Dong just consumed, did not have any side effect. It was almost as if the stone talisman had removed every impurity and flaw in the elixirs during the refining process. As such, one was now able to fully absorb and benefit from the elixirs consumed. Therefore, the efficiency of just one particular pill far surpasses that of its respective elixir. As there was no wastage during the absorption process, the benefits from one pill probably equal to that of multiple stalks of elixirs from the same grade. My Yuan power seed is expanding. At this rate, it will not be long before I can advance into tempered body eighth layer. Excitement surfaced in Lin Dong's eyes. When he first heard that Lin Xiao and the rest had placed such high expectations of him for the Qingyang town hunt, it would be a lie to say that he did not feel any pressure. However, he knew that the Lei and Si family had the advantage in terms of resources. Furthermore, it was said there were several capable members among the current younger generation in their families. Therefore, Lin Dong knew that if he wanted to catch up to them, he must work extra hard. As part of the Lin family, he knew that he also had to think about the big picture. If he could achieve a good result at the upcoming Qingyang town hunt, it would greatly bolster the reputation of the Lin family and improve their standing, enabling the Lin family to become like the Raging Blade Dojo, able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Lei and Si family in the future. I have already thoroughly mastered Penetrating Fist and Eight Desolations Palm. Tomorrow, I will visit the family's martial arts library and see if I can learn any powerful martial arts to boost my fighting potential. Lin Dong muttered to himself. After all, his advantage lay in having a glowing shadow as a mentor, allowing him to bring the potential of any martial arts to its peak. Therefore, he could not forsake this advantage. As he reached this decision, he kept his bottles carefully and fell into a deep sleep. Today's intense battles had completely drained him. The next day, just after Lin Dong finished his training regime, he immediately fled to the Lin family residences. On his way, many unfamiliar faces instantly greeted him as he passed by. Their overly friendly demeanor caused Lin Dong to feel uncomfortable and he casually dismissed them and carried on. The martial arts library was located in the Lin family's backyard and it was considered as an important place in the Lin family. Without permission, one would not be able to enter. At the entrance of the martial arts library stood a few guards. However, they clearly recognized Lin Dong as they jovially welcomed and ushered him into the premises. As he stepped into the martial arts library, the scent of musty books immediately assaulted him. As Lin Dong scanned the surroundings, he realized that this facility was quite huge. Within the facility, were rows of red bookshelves filled with martial arts manuals. This was the first time Lin Dong saw so many different martial arts manuals. Immediately, a fire lit up inside his heart, he knew that the Lin family must have spent an exorbitant sum in order to build up such a vast collection. As he leisurely strolled in the library, glittering manuals were reflected in his constantly darting his eyes. Level 1 Martial Arts, Landslide Punch. Level 1 Martial Arts, Whirlwind Kick. Level 2 Martial Arts, Wandering Palm. Lin Dong was dazzled as his eyes soaked up all the different varieties of martial art manuals available. However, most of these martial arts were level 1 or level 2. Thus far, he had yet to discover any level 3 martial arts. All the level 3 martial arts are located at the deepest part. You will not find them out here. Just as Lin Dong furrowed his brows, a sweet voice suddenly echoed behind him. He hurriedly turned his head, only to see Lin Chia leaning on a bookshelf with her arms folded across her chest, looking at him with a smile. Oh Miss Lin Chia, you are here as well. Lin Dong returned a smile upon seeing Lin Chia. Younger cousin Lin Dong, it seems like still water runs deep. Lin Chia commented, a sweet smile on her pretty face as she approached Lin Dong. Upon hearing these words, Lin Dong could only reply with a dry laugh. Come. 
Let me take you to where our level 3 martial art manuals are. However, Grandpa once said that if one had not reached earthly Yuan level, it would be unwise to train in level 3 martial arts or higher. Lin Chia gently scoffed as she brushed past Lin Dong. Her slim and elegant figure appeared especially alluring. Lin Dong put down the level 2 martial art manual in his hand and followed her with a chuckle. After following Lin Chia for a few minutes, they walked into an area with fewer bookshelves. Finally, Lin Chia stopped at a bookshelf hidden right at the end and said, These are all the level 3 martial art manuals that the Lin family possess. Lin Dong curiously tilted his head forward only to see 10 old manuals that had faded yellow with age on the bookshelf. Beside each manual, was a wooden block explaining each martial art in detail. Level 3 martial art, Velvet Hand of Returning Air. Level 3 Martial Art, Shadowless Claw. Lin Dong's eyes brightened as his eyes swept across these ten wooden blocks. Based on their names alone, he could sense that these martial arts were indeed more powerful. You can't be thinking about learning level 3 martial arts. Lin Chia, who was standing right next to him, grumpily commented as she saw Lin Dong's expression. Lin Dong chuckled as he casually picked one of the martial art manuals. However, his vision suddenly turned towards the corner of the bookshelf as he realized that hidden there, was a dark-colored martial art manual. What is that? Lin Dong walked over with a puzzled look as he kept his eyes peeled on the wooden block beside it. Level 3 Martial Arts, Wondergate Seal, Incomplete. Chapter 28, Wondergate Seal, Incomplete. Wondergate Seal, Incomplete. Lin Dong blankly stared at the description on the wooden block. He did not expect that the grade 3 martial art manual was actually incomplete. This martial art manual was coincidentally found by Grandpa. However, as the description says, this martial art manual is incomplete. If you really want to learn a grade 3 martial art, I suggest that you learn something else. Lin Seo uttered as she walked forward. If Grandpa is willing to display an incomplete manual, this must imply that the Wonder Gate Seal martial art must be very powerful indeed. Lin Dong curiously asked. It's all right. However, there is no point since you can't fully master it. According to Grandpa, even if you master this incomplete martial art manual, it will only be as powerful as a grade 3 martial arts. Or perhaps, even weaker. Lin Chia replied with a smile. Furthermore, it is exceedingly difficult to master this incomplete Wondergate seal. In fact, many people in the Lin family have attempted, but thus far, only Grandpa and your father have been successful. However, as it might lose out to other level 3 martial arts, eventually they abandoned it. Lin Chia warned him, noticing that Lin Dong was still tempted to try it out. Oh, Lin Dong was slightly taken back to think that only his father and grandpa have managed to master this martial art. Seems like this Wondergate seal martial art is indeed something special. If it is incomplete, I wonder if the mysterious glowing shadow can automatically restore the lost chapters. Lin Dong wondered. Based on his experience with penetrating fist and eight desolations palm, it seems that glowing shadow could perfect any martial arts. Could it also perfect this incomplete Wondergate seal martial arts? If the glowing shadow was really able to perfectly restore this Wondergate seal martial art, Lin Dong would have undoubtedly uncovered a massive treasure. Even though he was unable to grasp how strong the Wondergate seal was now, the fact was, even incomplete, it could qualify as a grade 3 martial arts. This hinted that should the martial art manual be complete, it will at least be a grade 4 martial arts grade 4 martial arts that no longer belongs to the lower category but rather the middle category of martial arts in fact in the entire lin family there was only one grade 4 martial art manual the one secretly stolen by grandpa when he was banished from the lin clan if lin dong could master a grade 4 martial art he had full faith that he could even defeat a tempered body ninth layer practitioner i have to give it a try Lin Dong's heart was now burning in excitement about the prospects of learning a level 4 martial arts as he stared at the dark-colored manual with passionate eyes. Momentarily, he suppressed the excitement in his heart as reached out to take the manual. However, his arm was suddenly stopped mid-air. Oi, 
You cheeky fellow. Why don't you listen to me? Are you aching for a beating? Lin Chia, who was beside him, chided after she saw that Lin Dong was still determined to chose this incomplete martial art manual even after all of her advice. Ah, let me try learning this first. If it's not suitable, I will just exchange it for another one. Lin Dong replied with a chuckle. You, ah, fine, whatever. Lin Chia was evidently frustrated as she stamped her foot on the floor. Previously, she had seen many people attempt to learn this incomplete martial art as well. Many of them held the same mentality as Lin Dong and naively believed that they could master it. However, in the end, all of them ended up disappointed and eventually switched over to a new martial art. Therefore, she did not want to see Lin Dong waste his time on this fruitless endeavor. Rest assured Miss Lin Chia, I am merely curious. I have not made any concrete plans to start training yet. Lin Dong replied with a smile. He knew that Lin Chia was merely looking out for him. All right, you best take care of yourself. Don't delay your training because of this. Those bastards from Lei and Si family have been eyeing us for a while, and so far, we have frequently clashed with their younger generation members. As she mentioned this fact, traces of anger flashed on Lin Chia's cheeks. Immediately, her expression turned slightly dark as she sighed. However, the matter of the fact remains that those bastards are indeed stronger than us. Every time we clash, we have came out on the losing end. Furthermore, as it is inappropriate for adults to intervene in these matters, they can only stand aside helplessly. Who is currently the strongest amongst the younger generation in Lei and Si family? Lin Dong asked as he gently nodded his head. He was not surprised by this fact. After all the two families were very well established in Qingyang town. In comparison, the Lin family definitely felt like an outsider. Among the younger generation in the Lei family, the strongest fellow should be Lei Li. Based on my knowledge, he has already advanced to tempered body 8th layer 4 months ago. Right now, he may have perhaps even reached 9th layer. As for the Si family, it should be Si Yingying. She should be a tempered body 8th layer. When Lin Chia mentioned this name, she gritted her teeth. Evidently, there was some bad blood between them. Lei Li, Si Yingying. Lin Dong silently recited their names as he lamented the fact that the Lei and Si family were indeed much more well established than theirs. What about the Raging Blade Dojo? Lin Dong suddenly recalled the faction that had advanced even more rapidly than the Lin family, even though they had arrived later at Qingyang Town. For the Raging Blade Dojo, the strongest fellow should be Wu Yun. Right now, his strength seems to be approximately at Tempered Body 8th layer. However, he is constantly squabbling with the other two from the Lei and Si families. In fact, he fought with Lei Li before, though he was defeated in the end. Lin Chia replied, Indeed, a fearsome bunch. Lin Dong lightly smiled, involuntarily tightening his grip on the dark-colored martial art manual. There was no point for him to compete with Lin Hong and the rest anymore. Instead, he should contend against these reputable figures from the younger generation of Qingyang Town. Yeah, in comparison, the younger generation in Lin family is definitely weaker. Lin Chia sighed, however, her spirits promptly lifted as she stared at Lin Dong and happily proclaimed. However, things are going to change. With a dark horse like you around, our Lin family will definitely excel in the upcoming hunt. Miss Lin Chia, you speak too highly of me. After all, my current strength is similar to yours. Compared to these three fellows, I still have a long way to go. Lin Dong shook his head, a smile on his face. Quit acting coy. You merely started training less than one year ago. Don't you know how much earlier I started training? At your current speed, you can easily overtake Lei Li and become the top younger generation member in the whole Qingyang town. Lin Chia retorted as she rolled her eyes. However, let me warn you first. Once you become stronger than Lei Li, you must help me take care of that bitch Si Yingying. Or else, I will never forgive you. As if she recalled something, Lin Chia suddenly threatened Lin Dong. Lin Dong was shocked as he witnessed the terrifying glint in Lin Chia's eyes. It was as if he was looking at a small female tiger. Immediately, he nodded his head, and replied with a dry laugh. 
since Miss Lin Chia has requested this favor, I will definitely fulfill it. However, why must I bother with Lei Li to deal with Si Yingying? That is because Si Yingying is that bastard's fiancé. If you are dealing with her, you must get past Lei Li too. Lin Chia explained. Understood. Lin Dong was taken back. Though soon after, he nodded his head. All right, it's getting late. Time to leave. After you register, you can bring this incomplete martial art manual home. Lin Chia nodded in satisfaction before she turned and walked away. As she placed her jade-like hands behind her back, her ponytail extended towards her slender waist, swing back and forth in tandem with her gait, giving off the impression of a lively girl. As he followed behind Lin Chia, Ling Dong quickly registered and then left the martial arts library with the incomplete Wonder Gate Seal martial arts manual in hand. After he left the martial arts library, Lin Chia and Lin Dong chatted for a while before she finally left. Lin Dong heaved a sigh of relief as he swiftly proceeded back home. He was extremely eager to see if the mysterious glowing shadow could fully restore this incomplete Wonder Gate Seal martial art. Chapter 29 a change in the stone talisman. The faint moonlight shrouded the entire land like a layer of silver yarn. Lin Dong's figure once again appeared in the darkness of the spiritual domain. Closely following which, two glowing shadows also winked into existence as they displayed penetrating fist and eight desolations palm respectively. However, this time, Lin Dong's did not bother to glance at either of these two glowing shadows. Instead, he firmly stared at the spot behind the second glowing shadow, as shades of anticipation and nervousness colored his face. In the afternoon, he had already read through the Wondergate seal manual. Yet, just as Lin Chia had said, this was only an incomplete manual, and to master this extremely complicated and detailed martial art, was indeed excessively difficult. Thus, a whole afternoon of intense studying yielded little results. Moreover, this Wonder Gate Seal Incomplete Manual was also different from the other martial arts Lin Dong had came into contact with before. For example, Penetrating Fist and Eight Desolations Palm were both martial arts that involved a fixed sequence or pattern of moves. In comparison, Wonder Gate Seal used some kind of hand seals in order to draw out the Yuan energy within the body, and when Yuan energy is combined with the hand seals, an exceedingly strong power will be generated. Although he merely skimmed through the manual, Lin Dong was still able to sense that the seal method described in the incomplete manual was not complete. Maybe that was why Lin Xiao and Lin Zhenshen had decided to give up on this martial art, even after successfully mastering the hand seal method. After all, without the full manual, it was impossible to bring out the true might of Wondergate seal. As for the missing hand seal methods, Lin Dong hoped that the stone talisman glowing shadow was able to complete it. Under Lin Dong's strained gaze, at first, nothing happened in the darkness behind the second glowing shadow. Momentarily, the darkness heaved as a third glowing shadow was formed. Upon witnessing the glowing shadow take shape, Lin Dong could not help but heave a sigh of relief in his heart. When that glowing shadow finally winked into existence, its hands folded together to form into a complicated hand seal. This is indeed the opening hand seal method of the Wondergate seal. A fire lit up in Lin Dong's eyes as he focused all his senses on the glowing shadow. After the first hand seal, the glowing shadow displayed five other hand seals in succession. Each different seal method displayed was fairly complicated, yet with the preparations that he had done in the afternoon, though hard-pressed, Lin Dong was able to keep up with its rhythm. When the hand seal made by the glowing shadow changed for seventh time, Lin Dong's heart started to beat rapidly as the hand seal methods written on the incomplete manual had been cut off here. Thus, the rest of the hand seal methods were not recorded in this incomplete manual. Under Lin Dong's fiery and intense gaze, the originally smooth movements of the glowing shadow suddenly came to a standstill. After what seemed like an eternity, Fortunately, the hand seal finally continued to change. Success. Gazing at the hands of the glowing shadow, the new hand seal was clearly very unfamiliar, yet it also looked extremely in place with the previous set of hand seals. Lin Dong could barely restrain himself from jumping in joy, 
as excitement and happiness flooded his face. The incomplete martial art manual was perfectly restored, thanks to the fantastic ability of the stone talisman glowing shadow. To think that it actually works. Overcome by emotion, it took a while before Lin Dong finally regained his composure and he once again focused on the stone talisman glowing shadow. However, his complexion suddenly changed as he found that the glowing shadow had seemed to fade off and look much fainter than before. Even the speed at which the hand seals changed had started to slow down. What's going on? Upon witnessing this scene, Lin Dong felt highly alarmed. This was the first time something like this had happened ever since he obtained the stone talisman. The expression on Lin Dong's face turned slightly ugly, as the rate at which the glowing shadow moved from each hand seal became gradually slower. In the end, the glowing shadow unexpectedly came to a halt. However, the last hand seal in its hands was clearly not the last step in Wondergate seal. Perhaps the stone talisman glowing shadow is unable to completely restore this Wondergate seal. Lin Dong's eyebrows tightly furrowed together, as he was evidently unable to comprehend why the stone talisman glowing shadow, which was fine moments ago, had suddenly become incapable of executing Wondergate seal. However, although the stone talisman glowing shadow had paused, after a while, it once again returned to the starting point of Wondergate seal. Yet, even at its second repetition, Lin Dong was disappointed when he realized that the glowing shadow still stopped at the same place it had previously. Even though it kept repeating itself over and over, there was still no further improvements to the Wondergate seal. Lin Dong blankly stared at the stone talisman glowing shadow. A long time later, he finally reached his wit's end, and gave up. As he sighed, he self-mockingly said, forget it. I'll just make do with what I have. At least it's still more complete than the incomplete version written in the manual. After saying this, Lin Dong stretched out his hands, as he imitated the stone talisman glowing shadow and formed hand seals. This lasted for a long time before Lin Dong finally relaxed his hands and took in a deep breath. Though the hand seal were complicated, under the perfect tutelage of the stone talisman glowing shadow, committing these hand seals to mind was not a difficult task. However, though it was easy to remember these hand seals, it would be a different story when he was forced to use them in a battle. According to the incomplete manual, this Wondergate seal is split into four chapters. However, the incomplete manual only records the first chapter of hand seals. If I'm not mistaken, the extra hand seals displayed by the stone talisman glowing shadow belong to the second chapter. Yet why can't the glowing shadow restore the third and fourth chapters as well? Could it be too complex for it to handle? Lin Dong's pupils flickered from side to side as he racked his brains for a solution. In the end, he could only shake his head as he sighed. If it's two chapters then it's two chapters. Anyways, with my current strength, it would be a pretty good accomplishment to master the first chapter of Wondergate Seal. Lin Dong consoled himself in his heart, before leaving exiting the spiritual domain with a tinge of regret. On his bed, Lin Dong's tightly shut eyes finally opened. His strong and healthy figure jumped off the bed before concentrating his energy into his abdomen, as his hands came together to form rough imitations of those complicated hand seal. As he moved from one hand seal to the next, ripples of Yuan power were suddenly transmitted from the Yuan power seed within Lin Dong's channels. However, its movements were extremely minute, and after flickering, it disappeared once again. As the ripples faded, Lin Dong helplessly shook his head. Although he had memorized the hand seal, in order to reach the stage where he could use Yuan power and hand seal method in tandem, he still had a long way to go. After all, when all is said and done, the first chapter of Wonder Gate Seal was already considered as a level 3 martial arts. The first chapter of Wonder Gate Seal is already equivalent to a level 3 martial art. If the second chapter is added, then even if Wonder Gate Seal could not be considered as a level 4 martial art, it would definitely still tower over the other level 3 martial arts. As Lin Dong's thoughts reached this point, the gloominess from before weakened considerably. He lightly released out a sigh, as his hand reached to retrieve the stone talisman from his body. However, 
He suddenly noticed something from the corner of his eye and his complexion greatly changed. What is going on? The stone talisman had turned slightly dark and the originally lukewarm jade-like feeling had almost dissipated completely. Even the strange mystical characters that covered it had also become barely discernible. The current stone talisman looked almost no different from a rock by the roadside. It was as if the stone talisman had lost its power supply and turned back into a normal rock. Energy deficiency. A thought flashed in his mind, causing the franticness in Lin Dong's heart to scatter. Only now did he vaguely understand why the stone talisman glowing shadow could only restore till half of the chapters before automatically stopping. Perhaps this stone talisman required energy in order to perfect these martial arts. Since it had already expended its energy on penetrating fist, eight desolations palm, and now wonder gate seal, its original energy source had been depleted. That should be the case. In his room, Lin Dong wiped off the cold sweat from his forehead. Since he now knew where the problem lay, he could devise a solution to solve it. After all, this stone talisman was too important to him. No matter what, he could not afford to let anything happen to it. Chapter 30. A Minor Accomplishment. Lin Dong knew that there were two methods to acquire more energy, from elixirs or from Yuan power. The likelihood of the former was comparatively less. Based on the ability of the stone talisman to refine pills, it did not seem to be too interested in the energy contained in elixirs. Therefore, he had to rely on Yuan power. As this realization dawned on Lin Dong, he hesitated for a moment before he slowly closed his eyes. As he felt the Yuan power seed within his body, a weak glow suddenly emerged at the center of Lin Dong's palm. A weak trace of Yuan power simmered below the skin on his palm. However, the Yuan power was unable to break out from body. After all, based on his current ability, he had yet to reach that level of mastery over Yuan power. Buzz. Nonetheless, just as Lin Dong frowned, while gripping onto the stone talisman, it suddenly jolted and he could suddenly feel streams of energy within him being violently sucked out by the stone talisman. Due to that suction force, the small trace of Yuan power simmering below the skin on Lin Dong's palm was instantly swallowed up by the stone talisman. However, the stone talisman was not satisfied, as Lin Dong felt the suction force extend into his body and continue to absorb more Yuan power from the Yuan power seed within him. This sudden change caused Lin Dong's face to turn pale. This Yuan power seed was the fruits of his labor after more than half a year of training, if it was completely sucked dry by the stone talisman, all his hard work would have gone down the river. Just as Lin Dong panicked, a sharp pain abruptly emerged from his palm. He hastily turned to look, only to see that the stone talisman had unexpectedly started to embed itself into his palm. The rate at which the stone talisman was fusing with Lin Dong's palm quickly sped up. Just as he hurriedly tried to pluck it out, the stone talisman had already slipped into his palm. However, his palm was completely unharmed with not a single scratch on his skin. As the stone talisman slipped into Lin Dong's palm, the suction force gradually became weaker, until it eventually disappeared. This. Lin Dong suppressed the panic in his heart as he turned to look at his palm, only to find a row of faint glowing symbols. These symbols looked like they were imprinted underneath the skin of his palm and were hard to find unless one looked closely. These symbols were not foreign to Lin Dong as they were exactly the same symbols on the stone talisman. As he gazed at the mysterious symbols, Lin Dong stood at a loss for words. He could vividly feel that the stone talisman had entered his palm. Perhaps it was because of this physical connection, Lin Dong now felt an increased familiarity with the stone talisman. As he attempted to interact with the stone talisman inside his palm, Lin Dong closed his eyes, and instantly, he was brought into the spiritual domain. In there, the brightness of the third glowing shadow seemed to have recovered slightly. As expected, the stone talisman needs Yuan power in order to perfect martial arts. Upon witnessing this scene, Lin Dong nodded his head as he finally grasped one of the mysteries behind the stone talisman. He closed his eyes and retreated from the spiritual domain. Ever since the stone talisman entered his body, 
He could now enter the spiritual domain whenever he wanted. The Yuan power in my body is too weak. Hence, the stone talisman is still unable to perfect Wondergate seal. I guess this martial arts is indeed rather complex. Lin Dong muttered to himself as he curled his fingers into a fist. Looks like I will have to first improve my strength as quickly as possible. Lin Dong softly sighed. He finally understood that the stone talisman required a huge amount of Yuan power in order to perfect higher level martial arts. Previously, when it encountered a level 1 martial art like penetrating fist, it could easily perfect it. However, now that it had encountered a higher level martial arts, which was furthermore incomplete, it needed the support of vast quantities of Yuan power. Upon this thought, Lin Dong decided to temporarily suppress his desire to master Wondergate Seal. As he sat down on his bed, he took out a bottle of stone talisman Ling liquid and dripped a few drops into his mouth. Soon after, his body began to absorb streams of pure medicinal power as his Yuan power seed gradually grew. In the following month's time, Lin Dong decided to seclude himself. He was rarely seen walking about in the Lin family as he focused all his time and effort on training. Thanks to help from the stone talisman Ling Liquid, various elixirs pills and his tireless training regime, he managed to achieve significant progress. Within a month's time, the Yuan power seed within Lin Dong's body had grown in size by a few times. In fact, the Yuan power contained within far surpasses the amount he had during the family competition. Though he had yet to advance to tempered body 8th layer, it was only be a matter of time. As for the first chapter of Wondergate Seal, Lin Dong had been ceaselessly practicing it during this period. Hence, he had become more and more proficient and could now better use Yuan power and hand seal methods in tandem. However, with regards to the second chapter of Wondergate Seal, regardless of how hard he drilled, Lin Dong was still unable to activate any Yuan power in conjunction with it. Perhaps, his strength was still too weak. Nonetheless, his hard work over this month had indeed paid off. In the dense forest, Lin Dong sat atop a stone block with his eyes tightly shut. Faint traces of sweat were visible on his body, indicating that he had just went through a period of vigorous training. As Lin Dong sat with his eyes closed, Traces of Yuan power floating in the air were constantly flowing into his body in tandem with his breathing and nourishing every part of his body. Of course, the trickling Yuan power was unable to satisfy Lin Dong's demand. Therefore, he gently swallowed a flaming crimson Rishi pill. As the pill entered his body, a powerful medicinal power instantly exploded in his body. In that instance, Lin Dong could sense an invigorating feeling constantly coursing through his bones and tissues. As the medicinal power coursed through his body, it was refined by his channels into traces of Yuan power, which then assimilated into his Yuan power seed. Buzz buzz. As more and more Yuan power flowed into his Yuan power seed, the Yuan power seed which had never moved before suddenly trembled slightly. A faint mist that was previously surrounding the Yuan power seed turned into a glowing halo as it spiraled around the Yuan power seed. Just as the glowing mist turned into a halo, Lin Dong could clearly feel that the Yuan power seed within him had started to flow along his channels and move towards his lower abdomen. However, just as the Yuan power seed reached the end of his inner body's channel, an invisible resistance appeared. It was like an invisible wall that immediately stopped the Yuan power seed in its tracks. Faced with the obstruction of the invisible wall, the Yuan power seed tried to forcibly barge through. However, after a few tries, there seemed to be little effect, and it could only grudgingly give up. Tempered body 8th layer. After the Yuan power seed was blocked off by that invisible force, Lin Dong slowly opened his eyes. As he exhaled deeply, a look of excitement flashed in his eyes. His Yuan power seed had grown several times in magnitude since the family competition. Based on his current progress, he should be already at tempered body 8th layer. That invisible barrier should be the Dan Tian barrier. If I can break through this barrier, my Yuan power seed would be able to enter into my Dan Tian and lay its roots securely in there, forming a stable foundation for training. Lin Dong murmured to himself. When the Yuan power seed laid its roots into his Dan Tian, 
it is a major sign that one was about to advance to tempered body ninth layer. However, based on his current situation, he still had to work hard for a period of time before he could reach that step. Nonetheless, progressing from tempered body 7th layer to 8th layer in merely one month's time was already a remarkable achievement. Therefore, it would be overly ambitious to aim for 9th layer now. After all, Rome wasn't built in a day. As he leaped off the stone block, Lin Dong straightened his body. With a serious expression on his face, he formed a complicated hand seal. In the instance the hand seal took shape, a special aura emerged from his body and filled the air. Lin Dong's hand seals swiftly changed as he formed several complex hand seals in a short span of time. Following his changing hand seals, the Yuan power seed within his body constantly emitted streams of Yuan power, which rapidly flooded towards Lin Dong's palm. Go! As the glow on Lin Dong's palm gradually became brighter, he suddenly let out a roar as he slammed his palm onto a solid rock boulder. Boom! Upon contact, the rock boulder instantly exploded, as rock shrapnel scattered in every direction. Panting heavily, a flushed Lin Dong stared at the rock debris. A look of uncontrollable delight in his eyes. He was finally able to execute the first move of Wonder Gate Seal after he had advanced to tempered body 8th layer. This overwhelming might outshined even his penetrating fist 10th echo. Level 3 martial arts are indeed in a league of their own. Chapter 31. Monster. In the dense forest, Lin Dong put away his fists, feeling some weakness in his body. Based on his current strength, executing Wonder Gate Seal once took up a huge chunk of his Yuan power reserves. Thankfully, the force generated was truly tremendous and definitely worth the cost. Yuan Power Seed now is unable to store too much Yuan power. It would be much better if I could quickly advance to Tempered Body 9th Layer. Once he reached Tempered Body 9th Layer, he will finally be able to open his Dan Tian. The Dan Tian had a far larger reserve compared to the Yuan Power Seed. When he reaches that stage, he could then freely expend his Yuan power. During this period of training, I have almost exhausted all of my elixir pills. As he thought about his training, Lin Dong's eyebrows knitted together. In less than half a month, he had advanced to tempered body 8th layer. However, this had came at a huge cost to him. He had expended a large amount of stone talisman Ling liquid. Moreover, his elixir pills had almost been completely used up. Right now, he only had two flaming crimson rishi pills left. Overall, this half a month's training, had nearly depleted Lin Dong's collection of resources. I must find a way to secure more elixirs. Lin Dong softly sighed as a serious expression surfaced on his face. Based on the current strength he displayed, he could get some resources from the Lin family. However, he did not care much for elixir pills refined from lower grade elixir. Yet, he also knew that grade 3 elixirs were costly items and even the Lin family did not possess too many of them. In fact, he was already very fortunate to receive two stalks of flaming crimson rishi as an encouragement gift previously. Big Brother Lin Dong. Just as he was racking his head over this problem, a sweet voice sounded out from the dense forest. He turned to see King Tan hop over like a butterfly with a joyous glow on her rosy cheeks. King Tan, what's up? Lin Dong casually asked with a smile as he glanced towards her, while he lifted up a section of the shattered rock boulder. Big brother Lin Dong, I now possess Yuan power. Thud. The piece of rock in his hands fell to the ground with a thud as Lin Dong turned and stared blankly at King Tan. Yuan power. Have you reached tempered body sixth layer? How is that possible? After overcoming his initial shock, Lin Dong regained his wits and a look of utter astonishment surfaced on his face. Even though King Tan had been harping about training for some time now, she had always slacked off. After all, tempered body training was indeed very tiring and unsuitable for some girls. Based on his calculations, even if he secretly helped her, King Tan would need half a year before she could reach tempered body sixth layer. However, out of the blue, she came by to announce that she already possessed Yuan power. This was practically unheard of. It was even more ridiculous than the stone talisman. As Lin Dong stood, 
Overwhelmed with shock, King Tan extended her jade-like palm. On her hands, a light glow shimmered and its familiar pulse indicated that it was indeed Yuan power. How could this be? Lin Dong exclaimed as he sucked in a deep breath of air. He had never witnessed King Tan hard at work. How could she suddenly possess Yuan power? If his training speed was considered astonishing, then King Tan's speed can only be described as ethereal. I don't know either. When I woke up this morning, I felt like something was wrong with my body. And then, I discovered this. King Tan coyly said as she stuck out her tongue. Lin Dong's expression gradually turned serious as he grabbed onto King Tan's delicate hands. Even though her hand felt soft and smooth on the surface, upon applying a little pressure, one could clearly feel that her bones possessed an exceptional tenacity. This result could only be accomplished after one has trained in tempered body for a long time. As Lin Dong continued his careful examination, he suddenly discovered that beneath that toughness seemed to be a slight chill. It must be due to the chilling cold in her body. Suddenly, a light bulb lit up in Lin Dong's head. Previously, he had discovered that even though the chilling cold within King Tan's body was violent and savage, it was highly beneficial for a tempered body practitioner. Of course, this benefit could only extend to King Tan and Lin Dong, who had the stone talisman. Over the past decade, this chilling cold would periodically flare up causing King Tan to be in massive pain every time. King Tan would be in massive pain. Perhaps, parts of her body gradually transformed due to constant attacks by this chilling cold. Though only tiny part of the chilling cold entered and strengthened her body, they accumulated in her body bit by bit. Now, even though King Tan did not train hard, her body's muscles and bones had already been strengthened multiple times until Yuan power eventually appeared. With the right conditions everything will easily fall into place. Even though she did experience day after day of tough training, her body had naturally given rise to Yuan power. King Tan's body must have some difference from others. Lin Dong slowly suppressed the shock in his heart. He had never heard of anyone who possessed a Yuan power seed without physically tempering one's body. If news of this got out, how devastated would those individuals desperately training to reach tempered body sixth layer be? Of course, this was not the whole truth. After all, ever since she was young, King Tan would be gruesomely tortured by the chilling cold every time it flared up. Therefore, in a way, she had actually paid a different kind of price to gain this naturally occurring Yuan power seed. Do not tell anyone else about this matter. Let's talk to father when he returns and ask for his opinion. Lin Dong said after a moment of hesitation. Yes, King Tan nodded her head obediently. She knew that this matter was very strange and if news got out, it might draw some trouble. Big brother Lin Dong, it's nearing the end of the month in a few days. The bazaar in Qingyang town will be exceptionally crowded. How about we go and take a look? King Tan pleaded as she begged Lin Dong with puppy eyes. Bazaar! Lin Dong was stumped. This bazaar was an event jointly organized by some of the more successful merchants in Qingyang town and all sorts of items will be sold there. Hence, it was extremely popular place. In fact, it was arguably one of the most popular spots in Qingyang town. Yeah, Miss Lin Chia and the rest have all went too. King Tan continuously nodded her head. She was a young and lively girl and naturally these places piqued her interest. However, as she was still grounded by Lin Xiao, she did not dare to go on her own. Therefore, she tried to rope in Lin Dong. As Lin Dong muttered to himself as an idea suddenly sprung up in his head. Right now, he desperately needed elixirs and naturally, he did not have the funds required to purchase the exorbitant elixirs that he needed. However, he had the stone talisman Ling liquid and his last two flaming crimson rishi pills. These two items are definitely valuable. In particular, the flaming crimson rishi pills were especially prized. Furthermore, these items all contain exceedingly pure Ling Qi. Compared to normal elixirs, they were much more potent. Therefore, it was almost assured that there will be many people clamoring to buy these items from him. However, he could not sell too many of these items as that might arouse others' suspicion. Moreover, 
Lin Dong was highly reluctant to part with any of his stone talisman Ling liquid or elixir pills. However, once he sold these items, it will be an easy matter by the elixirs that he required. As he stumbled upon this thought, Lin Dong could not help but smile as he felt a weight lifted off his chest. He had finally found a solution to this thorny problem. All right, let's go visit the bazaar. After he made up his mind, Lin Dong did not want to waste any more time and he quickly agreed with a chuckle. When she saw that Lin Dong was willing to accompany her to the bazaar, King Tan's eyes curled into a crescent moon. Her sweet expression was truly mesmerizing. Chapter 32 The Underground Bazaar The bazaar was located in the north plaza of Qingyang Town. Coincidentally, this was where numerous influential factions came into contact with each other. And because of the various conflicts between the groups, not one of them was able to take control of this area. Thus, the bazaar was established. In the bazaar, there were various establishments set up by different factions in Qingyang town. Due to this profitable arrangement, most of the factions tolerated the existence of the bazaar and eventually a strange, delicate balance was struck. Even outside of town, the Qingyang town bazaar was very well known. Therefore, besides the local crowd, it also attracted some bandits from the neighboring villages. However, this helped to increase the diversity of the crowd and hence even the local tyrants, the Lai and Si family, did not dare to seize this area for themselves in fear of destroying their cash cow. When Lin Dong and King Tan arrived at the bazaar's entrance, they could not help but gasp as they saw the flood of people and the ruckus inside the bazaar. This bazaar was definitely the largest market around Qingyang town and its crowds were indeed intimidating. Let's go. Lin Dong looked at the bazaar with an inquisitive gaze. These days, he rarely ventured into these kind of places. Nonetheless, as a young man, he was still curious about them. After he spoke, he grabbed King Tan's tiny hand and burrowed into the bazaar. In the bazaar, the variety of items displayed was dazzling. Even though the streets were relatively wide, due to the overwhelming amount of people present, they still felt somewhat congested. King Tan and Lin Dong were dripping with sweat after merely walking through a small alley. However, King Tan was extremely excited and her tiny face flushed in excitement. Together with her adorable laughter, she looked extremely cute and inadvertently drew much attention from the crowd. As they turned to look, many of them were left breathless as they saw her picture-perfect looks and snowy white skin. At last, the two of them stopped at a lavish building located at the tip of a street. This part of the bazaar was considered as a rather posh district. The Lei family, Si family and the Raging Blade Dojo all had shops here. King Tan, wait for me here. I will be right back. Lin Dong reminded King Tan as he scanned the surroundings. Then, he slipped into the crowd and disappeared from view. As he traversed through the crowd, Lin Dong casually bought a bamboo hat from a little shop, giving him a peace of mind before he returned to one of the main streets. Finally, he stopped before a giant black door. There were all sorts of people in the bazaar. Naturally, some of the items sold here could attract unwanted attention due to a variety of reasons. Therefore, an underground bazaar was born. The place that Lin Dong had arrived at was one of those underground bazaars. In this place, one can easily sell their goods at a fairly reasonable rate, no questions asked. Outside of the giant black door, there was a constant stream of visitors. However, just like Lin Dong, all these visitors wore a black bamboo hat to conceal their identities. As he lightly spit out a sigh, Lin Dong suppressed the anxiety in his heart and calmly walked through the door. As he stepped through the door, he could sense an ominous aura that caused a chill to be felt on one's skin. Behind that door laid a long alleyway. Following the path, Lin Dong discovered several tightly shut doors along the way. He knew that this was where the transactions took place and he quickly looked for a half-opened door before walking in. As he entered the room, he saw that it was rather dimly lit and a large table stood in the middle. The center of the table was blocked by a black metal grill and just inches below it was a small opening. Please take a seat. If you have any items to exchange, please put them in the slot. A seemingly aged voice sounded out from behind the black metal grill. By now, 
the fear in Lin Dong's heart had subsided. As he sat down, he took out a transparent bottle from his sleeve. Contained within the bottle were ten drops of stone talisman Ling liquid. However, these drops were not pure as they had been diluted by Lin Dong. A medicinal liquid refined from an elixir. It is very good for tempered body practitioners and it can be used for treatment purposes as well. Lin Dong deliberately croaked in a strange voice. Even though it sounded terrible, it helped to mask his real voice. A wrinkled palm reached out and took the glass bottle. Soon after, Lin Dong heard a dripping sound as the man inside was trying to examine the properties of the Ling liquid. This examination took nearly 10 minutes before the voice once again sounded out from behind that window. This medicinal liquid has approximately the same amount of Ling Qi as a grade 2 elixir. It is also gentle in nature and thus very suitable for tempered body practitioners. Since it also has medicinal properties, I am willing to pay you a higher price. What do you want in exchange? Lin Dong's finger trembled as he marveled at the shopkeeper's ability. After slightly hesitating, he answered, seven stalks of grade three elixirs. That's too much. Your medicinal liquid is too luxurious for tempered body practitioners to use. On the other hand, though it has some medicinal properties, it is also too wasteful to use it for treatment. Therefore, it is not easy to sell. After a moment of silence, the man behind the window replied. He was evidently bothered that Lin Dong had asked for such an exorbitant sum. How about three stalks of grade three elixirs? Six stalks. Lin Dong firmly replied. Five stalks. That's the best I can do. It was as if the man behind the window shook his head as he resolutely replied. This was evidently the highest he could offer. Deal. Lin Dong shrugged his shoulders as under the bamboo hat. A smile emerged on his face. Ten drops of Ling liquid that had been diluted once could actually be exchanged for five stalks of grade three elixirs. This was a pretty good harvest for him. It did not matter if the shopkeeper had intentionally short-changed him. After all he personally did not care much for the diluted Ling liquid. The shopkeeper was extremely efficient. Within five minutes, an intricate box was pushed out from below the window. As Lin Dong opened the box, he saw five thumb-sized dark yellow fruits quietly resting within. He could faintly smell a fragrant aroma drifting up from them. Grade 3 elixir, yellow mud fruit. Lin Dong obviously recognized these dark yellow fruits. After a carefully inspecting the goods, he nodded his head in contentment as he kept the wooden box. Then, he swiftly left the room. After Lin Dong exited the room, the metal barrier was slowly raised. Behind, stood an elderly man dressed in grey robes. As he held onto the bottle, he smelt the aroma from within before gently nodding his head. Old shopkeeper, is this thing really worth five yellow mud fruits? Standing behind the old man, a middle-aged man with a bloodthirsty stench growled. This medicinal liquid is extremely beneficial for any tempered body practitioner. I believe that either the lay or sea family, or raging blade dojo will be glad to purchase it for an exorbitant sum. The old man replied with a faint smile. Oh, should I run a background check on that fellow then? The middle-aged man was momentarily shocked. However just as his words left his mouth, the expression on the old man darkened. Upon witnessing this scene, the middle-aged man immediately shut his mouth. Don't you know our rules? If you wreck our reputation, how would we continue on in Qingyang town? The middle-aged man hastily nodded after hearing the old man reprimand him. Snort. The old man snorted as he stood up and left with the bottle. After Lin Dong came out of the underground bazaar, he strolled about randomly in the huge bazaar for a while before speedily throwing away the bamboo hat and heading towards a certain street. At the place where they had initially parted, Lin Dong easily found King Tan, who was still obediently waiting for him there. Just as he prepared to bring her to once again roam about, the latter suddenly pulled at his arm. Lin Dong shifted his gaze only to see a familiar figure walking out from the entrance of the building. Unexpectedly, it was Lin Shan. As Lin Dong saw Lin Shan, the latter also discovered the two of them. Initially, 
A pleasantly surprised look burst forth, before his expression abruptly changed, as if he had suddenly recalled something as he stood rooted on the spot. Lin Dong shot a glance at the bruises on Lin Shan's face. The latter looked like he had been cruelly beaten. Glued on the spot, Lin Shan looked at Lin Dong. It was as if the former desired to walk over and yet was afraid to because of their history. In the end, Lin Shan was at a loss of what to do. Hi, Lin Dong sighed as he pulled King Tan over and asked, what happened? Lin Shan somewhat fearfully glanced at Lin Dong. After some hesitation, the former finally said, we ran into those bastards from the Si family. After that, Miss Lin Chia was bullied and then we fought with them. But, there were too many of them. I escaped, to find, help. Lin Shan's face flushed red as he involuntarily dipped his head downwards. Miss Lin Chia is there too. Stunned, Lin Dong quickly recovered as his eyebrows tightly knitted together. He muttered to himself for a bit before commanding Lin Shan as he gestured with his hand, bring me there. After all, he had a fairly good relationship with Lin Chia. As for Lin Hong and Lin Shan, all of their past clashes were confined to within the family. He was not so narrow-minded as to look on without lifting a finger when such a thing happened. At Lin Dong's words, Lin Shan immediately lifted his head and looked at Lin Dong with astonishment. He clearly never imagined that Lin Dong would disregard their past enmity and extend a helping hand. With somewhat red eyes, Lin Shan forcefully nodded. Chapter 33, Si Ting. We were originally here to have some fun. However, we encountered those bastards from the Si family. Miss Lin Chia wanted to buy a little trinket, but those bastards intentionally caused a ruckus. In the end, Lin Chia was so angry that she could no longer bear it and started a fight. However, the ringleader of that Chia family bunch was the wretched Si Ting. She is Si Yingying's younger sister and currently has the strength of tempered layer 7th layer. Plus they had more people, in the chaos, that woman took the opportunity to give Miss Lin Chia a slap. The three swiftly ran towards the wide building. Lin Shan had explained everything that had happened in detail. As he was explaining, his fists clenched tightly, the extreme anger in his heart very evident for all to see. Lin Dong slightly frowned. These members of the younger generation from the Si family were really a little too unbridled. After all, Miss Lin Chia was a girl. Hitting her face was crossing the line. People from the Si family are indeed very loathsome. To one side, King Tan fumed. No matter what, as a member of the Lin family, they must now show a united front. Let us make a little more haste. Lin Dong nodded in agreement as he once again accelerated. Deep in the building was a wide area littered with bits of rubble. Surrounding it were some rather popular stores. All kinds of elixirs, weapons, armors and even martial arts manuals and crystals were on display. This place counted as one of the more high-end districts in the bazaar. Those who came here were mostly people of a certain level of status in Qingyang town. And at this moment, there were many people crowding around a spot on the fringe of the open space, gazing at the two groups within. The members from both parties were quite young, yet the atmosphere that they exuded appeared especially intense. The Si and Lin families were both considered as major factions in Qingyang town. However, most people also knew that Lei and Si family were constantly trying to undermine the Lin family. Therefore, they were hardly surprised to see their younger generation clash. Lin Chia, hand over the fox crystal necklace, or else, I will not let you off. Standing at the head of the Si family's younger generation, an elegantly dressed young lady proudly stood as she remarked with a hint of ridicule on her fair oval face. Together with her thin lips, she gave off a harsh aura. Give it to you. Lin Chia snorted as she faced the young lady opposite her. On her cheek, was a faint red hand print, which had been left by that bitch when she had been struggling with the others. Lin Chia immediately ripped the snow white necklace apart. She understood that this was merely an accessory and based on Si Ting's status, she could hardly care for such an item. Rather, she was just intentionally stirring up trouble. Just as Lin Chia expected, after witnessing her rip the necklace apart, Si Ting's eyebrows lifted as she snickered. You are really a stubborn one. Looks like I will have to deal with you today. 
Si Ting, don't be too overbearing. Lin Hong, who was standing behind Lin Chia, hollered. He looked rather ragged, as if he had just been through a fight. What can you guys do? If it was not for the magnanimity of our Si family, do you think the Lin family can survive in Qingyang town? Upon hearing these words, the corners of Si Ting's mouth curled up as she ridiculed them. He he, let us teach them a lesson. In the future, they will know who is the master. Standing beside Si Ting, a young man dressed in yellow clothes chuckled in a strange manner. Yes, just as the yellow-clothed youngster finished his sentence, another youngster standing beside immediately nodded his head with a smile. It seems like the two of them had some pull among the younger generation in the C family. Lin Hong's expression darkened upon hearing their conversation. He knew that on his side, only him and Lin Chia were at tempered body seventh layer, while on the other side, they had three people at tempered body seventh layer. If they really clashed together, they would definitely lose out. Good. Let's teach them a lesson and put them in their place. A foreigner family can never compare to the local one. Like a little demon, Si Ting smiled as she stared viciously at Lin Chia. Seeing that Si Ting was in agreement, the younger generation members of the Si family started to get excited as they stared maliciously at Lin Chia and company. Attack! Immediately, a light glow exploded on the bodies of Si Ting and the two other youngsters. The three of them immediately dashed towards Lin Chia and Lin Hong as the rest of the Si family's younger generation members also rushed forward and intercepted the rest of the Lin family's members. Lin Hong and Lin Chia's expression became pained as they saw the three of them dashing towards them. Two against three, they knew that they were bound to suffer. Swoosh. However, right before the trio reached Lin Chia and Lin Hong, a sound suddenly echoed from the side. The three of them hurriedly dodged as three pieces of rock were heavily slammed into a nearby post, releasing deep thuds. Who is that? The trio furrowed their eyebrows as they witnessed this unexpected development. As they turned to look, they saw three figures hurriedly rushing over. Leading the pack, was Lin Shan, who had previously ran away after a harsh beating. Lin Dong, Lin Chia and Lin Hong gasped in unison as they saw the figure behind Lin Shan. Instantly, delight filled their eyes. Are you all right? Lin Dong asked as he led the other two towards the crowd. As he glanced at Lin Chia, his eyebrows tightly knitted together after he saw the red hand print on the latter's cheek. Lin Dong, you are that fellow that suddenly emerged from the Lin family. Si Ting said as her eyes darted across Lin Dong's body, the corner of her mouth pulling downwards. Why are you here? After a moment of delight, Lin Chia was a little worried again. Even if Lin Dong arrived, it would only lead to a stalemate now. We came here to enjoy ourselves and happened to run into Lin Shan. Lin Dong replied with a smile. Up till now, he had yet to look at that haughty Si Ting, much less reply to any of her questions. Lin Dong's actions inadvertently enraged Si Ting. She was not used to being treated as heir. Just as rage clouded her mind, Suddenly a person beside her muttered something to her ears. Che, I thought he was somebody. Turns out he is the son of the disabled Lin Seo. Si Ting sneered. Lin Dong's body clearly froze before he turned firstly to look at Si Ting's face and then letting out a laugh. He lifted his foot and walked towards Si Ting. Be careful. Seeing his actions, Lin Chia hastily warned. The opponent was after all three tempered body seventh layer practitioners. Hey hey, let me test how good this so-called Lin family genius really is. Eyeing Lin Dong as he walked over, the yellow-clothed youngster could not help but sneer before quickly stepping forward as a weak glow rapidly condensed at the center of his palm. Thump! As the youngster in yellow charged at Lin Dong, a low sound thud immediately followed as a figure flew backwards under the astonished gazes of the crowd, before finally landing heavily onto the ground. As they gazed at the sorry figure of the youngster in yellow, many of them were startled. Even the surrounding onlookers also cast astonished gazes at Lin Dong, who had so easily defeated a tempered body seventh layer practitioner. Looks like this newly risen genius from the Lin family did have some skills. 
Si Zhen, Si Ting, and the rest of the Si family younger generation members' expressions rapidly changed after seeing Lin Dong sweeping away the yellow clothed youngster with a single swipe of his palm. You dare to attack a member of our Si family? You're just courting death. The other tempered body seventh layer youngster rushed forward, slightly unable to believe what had happened as a hot anger burned in his eyes. Likewise, his figure was straight away blown away by Lin Dong with a thrust of his palm. Hiss. This time, quite a few people gasped. The first time might have been luck, but the second time was definitely not a fortunate coincidence. Tempered body eighth layer. Lin Chia, Lin Hong and the rest foolishly stared at Lin Dong's back. So easily beating a tempered body seventh layer opponent can only mean that Lin Dong's strength had stepped into the eighth layer. You. What do you plan on doing? My sister and her gang are also here. If you don't want to get beaten, then bring your people and get out of here. Gazing at how effortlessly Lin Dong had dispatched the two and then started closing the distance between them, Si Ting's face finally turned pale. Yet she still raised her head and coldly looked at Lin Dong. She did not believe that Lin Dong would dare to hit her. Faced with the pale oval-shaped face before him, Lin Dong laughed as an icy light shined in his eyes. He lifted his palm. Stop. In the instant that Lin Dong raised his hand, a sharp and clear voice urgently sounded out. Next, a strong wind shot straight at Lin Dong. Pa! Right before the shout could fade away, Lin Dong's expression slightly darkened. Under everyone's gazes of disbelief, his palm swiftly jerked before finally slapping fiercely on Si Ting's face. This loud and clear slap caused the entire area to lapse into silence. Chapter 34. Lei Li. One by one, astonished gazers looked to Si Ting, whose cheek had turned red after receiving Lin Dong's slap. The once noisy space had become absolutely silent. The silence only lasted for a moment before some people regained their wits and stared strangely at Lin Dong, evidently flabbergasted at his decision. No matter what insult spewed out of her mouth, Si Ting was considered a beauty. Yet this did not cause even the slightly hesitation on Lin Dong's part. Fierce and decisive, some people in the crowd secretly evaluated Lin Dong in their hearts. The methods of this genius, who had recently emerged from the Lin family, seemed somewhat different. Lin Si and the rest were also stunned by Lin Dong's actions. As they gazed at the dazed Si Ting, who had her hand on her cheek, a thrill emerged in their hearts. This bitch had always despised their Lin family and the sight of her being slapped by Lin Dong was extremely satisfying. Just as the slap landed on Si Ting's face, Lin Dong suddenly stretched out his other palm and firmly caught an explosive blow that was heading his way. To his surprise, it turned out to be a broken rock. However, the force behind the rock was unable to make Lin Dong's arm budge at all. You hit me. You actually dared to hit me. Just as Lin Dong grabbed onto the broken rock, Si Ting finally regained her senses. The burning sensation on her cheek caused her body to tremble. She lifted her head and glared at Lin Dong with a hideous expression, her face losing all traces of its previously haughty look. There will always be a price to pay for speaking without thinking first. Lin Dong glanced at her and replied in an indifferent manner. Who do you think you are? to dare to hit me. Lin Dong's casual expression drove Si Ting nearly insane. Since young, who had dared to lay a hand on her? Her beautiful face twitched slightly. In the next second, she raised her palm and viciously swung it towards Lin Dong's face. Pa! Lin Dong extended his palm and easily stopped Si Ting's palm. Just as he was about to push her off, suddenly a cold shout echoed from a distance away. I think, that should be enough. The Yuan power gathering at Lin Dong's palm gradually withdrew as he tilted his head to see a young lady dressed in a fox fur coat approaching them from a distance away. The young lady gave off an elegant aura and her looks bore some similarity to Si Ting. However, she did not exhibit an unreasonable or mean aura like Si Ting. In fact, this lady looked very approachable, and this fact caused Lin Dong to frown. Sister, upon seeing the young lady, Si Ting's eyes reddened as she called out. Si family, Si Yingying. At this point, Lin Dong also figured out her identity. 
This was the most outstanding member of the Si family's younger generation, Si Yingying. You must be Lin Dong. Your actions from before were no good. Sometimes, acting rashly may cause your entire family to suffer. Si Yingying stared at Lin Dong with her autumn water eyes, as she uttered casually with a hint of coldness in her voice. Where were you at when they were bullying people from our Lin family? Lin Dong replied with a sneer as he released Si Ting while meeting the stare of the slim young lady ahead of him. Si Yingying lifted her eyebrows. Just as she was about to reply, Lin Dong followed up, spare me your bullshit. At the end of the day, whoever is stronger reigns. Since a long time ago, your Si family has been targeting our Lin family. If you guys had the ability, you would have chased us out of Qingyang town. The reason why we still survive is because you guys did not have the power, and even if you could, you knew that the price to pay would be too high. She hit a member of my Lin family. It's only right that I hit her back. If you wish to stir up more trouble, go ahead, but spare me your ridiculous bullshit. Upon hearing these words, many people in the surrounding crowd nodded. Lin Dong's words were harsh, yet they also made sense. All these years, the Lin family had expanded rapidly, and even though they had not directly crossed swords with the Si or Lei family, most people knew that the Lin family would not lose out on any front to the Si or Lei family. However, if the two families allied themselves, they would surely overpower the Lin family. Nonetheless, the Raging Blade Dojo would not allow that to happen. After all, once the Lin family was eliminated, they knew that the next target would likely be them. Therefore, all these years, a delicate balance had checked these four major factions. Hence, it was childish to discuss which faction would eliminate which. Si Yingying was at a loss for words at Lin Dong's retort. Her face instantly turned slightly ugly. Yes, well said. Indeed, whoever is stronger will reign. Just as Si Yingying was left speechless, a chuckle suddenly sounded out and a figure jumped down from the second floor. Straightening his back, an overwhelming pressure was felt by every younger generation member present. Lei Li, as they stared at the well-built young man, the expression on Lin Chia and the rest changed and they quickly crowded behind Lin Dong, a look of worry in their eyes. Big Brother Lei Li, the members of the Si family shouted out in delight. In particular, Si Ting was even more ecstatic. Lei Li, he should be Si Yingying's fiancé and the so-called number one younger generation member in Qingyang town. Lin Dong's eyebrows furrowed as he stared at the young man. The latter was approximately 17 to 18 years old and his body was very tall and well built. Furthermore, since he was quite good looking and wore a bright and confident smile, he possessed a glamour that was lacking in the rest of the younger generation members. Ying Ying, let me handle them. Lei Li smiled as he tenderly looked at Si Ying Ying. Yes, at the sight of Lei Li, Si Ying Ying also let out a small smile. Soon after, she turned back to look at Lin Dong as a smug expression surfaced on her lips. You must be Lin Dong. Ha ha. I must admit, I agree with what you said before. However, let's make one issue clear. If it were not for the interventions by Raging Blade Dojo, the Lin family would have already been chased out of Qingyang town like dogs running away with tails beneath their legs. Lei Li chuckled as he observed Lin Dong. If the Lei and Si family were not allies, you would not dare to utter such words. After all, that's only an if. Lin Dong casually replied with a smile. Very well, you have a way with words. Lei Li's eyes narrowed as he shrugged his shoulder before cracking his knuckles. He looked right at Lin Dong and he smiled. I must admit once more that I fully agree with something else you said previously. At the end of the day, the stronger one reign. Right now, Perhaps my power is stronger than yours and I wish to repay the slap that you gave Ting Er. Upon hearing Lei Li's words, the expression on Lin Chia and the rest instantly changed. It was reputed that Lei Li had long advanced to tempered body ninth layer. Even though Lin Dong was at tempered body eighth layer, he was unable to contend against Lei Li. Thump! Lei Li obviously did not plan to allow Lin Dong any time to reject. Thus, just as he finished his words, he immediately dashed forward and appeared in front of Lin Dong. On his fist, 
A thick blow swiftly emerged and the force behind that blow caused Lin Chia and the rest to turn pale. Back off. As he saw Lei Li's lightning quick attack, Lin Dong's expression focused as his back knocked heavily against Lin Chia and the rest, pushing him aside. Soon after, a series of crisp echoes reverberated in the plaza. Pa 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 pa. Penetrating fist ninth echo. Upon hearing this familiar noise, many people in the crowd were shocked as they stared at Lin Dong with awe in their eyes. They did not expect that this latter could actually master penetrating fist at such a tender age. However, just based on that alone, it was still insufficient to endure Lei Li's attack. Pa, almost as if he knew what the crowd was thinking, after the ninth echo sounded, a soft minuscule echo sounded out from within Lin Dong's body. However, this echo was audible only to Lin Dong. Bang! Under the watchful gaze of the crowd, both of them clashed together with their mighty blows causing a giant invisible shockwave to scatter from the epicenter. Chapter 35 Preliminary Exchange Thump! A low muffled sound was heard as both fists collided. The resulting impact caused all the dust on the surrounding ground to be completely blown away. The outcome that the crowd had expected did not materialize. Rather, Lin Dong's body stood firmly planted on the ground like a giant boulder after he received Lei Li's tempered body ninth layer blow. Deng Deng. Sound of stepping. Both of them took a few steps back after the collision. Lei Li fell back by two steps, while Lin Dong fell by three steps. Overall, Lei Li's attack did not have the expected impact that the crowd had imagined. He actually managed to take that blow. As they stared at Lin Dong, who ended up evenly matching with Lei Li, a look of shock surfaced on every younger generation member. After all, Lei Li had a legendary reputation in the Qingyang town and many people had speculated that within half a year's time, he would break through tempered body ninth layer and advance to earthly Yuan level. At that time, the strength of the Lei family will soar again. Among the younger generation in Qingyang town, Lei Li was universally recognized as number one. However, today, this so-called number one was actually stopped by a younger member from the Lin family. This surprising development caused many people's eyes to pop out of their sockets. Si Yingying and Si Ting's facial expressions changed as a look of anxiety surfaced in the former's eyes. It looks like this newcomer Lin Dong was truly capable. In a blink of an eye, Si Yingying calmed down. Even though Lin Dong had unexpectedly endured Lei Li's attack, it did not mean that he had the qualifications to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Lei Li yet. After all, Lei Li was a tempered body ninth layer. Hence, compared to Lin Dong, who was only a tempered body eighth layer, he was still much stronger. Furthermore, in their previous exchange, Lin Dong had used martial arts while Lei Li did not. Therefore, if they were to continue and fighting seriously, Lin Dong's loss was a foregone conclusion. Penetrating fist ninth echo. Not bad. As Lei Li stepped back, he looked at Lin Dong with a somewhat astonished look. Soon after, he smiled as he shook his head. No wonder you could act so haughty. Turns out you do have some ability. However, you might not be so lucky the next time. After he spoke, on Lei Li's claw-like hands, a thick glow surfaced as the Yuan power undulated. It seems like he was finally going to use martial arts to confront his opponent. Upon witnessing this sight, the joy that Lin Chia and the rest felt instantly turned into dread. Based on his expression, it seems like Lei Li had finally turned serious. Lin Dong's expression was calm. He knew that there was a vast gulf between tempered body 8th layer and 9th layer. Even if he had utilized the 10th echo of penetrating fist, he could barely match up to Lei Li. Furthermore, the latter had obviously trained in martial arts, and thanks to the Lei family's solid background, he was probably quite well versed in it. Therefore, if they fought seriously, Lei Li would probably have a better shot at victory. Nonetheless, Lin Dong was confident that even if Lei Li won, it would be a Pyrrhic victory. Who? Lin Dong deeply exhaled as he stretched all ten of his fingers. He was anxious to find out just how powerful his Wonder Gate Seal technique would be together with his full strength. Even though it was only the first chapter of Wonder Gate Seal, 
which had been abandoned by Lin Xiao and Lin Zhen Tian. Lin Dong knew that the might of this martial art had become stronger after it was perfected by the stone talisman Glowing Shadow. More onlookers gathered around as they witnessed the rising tension in the surrounding atmosphere. They were very interested to discover whether the upcoming talent that had emerged from the Lin family could match up to the legendary young genius Lei Li. With his palms bent back, Lei Li's glare towards Lin Dong turned increasingly vicious. The Lei family was considered as the most well-established faction in the Qingyang town, and they often despised other factions like the Lin family that suddenly invaded and came into power. Therefore, he knew that if he did not utterly defeat Lin Dong, he would become a laughing stock. He he, this place is really crowded. Just as the Yuan power in Lei Li's body started to swirl, a contemptuous laughter sounded out. Moments later ten figures leaped off a nearby building and directly walked towards the crowd. These ten figures were all youngsters aged around 16 or 17. They all wore the same clothes and a picture of a wildly dancing large saber was sewn on their chest area. Raging Blade Dojo. Lin Dong was slightly stunned when he saw these people. He recognized them based on the picture on their shirts. They were from the Raging Blade Dojo the third major faction that stood on the same level as the Si and Lei family. Leading the pack of suave youngsters was a lean young man. That young man had extraordinarily large palms and was riddled with scars that were evidently caused by frequent practice with blades. He first glared at Lei Li before he raised his thumb and smiled at Lin Dong. You must be Lin Dong from Lin family. Your courage and insight are indeed pretty good. Wu Yu, this is between me and him. Don't meddle in other people's business. Lei Li shouted at the smiling young man with a dark expression on his face. If I don't step in, won't you guys act like the whole Qingyang town belongs to you? Wu Yun rolled his eyes as he derisively answered. Looking at him, it was evident that he had some bad blood with Lei Li and the rest. Hey hey, Lei Li, since you are itching for a battle, how about I join in? As he smiled, Wu Yun replied as he stared somewhat passionately at Lei Li and licked his lips. Upon hearing these words, Lei Li's expression darkened further. He knew that he could defeat Wu Yun. However, the people from Raging Blade Dojo were rogues and they loved fighting. Once they start fighting, they will fight until the very end like a lunatic. Therefore, under normal circumstances, Lei Li wished to avoid a fight with the latter. Wu Yun, Big brother Lei Li does not wish to fight with you. Going around to stir up trouble, is that the style of your raging blade dojo? Si Yingying asked in an indifferent manner. I do not know if that is the style of raging blade dojo, but it definitely is my style. If you have any objections, you can discuss it with me, thought I might not accept. Facing the sarcasm in Si Yingying's words, Wu Yun seriously answered instead as he nodded his head. Si Yingying bit her red lips as her facial expression turned slightly black. Nothing seemed to be going her way today. First, she encountered a harsh straightforward talker, Lin Dong, and now she had met a hoodlum. Hence, rage filled her entire body. At Wu Yun's reply, Lin Dong involuntarily let out a smile. He seemed to have taken a liking to this smart-ass fellow. Lei Li's face twitched as his expression darkened. All right. All you little fellows have caused enough trouble already. It's time to head home. This is a place for conducting business. Just as the atmosphere was totally disrupted by Wu Yun, a resigned voice sounded out from a nearby building. As the crowd turned to look, they saw a middle-aged man standing above and looking down at them. Behind him, stood a crowd of burly huge men. That man is in charge of the plaza. His name is Wang Jin and he is an earthly Yuan practitioner. Standing behind Lin Dong, Lin Chia softly said. At this instant, she secretly heaved a sigh of relief in her heart. Now that this man had appeared, the curtain will finally close on this drama. After Wang Jing emerged, Lei Li's eyebrows frowned as he realized that today would be a difficult occasion to make his move. As the undulating Yuan power dissipated in his palm, he turned to look at Lin Dong before coldly saying, You got lucky today. Rest assured, when the Qingyang hunt arrives, I will make sure to take special care of you. 
Since I promised to retrieve the slap you gave to Ting Er, I will make sure to keep my word. Also, Wu Yun, I will definitely give you a good beating during the hunt. When that time arrives, don't cower away. As he finished, Lei Li let out a sneer and turned to leave with Si Yingying and the rest. In the following days, he knew that once he advanced to earthly Yuan level, he could easily handle both Lin Dong and Wu Yun together. As he gazed at Lei Li's back, Lin Dong slightly narrowed his eyes as a smile formed on his lips. Qingyang Town Hunt. He was now starting to look forward to it. Chapter 36. Family Gathering. As Lin Chia and the rest saw Lei Li finally depart, they secretly heaved a sigh of relief in their hearts. Although Lin Dong had displayed an astonishing strength during this period of time, even they did not favor Lin Dong's odds against the reputed genius Lei Li. Therefore, it would be best to avoid a fight. He he, Lin Chia, seems like a remarkable fellow has finally emerged from the Lin family. After he saw Lei Li left, Wu Yun turned and swept his gaze across Lin Dong, before he finally looked at Lin Chia and smiled. Lin Chia rolled her eyes in response. Soon after, she patted Lin Dong's shoulders. With a proud expression, she said, Of course, given Lin Dong Biao's speed, he can easily surpass all of you. Lin Dong shook his head in resignation as he saw how much faith Lin Chia had placed in him. Then, with a smile, he told Wu Yun, Thank you for helping out today. He obviously realized that Wu Yun intervened in order to create chaos and prevent Lei Li from attacking him peacefully. No need for thanks. After all, we are at loggerheads with Lei Li too. If I can make him suffer, I will gladly do it. Wu Yun smiled as he flicked his hand. He did not display any airs in front of Lin Dong. Wu Yun had observed during the short exchange with Lei Li, that the latter was in no way weaker than himself. Lin Dong smiled. It seems like Raging Blade Dojo and the Lei and Si family did not have a good relationship. In that case, it was probably good news for the Lin family. After all, if these three major factions allied, even with Lin Xiao's return, the Lin family would definitely be overpowered. It's getting late, I will make a move first. Ha ha, Lin Dong, I will see you at the hunt again. However, when that times comes, let's hope for a good fight. The two of them chatted for a while before Wu Yun smiled and waved goodbye. Then, he left with his people. Let's return as well. As he saw the place emptying out, Lin Dong smiled and turned to tell Lin Chia and the rest. Sure, after the dramatic conflict previously, Lin Chia and the rest did not wish to stay any longer and immediately nodded their hands. Under the crowd's watchful gaze, a stream of people exited the scene. When they returned to the Lin family, Lin Dong and King Tian did not immediately return to their little hilltop. After all, it was the end of the month and also time for the Lin family's gathering. During this time, every key member of the Lin family would gather together and report all the various events that had occurred in the past month. In the past, Lin Dong was not invited to this gathering. However, ever since the family competition, his status within the Lin family has skyrocketed. As such, he now had a place in this family gathering. A full moon hung in the clear night sky as the cooling moonlight poured onto the ground and enveloped the earth. The Lin family's backyard was very crowded as tens of people laughed and talked merrily around a large round table. Lin Dong was seated at the left corner, and beside him were Lin Chia, Lin Hong and other elite younger generation members of the Lin family. At this family gathering, the only joyous occasion for Lin Dong was finally seeing Lin Xiao, who had been busily handling the affairs of the Blazing Manor. Naturally, Lin Zhenshen was seated at the head of the dinner table. Right now, the old man was chatting with Lin Xiao and asking him for the latest updates regarding the Blazing Manor. After a short inquiry, he nodded his head in satisfaction before he finally turned to look cheerfully at Lin Dong. Today, I received a piece of news. Turns out, these young fellas have clashed with the younger generation members from the C family. In the end, they even attracted the attention of Lei Li. Everyone's attention was immediately directed towards Lin Zhenshin. Upon hearing these words, the expression on some adults darkened as they harshly stared at their own children. 
these kind of events tend to happen frequently. However, each time, these little brats would return with their tails between their legs, causing their parents to be slightly frustrated. Yet when their parents tried to reason with the parents of the responsible parties, they were often unsuccessful as the other party would simply dismiss it as a childish dispute. Father, this matter was likely caused by my daughter Lin Chia. When I return, I will teach her a lesson. Lin Ken, who was sitting to one side, growled. Ha ha, no need to worry. This time, they did not embarrass our Lin family. Lin Zhenshin smiled as he waved his hands. In fact, it seems like this old man was quite happy. He cheerfully continued, Turns out that this little brat Lin Dong has even more hidden potential than his father Lin Xiao. He not only dismissed two tempered body seventh layer youngsters, but he even managed to stop Lei Li. This is a highly praiseworthy achievement. Oh, upon hearing these words, the crowd was slightly shocked. Lin Xiao was even more stunned as he clearly did not expect that Lin Dong was not defeated even after clashing with Lei Li. Is that true? Lin Xiao could not help but ask. Under the watchful gaze of the crowd, Lin Dong was forced to nod his head as he replied, I used penetrating fist, whereas Lei Li did not use any martial arts. It should not be counted as a draw. However, Lei Li had long advanced to tempered body ninth layer. It is remarkable that you were able to use penetrating fist to bridge that gap. Lin Ken smiled and said, Lin Dong should have advanced to tempered body 8th layer right. Lin Zhenshin smiled from ear to ear. Lin Dong secretly sighed in his heart as he nodded his head. Good, good grandson. Looks like our Lin family has finally produced a genius that can match up to Lei family. Lin Zhenshin involuntarily let out a hearty laugh as he saw Lin Dong nodding his head. Upon hearing this, Lin Xiao and Lin Ken also let out a chuckle while a complicated expression surfaced on Lin Mang's face. There is only four months left before the hunt. During this period, you must work hard. If you require anything, feel free to say. Anything that I can provide shall be yours. Lin Zhenshin announced with a smile as he stroked his beard. At these words, many people in the crowd were stunned. Lin Zhenshin words had evidently displayed his intentions to treat Lin Dong as the most precious core member to nurture. Similar to Lin Xiao in the past, envy surfaced in Lin Chia and the rest. However, Lin Dong's recent progress and achievements were indeed something no one could replicate. Thank you, Grandpa. As he observed the expressions from the crowd, although Lin Dong did not verbally reject, in his heart, he shook his head. After all, he had the mysterious stone talisman, thus the Lin family's resources now held little appeal for him. Of course, he was not going to tell them. Furthermore, even if he did not need the resources from the Lin family, he would occasionally ask from them. After all, he did not want to arouse suspicion as he relied on the godly training speed the stone talisman provided him. Lin Zhenshin waved his hands as he continued discussing other matters with the family. Eventually, this family gathering ended. As Lin Zhenshin walked away, a clear and bright laughter could still be heard. Lin Dong lightly clenched his fist as he understood that the old man had placed all his hopes on this grandson. Just like how he had placed all his hopes on Lin Xiao back then. Grandpa, rest assured, I will fulfill your wish. Lin Dong muttered to himself. Soon after, he lifted his head as a slightly icy smile emerged on his face. Of course, there's still that fellow called Lin Langshan. Chapter 37. Breakthrough. In his room, Lin Dong sat on his bed as he very carefully took out a wooden box hidden in his clothes and then took out a yellow mud fruit from within. As the yellow mud fruit was exposed, a delightful fragrance was emitted that could captivate anyone nearby. Lin Dong gazed at this yellow mud fruit as he placed it into his right palm. His thoughts twitched urging a trace of Yuan power to flow from the Yuan power seed within him into the stone talisman that was embedded within his palm. Hum! As the Yuan power gushed in, Lin Dong could see the faint mysterious symbols on the underside of the skin of his palm start to glow as traces of a bright light seeped out from the pores of his palm and shined on the yellow mud fruit. The yellow mud fruit rapidly wilted as the mysterious light shone on it. As the light faded, 
two dark yellow pills laid quietly in Lin Dong's palm. Upon witnessing this miraculous scene, awe filled Lin Dong's eyes as his fascination with the stone talisman once again deepened. It is said that some extremely powerful individuals are able to crystallize mental energy into symbols which possess all kinds of miraculous effects. Perhaps this was how the stone talisman was formed. Lin Dong grabbed onto the lukewarm pills as he contemplated. He had occasionally heard of such rumors, but these stories originated from far away and he yet to experience the outside world to confirm them. Compared to the large and majestic Great Yan Dynasty, Qingyang Town was simply too small. One day, I must venture into the outside world. Lin Dong smiled. Deep in his heart an adventurous spirit emerged. He was confident that he would not be confined to this tiny Qingyang town. However, before that, let's start training first. The adventurous spirit within Lin Dong's heart was swiftly washed off by cold reality as he helplessly spread out his arms. Right now, he was not even the top dog in Qingyang town. How could be hope to venture out into the exciting yet dangerous outside world? As he popped the dark yellow pill into his mouth, Lin Dong sat on his bed as he felt a stream of pure medicinal power spread throughout his body. A smile formed on his face as he concentrated on absorbing the medicinal power, allowing the Yuan power seed within his inner channels to grow. Ever since the fight with the younger generation of the Si family, in particular, the fact that he had not lost even against Lei Li. Lin Dong's reputation among the younger generation in the Lin family suddenly skyrocketed. In fact, his reputation now exceeded Lin Chia's and Lin Hong's. Young people tend to be rash and hot-blooded. In the past, whenever they clashed with the younger generation members from the Lei and Si families, they always came out on the losing end, forced to run away with their tails between their legs. However, thanks to Lin Dong, the situation has now turned for the better. At the very least, whenever the younger generation members in Lin family encounter other younger generation members from C family, the latter no longer dared to bully them outright. Lin Dong was nonchalant even as his reputation surged. Rather, he chose to focus most of his time on training. Even when he occasionally visited the Lin family, he would go straight to the martial arts library. Whenever other younger generation members invited him to hang out with them, he would politely decline. Hence, he did not cause much ripples in Qingyang town. Two months swiftly passed as Lin Dong maintained this quiet lifestyle. During these two months' time, Lin Dong did not once neglect his training. Thanks to his diligence, he could see the Yuan power seed residing within his inner channels grow more concentrated and bigger. Sometimes, when the Yuan power seed tried to break through the Dan Tian, Lin Dong could faintly feel that the once impenetrable Dan Tian barrier had begun to waver slightly. During these two months of training, Lin Dong had completely used up all ten of the yellow mud fruit pills and the two flaming crimson rishi pills he had. Therefore, he was forced to return to the underground bazaar and exchange the diluted stone talisman Ling liquid for another ten stalks of grade three elixirs. This ensured that he had a constant supply during these two months. Of course, when he returned to the bazaar, Lin Dong carefully chose another underground location. After all, it was best to be cautious when handling the stone talisman Ling liquid. During these two months, although Lin Dong made remarkable progress, King Tan had completely trumped him. Perhaps it was due to her mysterious body constitution. Though King Tan rarely used elixirs, her training progress was almost as fast as Lin Dong, even with help from the stone talisman. King Tan had smoothly progressed to tempered body seventh layer. Even though she did not undergo rigorous training, her body seemed to absorb the Yuan power between heaven and earth at a much more rapid pace than normal. Lin Dong was stunned as he faced this peculiar situation. Once, when Lin Xiao returned home and learned about this matter, he too displayed the same shocked reaction. After much pondering, they were still unable to make heads or tails of the situation. In the end, they decided to attribute it to King Tan's unique body constitution. Even though the facts remained fuzzy, Lin Xiao and Lin Dong could faintly feel that King Tan's body was indeed unique. However, this was both a cause for celebration and woe. After much discussion, 
both of them decided that it would be best to keep this matter a secret. After all, if news got out, it may lead to some unexpected problems. Besides, after witnessing King Tan's rapid training progress, Lin Dong went to the martial arts library to find some martial arts that were more suited for girls. After perfecting those martial arts using the stone talisman glowing shadow, he then personally taught him to King Tan, to allow her to protect herself. As the Qingyang town hunt approaches, Qingyang town got increasingly crowded. Even though there was still about two months before the hunt, many people were already excitedly discussing about it. Everyone knew that his hunt was a guise for Qingyang town's major factions to compete with each other. During each hunt, each faction would donate prizes, and of course, these prizes tend to be very lucrative. Naturally, the faction that won would be able to claim all the prizes. In past hunts, the Lei and Si families were able to take advantage of this fact to claim several exorbitant gifts from the Lin family and the Raging Blade Dojo. For the upcoming hunt, naturally, many people were speculating about who would emerge as the eventual victor among the four major factions. Of course, the faction that was heavily favored was still the Lei family. After all, they were the most well-established faction in Qingyang town and they had vast resources to expend. Furthermore, up till now, no one had been able to threaten Lei Li's position as the number one younger generation member in Qingyang town. In fact, it was rumored that Lei Li will advance to earthly Yuan level before the hunt began. If so, the Lei family would have about an 80% chance of victory for the upcoming hunt. Under the brilliance of Lei Li, the younger generation members in the rest of the three major factions seemed lackluster in comparison. Lin Dong did not know much about these speculations and discussions as he continued his seclusion to focus on his training. Nonetheless, even if he knew, he would probably ignore them as he knew that the future was not set in stone. As he trained quietly, Lin Dong had managed to achieve excellent results in these two months. During this period, he had tried several hundred times to break through the Yuan barrier. Towards the end of the two months, he decided to conserve and concentrate all his resources and finally managed to break through the Yuan Dan barrier. And when the Yuan power seed finally broke through and entered the Yuan Dan, to the delight of an excited Lin Dong, he could feel a transformation occurring within every part of his body. That sensation was akin to a submerged dragon soaring into the sky, or a fish finally released into the ocean. Chapter 38. Change. Advancing to tempered body ninth layer did not come as a big surprise to Lin Dong. After two additional months of training, plus the liberal use of elixirs, the Yuan power seed in his body long ago attained enough strength to overcome the Yuan Tian barrier. The reason why Lin Dong waited was because he was highly ambitious. After he advanced to the ninth layer, he wanted to immediately try for earthly Yuan level. This idea could be considered slightly insane. Even though tempered body ninth layer and earthly Yuan level were only one step away, there was huge gulf between the two of them. In plain terms, an earthly Yuan practitioner could easily dispatch several individuals at tempered body ninth layer. This illustrated the vast chasm between the two. When most people reached tempered body ninth layer, they would usually resume their regular training. Only when the Yuan power within the Dan Tian had reached a certain level, would they dare to advance to earthly Yuan level. In fact, only a crazy handful dared to attempt something similar to Lin Dong. Of course, even though this move sounded insane, it was not impossible for Lin Dong to pull it off. After all, his Yuan power seed was already much more powerful than most people. Furthermore, he had absorbed a huge amount of elixir pills and done extensive preparations. Therefore, he had a chance. Huff. Like an arrow, a mouthful of white smoke was coughed out from Lin Dong's throat. Lin Dong's eyes gently opened as a warm sensation filled his lower abdomen, causing his entire body to feel as if it was brimming with energy. It feels really different after I opened my Dan Tian. As he felt the changes within his body, Lin Dong's spirits were slightly lifted. Opening one's Dan Tian was extremely important for any practitioner as it was the most crucial and fundamental step. Later, I would be able to train in secret arts after reaching earthly Yuan level. At that point, 
The might of my Yuan power will also increase dramatically. Secret arts. These were merely two simple words. Yet, casually mentioning these words could lead to devastating conflicts. After all, secret arts were completely different from normal martial arts. Even though martial arts could utilize the might of one's Yuan power, secret arts can boost one's Yuan power from its roots. Based on what scarce information Lin Dong knew, secret arts also had different categories. However, they were not as complex as martial arts because they only had three categories. From lowest to highest, third-tier secret arts, second-tier secret arts, and first-tier secret arts. It was a simple yet effective classification. The Lin family also had one secret arts manual, but it was only third tier. Nonetheless, that manual was personally safeguarded by Lin Zhenshin. Within the family, only the practitioners that have advanced to earthly Yuan level can know its existence and study it. With regards to that secret arts manual, Lin Dong had very occasionally heard Lin Xiao mentioning it. Even though he did not fully comprehend, he still knew how important that thing was. On his bed, Lin Dong shook his head as he tried to remove any distracting thoughts in his mind. It was still too early to think about secret arts. After all, once he officially advanced to earthly Yuan level, Lin Zhenshin would surely deliver that secret arts manual to him on a silver platter. Lin Dong reached below his pillow and took out two bottles. Contained within the first bottle were ten brightly colored elixir pills, while the other contained numerous white yin pearls which emitted a forbiddingly cold aura. Lin Dong removed two elixir pills and popped them into his mouth. Approximately half an hour later, he managed to fully absorb the medicinal power into his Dan Tian and he felt the amount of Yuan power in his Dan Tian surge. As he felt the vibrations in his Dan Tian's Yuan power, Lin Dong removed a yin pearl from the other bottle. Even though he had covered his palm with a layer of Yuan power, he could still feel a stab of pain from the cold aura. The so-called earthly Yuan level was basically fusing the Yuan power in one's body with yin energy, thereby strengthening one's Yuan power. Henceforth, the most important step was absorbing the yin energy from between heaven and earth. However, Lin Dong did not care for yin energy that existed between heaven and earth. After all, the yin energy contained within these yin pearls, that originated from King Tan's body, were of grade 5 quality. Therefore, if he successfully combined them with his Yuan power, it would be boosted to a much larger extent. As he gripped the yin pearl, Lin Dong sucked in a deep breath, before he straightaway popped it into his mouth, without the slightest hesitation. When the yin pearl entered his body, Lin Dong's body instantaneously stiffened as chilling cold air rapidly spread throughout his body and even his skin was swiftly covered in a layer of frost. Chilling cold air was constantly emitted from his body, however thanks to his prior training, Lin Dong's body was already tough enough to withstand the cold. Burr burr, Lin Dong's face turned pale as his teeth chattered non-stop. He was aware of the yin pearl entering his body and going straight into his Dan Tian. Once it had reached its final destination, it immediately caused an upheaval. Just as he experienced the explosive impact of his Yuan power colliding with the yin energy, Lin Dong's facial expression changed. He realized that he may have overextended himself as the Yuan power within his Dan Tian was unable to hold back the yin energy. PFF. The commotion in his Dan Tian gradually intensified. Approximately 10 minutes later, a healthy red glow returned to Lin Dong's cheeks as he involuntarily spit out a mouthful of blood. Contained within that mouthful of blood, were lumps of ice bits. Evidently, Lin Dong's latest endeavor had failed. What a pity! As Lin Dong wiped off the blood stains at the corner of his mouth, a healthy red glow gradually returned to his pale cheeks. At first, he shook his head in resignation. However, after a moment of contemplation, he realized that even though his attempt to rush to earthly Yuan level has failed, he had learned much from this experience. Furthermore, he managed to gain some progress as well. After all, there was now a trace of yin energy within his Dan Tian and it had successfully combined with his Yuan power. Therefore, even though it was a tiny step, this was still a small improvement. As he kept the bottles, 
Lin Dong dripped two drops of stone talisman Ling liquid into his mouth, before he left his room. Even though he only managed to harvest a tiny trace of yin energy from one yin pearl, he was not troubled as he had a sufficient supply of yin pearls. Furthermore, after this experience, he was confident that he would be more successful the next time. It's only a matter of time before he reached earthly Yuan level. Time passes like flowing water, in the blink of an eye, autumn had left as winter approached. Snowflakes danced in the air as they gently floated to the ground, causing the land to sparkle. It was truly a beautiful sight. As Qingyang town was slowly surrounded by snow, the atmosphere in the town gradually reached its peak. This was because there were only 10 days left before the Qingyang town hunt began. In a snow-filled open area within the woods, two figures crossed blows. As their palms and fists collided, the impact caused the snowflakes in their surroundings to be completely scattered. Two figures, one was steady while the other was graceful like a butterfly as she swung her jade-like hands. Her movements were especially agile, yet they looked elegant as well. Bang! As both palms collided, one figure jerked his shoulders as he exerted more force, causing the young lady to hurriedly retreat a few steps. I give up. I can't seem to win. The young lady pouted as she grudgingly stared at the young man before her. Lin Dong smiled as he stared at the coy young lady, awe filling his heart. In just a month's time, with help from him and thanks to King Tan's unique body constitution, she had nearly advanced to tempered body 8th layer. In fact, she was already very close. Right now, Lin Dong was imparting some martial arts to King Tan and she had nearly mastered them. Hence, King Tan was no longer helpless like before. In fact, based on Lin Dong's calculations, the only younger generation members in Lin family who could defeat her were probably Lin Hong and Lin Chia. Big brother Lin Dong, in just a few days' time, it will be the Qingyang Town Hunt. You must work hard. King Tan sweetly smiled as she approached Lin Dong, stretching out her tiny hands before gently sweeping off the snowflakes on Lin Dong's shoulder. As he stared at the elegant young lady in front of him, Lin Dong smiled as he nodded. He stretched out his palm and intimately patted King Tan's tiny head. However, just as his palm touched her, Lin Dong's body froze as a look of surprise filled his eyes. Under Lin Dong's astonished gaze, the stone talisman that was hidden in his palm, suddenly released an explosive light. The instant the light appeared, King Tan immediately fainted. Just as King Tan fainted, a strong suction force broke out from Lin Dong's palm. Due to this suction force, the fearsome chilling cold within King Tan's body was immediately sucked out and violently transferred into Lin Dong's body through his palm. As he was invaded by that terrifying chilling cold, Lin Dong's body was instantly covered by a thin layer of frost. Right now, he had turned into an ice man. Chapter 39 earthly Yuan stage. The abrupt change caused fear to rise in Lin Dong's heart. The chilling cold which had gushed into him from King Tan's body was fearsomely powerful and cold. In fact, it was on a whole new level compared to the chilling cold contained with the yin pearls. Lin Dong lost control of his body as it was gradually covered in layer after layer of frost. The sensation was akin to having numerous steel needles furiously stabbing every part of his body. Due to that intense pain, Lin Dong's body and its internal organs started to twist and contort in pain, even his blood flow had become sluggish. All these signs indicated that he was facing a dire situation. However, as he faced these dire circumstances, Lin Dong was powerless. As he encountered the fearsome beast like chilling cold from King Tan's body, he knew that his own power simply paled in comparison. However, he did not understand the reason why there was a sudden change in the stone talisman today. After all, this was not the first time he had contact with King Tan. Yet, this incident still occurred. Under the invasion of the chilling cold, Lin Dong gradually began to lose consciousness. However, just before he blacked out, the stone talisman embedded within his palm finally made its move. A suction force rapidly erupted from the stone talisman. Soon after, 
Every bit of yin energy spread out across Lin Dong's body was rapidly absorbed and swallowed by the stone talisman. Buzz buzz. Right after all the yin energy in Lin Dong's body had been drained, the stone talisman started vibrating. Moments later, a pulse of icy blue yin energy was directly emitted from the stone talisman and it followed Lin Dong's internal channels and rapidly gushed towards his Dan Tian. Though this pulse of icy blue yin energy seemed like a tiny amount, Lin Dong's remaining consciousness felt a trepidation from this force. He could feel that this pulse of icy blue yin energy was not as simple as it seemed. That pulse of icy blue yin energy flowed directly into Lin Dong's Dan Tian. Soon after, Lin Dong could feel an extremely fierce battle break out in his Dan Tian again. As the yin energy and yuan power collided, he could faintly feel tiny bursts of pain from his Dan Tian. As he faced the ongoing clash, Lin Dong could only sit aside helplessly since he had already lost all control over his body. However, he secretly heaved a sigh of relief as he could sense that the yin energy, perhaps due to the stone talisman, was not as brutal as he had expected. Therefore, after 70-80% to 80 of the yin energy had been slowly shaved away by the battle, the Yuan power and yin energy within his Dan Tian finally started to fuse together. Within his Dan Tian, the two forces gradually fused. The originally colorless Yuan power suddenly turned a deep blue color. Furthermore, the originally fist-sized Yuan power seed suddenly evaporated into an icy dark blue mist. At the fringe of the mist, Lin Dong could vividly feel a trace of chilling cold. Just as the icy dark blue mist was formed, Lin Dong's body violently jolted. Instantly, he felt a fearsome power that he had never known before swiftly surge out from the deepest region of his body before finally dispersing to every nook and cranny of his body. Crack crack. In this instance, cracks began to appear on the layer of frost surrounding Lin Dong's body as chunks of ice started to fall off. Lin Dong focused on his Dan Tian. This was the first time he could see his own Dan Tian. The icy dark blue mist was especially alluring as it slowly swirled. Circling it, were traces of Yuan power, tinted with a chill, and readily available for Lin Dong to deploy. Lin Dong relaxed his mind and left his Dan Tian. With his eyes tightly shut, he could feel a strange ripple spreading out from within his mind. He could now vividly sense every detail of his surroundings up to a 10-meter radius. Is this earthly Yuan stage? The feeling of being in control caused Lin Dong's body to tremble uncontrollably in excitement. Advancing to earthly Yuan stage indicated that he had officially became a true practitioner. After all, this was the first major checkpoint in the path of training. In order to break through this hurdle, Lin Dong had slogged hard during this period. However, the unexpected developments today finally helped to fuse the yin energy and yuan power within his Dan Tian, thereby allowing him to advance to earthly yuan stage. Receiving this wonderful surprise caused Lin Dong to have a sudden desire to shout out at the heavens and announce his delight. However, he managed to suppress this desire right at the last second. In the dense forest, the layer of ice on Lin Dong's body had completely fallen off and transformed into a puddle of water on the ground below. Soon after, Lin Dong shook his body, as he gently opened his eyes. As he opened his eyes, a ray of icy blue light flitted across his eyes before it soon disappeared. As Lin Dong clenched his fists, he could feel that the power contained within his muscles had grown by several times. In fact, based on his conjecture, one normal punch from him now probably rivaled his penetrating fist tenth echo from before. Huff! Lin Dong exhaled a somewhat ice-cold breath, suddenly joining his hands together to form a complicated hand seal. This was Wondergate Seal. Lin Dong was extremely curious to find out just how powerful Wondergate Seal would be after he advanced to this new level of strength. As Lin Dong skillfully executed different hand seals, Streams of icy blue Yuan power rapidly flowed from the icy blue mist within his Dan Tian and gathered under Lin Dong's palm. As that beautiful icy blue Yuan power enveloped Lin Dong's right palm, a chill rose up, causing the surrounding temperature to fall. Bang! As he finished the last hand seal, Lin Dong took a step forward. 
He immediately slammed his palm into a tree trunk, which was as thick as two thighs, right ahead of him. The hand seal exploded and the thick tree was immediately blown apart. Numerous wooden shrapnels flew in every direction. Furthermore, right at the point of impact, there was a layer of frost. If this attack had landed on a human body, just the yin energy contained within the yuan power alone would cause the opponent to suffer greatly. The power of earthly yuan practitioners far exceeds any tempered body practitioner. As he witnessed the strength behind his blow, a look of delight surfaced in Lin Dong's eyes. Just as he was about to celebrate, he turned and realized that King Tan was still lying unconscious on the ground and instantly an awkward expression surfaced. The reason why he managed to advance to earthly Yuan stage was because the mysterious stone talisman had absorbed the fearsome chilling cold within King Tan body and tamed it before allowing it to enter Lin Dong's Dan Tian. Or else, based on Lin Dong's ability, if he had tried to forcibly absorb the chilling cold within King Tan's body, he would have probably turned into an ice statue. Thank goodness, she is fine. Or else, father and mother would definitely kill me. After a quick examination, Lin Dong heaved a sigh of relief when he realized that King Tan had only fainted. Stroking his right palm, he let out a pained smile before he lifted the beautiful sleeping princess carried her out of the forest. Thanks to today's unexpected developments, Lin Dong managed to advance to earthly Yuan stage ahead of his expectations. Nonetheless, it was definitely good news that he could accomplish this step before the Qingyang town hunt. The Lei and Si family have profited so much from my Lin family. It's time to make them spit it all out. As he carried the young lady back home, a sneer surfaced on Lin Dong's face. Chapter 40. The Hunt Begins. As the end of the year approached, the bustling liveliness of Qingyang town gradually reached its peak as all sorts of people from different factions within hundreds of miles around flocked towards the town. The streets had never been so full. The main players in this hunt were the few major factions in Qingyang town. However, there were also contestants from other factions as well. Of course, competition amongst the smaller groups was nowhere near as heated as the competition between the four major factions. In fact, most of these small factions just wanted to use this occasion to raise the reputation of their families or villages. Regardless of their respective aims, the Qingyang town hunt was arguably the largest event held within several miles. Therefore, any younger generation member that excelled in this event would not only see his own reputation and status skyrocket, but also that of his families. The hunt was held on the first day of Lunar New Year and the location was the Monster Arena situated on the outskirts of Qingyang town. This place had some of the grandest architecture in all the town. The building was especially huge and it encompassed several kilometers of forests and right in its center, there was a small hill that had been converted into a giant stage. Seated there, would be numerous guests, all keenly waiting to witness the birth of the newest champion. Countless anticipating individuals waited with bated breaths as the minute hand on the clock finally ticked down to the day of the hunt. When it was finally time, the busy atmosphere of Qingyang town exploded into tsunami of people rushing towards the monster arena. The entire place was filled with an awe-inspiring air. Is this the starting point of the hunt? Asked Lin Dong, standing on high tower looking as he looked down in surprise at the dense forest. Standing behind Lin Dong were the core members of the Lin family. The one leading the group was naturally Grandpa Lin Zhenshen, while Lin Xiao, Lin Ken, Lin Mang and the rest stood beside him. Yes, upon hearing Lin Dong's query, Lin Zhenshen beamed as he replied. As he gazed at the former, a look of happiness and content surfaced. After Lin Dong's impressive accomplishments, he had started paying closer attention towards this grandson. During this period of time, he even suggested to teach Lin Dong martial arts personally. However, he was declined by Lin Dong as the latter wanted to focus on improving his body first. In reality, Lin Dong did not need anyone to teach him martial arts since he had the stone talisman glowing shadow. Furthermore, he was afraid that if someone got too close to him, they might accidentally discover the existence of the stone talisman. That would not be good. The woods below are connected directly to the mountains. Thus, 
there will be numerous fierce and vicious creatures. Every hunt participant will wear a tag to identify themselves before they are thrown into the woods. After that, you will have to rely upon your own abilities to survive. Lin Seo smiled before continuing his explanation. Besides worrying about these wild beasts, you also have to devise ways to snatch 10 tags from 10 different participants. Only then will you gain the right to enter the giant stage at the center of the woods. Therefore, for this hunt, you will not only be hunting beasts, but also, hunting people. Lin Dong trembled slightly with fear. It turns out that this hunt was not as simple as he expected. In order to obtain 10 tags, he must defeat 10 different individuals. Only then, would he gain the right to enter the giant stage. Therefore, once the contestants entered the forest, they would definitely start fighting with each other causing a chaotic scene to unfold. Furthermore, while they devised ways to obtain tags from other participants, they must also safeguard themselves from wild beasts. Therefore, even the slightest mistake would probably cause one to forfeit his life. This was no ordinary competition, but rather a dangerous event that risked one's life. This kind of selection process felt a little cruel. There will be approximately 100 tags. Therefore, only about 10 individuals can make it onto the giant stage, and many participants will leave in defeat. A truly merciless competition, Lin Zhenshen uttered as he kept his hands behind his back. Lin Dong nodded. Just a 10% chance, he had no opening to relax at all. Ha ha, based on Lin Dong's current strength, he is definitely going to ascend to the giant stage successfully, Lin Ken said with a smile. Upon hearing these words, the smile on Lin Zhenshin's face brightened. Barely half a month ago, he got wind of news that Lin Dong had successfully advanced to tempered body ninth layer. This training progress was even more remarkable than Lin Seo at his peak. This time, our Lin family's ranking will rest on Lin Dong's shoulders. At these words, a smile involuntarily surfaced on Lin Seo's face. As he patted Lin Dong's shoulder, a look of gratification and pride surfaced in his eyes. Ha ha, Lin Zhenshin, it has been a while. Seems like you are still alive. Just as the Lin family were conversing among themselves, a laughter sounded out from nearby. Upon hearing this laughter, Lin Zhenshin, Lin Xiao and the rest furrowed their eyebrows as the smile on their faces faded. Lin Dong turned towards the direction the sound had come from only to see a huge crowd of people approaching them. Wherever this crowd passed, everyone nearby would quickly make way for them and their appearance was especially menacing. Leading the pack were two people. One of them wore a light grey silk robe and looked about the same age as Lin Zhenshin. Both his eyes were sunken in and he gave off a cold and menacing aura. The other person was a middle-aged man, and a smile was constantly plastered on his face. He looked friendly and approachable, however, those who really knew him, knew that this fellow was a smiling tiger. That old fellow is the head of Lei family, known as Lei Bao. The other one, is the head of the Si family, called Si Qian. These two are the enemies of our Lin family and they are scum. Lin Chia, who was standing beside Lin Dong, softly murmured. Lin Dong slightly inclined his head as he glanced towards the two of them. He could faintly feel that the two of them were especially powerful. In fact, they should both be at heavenly Yuan level. As Lin Dong's gaze swept over the two of them, he saw two other familiar faces behind them. Lei Li and Si Yingying. As if they could feel Lin Dong's glaze, Lei Li and Si Yingying immediately glared back at him. A smile surfaced on Lei Li's face as he gently swung his palm in the empty air at Lin Dong. Evidently, he still remembered the slap that Lin Dong owed him. Old man Lei, rest assured, my old bones will not enter the coffin before you. Lin Zhenshin smiled as he approached the two of them. Without hearing the tone of their voice and judging from their expressions alone, anyone would think that they were the best of friends. When one has many worries, it's hard to live a long life. Lei Bao faintly smiled as he scanned the members of the Lin family. Finally, his gaze stopped at Lin Xiao and he frowned as he felt a powerful Yuan energy within the latter. It seems like the rumors that Lin Xiao had recovered his strength were indeed true. When one loses so much every hunt, 
naturally one will be upset. This will definitely hurt one's longevity. Standing beside Lei Bao, Si Qian uttered with a skin-deep smile. As they heard the subtle insult in his words, every member of the Lin family was enraged. However, with a wave of his hand, Lin Zhenshen managed to stop everyone before he replied casually. This time, I am afraid it's going to be your C family that will be upset. I heard that a genius has recently emerged from the Lin family. Let me guess. It should be this fellow. Lei Bao's sunken eyes suddenly turned towards Lin Dong as an evil grin surfaced on his wrinkled face. Lin Dong felt his hair stand on ends when Lei Bao stared at him. This old man was clearly bad news. My son only has a small reputation. It's hardly worth mentioning compared to the Lei family. Lin Xiao replied in an indifferent manner as he stepped forward and stood in front of Lin Dong. We'll see once the hunt begins. Just remember to prepare your gifts for us. Lei Bao smiled as he lazily waved his hand before leading his people to directly brush past Lin Zhenshen and the rest. Lei Li's footsteps suddenly paused when he reached Lin Dong. As he glanced towards the latter and the rest of the younger generation members of the Lin family, he softly murmured, Lin Dong, there are many fearsome beasts in the forest. You had better be careful. Don't end up in their bellies, okay? After uttering these words, a sneer surfaced on Lei Li's face. He glared viciously at Lin Dong before he finally turned to leave. That bastard, he is too overbearing. Lin Chia angrily retorted as she stared daggers at Lei Li's back. Lin Dong glanced at Lei Li's back. He naturally knew that the latter was trying to intimidate him. An icy smile surfaced on his face as he muttered to himself. It's too early to determine who would end up in the belly of a wild beast. Chapter 41. Luo Cheng. Around the monster arena were tens of thousands of stone seats. Today, none of these seats were empty, as the whole place was choked full of people. The mass of black heads bobbing up and down, extended all the way down one's line of sight. This massive crowd was indeed worthy of the biggest event in Qingyang town. The Lin family followed Lin Zhenshen to enter the central area of the monster arena. This area had the best view, as not only could you look down upon the dense forests, you could also clearly see anything that happened atop the giant stage. However, only the factions that held substantial power were allowed into this area. Since the Lin family had maintained good relations with these other factions, as they entered, quite a few people came forward to exchange greetings with them while Lin Zhenshen replied them all in kind with a cheery smile on his face. After exchanging pleasantries, Lin Zhenshen brought his group to sit in one area. Nearby, were the Si and Lei families. Yet, they only glanced once at the Lin family before turning away. No matter how calm they appeared on the outside, in their hearts, they still held some contempt for the foreign Lin family. Of course, since he was being slighted by them, Lin Zhenshen obviously chose to ignore them as well. Over the years, they had fought both openly and covertly, and if he had not employed various tactics and strategies, the Lin family would have long been chased out of Qingyang town like dogs. Thus, even though both Lei and Si families disliked the Lin family, the hatred in Lin Zhenshen's heart far exceeded the realms of mere hostility. After the Lin family group seated themselves, Many other influential people continued to appear one after another, causing the atmosphere to become even more lively. Lin Dong was seated on a stone chair at one corner. As he looked downwards at the dense forests, he could faintly hearing the roars of wild beasts from time to time. However, Lin Dong was not worried about the wild beasts within the forest. With his current strength, as long as he did not encounter a demonic beast, he knew that any ordinary beasts were of little threat towards him. Demonic beasts were creatures that was even more terrifying than the normal ferocious beasts. In fact, even the lowest tier demonic beast was able to easily tear apart a tempered body seventh layer and lower practitioner. Moreover, a higher tier demonic beast would possess both intelligence and energy wielding capabilities. An exceptionally frightening killing machine. Thankfully, Demonic beasts were generally found hidden deep in the large mountains. Since there were so many people here, it was highly unlikely that any demonic beasts would appear. Therefore, the biggest worry in this hunt 
was still the other participants. After all, in order to seize another competitor's tag, these participants would stoop to any level. Of course, any petty tricks were insignificant in the face of true power. The current Lin Dong had earned his qualification to maintain this level of self-confidence. As Lin Dong was sizing up the topography of the forest, he suddenly felt the atmosphere in the monster arena change slightly. He quickly turned his head just in time to see a huge troop of people entering his particular area. On their chests, a same picture was sewn. Raging Blade Dojo, the faction that had expanded the swiftest in Qingyang town. Raging Blade Dojo's appearance undoubtedly attracted countless gazers. Likewise, Lin Dong also swept his gaze over the group from the Raging Blade Dojo before stopping at the figure at the front. The figure turned out to be a somewhat lean man, with an expressionless face. On his face, were countless blade scars crisscrossing giving him a menacing aura. Strapped on his waist, a long blade-shaped object was wrapped up in black cloth. That is the master of the Raging Blade Dojo, Mad Lightning Blade Luo Cheng. The reason why Raging Blade Dojo was able to rise rapidly, was largely due to him. If I am not mistaken, he is also a heavenly Yuan-level expert. In fact, he has probably already reached the later stage of heavenly Yuan level. From there, it is only one more step to achieve the Yuan Dan level. Hence, in the entire Qingyang town, there are probably less than than five people who could match up to him. Lin Xiao whispered to Lin Dong. Lin Dong nodded in surprise, as he had never expected that Luo Cheng would actually be so powerful. When he first arrived at Qingyang town and planned to establish the Raging Blade Dojo, the Lei and Si families both tried to interfere. Hence he directly went to challenge Lei Bao. In the end, though he ate three of Lei Bao's palm attacks, he left a blade wound on Lei Bao's chest. His ferocity and willingness to risk his life caused the Lei and Si families to burst out in goosebumps. Thus they could only withdraw. Hey hey, Luo Cheng is extremely fierce and pays a lot of attention to any shortcomings. Now, even the Lei and Si families do not dare to be too overbearing towards the Raging Blade Dojo. After all, these fellows are all a bunch of stubborn rogues. Lin Dong nodded his head in silence. Luo Cheng and Lin Zhenshen could both be considered as founders who built up their own factions from scratch. It was just that they took different paths to reach their current positions, and they had different temperaments. Luo Cheng was unyielding, cold and strict while Lin Zhenshen was the type to conceal his true strength, while secretly developing it. However, in the end, the two were very capable men. While Lin Dong and Lin Xiao were speaking in hushed tones, the Raging Blade Dojo crowd approached them. Lin Zhenshen stood up as he smiled. Clasping his hands together, he respectfully greeted Luo Cheng. In response, a somewhat rigid smile appeared on Luo Cheng's usually expressionless face. As both of their factions were despised by the Lei and Si families, this helped the Raging Blade Dojo and Lin family to bond closer together, and hence they had a friendly relationship. Hey, as expected, you've joined in the hunt this time. As Luo Cheng and Lin Zhenshen exchanged greetings, a figure emerged before Lin Dong. That figure was Wu Yun the same man he had met at the bazaar. Lin Dong had some positive feelings towards Wu Yun. Thus he a smile immediately formed on his face as his nodded. When the hunt starts, if possible, we should cooperate. After all, Lei Li and Si Yingying would definitely join hands, and one against two would definitely be troublesome. Wu Yun chuckled. Lin Dong nodded in agreement upon hearing Wu Yun's suggestion. Is this Lin Dong? the person who you mentioned could successfully receive a blow from Lei Li. To one side, Luo Cheng, who was conversing with Lin Zhenshen, suddenly turned his head to look at Lin Dong and inquire. Lin Dong greets the master of the Raging Blade Dojo. Lin Dong humbly scratched head before he respectfully greeted. Luo Cheng's sharp gaze carefully swept across Lin Dong's body before he nodded and remarked, This is a good seedling, the Lin family is fortunate. Upon hearing these words, Lin Zhenshen stroked his beard as a bright smile surfaced. After all, he knew that Luo Cheng was picky and had rather high standards. Thus, 
he would not give such positive evaluations lightly. Luo Cheng was clearly a man of few words. After a short chat, he said goodbye and led the Raging Blade Dojo members to another area to take up their seats. From start to end, he did not even look at the Lei and Si families at all, nor did he have show any intention to greet them. This was something that even Lin Zhenshin could only do occasionally, yet Luo Cheng had no qualms in doing it. With the arrival of the Raging Blade Dojo, the four major factions in Qingyang Town were now all present. Thus, as the sun gradually rose to its zenith, Lei Bao also stood up, as he swept his sunken eyes across the entire place. Under his chilly gaze, the racket in the monster arena slightly turned down, a testament to the influence that the Lei family held. Everyone, today is the busiest day in Qingyang Town. Simply put, for the rules of the hunt, as long as one obtains ten tags, he would obtain the right to enter this giant stage. But there, the true champion of the hunt will be born. Amplified by Yuan power, Lei Bao's voice reverberated around the entire monster arena, causing every single person to be able to hear each and every word clearly. The tags have already been collected by the various families. Next, distribute these tags to the younger generation participants from your respective families. Finally, all participants shall enter the monster arena and the hunt will begin. Dong Er, take this tag and be extra careful. Lin Xiao glanced at Lin Zhenshin, awaiting his signal. Only when the latter nodded, did Lin Xiao retrieve a black and yellow wooden tile from his clothes. On the wooden tile, was the word, Ellen and some other complicated diagrams. Under the envious gazes of some Lin family members, Lin Dong solemnly received the tag. The fact that Lin Zhenshin handed the tag over to Lin Xiao first, showed that the former had already decided to allow Lin Dong to participate in the hunt and fight for the Lin family. Stuffing the wooden tile securely into his clothes, Lin Dong silently nodded. Without further ado, he looked at the other figures, which were leaping down into the forests from the monster arena. Taking a deep breath, he took two steps forward and positioned himself at the edge of the high platform. As Lin Dong prepared to leave, nearby, Lei Li and Si Yingying also strolled forward. As he smiled, Lei Li stared at Lin Dong before he suddenly stuck out a thumb and lightly jabbed it downwards at the latter. Meanwhile, his lips were mouthing out some words. Although no voice could be heard, Lin Dong recognized the words that were mouthed. Lei Li had said, Time to repay your debts. Looking back at Lei Li, Lin Dong likewise smiled as his lips also mouthed out some words before he turned to jump off the high platform and descend into the monster arena. Gazing at Lin Dong's back, Lei Li's eyes slanted his eyes. With a light chuckle, a chilly light flitted across his eyes. He had also understood Lin Dong's unspoken words. Lin Dong had said, I'll be waiting for you. Chapter 42. Fire Python Tiger. Lin Dong gazed at the forest ahead as he rotated his wrist about. Lifting his head to observe the forests around him, he saw a massive crowd of people. The sight caused him to feel a little nauseous and the massive commotion slowly dispersed as the crowd started to spread out. Right now, there were numerous people heading towards the forest one after another. Everyone was in a state of high alert. Since the hunt has already begun, Lin Dong did not hesitate any further and he immediately walked at a steady pace towards the dense forest. As more and more people entered the forest, the original hubbub of the crowd gradually died down, filtered away by the forest. When Lin Dong walked a certain distance into the forest, he suddenly saw the flicker of a few figures nearby. A few vigilant eyes looked at the tag on his body before they retreated. It seems like they had sensed that Lin Dong was not going to be an easy target. As these people retreated, Lin Dong did not bother chasing after them. Taking his bearings, he decided to head towards the giant stage at the center of the forest. After all, every participant would arrive there eventually and this would save him the hassle of roaming around to hunt him down. The originally calm forest was suddenly in an uproar after the huge swarm of people entered. Growls from ferocious beasts were constantly heard and a few panicked screams were also faintly discernible in between. It seems like some unlucky chaps had encountered fearsome beasts that were out of their league. Nonetheless, 
Lin Dong did not slow down as he calmly walked towards the center of the forest. A few minutes later, a figure finally appeared in front of him. Only then did he come to a halt and somewhat excitedly looked at the three figures before him. These three people looked to be around the same age as Lin Dong. Their bodies were toned, well-built and tanned, giving him a slightly menacing aura. Moreover, what surprised Lin Dong was that even though most people who had entered the forests were conspiring against each other, the three of them had teamed up with each other. Hand over your tag. Standing right in the middle of the trio, a tanned young man stared at Lin Dong and said. While he spoke, his two allies slowly spread out and surrounded Lin Dong. Gazing at the trio who had delivered themselves right into his hands, Lin Dong could not help but chuckle as he shook his head. He strolled forward with no intention of surrendering his body tag. Attack. Upon witnessing Lin Dong's movements, the trio's expressions darkened as a faint glow appeared on their bodies. Tellingly, it seems like the three of them had reached at least tempered body sixth layer. As Yuan power surfaced on the trio, they instantly pounced on Lin Dong viciously. Even though they had the advantage in numbers, they hardly posed a threat to Lin Dong. Based on his current strength, he could easily defeat the three of them in a blink of an eye. Therefore, merely ten seconds later, the originally menacing trio were now lying helplessly on the floor. Lin Dong was all smiles as he took their tags before he waved his hand and said, Thanks. As he finished, he leisurely strolled past the three of them and continued his journey towards the depths of the forest. A bitter expression surfaced on the trio while they lamented their bad fortune. After the trio, Lin Dong met another two other unlucky chaps who wanted to attack him. The two of them were quite strong as they were at tempered body seventh layer. However, to Lin Dong who had already advanced to earthly Yuan stage, they were like lambs for the slaughter. After a relaxing stroll, he successfully collected five tags. In addition to his own tag, he only lacked four more before he could attain the right to ascend onto the stone arena. However, Lin Dong was not anxious. To be frank, with his earthly Yuan level strength, it was simply a walk in the park for him to cross the forest. As he continued on his path, besides encountering the fellows who had tried to rob him of his tag, Lin Dong also met with some ferocious beasts. However, they clearly posed little danger towards him and were likewise swiftly dispatched. Following the passing of time, Lin Dong gradually made his way into the depths of the forest. Right now, the people that he encountered were all quite skilled. After all, you had to have genuine ability to make it this far. Gradually walking deeper in, Lin Dong managed to obtain two more body tags. In all, he now had eight tags and he was just inches away from fulfilling the criteria. However, what perplexed Lin Dong was that he had yet to encounter Lei Li or Si Yingying. Inside the woods, Lin Dong sat down below a huge tree as he took out two biscuits he had prepared and ate them. Then, he closed his eyes as he prepared to take a short break. Buzz! Just as Lin Dong closed his eyes, a tree branch ahead of him suddenly shook and an arrow appeared and flew towards him. Just as the arrow was inches away from Lin Dong's body, he suddenly stretched his hand and caught the arrow before he immediately threw the arrow back in the direction it had came from. As the arrow flew through the woods, a small figure darted out and landed on top of a tree branch and cautiously observed Lin Dong. Lin Dong leisurely lifted his head and looked at that person. A look of surprise surfaced in his eyes as he realized that it was actually a girl. On the tree branch stood a young lady in a leather skirt. The skin-tight attire caused the curves of her slim figure to be clearly visible. Her skin was not white like other girls, but rather it was a healthy bronze color. Therefore, she gave off a wild and unruly kind of charm. In fact, this young lady was akin to a small female panther, filled with explosive power and ready to pounce at any moment. At this instance, that young lady was vigilantly staring at Lin Dong. Held within her hands, was a wooden bow that had already been reloaded. Of course, Lin Dong was not surprised by the gender of that person. Rather, he was taken back by her swift and adept reflexes. If he had to guess, this young lady had probably reached tempered body eighth layer, definitely not a weakling. If you want the tag on my body, 
I am afraid you have found the wrong target. Lin Dong said with a smile after he quickly shoved the dry biscuit in his hand into his mouth. You must be Lin Dong. The young lady garbed in leather suddenly said as she stared at Lin Dong. Her voice was melodious like a young lady, yet it contained a little hint of hoarseness too. This hoarseness also caused her well-developed body to seem even more sexy. Yes, Lin Dong was taken back. He did not expect that the young lady would actually know his name. He he, I was the one who told her. Just as Lin Dong replied in astonishment, a laughter sounded out nearby. Soon after, some tree leaves parted to reveal a figure approaching Lin Dong. It was Wu Yun. At Wu Yun's arrival, Lin Dong furrowed his eyebrows and asked, What are you guys planning? Don't be mistaken. With so many tags around, I will definitely not go after yours. The reason why I looked for you is because I wanted to propose a collaboration. Wu Yun hurriedly gestured with his hands and said, Why cooperate? Based on your abilities, it should be very easy to obtain 10 tags. Lin Dong replied, We discovered a demonic beast nearby. Wu Yun softly muttered as he took two steps forward. Oh, what kind of demonic beast? Lin Dong lifted his eyebrows. There were actually demonic beasts in these woods. Fire Python Tiger. Wu Yun's voice became even softer. Fire Python Tiger. Why would such a creature be here? Upon hearing this name, Lin Dong's palm involuntarily shuddered. Then, with a strange expression, he stared at Wu Yun and said, Do you have a death wish? A mature fire python beast match up to a heavenly Yuan stage practitioner. We can't deal with it. Fire python tiger. When Lin Dong was at the martial arts library, he happened to chance across a demonic beast index and this fire python tiger was renowned as a ferocious monster. When it matures, its power would be equivalent to a heavenly Yuan stage practitioner. However, these kind of demonic beasts are normally found in the deep mountains, why would one appear here now? Don't worry, that fire python tiger is heavily wounded now. Based on its expression, it seemed to have escaped here from the deep mountains. More importantly, it had just given birth. Wu Yun softly said as he stepped closer towards Lin Dong. Given birth. Upon hearing these two words, Lin Dong immediately took in a deep breath as his facial expression distorted. Fire python tigers become extremely aggressive when they mature. Owing to their aggressive nature, the only way to tame them, is to start when they are young. Therefore, anyone who could obtain this fire python tiger cub, would essentially have a pet that could rival a heavenly Yuan practitioner in the future. If this news got out, every one major faction in Qingyang town would definitely lust after it. After all, even after all these years of development, there were still only four heavenly Yuan practitioners in the Lin family. Lei Li and Si Yingying are already heading towards that direction and they have acquired some helpers. Therefore, I can only turn towards you. After all, if we let the Lei and Si family obtain that fire python tiger cub, it will only be bad news for both the Lin family and the Raging Blade Dojo. Wu Yun said seriously. Lin Dong furrowed his eyebrows. He did not expect such a sudden development during this hunt. If Si and Lei family got news regarding the existence of that fire python tiger cub, Lei Bao might even disregard the entire competition and head down to hunt it personally. Fortunately, the news had not gotten out yet. So, how about it? Wu Yun asked nervously as he looked at Lin Dong's complicated expression. He knew that Lei Li's side was powerful and without Lin Dong's help, he would definitely be unable to grab the prize. Lin Dong bit his lips. After a moment of silence, he finally nodded his head to the delight of Wu Yun. All right, let's do it. Chapter 43. Snatching the Cubs. Ha ha, brother Lin Dong is indeed magnanimous. After he saw Lin Dong nod his head, Wu Yun could not help but let out a hearty laugh as an excited smile surfaced on his face. Here, let me introduce you guys. This is Mu Lingxia from the Mu family, my good friend since long ago. He he, don't underestimate her just because she is a lady, she has advanced to tempered body 8th layer and is extremely good at archery. With her on our side, we will have an easier time. Wu Yun smiled as he pointed towards the slim young lady standing on a tree branch. 
Mu family. Lin Dong was slightly taken back as he nodded his head. This Mu family was situated within a hundred miles of Qingyang town and they had quite a reputation. Naturally, Lin Dong had heard of them before. Based on my knowledge, there are a total of three fire python tiger cubs. If we succeed, each of us can get one. Wu Yun smiled as he said. It's too early to be discussing how to split the spoils. After all, the fire python tiger is no ordinary creature. Even if it was heavily injured and just gave birth, it will still be a difficult beast to handle. In fact, we may even sustain some damage. Lin Dong sighed as he shook his head. Ah ha, don't worry. The fire python tiger is not a problem. The main issue lies with Lei Li and company. If I am not mistaken, Lei Li should have advanced to earthly Yuan stage. Therefore, he is probably the strongest amongst all the contestants. Wu Yun chuckled before he promptly signed. Let's head over there first, before we assess the situation. Lin Dong said as he nodded. Upon hearing these words, Wu Yun also nodded in agreement. He lifted his head to look at Mu Linsha and she promptly leapt off the branch before glancing at Lin Dong and saying, follow me. Immediately, she dashed towards the forests on the right side with Wu Yun and Lin Dong swiftly behind. As the three of them ran through the woods, they met several idling contestants who wanted to rob them of their tags. However, whenever any of them tried to make a move, an arrow will rip through the air and pierce the ground before them. The force behind that arrow clearly showed that should the arrow be pointed towards their bodies, it would definitely rip a bloody hole in their bodies. With the aid of Mu Lingxia's brilliant archery skills, they three of them had a smooth journey. After they traveled through the woods for approximately 10 minutes, Mu Lingxia's pace slowed down and she deftly hid behind a large tree. Her swift movements clearly demonstrated that she held a great understanding of the forests. We have arrived. Wu Yun deliberately muffled his voice as he told Lin Dong who was behind. Upon hearing these words, Lin Dong stealthily took two steps forward. He scanned around before spotting something and concentrating his attention on it. Imprinted in his eyes, was a spacious forested area. There, stood more than ten people with large wooden spears. Leading the pack were Lei Li and Si Yingying. Right in the middle of the group was a towering demonic beast. The demonic beast was covered in fur that looked like fire and its head resembled that of a fearsome tiger. Its tail was arched over its back, like a snake ready to pounce, and looked exactly like a flaming python. This was completely similar to what Lin Dong had seen on the demonic beast index. However, the fire python tiger, which was supposed to look majestic and intimidating, seemed extremely weak as fresh blood constantly gushed out from its body, dyeing its surroundings blood red. After witnessing the damage taken by the fire python tiger, Lin Dong now understood why Wu Yun had mentioned that the fire python tiger was hardly a concern. Based on its injuries, it would eventually bleed to death even if no one made a move. Lei Li was clear on this point as he only led probing attacks on the beast, not willing to directly engage it in battle. After all, the fire python tiger could match up to a heavenly Yuan expert and even its final death throws were no laughing matter. The fire python tiger cubs are on the rocks right behind it. Wu Yun secretly whispered to Lin Dong from behind. Lin Dong vision instantly turned towards the rocks behind the fire python tiger. Right there, he could see three blood-stained cubs on the rocks. Their eyes were not even open as they squealed and rolled on the rocks in an attempt to stand up. These are indeed cubs. After witnessing this sight, despite Lin Dong's level of cool-headedness, a fiery passion could not help but be lit up in his eyes. If he could obtain just one cub, then his Lin family would effectively gain another heavenly Yuan practitioner. This would be a huge score for his Lin family. He he, I told you. So, what now? Wu Yun cheekily smiled after he saw Lin Dong's expression. Let's wait for the fire python tiger to die first. Lin Dong took a deep breath as he calmed himself before he softly replied. After all, it would be too risky if that creature was still alive. Yes. After hearing Lin Dong's suggestion, Wu Yun nodded in agreement. At that time, once the fire python tiger dies, 
I will intervene to stop Lei Li and the rest while Mu Lingxia shall covertly assist me. Wu Yun, your mission is to grab these fire python tiger cubs. Once you obtain him, you must leave immediately and we will meet back at our rendezvous point. Lin Dong licked his lips as he told outlined his plan to the rest. You are planning to fight them by yourself. Upon hearing his plan, Wu Yun was shocked. There were about ten of them at Lei Li's side. Furthermore Lei Li had advanced to earthly Yuan stage. If Lin Dong were to appear, he would surely be captured in a jiffy. Don't worry, I will not overextend myself. Lin Dong smiled as he waved his hand. Upon seeing the smiling expression on Lin Dong's face, Wu Yun was stunned. Suddenly, a frightening thought flashed in his mind, however he immediately killed it. All right, let's follow your plan. You focus on Lei Li and Si Ying Ying. Leave the rest to me, I will stop them. Mu Lingxia also stared at Lin Dong in shock, yet she did not question him. Thank you. Lin Dong smiled gently. Without another word, he turned to look at the forest. The situation with the fire python tiger had reached a gruesome stage. As it was being provoked by Lei Li and the rest, it could only sluggishly chase after them. However, as it moved, fresh blood gushed onto the floor until eventually, even its internal organs began to spill out. Thud, the injuries sustained were truly fatal. Therefore, after a short chase, the fire python tiger released a roar of despair as it fell on the floor with a thud. Delight surfaced in Lei Li, Si Ying Ying and the rest after they saw the fire python tiger finally breathe its last breath. A hungry expression quickly replaced their delight as they turned to stare at the three fire python tiger cubs on the rock. A split second later, they dashed towards the cubs. Attack! Just as Lei Li and the rest rushed forward, Lin Dong released a low growl as he kicked his foot off the ground, shooting forward to obstruct both Lei Li and Si Ying Ying. Swish swish! Just as Lin Dong made his move, Mu Lingxia's beautiful face turned icy. She swiftly pulled her bow back and arrows flew through the woods to promptly stop the rest of the group following behind Lei Li and Si Ying Ying. Lin Dong! This sudden developed caused Lei Li and Si Ying Ying to be startled. As they stared at the man blocking their way, an ugly expression surfaced on their faces. Lei Li released a sneer as he heavily stepped off the ground and jumped towards Lin Dong, attacking him with a punch. The powerful force contained within his blow caused the surrounding air to vibrate. Since you delivered yourself straight into my hands, don't blame me. Lin Dong lifted his head to gaze at the figure who was rapidly growing bigger before his eyes. Based on the force contained within this punch, Lin Dong understood that Lei Li had indeed advanced to earthly Yuan stage. In fact, if this punch was delivered to a tempered body ninth layer practitioner, he would suffer massive injuries. Lin Dong, watch out. Dodge quickly. As Wu Yun was dashed towards the cubs, he hurriedly shouted out upon witnessing this scene. However, Lin Dong chose to ignore Wu Yan's warning. Keeping both of his eyes firmly on Lei Li, he took half a step back while his fingers gripped together. Then, he retaliated with a punch, forcefully countering Lei Li's powerful blow. Wu Yun's face turned pale after he saw Lin Dong's decision to retaliate. Just as the former was about to retreat and save Lin Dong, he suddenly saw that at the epicenter, Lei Li's body had actually been blown back. In fact, he landed awkwardly and even took a few steps back, nearly falling to the ground. The chaotic woods instantly fell silent. Even Si Yingying gasped in surprise, unable to believe what had just happened. Lei Li had advanced to earthly Yuan stage, yet he was blown back by a single punch from Lin Dong. Damn it! Has that bastard advanced to earthly Yuan stage? Wu Yun stared at Lin Dong's back in complete shock. The terrifying thought that had flashed in his mind previously was now finally confirmed. Chapter 44. Success. Thud thud. Lei Li somewhat haggardly stabilized his body as he lifted his head and stared in shock at Lin Dong, involuntarily letting out, you entered earthly Yuan stage 2. How is that possible? Lei Li disbelieving voice was like a peal of thunder as it sounded in the eardrums of everyone nearby, shocking them. Immediately, Gasps echoed out in the forest ground. 
If you can advance to earthly Yuan stage, why can't I do the same? Lin Dong smiled as he saw Lei Li's somewhat frightened and doubtful expression. It was like he had seen a ghost. You, Lei Li's face twitched as his body began to tremble uncontrollably. He had started his training three years ago and with the aid of the bountiful resources from the Lei family, he finally managed to advance to earthly Yuan stage just two months before. However, what about Lin Dong? Based on his knowledge, the latter only started training approximately one year ago. In just one year's time, he had caught up to his three years of training. How incredulous is that? That kind of progress was something Lei Li never ever heard of. Impossible. Lei Li expression constantly changed, eventually settling into a somewhat warped expression as he took two steps forward. He refused to believe that Lin Dong had truly advanced to earthly Yuan stage. Big brother Lei Li, they are going to snatch the fire python tiger cubs. Just as Lei Li was struggling with the turmoil in his heart, the observant Si Yingying suddenly panicked after she saw Wu Yun climbing onto the rocks. Bastard. After hearing her words, Lei Li immediately regained his wits. Seeing that Wu Yun had already climbed onto the rocks, rage filled his entire body as a thick Yuan power immediately exploded from within. Faintly, hints of yin energy dotted his Yuan power. It seems like he had managed to absorb a little yin energy into his Yuan power and successfully fuse them. However, the yin energy that he assimilated seemed to be of the ordinary grade found between heaven and earth. Lin Dong, I don't care how you manage to increase your strength, you still lack the qualifications to beat me. As Yuan power surged within his body, Lei Li's body felt full of strength as he enjoyed that refreshing power. When he attacked previously, he never expected that Lin Dong's strength had advanced to such terrifying levels. Therefore, he was careless and ended up losing out. Now that he was fully prepared, even if Lin Dong had advanced to earthly Yuan stage, he would not easily lose out. With a roar, Lei Li dashed out with both of his palms bent like eagle claws as he went for Lin Dong's head. Ying Ying, stop Wu Yun. Just as he moved to attack Lin Dong, Lei Li once again shouted out. At Lei Li's shout, Si Ying Ying nodded her head. However, right before she could make her move, Lin Dong broke away from Lei Li's pursuit and appeared in front of her. With a simple palm attack, he instantly blew Si Ying Ying back. All of you attack. After he saw Lin Dong purposefully avoid him and instead chose to tangle with Si Ying Ying, Lei Li's face turned blue as he shouted at the crew behind him that he had hastily assembled. The crew behind him hesitated after they heard Lei Li's roar. Several of them could only grit their teeth as they remembered the reward that Lei Li had promised them previously. However, just as they were about to make their move, arrows suddenly flew through the forest and hastily stopped them in their tracks. While Lin Dong and Mu Lingxia restricted Lei Li and the rest, Wu Yun finally climbed onto the rocks. Taking out a piece of cloth from his chest, he wrapped the three fire python tiger cubs within and swiftly jumped down. Following which he whistled a signal before immediately dashing into the woods and disappearing. Go! As he heard the whistle, Lin Dong was delighted. He quickly turned to Mu Lingxia's current position and shouted. Swish swish! Hidden in the woods, Mu Lingxia lightly nodded as she fired off her remaining arrows before turning to flee. Ha ha! Lei Li, we'll have our real match when we reach the stage later. However, right now, it's time for me to split my spoils. After he saw Mu Lingxia's successful escape and then Lei Li's fuming expression, Lin Dong felt incredible carefree. He let out a hearty laugh as he stamped off the ground and immediately dashed off. Concurrently, he flung his arms at Lei Li and the rest, violently firing the rock shrapnels hidden within his sleeves to slow them down. By the time Lei Li deflected those rocks projectiles, he could only see Lin Dong's shadow escaping into the woods. Immediately, he exploded in anger. His furious roars could be heard resounding hatefully throughout the forest. Lin Dong, I swear I will kill you. As he ran in the dense forest, Lin Dong could hear the angry roars from behind him. However, he only casually smiled. Based on his current strength, he hardly feared Lei Li. Furthermore, he was also not worried about offending Lei and Si family. After all, 
they were already hostile towards the Lin family. Therefore, why bother? Lin Dong traversed through the woods like an agile monkey. Approximately 10 minutes later, he stopped and scanned his surroundings before he finally sat down below a giant tree. Soon after, he heard the rustling sounds of leaves from nearby. Next, Wu Yun and Mu Lingxia surfaced in front of Lin Dong. Ha ha, that was wonderful. Just as Wu Yun appeared, he involuntarily let out a hearty laugh. Then he looked at Lin Dong with admiration as he chuckled. Looks like we found the right person. Brother Lin Dong, your training progress is simply sick. In just four months' time, you advanced from tempered body 8th layer to earthly Yuan stage. It's just a fluke. Lin Dong smiled as he casually replied. Let us split our spoils. Wu Yun carefully unwrapped the cloth bundle on his back and placed it on a nearby rock. Hidden within this cloth bundle were three tiny blood-stained fire python tiger cubs. As they struggled to crawl around with their tiny bodies, they looked extremely cute. Even Mu Lingxia's eyes lit up. Even though she was still young, it seems like the motherly instinct was something every female possessed. Brother Lin Dong, you've contributed the most. You should pick first. Wu Yun smiled as he said. Standing beside him, Mu Lingxia also nodded her head. Evidently, she agreed as well. Upon hearing these words, Lin Dong did not bother with any pleasantries as he extended his right palm to gently touch these three cubs. As they felt human contact, these three cubs immediately curled up their tiny bodies. Lin Dong's right palm hesitated for a while as it moved back and forth over the three cubs. Moments later, when his palm touched the tiny cub on the left, a glint flashed across his eyes. With a smile, he picked it up in his arms and said, Here, let me have this one. This one, brother Lin Dong, this cub seems like the weakest among the three. I'm afraid it will be somewhat difficult to take care of it. Are you sure about this? Upon witnessing Lin Dong's choice, Wu Yun and Mu Lingxia were both stunned as they asked. It's fine, I want it. Lin Dong smiled as he shook his head. Naturally, he had a reason for doing so. Just now when he was touching these three cubs with his right palm, he felt a slight vibration from the stone talisman embedded within his palm when he touched this tiny cub. The stone talisman was usually extremely quiet, therefore whenever it makes a move, it must have encountered something extraordinary. Lin Dong lowered his head to look at the tiny fire python tiger cub, which had yet to even open its eyes. Based on his judgment, he could not tell why this little cub was special. Nonetheless, he chose to believe in the stone talisman. This fellow must be somehow different right? Lin Dong hugged the tiny cub as he muttered uncertainly to himself. Chapter 45. Rising Tension. After they split their battle spoils, Lin Dong and the rest were all smiles. Even Mu Lingxia had a happy expression that reached her cheeks. After all, she came to this, hunt, to strive for a good ranking so as to boost the reputation of the Mu family. She did not expect to receive such a wonderful gift in the process. Compared to this fire python tiger cub, the, hunt, had become an insignificant event. Let us head to the stage. Wu Yun carefully cradled his tiger cub as he smiled and said. Lin Dong nodded in agreement. Even though he still lacked two more more body tags, he knew that it was not a problem. I won't be going. Besides them, Mu Lingxia silently muttered as she suddenly shook her head. Upon hearing these words, Lin Dong and Wu Yun were both stunned. They stared at the tiny cub in Mu Lingxia's arms before nodding their heads in comprehension. A fire python tiger cub was extremely valuable and if she could successful tame and train it, their Mu family would have the protection of a heavenly Yuan level fire python tiger. That was extremely good news for their entire village. Furthermore, in the current Mu family, there was only one person that reached the early stage of heavenly Yuan level. However, a fire python tiger cub would definitely attract the envy of others, and if news of this incident got out, the Lei and Si families would definitely pursue it. The Lin family and the Raging Blade Dojo were both well-established factions, thus they were not fearful of the Si and Lei families. However, the Mu family that Mu Lingxia belonged to was different. They were too weak to fight against the Lei and Si families. 
Therefore, the fact that she had the tiger cub must not be revealed or it would spell calamity for the Mu family. We will keep your secret. Lin Dong softly said. Thank you. Mu Lingxia gratefully said as she glanced at Lin Dong. Then she cheekily said. If you are free in the future, you can look me up at Mu family village. I will bring you around. Ha ha. It's a deal. Wu Yun smiled as he nodded his head. Since the two of them agreed, Mu Lingxia did not linger any further. After she said her goodbyes, she hid the tiger cub and leapt onto a tree branch. Like a swift female panther, she immediately fled towards the outside the woods. Let's go. Sending off Mu Lingxia with their gazes, Lin Dong gestured with his hand. Immediately after, he ran towards the center of the woods with Wu Yun swiftly behind. Only a few of them made it into the deep forest and naturally, these people were quite skilled. Nonetheless, since Lin Dong had advanced to earthly Yuan stage, they posed little threat to him. Therefore, moments later, he had obtained the last two more tags. During winter, the sunlight did not feel blazing hot, but was instead rather comfortable. Seated in the monster area were thousands of black bobbing heads. Their gazes were all concentrated on the center of the monster arena. Situated there, was an arena atop a small hill. Based on my calculations, these participants should reach the arena soon. At the Lin family area, Lin Zhenshen narrowed his eyes at the arena and smiled while muttering to himself. Ha ha, father don't worry. Based on Lin Dong's strength, as long as he doesn't encounter Lei Li, it would be easy for him to obtain ten tags. To his side, Lin Ken chuckled and said. Upon hearing these words, Lin Zhenshen smiled as he nodded his head. Just as he gathered his thoughts, waves of cheers suddenly sounded out from the monster arena. Soon after, he saw a few figures appearing on the giant arena. Upon seeing that one familiar figure among him, he secretly heaved a sigh of relief. On the giant arena, Lin Dong and Wu Yun both revealed themselves. They looked at the huge crowd around them and marveled. After all, it was rare to see such this many people all in one place. Just as Lin Dong and the rest ascended onto the stone arena, several judges swiftly arrived and examined the tags in their hand before withdrawing once again. Not long after, two other figures also appeared on the stone arena. However, plastered on their faces were anger and rage and they immediately turned to glare at Lin Dong and Wu Yun. Faced with Lei Li's and Si Yingying's menacing glare, Lin Dong and Wu Yun exchanged a glance before they both chuckled. I will not let you so easily snatch away the cubs. Upon seeing the two of them laugh, the anger in Lei Li's heart burned even hotter. Promptly, he turned towards the area where the Lei and Si families were seated and shouted, Grandpa, Uncle Si, just now, me and Si Yingying encountered a heavily injured fire python tiger and its three newborn cubs. After the two of us struggled with it for a long time, we finally killed it. However, right at the last moment, Wu Yun and Lin Dong launched a sneak attack and snatched the three cubs away from us. Please help us address this injustice. Everyone in the crowd was stunned when they heard Lei Li's sudden roar. However, right after they heard about the three fire python tiger cubs, the entire crowd burst into an uproar. What? Everyone in the audience, no matter the Lei or Si family, or even Lin Zhenshen and Luo Cheng all immediately stood up as their facial expression changed dramatically. All of them clearly knew the prowess of the fire python tiger, and three cubs represented three potential future heavenly Yuan practitioners. This power was something that no faction could afford to ignore. Three fire python tiger cubs. Lei Bao's face immediately flushed red. He exchanged a glance with Si Qian as a glint flashed in his eyes before he turned to ask in a solemn voice, Is this true? On the giant arena, Lin Dong and Wu Yun's facial expressions slightly changed. They did not expect Lei Li to be so shameless. The fire python tiger was already heavily wounded. Does that mean whoever saw it first owns it? If so, tomorrow I will circle around the deep mountains, and every demonic beast that I see will belong to me. In the future, if anyone catches them, they will have to compensate me. Wu Yun's expression darkened as he retorted with a sneer. Wu Yun's cheeky retort immediately caused laughter to erupt in the audience. 
Some people in the crowd also nodded in agreement to his logic. After all, the fire python tiger belongs to no one. Hence, the cubs should belong to whoever had the ability to obtain them. Stop trying to find excuses. Lei Bao shouted as his face twisted. Bang! Before Lei Bao's words could fade, nearby, Luo Cheng immediately slammed his palm onto his stone chair. The strength behind his blow immediately shattered the stone chair as he gripped onto the long saber on his waist and icily said, Head of Lei family, anything your family member speaks is the truth. Yet when my family member speaks, it becomes nonsense. Do you think my raging blade dojo is so easy to bully? Everything in the world will come to those who are fated with it. How can this be counted as stealing? Old man Lei, don't be too overbearing. Lin Zhenshin also spoke up in an indifferent manner. When he spoke, Lin Xiao could see his palms slightly trembling in excitement. After all, mentioning the fire python tiger cubs had caused him to lose his cool. After witnessing that the Lin family and the Raging Blade Dojo had allied together, Lei Bao's expression slightly darkened as he icily shouted, Fire Python Tiger indeed belongs to no one. However, Lei Li had invested effort into this, yet in the end, all the spoils were taken by your people. Therefore, even if the two of you are allied together, you must give me a satisfactory answer. After hearing Lei Bao's tone, everyone could tell that he was highly unwilling to give away the cubs to the Lin family and the Raging Blade Dojo. An answer. Don't tell me you want the cubs back. The scar on Luo Cheng's face was wriggling like a scorpion, as he menacingly replied. Master Luo, things are getting heated. This will not be good for any of us. Let me suggest an alternative. As it happens, we are currently having a competition. Why not let whoever wins take away the cubs? After watching the situation heat up, Si Qian suddenly suggested. Based on words alone, you plan to snatch the cubs away. How can there be such a good deal in this world? Lin Zhenshin sneered as he furrowed his eyebrows. Lei Li and Si Yingying were both the most outstanding among the younger generation members from their respective families. In fact, the former may have even advanced to earthly Yuan stage. Wu Yun may be able to deal with him. However, it was unlikely that Lin Dong would be able to match up to Lei Li. I will wager my steel wood manner. During this competition, should Lei Li lose to Lin Dong, then my steel wood manor shall belong to your Lin family. However, if you lose, that cub will belong to my Lei family. Lin Zhenshin, do you dare to accept this wager? Lei Bao's eyes flashed as he said, Steel wood manor. Upon hearing these words, not only was Lin Zhenshin and Luo Cheng shocked, but even Si Qian was stunned as well. The steel wood manor manufactures a unique steel wood and it was a significant enterprise in the Lei family. Lei Bao actually dared to use this steel wood manor as a wager. However, moments later, they regained their wits after they realized that the Lei family victory was almost guaranteed. Lin Zhenshin's facial expression changed irregularly. He was obviously shocked by the stakes. Immediately, he gently shook his head. Even though the wager was lucrative, he knew that their odds were still too low. After all, even though Lin Dong was highly talented, he started training a lot later than Lei Li. If they fought now, he would likely lose. Father, let's drop this notion. Standing behind Lin Zhenshin, Lin Ken's, Lin Xiao's and Lin Mang's facial expression changed as they clenched their jaws and softly muttered. If they were to lose the fire python tiger cub because of this wager, it would hardly be worthwhile. After hearing the three of them, Lin Zhenshin sighed in his heart. However, just as he was about to reject, a clear voice suddenly resonated from the stone arena, causing everyone to be stunned. All right, our Lin family accepts your wager. Chapter 46, Stunning the Entire Arena. The sudden clear voice caused the entire monster arena to quiet down as several uneasy gazes were directed towards Lin Dong, who was standing on the arena. Nonsense. These matters are not for you to decide. Lin Zhenshin promptly shouted. He was shocked by Lin Dong's sudden gesture. He believed that it was Lin Dong's hot-blooded youthfulness that caused him to be unable to put up with their provocations any longer and thus rashly agree to the wager. Besides Lin Zhenshin, Lin Xiao and the rest furrowed their eyebrows. 
They knew that Lin Dong was clearly a cool and rational person. So why did he suddenly do this? Grandpa, trust me, even as he faced the numerous doubtful gazes, Lin Dong looked straight at Lin Zhenshan and solemnly said. As he saw the determination in Lin Dong's eyes, Lin Zhenshan's eyebrows tightly knitted together. Could Lin Dong really defeat Lei Li? Currently, Lei Li had probably advanced to earthly Yuan stage. Therefore, if Lin Dong wanted to defeat him, he needed to be at earthly Yuan stage at least. However, how is that possible? After all, Lin Dong had only started training for approximately a year. The fact that he could reach tempered body ninth layer within a year, was already a remarkable accomplishment. After all, even the renowned Lin clan genius, Lin Langshan, took nearly two years before he advanced to earthly Yuan stage. He he, Lin Zhenshan, look at what have you become. Have you lost your drive from before? Even a young man dares to accept our challenge, yet you do not. How disappointing. Lei Bao coldly mocked as he looked at the indecisive Lin Zhenshan. However, Lin Zhenshan ignored the taunts. Instead, he turned around and asked Lin Xiao, Lin Ken and Lin Mang. What do you all think? Upon hearing these words, anxiety and hesitation surfaced on the three of them. Logically speaking, even though the rewards for this wager were highly lucrative, it was too risky. However, there was a greed faintly hidden within their hearts, that they could win both the cub and the steel wood manor. If their Lin family could win the steel wood manor, then their profits for each year would rise by approximately 40%. This was no small amount. Lin Dong is a calm and rational child. This kind of subpar provocations clearly do not work on him. However, he should also know that Lei Li has advanced to earthly Yuan stage. Since he dares to accept this challenge, he probably has an ace hidden up his sleeve. Lin Ken murmured in a low voice. If father wishes to gamble, it could be worth a try. Upon hearing Lin Ken's suggestion, Lin Zhenshan took in a deep breath as he gently shut both of his eyes. Moments later, he opened his eyes, having once again regained his calm. He looked towards Lei Bao and casually said, Since old man Lei persists, this time, our Lin family will play with you. Lin Dong, it's all up to you now. Lin Zhenshan turned and looked at Lin Dong as the words slowly left his mouth. After hearing this words, a smile surfaced on Lin Dong's face. He gently nodded his head and then looked towards Lei Li, who was standing nearby. The smile on the former's face instantly turned cold. Do you really intend to fight Lei Li? Wu Yun, who was standing beside him, anxiously asked. Even though he knew that Lin Dong had also miraculously advanced to earthly Yuan stage, he did not favor the latter. After all, Lei Li had trained for a much longer period of time, and he must have complete mastery of various kinds of martial arts. Don't you think it's now too late to regret? Lin Dong smiled as he passed the fire python tiger cub over to Wu Yun and said, help me look after it first. I don't want anything to happen to it when I am fighting. All right, take extra care. Wu Yun helplessly nodded his head while carefully accepting the cub into his arms like a nanny. He looked a little silly. The hunt was now temporarily put on hold because of this unexpected development. Nonetheless, many people in the crowd were pleased because they could witness a battle between Lin Dong and Lei Li. Furthermore, this match also pitted the Lin family against the Lei family. Therefore, to be able to witness such a grand gamble, made this trip totally worthwhile. The other contestants on the stone arena immediately backed off to create an open area in the middle of the arena. A judge also walked inside to preside over this duel. Under the watchful gazes of the crowd, Lin Dong slowly strolled to the middle of the arena as his heart gradually calmed down. This duel was extremely important for the Lin family. Not only was the fire python tiger cub at stake, but even more so, the Lin family's reputation as well. Lin Dong naturally understood how important this duel was. Hence, the reason why he finally agreed to this duel was because he had every confidence that he would emerge victorious. As Lei Li stretched his neck, his facial expression was somewhat malicious as he stepped into the arena. Staring straight into Lin Dong's eyes, a menacing glint was reflected in the former's eyes. 
I will make sure you lose everything. Standing before Lin Dong, Lei Li declared. Faced with Lei Li's threat, Lin Dong only replied with a casual smile, declining to retort. Both parties take your position, let the duel begin. After seeing both of them enter the stage, the judge immediately announced as he raised his palm and swung it down. As the judge's words faded, Lei Li's facial expression instantly turned icy cold. A thick and powerful glow of Yuan power flickered on the surface of his body. The undulations of his Yuan power was clearly incomparable to that of a tempered body ninth layer practitioner. He has indeed reached earthly Yuan stage. After seeing Lei Li's display, a commotion erupted in the monster arena. Meanwhile, a prideful smirk emerged on Lei Bao's face. However, right before his smirk fully formed, it slowly froze in place. This was because he saw streams of thick and powerful Yuan power also began to flicker on Lin Dong's body. Based on its undulations, his Yuan power defiantly did not lose to Lei Li's. Lin Dong has also reached earthly Yuan stage. When Yuan power gushed over Lin Dong's body, the entire monster arena erupted as a look of awe and surprise surfaced on everyone's faces. They were not too surprised that Lei Li had advanced to earthly Yuan stage. However, none of them had ever expected that Lin Dong, who became the new rising star from the Lin family in the past half a year, had already reached this step. Pa, in the Lin family's area, the teacup in Lin Zhenshan's hand crashed onto the ground and smashed into pieces. He stared at the young man in the arena unable to believe the scene that was playing right before his very eyes. His mouth twitched as if he were trying to speak, yet he found himself at a complete loss for words. Lin Dong, since when did he advance to earthly Yuan stage? Lin Ken and Lin Mang were totally taken aback, their mouths feeling somewhat dry as they turned in unison and asked Lin Seo. This, I also have no clue. As he met their gazes, a rigid smile surfaced on Lin Seo's face. The palm that he had rested on his leg was constantly twitching as an immense pride surged in his heart, causing his entire body to tremble uncontrollably. Right besides them, Lin Chia, Lin Hong and the rest of the younger generation in the Lin family stood glued on the spot, their mouths hanging wide open. A feverish gaze faintly burned in their eyes. No wonder he dared to accept this duel. Lin Ken stared at Lin Zhenshin as he muttered, Father, our Lin family has finally produced an outstanding genius. Lin Zhenshin silently nodded his head as he wiped of the tea stains on his clothes with trembling palms. Then, he lifted his head and softly sucked in a breath. His old eyes were moist while his voice was coarse as he softly cried out, The heavens are fair. Nearby, Lei Bao slowly sat back into his chair, ashen-faced. A murderous intent faintly flashed within his eyes. Lin Dong's fearsome progress had terrified him. This boy must not be allowed to survive. Chapter 47. Intense Battle. Faced with the thunderous hubbub of the crowd, Lin Dong was not the slightest bit distracted. He kept both eyes tightly peeled on Lei Li as the Yuan power constantly flowed around his body like a stream. Lin Dong, it's too early to celebrate. In Lei Li's ears, the roars from the arena felt uncomfortable. He hurriedly stepped forward as both of his palms twisted into a weird angle, all ten of his fingers curled up like the jaw of a deadly snake's head. With the aid of Yuan power, cracking sounds could be heard as his palms brushed through the air. Ling Snake Palm, a level 2 martial arts that leaned towards a soft yet vicious style. From his stance, Lin Dong could tell the Lei Li was very well versed in this martial art. When the latter executed his attack, his palms swayed from side to side, causing opponents to be unable to grasp the attack. After the preliminary exchange at the woods, Lei Li's disdain and contempt for Lin Dong had completely vanished. Therefore, the former immediately used his preferred martial arts. The level of force generated by this combination of user and martial art was indeed remarkable. As he faced Lei Li's wholehearted offensive, Lin Dong's facial expression also turned serious. However, he had no plans to retreat. After all, based on his current strength, he knew that he could take Lei Li head on. With that thought in mind, 
Lin Dong straightened his palms and swiftly moved into Eight Desolation's palm stance. Brandishing his palms, the firm and fierce power behind his palms caused the air to swivel as if they had become a pair of invisible cyclones, blowing off every speck of dust in his surroundings. Bang bang! Both palms collided in an instant. Yuan power violently undulated and dispersed from the epicenter of the clash. The two exchanged blow after blow at a dizzying speed as a series of deep and low sounds constantly echoed out. Under the nervous gaze of the crowd, the two figures on the stone arena continued to crisscross and intertwine as they moved. Every attack was met with straight on with another. The vigorous Yuan power contained within each hit possessed the strength to shatter a boulder. To think that Lin Dong can actually match up to Lei Li. As they stared at the intense duel between the two contestants in the arena, many people in the crowd could not help but gasp in surprise. Even though Lin Dong had trained for a much shorter time, his Yuan power and mastery of martial arts was not in the slightest bit weaker than Lei Li. This bastard has actually reached such a level of perfection in martial arts. As their palms flickered and blurred, Lei Li's expression darkened. He never expected that he would be unable to swiftly dispatch Lin Dong even when he was going full throttle. Furthermore, he did not know why but each time their palms contacted, he could feel a prickly cold sensation from Lin Dong's Yuan power. I cannot let this drag on. This discovery caused Lei Li's to suddenly concentrate as he abruptly took a step forward. His body was almost touching Lin Dong's and in that instance, the corners of Lei Li's mouth raised to form a sneer. In a flash, Lei Li's entire body suddenly became akin to a terminator. Fist, elbow, finger, leg and every other part of his body suddenly exploded with a raging strength, as he rained down countless blows onto Lin Dong's entire body. The Lei family's thunderstorm strikes. Standing outside the arena, Wu Yun's facial expression changed when he saw Lei Li's wild and furious offensive. Thunderstorm strikes was a level 3 martial arts, and when it was executed, the opponent would experience a devastating attack like a thunderstorm. It was extremely fearsome. Lin Dong initially panicked as he faced Lei Li's sudden attack. However, he immediately steadied himself and balled up one hand into a fist while the other formed into a palm. Then, he swung out both his palm and fist as two different set of martial arts were executed concurrently. Pa 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 pa, penetrating fist with his left fist and eight desolations with his right palm. Both palm and fist moved in perfect coordination as Lin Dong executed the two martial arts. A series of clear crisp echoes sounded out as he completely received Lei Li's menacing attack. Dual utilization, one hand a fist, the other a palm. Seated in the Lin family's area, Lin Zhenshen and the rest gasped at this scene. None of them had expected that Lin Dong could actually master and utilize both penetrating fist and eight desolations palm to this level. This kid is definitely a martial arts genius. Lin Zhenshen emotionally rubbed his hands together. He suddenly found that, compared to this grandson, the fire python tiger cub and the steel wood manor seemed so insignificant. Based on the talent that Lin Dong had shown, in time, he will definitely become a legendary figure. At that time, how could the small Qingyang town be able to tie him down? Compared to the delight that filled the Lin family, over at Lei and Si families, the atmosphere was one of dread. Lei Bao and Si Qian were even more upset, while the rest of the younger generation members in Lei and Si families kept their mouths tightly shut. Si Ting in particular, who had received a slap from Lin Dong at the bazaar, had turned especially pale. She did not expect that in just a few months' time, Lin Dong could actually directly match Lei Li blow for blow. The situation now doesn't look good for us. The boy from the Lin family has hidden himself too well. Si Qian approached Lei Bao as he somberly said. Lei Bao's face sunk inwards as his expression darkened while he twisted the jade ring on his finger. Moments later, he solemnly replied, Don't worry. It's not so easy to defeat Lei Li. Pa pa pa. On the stone arena, the battle intensified as both parties' fists and palms rained heavily down on each other. After being struck at every part of their bodies, both of them were hit, and tear after tear began to emerge on their clothes. Bang! 
Yet another powerful exchange caused both Lei Li and Lin Dong to retreat a few steps back. Buzz buzz. Lei Li stamped his foot on the ground and forcefully stabilized his body. As he wiped off the traces of blood at the corner of his mouth, his gaze was like a deadly wolf as his eyes bored holes into Lin Dong. On his right palm, a bright and thick Yuan power suddenly undulated. In this instance, Lin Dong could sense that Lei Li had concentrated every bit of Yuan power in his body onto his palm. As the Yuan power in Lei Li's body surged to his palm, the glow on his palm gradually grew brighter and brighter. Eventually, it condensed into a glowing ball that was now violently rolling about in his palm. The Lei family's dashing lightning. When the glowing ball appeared in Lei Li's palm, the expressions on Lin Zhenshen and the rest changed in a flash as they involuntarily cried out. Level 4 Martial Arts, Dashing Lightning. This is one of the two ultimate martial arts of the Lei family. I never expected that Lei Li had successfully mastered it. Outside the arena, Wu Yun also gasped in shock. Lei Li's complexion was slightly pale as he stared at Lin Dong, yet a cold smile surfaced on the former's face. He was going to utterly destroy Lin Dong. Father, quickly asked Lin Dong to surrender. That bastard from Lei family plans to kill him. As Lei Li's expression turned sinister, Lin Ken hastily said as he saw the murderous glint in Lei Li's eyes. Upon hearing these words, Lin Zhenshen tightly clenched his fists. After a short moment of hesitation, just as he intended to stand up, Lin Xiao, who was sitting beside him, said in a low voice, Father, let's wait a little longer. As Lin Dong's father, he could not explain it, but right now he felt a strange confidence in his son. Somehow, he just knew that Lin Dong would not let him down. Buzz, in the arena, Lei Li swiftly dashed forward as the glowing ball flickered in the hollow of his palm. As the ball streaked through the air, an explosive, chi chi, sound was vividly heard. Imagine if this palm landed on anyone's body, their life would be forfeit. Lin Dong, you lose. The sole of Lei Li's foot stepped off the ground as his body jumped upwards. A thrust from above was aimed at Lin Dong and at this moment, a malevolent expression surfaced on Lei Li's face. Who? Lin Dong lifted his head as the figure rapidly grew bigger before his eyes. He gently exhaled, his face as calm as before, while his two hands linked together as they began to form a series of complex hand seals. It's Wondergate Seal. As Lin Dong's hand seals changed in succession, Lin Xiao and Lin Zhenshen immediately recognized it. However, their faces instantly paled. After all, this Wonder Gate seal was merely a grade 3 martial arts, how could it match up to Lei Li's dashing lighting? While Lin Dong speedily executed the different hand seals, the Yuan power within his Dan Tian frantically gushed out of his body and converged at the hand seals. It's too early for you to celebrate. As Yuan power madly bubbled out, Lin Dong finished the first chapter of Wonder Gate Seal and straightaway executed the second chapter of Wonder Gate Seal in order to counter Lei Li's dashing lightning. Han seals changed at lightning speed as deep blue Yuan power condensed into a seal made of blue light on his palm. Then, Lin Dong abruptly lifted both palms up and heavily smashed them against the descending Lei Li. Boom! A forceful Yuan power undulated and then erupted before spreading out from the epicenter as a powerful shockwave emerged. Under the watchful gaze of the crowd, a figure flew in the air before heavily slamming onto the ground. A mouthful of fresh blood was violently spat out. Lei Li, as everyone's gazes turned to discover the identity of the person who had fallen to the ground, the entire crowd abruptly turned silent. In this sudden silence, Every member of the Lei and Si families turned deathly pale. Chapter 48. Reward. Under the winter sunlight, the colossal monster arena sunk into silence. Everyone was shocked as they looked at Lei Li, who was now lying raggedly on the ground. This outcome surprised nearly the entire crowd. Nobody expected that the number one younger generation member in Qingyang town would lose to this nobody from the Lin family. He actually won. Lin Zhenshen who had stood up previously, now slowly sat back on his stone chair. He could not believe this fairy tale-like ending that just occurred. Yay! Lin Chia and the rest were also dumbstruck.
Moments later, they suddenly rejoiced. All these years, they had been constantly bullied by the younger generation members in the Lei family. The reason why they could be so smug was because of Lei Li. Now that Lei Li was finally defeated by Lin Dong, they felt extremely joyous. Third son, you've raised a wonderful boy. Lin Zhenshen leaned against his chair as he tried to suppress the trembling in his palm, before he turned to speak to Lin Xiao with a smile across his entire face. To one side, Lin Ken and Lin Mang also gently nodded their heads. At this time, even Lin Mang, who was at loggerheads with Lin Xiao, was left speechless after Lin Dong's spectacular accomplishment. He understood how this felt, after all he could never catch up to Lin Xiao. Lin Xiao also let out a bitter laugh. Recently, he had been busy with matters at the Blazing Manor. Therefore, Lin Dong had been left to his own devices, and so the former was not fully aware of the latter's true prowess. In fact, today's incident not only shocked Lin Zhenshen and the rest, but also highly surprised Lin Xiao as well. The Wonder Gate seal that Dong Er used seemed different from what we learnt. That power was not something that the incomplete chapter alone can display. Lin Xiao suddenly asked suspiciously as he recalled the tyrannical might of Wonder Gate seal from before. After all, the Lei family's dashing lightning was a genuine level 4 martial art. Just the incomplete Wonder Gate seal alone was not enough to contend against it. Upon hearing this query, Lin Zhenshen also lightly nodded his head as he furrowed his eyebrows. He did not fully comprehend the reason as well. After all, no matter how hard he tried, he would never have guessed that Lin Dong had improved the martial arts using the stone talisman. While the Lin family was celebrating, a dreadful atmosphere filled the Lei and Si family area. Everyone in the Lei family was upset after they witnessed this scene. Even Si Qian could only let out a pained laugh, not daring to talk to them. This time round, the Lei family not only lost an important steel wood manor, but most importantly, they were outshined by the Lin family. This would severely affect their reputation and standing. After the dust settled, the crowd watched attentively as Lin Dong's figure began to appear before their eyes. Right now, the sleeves on both of his arms were shredded due to the previous collision. However, compared to Lei Li's sorry figure, he looked several times better. You actually managed to defeat Lei Li. That's incredible. As he saw Lin Dong steadily standing on the ground, nearby, Wu Yun hastily rushed over with a smile on his face. Lin Dong grinned in reply. Right now, he had almost depleted all the Yuan energy in his Dan Tian. Even though he had advanced to earthly Yuan stage, it was still too strenuous for him to execute the second chapter of Wonder Gate Seal. Therefore, he was just like an empty shell now and anyone could easily defeat him. Lin Dong extended his arms and retrieved his fire python tiger cub, before he turned to look at the judge nearby. Seeing Lin Dong's gaze, the judge finally regained his senses. With a complicated expression, he loudly shouted, The winner of this duel is Lin Dong from the Lin family. Everyone already saw the results of the duel, therefore none of them were surprised by the verdict. Waves of gasps mixed with secretive whispers started to spread out in the arena. This duel was truly a feast for one's eyes. Si Yingying's cheeks constantly twitched as she looked at Lei Li, who had fainted on the ground. Previously, she used to smile sweetly at the latter, but now, the smile on her face has unknowingly died down. After a moment of hesitation, she waved her hands and signaled two C family members to carry Lei Li back to the stands. Piffed. This woman is a bitch. After he saw Si Yingying's actions, Wu Yun's lips curled up in disdain as he disgruntledly muttered to Lin Dong. Upon hearing these words, Lin Dong only smiled. He did not care about the relationship between the two of them. Carrying the cub, he stretched his body and likewise leisurely walked towards the stands. Hey, are you not participating in the hunt anymore? Wu Yun immediately asked after he saw Lin Dong's actions. Not participating, Lin Dong waved his hand. Based on his current condition, he could no longer continue on in the hunt competition. Besides, after this intense duel, there was no point in participating in the hunt anymore. After all, he had already defeated the strongest person in this competition. 
As Wu Yun helpless looked on, Lin Dong carried the cub back to the Lin family area. When he returned, everyone in the Lin family, including Lin Zhenshan, immediately stood up to gather around him, as if they were protecting something, allowing Lin Dong to very carefully sit back down. Take a good rest. You don't have to participate in the hunt competition anymore, Lin Zhenshan said, deeply concerned, while waving his large hands and then gently pressing Lin Dong to sit on the chair. He could tell that Lin Dong's current condition was quite awful and he naturally would not allow him to continue fighting. After all, Lin Dong was currently the most precious thing in the entire Lin family and Lin Zhenshan could not afford to let any mishap happen to this treasure. Lin Dong nodded his head in response. To one corner, Lin Chia and the rest also crowded over as they curiously stared at the fire python tiger cub in his arms which had yet to open its eyes. He he, many thanks to the Lei families for their donations. Please make sure you hand over the steel wood manor within half a month's time. I trust that the Lei family will keep their word. Am I right, old man Lei? Lin Zhenshan instructed the rest to take care of Lin Dong before he turned around and chuckled as he addressed the Lei family. After he heard Lin Zhenshan's chuckle, Lei Bao's wrinkled face turned blue. Behind him, a member of the Lei family shouted back angrily, Lin Zhenshan. Your Lin family got lucky this time. Don't get too conceited. Pa, just as that man spoke, the enraged Lei Bao immediately turned and slapped him. Soon after, Lei Bao stood up with a dark look in his eyes. He turned to look at Lei Li, who was being carried over, and his eyes began to twitch uncontrollably. Leave. The watchful gaze of the crowd felt like thousands of arrows penetrating Lei Bao's back. Ashen-faced, he immediately took off and swiftly left the monster arena. After witnessing this sight, the rest of the Lei family could only hurriedly follow. This time, the Lei family had finally bitten off more than they could chew. As he stared at the flustered expressions of the Lei family members, delight and satisfaction filled the Lin family bunch. After all, for years, they had been bullied by the Lei family. However, from now onwards, they could start playing hardball as well. Congratulations! With the rest of the Raging Blade dojo behind him, Luo Cheng walked towards the Lin family as he respectfully cupped his hands and congratulated Lin Zhenshan. Then, with an inquisitive look, he turned to Lin Dong as he said admirably, it is truly a blessing that the Lin family could gain such a treasure. Upon hearing these words, Lin Zhenshan also smiled freely as he nodded his head. After a short conversation with Luo Cheng, he also stood up and left the arena with the rest of the Lin family. After all, they were no longer interested in the rest of the competition. Now that the heated battle between Lin Dong and Lei Li was over, the rest of the battles were just side shows. Hardly worth their time. Even though Lei family had given up on the hunt, everyone knew that the main highlight of this show was the dark horse that stupefied everybody. The young man known as Lin Dong. Chapter 49. Martial Arts Genius. Eventually, the Qingyang Town Hunt was successfully concluded. Though Lin Dong and Lei Li dropped out, causing the hunt to lose some of its glamour, most people were still satisfied with this time's hunting competition. Especially since they managed to witness a grand gamble between the Lei family and the Lin family. As expected, the champion of this hunt ultimately came from the Raging Blade Dojo. While the Lei and Si families, the traditional powerhouses, did not gain a single benefit from this hunt. The Lei family in particular was even more heavily impacted since they lost an important steel wood manor. As for the Si family, even though they were jealous of the fire python tiger cub that Wu Yun obtained, they knew that based on Si Yingying's current strength, she was still lacking compared to Wu Yun. Furthermore, after the precedent set by the Lei family, they did not dare to wager any of their valuable possessions to gamble with the Raging Blade Dojo. Therefore, they could only give up on the Fire Python Tiger Cub. Therefore, the ultimate victors of this hunt were undoubtedly the Lin family and the Raging Blade Dojo. In the Lin family, ever since Lin Zhenshan and the rest returned from the monster arena, news of Lin Dong's impressive victory over Lei Li spread like wildfire. This sensational news caused everyone to be dumbstruck. However, 
most of them were also filled with pride upon hearing this news. After all, Lin Dong's accomplishment had skyrocketed the status and reputation of the entire Lin family. As nightfall approached, the Lin family's backyard was filled with lights and peals of laughter. In the large hall, Lin Zhenshen sat at the center with a wide smile on his face. Seated on his right, were neither Lin Ken nor Lin Xiao, but instead Lin Dong. With regards to this special seating arrangement, Lin Dong felt somewhat resigned. But because of Lin Zhenshen's insistence, he had no choice but to sit obediently in this prickly position. At dinner time, everyone ate as they conversed joyously. Lin Dong glanced at King Tan, Lin Chia and the rest, who were seated a distance away from him. He could only roll his eyes and silently eat his meal. Hey hey, Dong Er. After a light chat, Lin Zhenshen finally turned to look at Lin Dong who was seated beside him. As Lin Dong saw his beaming grandfather, he felt a little uneasy. Just as Lin Zhenshen spoke, everyone immediately turned to look at Lin Dong. After all these years, today was the day where our Lin family felt the most proud, and it was all thanks to you. Lin Zhenshen stared at the young man beside him as he softly sighed. Grandpa, I am part of the Lin family too. Lin Dong placed his chopstick down, humbly scratching his head as he replied. Ha ha, well said. Upon hearing these words, Lin Zhenshen let out a content smile. As he turned to look at Lin Xiao and Lin Mang, he said, I know the two of you have been at loggerheads since young. However, the most important matter for a family, is to stay united. After all, you are both core members of our family and if we want to become truly formidable, we must not fight among ourselves. If not, the Lin family will eventually fall. As he spoke, Lin Zhenshen's facial expression turned increasingly stern. Father's words are correct. After he heard Lin Zhenshen's lecture, Lin Xiao respectfully agreed. Sitting beside him, Lin Mang also nodded with a complicated expression on his face. It's good that you all understand. Seeing that both of them replied with proper attitudes, Lin Zhenshen gently nodded his head. Promptly, he turned to Lin Dong and asked him with a wide smile. Dong Er, the last martial art that you used against Lei Li today, should be the Wonder Gate seal from our Lin family right. Here it comes. After hearing these words, Lin Dong's stomach did a somersault. Lin Zhenshen and the rest had evidently seen some discrepancies in the Wonder Gate seal that he displayed today. However, he was resigned to his fate. After all, the Wonder Gate seal was only an incomplete manual comparable to a level 3 martial art. How could it ward off the Lei family's level 4 martial art dashing lightning? Yes, it was indeed Wonder Gate seal. Lin Dong braced himself as he replied. Why was the Wonder Gate seal that you used somewhat different from the Wonder Gate seal of the Lin family? Lin Zhenshen queried suspiciously. Lin Dong opened and closed his mouth as he contemplated all the possible answers he could give. Immediately, he rejected them all. Finally, he took in a deep breath and said, the Lin family's Wonder Gate seal is incomplete. I merely slightly improved it. Pa pa pa. After Lin Dong spoke, several chopsticks and bowls fell onto the ground. Even Lin Zhenshen's smiling expression stiffened subconsciously. Do you mean, that you actually improved the Wonder Gate seal on your own? As he suppressed the raging waves in his heart, Lin Xiao slowly put down his chopsticks as he asked. Yes. After he saw the even more fearful expression than that of seeing a ghost on faces of the crowd, Lin Dong once again sighed secretly in his heart. Even though what he said was highly incredulous, he wanted to keep the stone talisman a secret. Gulp. In the quiet hall, sounds of people suddenly swallowing their saliva echoed out. Improving martial arts. Even though there were many level 1 martial arts, their creators were all highly talented martial arts practitioners. Furthermore, the Wonder Gate Seal was not a level 1 martial arts, but at the stage of a level 3 martial arts even though it was incomplete. The ability to improve a level 3 martial arts, was something that perhaps no one else in entire Qingyang town could do. In fact, only experts that had advanced to Yuan Dan stage possessed such qualifications. However, right now Lin Dong claimed to have improved Wonder Gate Seal. Moreover, 
He was merely at earthly stage Yuan. Most importantly, the current Lin Dong was only 15 years old. A 15 years old youngster, yet able to improve a level 3 martial arts. How fearsome is that? Logically speaking, Lin Zhenshin and the rest would definitely dismiss such an incredulous claim. However, after they personally witnessed Lin Dong execute Wonder Gate Seal, they knew that the strength behind it equaled a level 4 martial arts. Therefore, it might actually be plausible that Lin Dong had improved the Wonder Gate Seal. If this was true, there could only be one logical explanation. As they reached the same conclusion, Lin Zhenshin, Lin Xiao and the rest immediately exchanged glances as ecstasy bubbled in their eyes. A martial arts genius. They had heard that there existed some people that were especially gifted in martial arts. These people could easily master any martial arts. Therefore, they were called martial arts geniuses. However, this was clearly a very rare existence. Did Lin Dong truly possess this level of talent for martial arts? When Dong Er was learning martial arts, he could indeed grasp them easily. Lin Xiao murmured to himself as he recalled the times when he tried to teach Lin Dong penetrating fist and eight desolations palms. He faintly remembered that the latter was able to comprehend them rapidly. After hearing those words, the corners of Lin Zhenshin's eyes twitched for a while. With his palm at his chest, he violently gasped a few times. Did a demon-like genius really emerge from their Lin family? As he stared at Lin Zhenshin and the rest's reactions, Lin Dong was at a loss. He never expected that they would term him as a martial arts genius. After all, he was able to progress rapidly, thanks to a perfect teacher, and his own determination and hard work. There should be several chapters to the Wondergate seal. The manual in the Lin family only contains the first chapter. I used half a year's time to perfect the second chapter. That was the move that defeated Lei Li. Lin Dong continued. If grandpa is interested, I can teach you all the second chapter of Wondergate Seal. As for the remaining chapters, it will depend on whether I can continue to improve the Wondergate Seal. At these words, Lin Zhenshin and the rest dropped their jaws as they stared at the earnest young man before them. A dreamlike sensation filled their minds as they realized that the Lin family now seemed to possess another level 4 martial arts. As the crowd looked at each other, they found themselves at a complete loss. The consecutive surprises today had caused them to begin to feel somewhat numb. Chapter 50. Ching Yuan Art. After the sensational hunting competition ended, Ching Yang Town gradually returned to its originally peaceful and quiet days. However, right now there were still many people discussing about the hunt, and most of them were talking about the one who outclassed everyone else, Lin Dong. Lin Dong was not someone who liked to show off. After the hunting competition, he spent most of his days quietly in the Lin family and only went out occasionally. As such, many people were curious about the person who had replaced Lei Li as the strongest younger generation member in Qingyang town. In the early morning, a dense mist shrouded the mountains behind the Lin family estate. Within that dense forest, a series of bang-bang sounds suddenly echoed out. On an open space within the woods, three human-shaped wooden posts were situated in a triangular formation on the ground. At the center of the triangle, a deft figure swiftly dodged, retreated and blocked, managing to ward off all the wooden arms on the wooden posts which attacked every part of his body. The bang-bang sound was produced when the wooden arm collided with the human's arm. From each sound, one could vividly feel the deep and powerful strength behind each blow. Naturally, that human silhouette was Lin Dong. Right now, he was fully focused on the three wooden posts as he moved deftly through them, dodging and ducking. Moments later, his expression turned serious as two of his fingers curled up and immediately attacked the wooden post in front of him. Bang! Just as Lin Dong's two fingers made contact with the wooden post, a bright glow exploded from the top his fingers. Instantly, the sturdy wooden post exploded as wood shrapnels flew out in every direction. Bang bang! Then, Lin Dong extended one finger from each hand towards the two remaining wooden posts. Immediately, both of them exploded as well, causing the ground to be littered with wood bits. The strength of Chun Yuan's finger is truly fearsome. 
Witnessing the destructive potential of his fingers, Lin Dong could not help but nod in satisfaction. This Chun Yuan finger was the only level 4 martial arts in the Lin family. After Lin Zhenshin and the rest tagged Lin Dong as a martial arts genius, they immediately shoved the manual into Lin Dong's face. Of course, since Lin Dong had the aid of the mysterious stone talisman, he could easily learn this Chun Yuan finger. Furthermore, this martial art was not as complex as Wondergate Seal. Therefore, after a few days of hard work, Lin Dong had already become quite decent in it. And now, after a month's time, Lin Dong had mastered it till he could easily execute it at any time. Of course, that was provided that he had sufficient Yuan power in his body. As he finished another part of his training regime, Lin Dong wiped off his sweat as he sat down on a rock nearby. With a serious expression on his face, he then proceeded to take out a yellowish old manual from a pocket in his clothes. This old manual was the secret arts that was personally kept by Lin Zhenshin. Yesterday, Lin Dong finally managed to obtain it from his grandfather. Even though it was only a third-tier secret arts, if he successfully learnt it, it would still be highly beneficial for him. Within this month, Lin Dong had also gained a better understanding of secret arts. Basically, secret arts was actually a unique method to direct and refine Yuan power. For example, their Lin family's, King Yuan art, was able to unlock four hidden channels within one's body. These four channels were directly connected to one's skin. Therefore, after one learns King Yuan art, they can use activate the art to unlock these four inner channels and absorb the Yuan power from between heaven and earth. As such, compared to other practitioners who can only absorb from breathing, one would be able to absorb Yuan power more rapidly. It is said that first-tier secret arts are able to unlock tens of hidden channels. In fact, some even more mysterious secret arts will teach a unique method to create a constant suction force below one's skin. Such that even when one is not in a state of training, one would be able to constantly absorb Yuan power from between heaven and earth, thereby tempering the body and enriching one's Dan Tian. Of course, Lin Dong would love to get his hands on those kinds of secret arts. However, those manuals were extremely rare and valuable. In fact, even a third-tier secret art was a pretty valuable item and most people from ordinary families could never hope to learn these secret arts. Even though he only needed to unlock four channels, this was not an easy feat to accomplish. After all, the human body is a highly complex and filled with many inner channels and numerous mysteries. Most of these inner channels were closed off, and if one wishes to open him, it was not going to be a walk in the park. Based on Lin Dong's knowledge, he knew that when Lin Zhenshin was practicing this, King Yuan art, he took half a year's time before he successfully unlocked all four of his inner channels, whereas Lin Xiao took three months. As Lin Dong slowly read through that yellowish manual, he burned every word into his mind. Secret arts and martial arts are two different things. If one fails to master a martial art, he can easily give up. However, if one makes a mistake when he attempts to learn secret arts, even a small error may cause one to lie in bed for several days, while a major error could cause one's inner channels to rupture. Therefore, extreme caution must be exercised when one attempts to learn secret arts. As such, even though the book had only 10 over pages, Lin Dong took more than an hour to read through it. Finally, he withdrew his gaze and mulled over what he had learnt. Written on the book were numerous detailed descriptions and guidelines. If he followed them closely, it would save him a lot of time. Hmm, I wonder if the mysterious stone talisman will help me out when I learn secret arts. As Lin Dong gently stroked the secret arts manual, his eyes flashed as he suddenly remembered his perfect mentor. At this thought, Lin Dong smiled gently. He unhurriedly shut both of his eyes as he entered into the spiritual domain. Right now, this spiritual domain seemed to be brighter than before. The number of glowing figures had also increased to four. They were executing penetrating fist, eight desolations palm, wonder gate seal and chun yuan finger. After entering, the space behind the fourth glowing shadow gradually began to distort. Finally, another glowing shadow appeared. However, 
This time, the glowing shadow was seated on the ground. Shortly after this fifth glowing shadow appeared, its body gradually became translucent as numerous glowing lines, resembling a body's inner channel, began to surface on its body. When the body became totally transparent, Lin Dong could vividly see a light suddenly emerge amongst the chaotic inner channels. It flowed along one of the inner channels before finally reaching the area just below the surface of the skin. Upon witnessing this scene, Lin Dong immediately recognized that this was the first inner channel that must be unlocked for King Yuan art. This teaching method was several times more engaging and enlightening as compared to the explanations on the manual. After the first inner channel was lit up, three other channels were consecutively lit up. Thanks to the light and its transparent body, the paths of these four inner channels were extremely clear. After Lin Dong had committed the paths for these four inner channels to heart, he silently nodded his head. However, just as he was about to leave the spiritual domain, he suddenly spotted another inner channel light up and successfully connect to a point on the skin. The fifth channel, Lin Dong pupils slightly shrunk as he looked at the path of that fifth inner channel. Looks like not only was this mysterious stone talisman able to perfect martial arts, it was also able to perfect secret arts. With this discovery, Lin Dong once again returned to his calm self as he kept his eyes peeled on the glowing shadow. He was curious to find out how many additional inner channels the glowing shadow could unlock. Under Lin Dong's steady gaze, minutes after the fifth channel lit up, another two other inner channels lit up in succession seven inner channels. As he stared at the twinkling paths of the seven inner channels, Lin Dong involuntarily gasped. This would nearly double the strength of Ching Yuan art. This mysterious stone talisman was truly made by the gods. Chapter 51. Little Flame. In the misty forest, Lin Dong's tightly shut eyes gradually opened. On his face, some traces of delight lingered. After the improvement done by the glowing shadow, the number of inner channel paths from King Yu Nats had increased from four to seven, effectively doubling its effectiveness. Huff! A white breath of air formed as Lin Dong forcefully exhaled. Soon after, he took out a bottle from within his clothes and poured out two fiery red elixir pills. These two pills were refined from a grade three elixir, blaze fruit. During this month, Lin Dong had secretly went to barter the stone talisman Ling liquid to obtain more elixirs. After all, now that he had advanced to earthly Yuan stage, he knew that he needed a large quantity of elixir pills to increase his training speed. Lin Dong popped the two elixir pills into his mouth, but did not swallow them immediately. Instead, he closed his eyes and with a thought, a surge of deep blue Yuan power gushed out from his Dan Tian. The Yuan power first circled inside his body before it entered into an unexplored hidden inner channel. This hidden inner channel was the first channel that must be opened when one trains in King Yuan Arts. After the glowing shadow had vividly displayed the route taken previously, Lin Dong was now able to rapidly uncover this hidden inner channel within his body. As the Yuan power attempted to flow through this inner channel, it immediately encountered a massive resistance. After all, this hidden channel had never been unlocked before, it was akin to paving a new path through the mountains. An exceedingly difficult task. Against this resistance, the Yuan power was only able to unlock a small segment of the inner channel before it was used up. However, Lin Dong quickly followed up with another wave of Yuan power. Just like a hard-working laborer, tirelessly hacking away. Wave upon wave of Yuan power slowly chipped at the blocked inner channel. Half an hour later, the Yuan power in Lin Dong's Dan Tian had almost been depleted, however, he had only managed to unblock approximately one-tenth of the channel. Only now did Lin Dong finally understand just how difficult it was to open a channel. Furthermore, this was only the first inner channel. Subsequent channels would be successively challenging. It was little wonder that even Lin Xiao required three months to fully unlock all four channels. Gulp. Feeling that the Yuan power in his Dan Tian was almost depleted, Lin Dong swallowed the two elixir pills inside his mouth. As they entered his body through his throat, a stream of pure medicinal power began to spread out before it was slowly absorbed into his Dan Tian. Following which, 
The dried up feeling in his Dan Tian gradually faded. As Yuan power once again flowed in his body, Lin Dong also continued working to unlock the inner channel. Unblocking an inner channel was not something that could be accomplished in a day. However, since Lin Dong was blessed with plenty of resources, this was not a problem for him. After replenishing his Dan Tian using elixir pills six times, the first inner channel was finally fully unblocked by Lin Dong. As that inner channel was finally unlocked, Lin Dong abruptly felt more sensitive towards the Yuan power that flowed through heaven and earth. At the skin area where the inner channel lead to, he could also faintly feel a tiny suction force there, absorbing the Yuan power from heaven and earth. The absorbed Yuan power circulated in his body before gushing into his Dan Tian. Sensing his body's increased Yuan power absorption rate, a flash of delight surfaced in Lin Dong's eyes. After he had trained in secret arts, he could feel an indescribable increase in his power. Lin Dong cheerfully opened his eyes only to find that nightfall had arrived, at which smacked his lips. Time really flies by while he trained. He stretched his body and kept the King Yuan Arts manual in his clothes. In a mere day, he had already unlocked the first inner channel. If Lin Zhenshen and the rest knew about his progress, they would likely be shocked once again. However, Lin Dong did not feel like this was a huge achievement. After all, he had utilized so many elixir pills to aid his training. If his progress were not at least at this speed, then something would be wrong. As he stood up, Lin Dong suddenly whistled towards the deep forest. Minutes later, a fiery red shadow suddenly emerged from the woods and leapt into Lin Dong's arms. Thanks to the final rays of the setting sun, the face of the fiery red shadow was revealed. It was a creature that was about the size of a small dog and its body was colored a fiery red, as if the beast itself was on fire. From its shape, it seemed like a tiger cub, yet its tail resembled a fire python, giving it an extraordinary and mystical feel. Lin Dong named the creature Little Flame. After a month of care, Little Flame had grown to an astonishing extent. By Lin Dong's estimations, Little Flame at this stage was probably evenly matched against a tempered body fifth layer practitioner. Little Flame's growth rate had exceeded Lin Zhenshan and the rest's imagination. However, Lin Dong did not think that it was strange because he had been feeding the little fellow with the stone talisman Ling liquid every day. Sometimes, he even used the Ling liquid to bathe it. If Lin Zhenshan and the rest knew about the kind of treatment, they would probably vomit blood. Little Flame allowed Lin Dong to gently and intimately cradle itself in his arms. After all, Lin Dong was the first person that it saw when it opened its eyes for the first time and after this one month of rearing, it had subconsciously regarded Lin Dong as its closest kin. When demonic beasts mature, they become fierce and vicious. However, if one trains them appropriately from when they are young, they would become a most loyal companion. You greedy little fellow. Seeing Little Flame acting coquettishly, Lin Dong helplessly shook his head. He removed a bottle from his clothes and tipped it over, dripping two drops of stone talisman Ling liquid into Little Flame's mouth. After the stone talisman Ling liquid entered its mouth, Little Flame stuck out its tongue in satisfaction and excitedly licked Lin Dong's face. It's time to head home. That's all you are getting today. As he kept the bottle, Lin Dong grabbed Little Flame and placed it on his shoulder, before he immediately turned and swiftly ran out of the woods. Little Flame's joyful little squeals rang throughout the forest. The moon was like a silver plate that hung in the sky, enveloping the ground in cooling light. Inside her room, King Tan lay quietly on her bed with a thin blanket that was unable to conceal the curves of a young girl which had gradually grown bountiful and seductive. Beside the soundly sleeping King Tan, a figure sat cross-legged on the ground. Upon closer inspection, one could see that person was Lin Dong. However, right now, he was in no mood to sleep. Instead he had a solemn expression on his face as he utilized, King Yuan Arts, to continuously absorb the yin energy from King Tan's body. After he advanced to earthly Yuan stage, Lin Dong needed a vast amount of yin energy. However, he was not interested in the ordinary yin energy that existed between heaven and earth. Hence, 
he could only turn to King Tan. After he discussed with King Tan, she finally nodded her head, rosy red with embarrassment. Since then, he would wait for King Tan to sleep every night before he sat beside her and trained for two hours. During these two hours, Lin Dong could shamelessly absorb all the yin energy that he wanted from King Tan. For the first one or two days, King Tan felt a little uncomfortable. After all, she was still a girl and it felt unnatural to be sleeping while a boy sat beside her. However, she had complete faith in Lin Dong. Nonetheless, if word of this matter got out, it would still affect her dignity as a girl. After a few days, she gradually got used to the situation. In fact, she discovered that the yin energy within her body that flared up from time to time had tamed down. So, she was better able to enjoy her sleep. With this benefit, King Tan decided not to resist anymore and grant this slightly overbearing request from Lin Dong. Huff! In that quiet room, Lin Dong deeply exhaled as he gently opened his tightly shut eyes. Feeling a faintly cold sensation emitted from his Dan Tian, he let out a gentle smile. He then very carefully leaped off the bed and gazed at the young lady who was gently holding onto little flame as she slept. The gentle moonlight poured in from the window and shined on the young girl's peaceful and beautiful face. It was truly an extremely moving sight. After Lin Dong gently adjusted the blanket for King Tan, he silently left the room. Just as Lin Dong exited the room, the smile on the young girl's face turned a little sweeter. Chapter 52 Matters of the Family Ha! Within the spacious and empty woods, a figure moved like a fierce tiger. Two arms waved about and a deep blue yuan power surged. The traces of yin energy within caused the dried leaves on the ground to be covered in frost. Thump thump thump. The figure urgently stepped forward and a ferocious punch landed on the huge tree before him. A powerful force straightaway jolted the huge tree. It was immediately uprooted and flew through the air, causing the sky to be filled with dirt, before finally crashing onto the ground with a loud bang. Big Brother Lin Dong is the best. Nearby, a young lady, who was clothed in light-colored clothes, beautiful voice sounded out as she saw the huge tree fall to the ground. Lin Dong chuckled and withdrew his fists. It had been one and a half months since the hunting competition. During this time, he had trained diligently and with the aid of the stone talisman elixir pills, he had successfully advanced from the earthly Yuan early stage to the middle stage. Also, the Yuan power in his Dan Tian had become increasingly vigorous and condensed due to absorbing the yin energy from King Tan's body. Lin Dong guessed that even though he was currently at the earthly Yuan middle stage, because of the assimilation of the yin energy, he would be able to fend off even a earth Yuan late stage expert. Furthermore, he had opened five channels during the half a month that he was learning, King Yuan art. Thus his efficiency of absorbing Yuan power was several times better than before. Overall, this past half a month of training was rather bountiful. Hu, Lin Dong grabbed a towel from one side and wiped off the sweat from his face. He then whistled towards the deep forest and almost immediately, a loud tiger hiss sounded back in reply. A few minutes later, a fiery red shadow flew out of the forest and appeared before Lin Dong. Naturally, this was little flame. In a short half a month, its body had once again grown to twice its size. When it stood up, it was even able to reach Lin Dong's waist. Within its mouth, fangs had also begun to emerge. The current little flame was gradually developing the extraordinary air that a fire python tiger possessed. Some traces of an unknown beast's fur and blood could be seen in little flame's mouth. After all, little flame was a demonic beast, thus it innately had the instincts of a wild beast and needed to eat meat. Therefore, over this period of time, it would enter the deep forests by itself to prey on ferocious beasts. With Little Flame's present capabilities, even if it encountered a tempered body eighth-layer practitioner or beast, it would be able to somehow deal with them. This kind of progress was not only due to the fact that it was a demonic beast, but more so because of Lin Dong's extremely luxuriant feeding habits. Little Flame, you're really naughty. Always appearing so dirty each time. When King Tan saw Little Flame, 
she scolded it in a low voice, before using a coarse cloth to wipe at the traces of blood at the corner of Little Flame's mouth. To one side, Lin Dong laughed. He stroked Little Flame's head with his hand as he gazed at the latter's already considerably huge body. By right, Little Flame's rate of growth was really too quick. Even considering the aid from the stone talisman Ling liquid, it should not have matured so quickly. Perhaps this was the reason why the stone talisman had a special reaction towards Little Flame. Little Flame and the other fire python tigers are truly somewhat different. Right. Big brother Lin Dong, father has returned and is looking for you. As Lin Dong was muttering to himself, King Tan suddenly interjected. Oh, father is back again. Hearing these words, Lin Dong was slightly gladdened. He nodded in acknowledgement as he whistled, bringing Little Flame with him as he dashed off. In the room, Lin Dong saw Lin Xiao who he had not met for half a month. The latter also saw him and a smile appeared on the father's originally somewhat haggard face. Lin Xiao gestured for Lin Dong to sit beside him and then sized up the latter for a moment before smiling. How many channels have you unlocked in King Yuan art? 3. Lin Dong scratched his head while answering. Looks like Lin Xiao had learned from his past experiences and straightaway proceeded to ask about his son's progress. However, Lin Dong could not possibly tell his father that he had already unlocked five channels, else, it would be such a pain to explain again. At Lin Dong's words, Lin Xiao laughed bitterly and sighed. I was really asking for it. To think that he had spent a whole three months to unblock four channels and now Lin Dong had already opened three channels in a mere half a month. There was truly no point in comparing him at all. Hey hey. Lin Dong chuckled as he patted Little Flame's head. The latter obediently lay flat on its stomach besides Lin Dong. He then looked towards his father and asked, Father, what have you been busy with recently? The few times I visited the manor, I found that grandfather and the rest did not look so good. Hearing Lin Dong speak of this matter, the smiling expression on Lin Xiao's face weakened as he sighed before saying, It's the goddamned Lei family. Those honorless bastards. Does it have to do with the steel wood manor? Lin Dong's eyes flashed as he probed. Yes. Lin Xiao nodded, a faint anger visible on his face as he replied, Those bastards, they had originally agreed to hand it over in half a month. Yet, it has already been one and a half months and they have yet to deliver. Every time we send people to press them, they would intentionally avoid us. The gamble that day was made before countless people. The Lei family could not possibly dare to back out on their promise right. Lin Dong frowned. If they really went back on the agreement, the reputation of the Lei family would be destroyed. To them, this was no small matter. They never said they are backing out, they are just incessantly dragging it out. Lin Xiao gritted his teeth and said, The steel wood produced by the steel wood manor was a rather big business of the Lei family. If their Lin family managed to obtain it, then it would undoubtedly be a huge haul. But now, the fatty meat that was about to reach their mouth was being held back by the Lei family. An action that left a bitter taste in anyone's mouth. Then what does grandfather and the rest plan to do? Lin Dong asked. Your grandfather has already instructed me to bring men to the steel wood manor tomorrow. If they are still not willing to hand it over, then we can only take it by force. Anyways, we are the ones who have been wronged. Lin Xiao replied. At these words, Lin Dong heart slightly shivered. Looks like grandfather and the rest did not intend to endure it any further. This time, no matter if they were successful or not, they would have declared war on the Lei family. Thus, this operation was rather important to the Lin family. Father, let me tag along tomorrow. Lin Dong hesitated for a while before he suddenly asked. You're just a child, embroiling yourself in these matters. Lin Xiao was startled, but before he could finish his words, he suddenly remembered that Lin Dong was already at earthly Yuan stage. Even in the whole Lin family, this was regarded as a somewhat major power. As such, he swallowed the words he had wanted to say and hesitated. Father, don't worry, I will take care of myself. Furthermore, sooner or later, I will have to experience these kind of things. After all, I am a part of the Lin family, even you cannot neglect a earthly Yuan power practitioner. 
Lin Dong smiled as he reasoned. Lin Xiao involuntarily let out a dry laugh as he gazed at Lin Dong. After muttering to himself for a while, he finally nodded with a smile. Okay then, you will follow me tomorrow, but don't make any reckless moves. Instead, concentrate on taking care of yourself. Yes, I will go make some preparations. Tomorrow we will leave together. When he saw Lin Xiao nod in agreement, Lin Dong immediately burst out in joy before hastily standing up and dashing out of the room. Behind him, Little Flame also crawled up and nimbly followed. Gazing at the backs of the human and tiger, Lin Xiao lightly smiled. Soon after, he withdrew his gaze as his smile turned icy cold. Lei family, after suppressing my Lin family for so many years, it's finally time for payback. Chapter 53, Steelwood Manor. The next day, about 40 riders exited the main entrance of the Lin family estate orderly. Seated on the horses were all experts from the Lin family and the two riding majestically at the head of this procession were Lin Xiao and Lin Ken. For this mission, the Lin family had sent out two heavenly Yuan stage practitioners. From this, one could see the importance of the operation. Within the group of horses, a fiery red shadow was extremely eye-catching. With an awe-inspiring aura, this was naturally little flame and at present, Lin Dong was seated on its back. The current physique of Little Flame was almost the same size as a normal tiger, more than enough to be ridden as a steed. And the strength of its legs and its speed was much better than a normal horse. After all, even though Little Flame was young, it was still a demonic beast. Since this little brat is also interested, you should bring him along too for experience and treat this as a practice. However, Remember that nothing can happen to him or else the both of you can forget about returning to see me. Just outside the entrance, Lin Zhenshen first looked towards Lin Dong, who was saddled on the back of his tiger, before turning his gaze to Lin Xiao and Lin Ken as he sternly warned them. Fret not father. Lin Ken smiled. With the protection of two heavenly Yuan stage expert, within 50 kilometer radius around King Yan town, there was no one able to harm even a single hair on Lin Dong. Okay, remember to keep in constant contact and be careful. I will also pay attention to the Lei family on this front. Lin Zhenshen nodded as he said in a low voice. Yes, Lin Xiao and Lin Ken both acknowledged by nodding their heads and then took a headcount of their men. Without any more delays, they straightaway raised their horsewhips and turned to rush towards the outskirts of Qingyang town. Little flame, follow. Seeing that the operation had started, Lin Dong also lightly patted little flame. The latter let out a deep, low growl and stepped forward on all fours before speedily catching up to the group. As this flashy mount traveled across Qingyang town, it undoubtedly gave rise to disturbances. The gazers that looked towards the two were thick with envy. Steel Wood Manor, a rather famous manor within the vicinity of Qingyang town. Steel wood was produced here in abundance and this type of steel wood was just like quality steel. It was resistant to both water and fire plus it was thick and strong, extremely suited for manufacturing weapons and construction purposes. Thus, this type of steel wood was relatively highly priced, combined with the fact that the steel wood manor was the only source of steel wood within a 50 km radius. Therefore, all these years, the Lei family had grown extremely rich from the steel wood manor. If the Lin family managed to take over this steel wood manor, their profits for the year would at least double. On the other hand, losing one steel wood manor would cause some significant losses for the Lei family. It was half a day's journey to reach the steel wood manor from Qingyang town and after a whole morning of riding, Lin Xiao and the rest finally reached the edge of the steel wood manor at noon. From the back of the tiger, Lin Dong gazed down the slope. At the end of the road, an exceedingly vast manor stood. With just one look, it was impossible to see where the manor ended, however, into the distance, some huge black trees were vaguely discernible. These were the unique resource of the steel wood manor, steel wood. The main entrance is tightly shut. Looks like this will not go well. Lin Ken squinted at the manor door that was closed securely as he said in an indifferent manner. Lin Xiao lightly nodded in response before waving his hand. The Lin family members behind him quickly went on alert. 
Kiang Kiang, sounds could be heard as cold steel was drawn on horseback. With cold expressions, the atmosphere surged with killing intent. At this sight, Lin Dong's fists involuntarily tightened up till his fingers turned a little white. This was the real world. All the fights he had experienced in the past was child's play compared to this genuine life or death situation. In this scene, there was no compromise with words, it was either your death or mine. Qin Ying, take two people and protect Dong Er, move. Lin Xiao shouted in a low voice before drawing out his horsewhip and immediately dashing forward as yellow dirt rushed up to the skies. Dada, clatter of horse hooves. After Lin Xiao rushed forward, tens of trails of yellow dust also followed. In a few minutes, they appeared before the tightly shut manor door. Those arriving, halt. This is the Lei family manor. Without permission, no one can enter. When Lin Xiao and the rest reached the entrance to the manor, several flashes of cold steel being drawn could be seen from the towering wall of the manor as a person shouted to Lin Xiao and the rest below. Let the person in charge here come out. Today, our Lin family is here to take over the steel wood manor. Lin Xiao shouted in a low tone, using the vigorous Yuan power to amplify his voice until it thundered across the whole manor. Hey, isn't your Lin family too impatient? If you want us to hand over the manor, first go to the Lei family residence to complete the procedures before returning here. On the manor wall, two figures suddenly appeared and a somewhat mocking voice sounded out. Lei Nuo and Lei Ying. Seeing the duo atop the manor wall, Lin Xiao's and Lin Ken's eyebrows slightly raised. These two were core members of the Lei family and they were both at Heavenly Yuan early stage. Looks like the Lei family was also on guard. Ha ha, brother Lin Xiao and brother Lin Ken. Since our Lei family has already said that we will hand the steel wood manor over to your Lin family, we would naturally do so. Why do all of you have to be so anxious? How about this? Wait another five days and our Lei family would officially hand over the steel wood manor to you all, without any more delays. How does that sound? From the top of the manor wall, a man in grey who had a somewhat long nose chuckled. Brother Lei Ying, you've already dragged this out for a month. Your words are hardly trustworthy now. Lin Ken retorted. There seems to be some other motive behind this delay. At the back of the group, after Lin Dong heard the Lei family's wrangling, his eyebrows involuntarily knitted together. He stared at Lei Ying and Lei Nuo and found that as the two were speaking, they could not help but glance towards the inside of the manor from the corners of their eyes. Uncle Chin Ying, there seems to be something amiss. Come with me. Lin Dong's eyes slightly flashed as he suddenly spoke to his guardian in a low voice. Young Master Lin Dong. At these words, Qin Ying was stunned. Just as he intended to tell Lin Dong that it was better to just stay put, he cast a glance towards Little Flame and remembered that the youngster before him was no ignorant or naive child. After hesitating for a while, he waved his hand and stealthily beckoned his two other comrades to follow behind Lin Dong as they swiftly entered into the woods to one side. Uncle Chin Ying, do you know any other way to enter the Steel Wood Manor? As they entered the forest, Lin Dong softly inquired. Yes, the steel wood manor is too big. They could not possible fortify every part of it. According to my knowledge, there are quite a few spots where we can sneak in. Qin Ying muttered in reply. Go, let us first enter the inner manor to scout around. Be prepared to signal my father and the rest at any time. Lin Dong decisively instructed. This, all right. Hearing that Lin Dong actually intended to infiltrate the manor, Qin Ying was slightly shocked. However, when he thought about it, the two Heavenly Yuan stage experts were currently both stuck at the manor entrance. With their party's current strength, defending themselves was not a problem. Furthermore, since they were so near to the main force, as long as they fired a signal, Lin Xiao and the rest could easily reinforce them. Thus Qin Ying nodded in agreement as he led the party onwards. A party of four men and one beast rapidly traveled through the forest. A long while later, they successfully crossed over an unmanned part of the wall and leapt into the manor. Inside the manor, everything looked to be quite peaceful. Lin Dong scanned the surroundings before silently running towards the area where the steel wood was planted. 
The steel wood were all grown in a designated area of the steel wood manor. However, when Lin Dong and his group sneaked into that area, they could not help but turn ashen-faced at the sight that was reflected in their eyes. These scumbags. As they gazed at the scene before their eyes, Qin Ying gnashed his teeth and cursed in rage from beside Lin Dong. Chapter 54. Destruction. Before Lin Dong and the rest, what originally should be a populated steel wood growing district was now more than half empty. One after another, black wooden stumps protruded out of the ground. Numerous messy axe marks dotted what was left of a once magnificent tree. Clearly, this had been an extremely hasty job. Of course, what caused Lin Dong and his party to be ashen-faced was not the large portion of steel trees that had already been chopped down, but the fact that there were currently many figures hurriedly pouring pots of stinky, poisonous liquid into the ground. The Lei family, not only did they cut down most of the already growing steel trees, they still intended to ruin this plot of land, making it such that steel wood would never grow in this place again. Harming others without benefit to oneself, this kind of act was incomparably despicable. These god-damned bastards, they plan on leaving our Lin family with a useless manner. Qin Ying gnashed his teeth in anger as he cursed. Lin Dong's complexion turned somewhat gloomy. He did not foresee that the Lei family would actually stoop so very low. If the land in the steel wood manor was really made barren by the poison then this manor would become utterly worthless. What do we do now? One of the Lin family guards asked in a low voice. From the present situation, the Lei family had yet to chop down and transport all of the steel wood. After all, the steel wood in the steel wood manor was in extreme abundance. Furthermore, steel trees were rather solid and thus not easy to cut down. Therefore, the Lei family was still unable to completely clear out the steel wood manor even after more than a month. Even without the steel wood, the trees can still be grown again. However, if the land is ruined, this steel wood manor would be no different from a wasteland. Qin Ying growled. Yes. Lin Dong lightly nodded in return. His gaze swept across the area, finding that most of the people were laborers hired by the Lei family and of little threat to their party. Thus his eyes continued to scan about before finally stopping at some figures at the fringe of the crowd. These were the Lei family guards. There are thirty guards from the Lei family out of which two are at the earthly Yuan stage. I recognize the leader, he is called Dai En, an ex-bandit. It was only later that he became a lay family guard. His strength is probably equivalent to mine, about that of an earthly Yuan early stage practitioner. The other one should also be at this level. Qin Ying furrowed his eyebrows as he quietly informed the rest. In their party, only Lin Dong and him were at the earth Yuan stage. However, it was also the first time that Lin Dong had encountered this type of situation. If they really went at it with their lives on the line, it would be very difficult to contend against the other party's earthly Yuan experts. Two at earthly Yuan early stage. Lin Dong's eyes flashed as he muttered, Uncle Qin Ying, release the signal to notify my father and the rest. Once we fire the signal, they will discover our presence. Shall we withdraw first? Qin Ying was alarmed. The opponent had two earthly Yuan stage experts plus more than ten experienced practitioners. On their side, it was just the four of them. If they retreated, Qin Ying could still protect Lin Dong. However, if they directly engaged the enemy, he'd definitely be tight pressed to ensure his own survival, let alone Lin Dong's. There's no time to retreat. For every bit of poison they scatter, the output of the steel wood manor would drop by a portion. Lin Dong shook his head before continuing. When we make our move, leave Dai En and the other one to me. You and your men will stop the rest of them. At these words, Qin Ying's expression changed. Did Lin Dong think that he could face two earthly Yuan early stage experts by himself? Don't tarry any longer. I am not so foolish as to court a certain death. Lin Dong quickly pacified Qin Ying and the rest as if he knew what they were thinking, he did not have the time to explain further. He had already reached earthly Yuan middle stage. Furthermore, with the huge amount of yin energy he had absorbed from King Tan, the fused Yuan power he possessed was much stronger than a normal practitioner. 
Although he lacked the experience his opponents had, with two level 4 martial arts in his arsenal, facing the two of them would not be much of an issue. Seeing Lin Dong persist and then once again considering the current situation, Qin Ying clenched his jaw before retrieving a signal flare and igniting it. A bright red light soared into the sky and exploded. In a radius of one kilometer, a harsh red glare could be clearly seen. Who, in the instance when the signal was fired, the lay family guards nearby also became aware of their presence. The leader was a man with a dark expression. He abruptly turned as he fiercely stared at where Lin Dong and Gang were hiding. With a wave of his hand, over ten figures who were scattered around slowly encircled the spot and closed in. Roar! Just as they were closing in, a tiger roar suddenly sounded out and a fiery red shadow burst forth. Fire Python Tiger. The Lei family guards evidently had some discerning eyes among him as they recognized Little Flame instantly. Terrified yells rang out and some of the more timid ones were so taken aback that they pissed in their pants. Don't panic, it's just a young Fire Python Tiger. The man known as Dai En was also initially shocked. However he quickly noticed that Little Flame was still young and sternly shouted to his men. Sixth brother, you're with me. Let's slaughter this brute together. The rest of you go and catch the other intruders. I would love find out exactly which goddamned bastards actually dared cause trouble in the Steelwood Manor. Dai En obviously held a lot of sway among the guards. After he shouted out his commands, the terror in the guards weakened and the other earthly Yuan stage expert came to stand beside Dai En while wearing a dark and fierce expression. Go! The two exchanged a glance and dashed straight at Little Flame in unison. However, when the two were still several meters from closing in on Little Flame, a figure abruptly rushed out from its rear and appeared before the two. A ferocious Yuan power suffused with an ice-cold chill ruthlessly attacked the two. Careful, the sudden attack caused Dai En and his partner to be alarmed, but soon after, Yuan power also gushed out from their own bodies. Bang! The three figures crashed heavily together. A strong force erupted from the clash, causing the rubble on the ground to be swept into the air. The figure which had appeared from Little Flame's back had his body slightly jolted back, but he quickly steadied himself. By contrast, Dai En and his partner were pushed back several steps under the astonished gazes of everyone else. Hiss, Qin Ying and the rest who were originally preparing to reinforce Lin Dong at any time involuntarily gasped as they saw this scene. With startled gazes, they stared at the back of the youngster. They never imagined that Lin Dong was able to come out on top even when it was one against two. Worthy of being called the Lin family's most talented individual, even a notable man like Qin Ying who constantly faced life or death battles felt a sense of admiration bubble up in his heart when he looked at the youngster's back. At this moment, he had already forgotten the age gap between the two of them. After all, the only thing worth respecting in this land was power. Attack! Qin Ying quickly commanded after seeing that Lin Dong was able to stop Dai En and his partner. The party rushed towards the ten or so lay family guards who had surrounded them. With his earthly Yuan stage strength, even if they were less in number, Qin Ying was not worried at all. Roar! At the same time, Little Flame once again bellowed as it turned into a fiery shadow and blazed out of the encirclement, directly heading towards the laborers who were still scattering poison about. In response to this devilish-looking monster, the laborers hastily threw away the buckets in their hands and fled for their lives. It's the Lin family. When Dai En saw Qin Ying rushing out his expression slightly changed. An ominous glint flashed across his eyes as he gave a death stare to Lin Dong. Sixth brother, let's strike together and kill this brat. Dai En licked his lips, a murderous intent spilling from his face. Hearing his words, the earthly Yuan stage expert Dai En, had called Sixth Brother, also nodded with a dark expression. The two split to the left and right as if they were savage wolves that had practiced this routine countless times before. Step by step, they crept towards Lin Dong. Gazing at the two who had surrounded him and were steadily approaching, Lin Dong took in a deep breath. This was the first life or death battle in his life. Chapter 55. A Deathmatch. With ominous glints in their eyes, 
Dai En and his partner slowly approached Lin Dong. Bang! Every step brought them closer and closer to their target. In the next instance, the two of them practically burst forward simultaneously, with vigorous Yuan power gathering at the center of their palms. With a force powerful enough to split boulders, two palms, one from the left, the other from the right, chopped towards Lin Dong's head. When the two of them made their move, they revealed their almost perfect coordination. This incoming offensive from both left and right was rather hard for one to deal with simultaneously. Lin Dong concentrated as he gazed at the two who were attacking him, a rare franticness in his heart that was still within his expectations. His left hand formed into a fist while his right took the shape of a palm. Penetrating fist and eight desolations palm were once again executed at the same time. Thud thud. When fist and palm collided, a deep, muffled noise sounded out from the three's hands. In that instance where they briefly contacted, the originally malicious look on Dai En and his partner slightly changed. The huge force from their opponent's fist and palm had jolted him to the bone, causing it to ache faintly. However, what astonished them the most was the opposing party's Yuan power. It seemed to contain a type of exceedingly icy cold chill which caused waves of stabbing pain to transmit from their skin when they came into contact with it. Go all out, leave no mercy. From this exchange, Dai En and his partner were able to perceive that Lin Dong's strength was unexpectedly one tier above their own. However, perhaps due to his tender age, Lin Dong still seemed a little rough around the edges in this life or death battle. Wind splitting claw. Hidden gentle palm. The duo's martial arts styles changed in a flash, as a violent claw and gentle palm immediately closed in on Lin Dong. Both were vicious moves that strived to hit a vital point completely without even the slightest shred of mercy. Faced with such a ruthless attacks, Lin Dong was initially slightly flustered. However, this state did not last long as he gradually steeled himself and his defensive posture started to improve. Relying on the vigorous Yuan power within his body, together with his mastery of martial arts, Lin Dong gradually gained the upper hand as he shifted from defense to offense. In response, Dai En and his partner had no choice but to continuously retreat. In a short ten rounds, Lin Dong's offense gradually shed its rough edges and sometimes, his strikes were even imbued with a trace of ferociousness, causing the two of them to fall into a somewhat difficult situation. Damn, there's something strange about this brat. Faced with Lin Dong's increasingly proficient attacks, Dai En's and his six brother's expressions turned somewhat pained. During this battle, they could feel that the other party was evolving at an exceedingly fast pace. It was as if they were the whetstone to sharpen his blade. Leave. After another short bout, Dai En and his partner realized that they were both dropping to a more and more disadvantageous position. With a decisive shout, they both suddenly retreated. After he saw the two of them retreat, Lin Dong's eyes flashed as he abruptly dashed forward two steps. As he curled two fingers on each hand, he rapidly stabbed towards their chests. Lin Dong's finger strike was extremely quick and violent. Under Dai En and his partner's frightened gazes, deep blue Yuan power concentrated at his fingertips before finally piercing at the their arms which had been brought up to block their chest areas. Bang! A deep and low sound rang out when finger contacted arm. Dai En and his partner both flew backwards and on each of their arms, a bloody hole appeared while fresh blood gushed out. To one side, Qin Ying who was currently taking care of the other lay family guards, also turned his head when he heard the noise. His mouth twitched upon seeing the two of them falling to the ground, with blood all over their arms. For him to be able to single-handedly defeat two veteran earthly Yuan early stage experts, I'm pretty sure that young master Lin Dong's strength has already reached earthly Yuan middle stage. At this point, Qin Ying could not help but sigh. This level of talent truly caused one to feel somewhat powerless. Dai En and his partner have fallen, do you still dare to resist like cornered rats? Sighing in his heart, Qin Ying quickly recovered his wits and shouted as he stared at the Lei family guards who continued to resist. After they heard him shout, the Lei family guards' faces changed as their footsteps slowed down. Damn it! Where did those dogs come from? 
to think that they actually dared to stir up trouble in our steel wood manner. Do they want to die so badly? However, just as these guards slowed down, a thunderous bellow suddenly sounded out from a distance. In an instant, a figure that looked as sturdy as a black tower swiftly approached. Lei Shan. When he saw the black tower-like figure, Qin Ying's complexion abruptly turned 180 degrees, while looks of ecstasy appeared on the Lei family guards' faces. Young Master Lin Dong, quickly fall back. This Lei Shan is an earthly Yuan late-stage expert. In one leap, Qin Ying appeared besides Lin Dong and warned him in a low voice. It's too late. Lin Dong shook his head in response. Although the black tower-like figure was quite bulky, his speed was not slow. In a mere 10 seconds, he had appeared within 10 meters of Lin Dong and the rest. Forcefully stepping off the ground, the figure burst forward as a vigorous Yuan power hurriedly gathered at his right leg. That arrogant and oppressive force caused Qin Ying's face to pale. Young Master Lin Dong, let's go. Qin Ying grabbed Lin Dong's arm. Just as the former intended to forcefully drag away the latter, he was immediately repelled away by Lin Dong. Pushing Qin Ying away, Lin Dong tightly stared at Iron Tower-like figure with a fire burning in his eyes. At the same time, his hands rapidly formed into a series of complicated seals. You little bastard, let daddy stomp you into meat paste. The black tower-like figure gazed at Lin Dong, who unexpectedly did not even bother dodging. A malicious smile involuntarily formed on his face as the Yuan power undulating on his right leg became more and more concentrated. Lin Dong's expression was serene. As the speed at which the seals changed became faster and faster, within his Dan Tian, a deep blue Yuan power also gushed out at lightning speed, before condensing at the center of his palm. Die! Just when Lin Dong's seals stopped changing, the sturdy shadow was already right before him. A violent kick ruthlessly smashed towards Lin Dong's head. Bang! As the leg smashed downwards, a deep blue light also burst out from Lin Dong's palm. The bone-chilling chill exploded forth, and the light took the shape of a seal before ferociously colliding with menacing kick. A loud and low sound reverberated in the air and Lin Dong was jolted until both his legs sunk half a meter into the ground. However, the sturdy figure was also thrown backwards and even stumbled a little before falling to the ground. He gazed at the youngster's figure with complete disbelief, evidently unable to imagine that this opponent had actually received his attack head-on. You are that brat from the Lin family. Shocked, Lei Shan suddenly shouted as he stared at Lin Dong. Lin Dong's hesitated to find the right words. At this moment, his entire arm was numb. That guy was undoubtedly an earthly Yuan late-stage expert. This brat is indeed not an ordinary character. As Lei Shan stared at Lin Dong, his expression suddenly turned sinister. The more talented Lin Dong was, the greater the threat he posed to their Lei family. Lei Shan's mind screamed murder as his foot once again stepped off the ground. Like a raging bull, he charged towards Lin Dong as Yuan power bubbled up on Lei Shan's fists. It looks like he was really intending to finish Lin Dong off this time. Get lost. As Lin Dong gazed at Lei Shan, who was charging at him once again, his expression also darkened slightly. However, just as he prepared to dodge the incoming attack, an icy shout suddenly sounded out. Just as the shout faded, a familiar figure appeared in front of Lin Dong. With a simple punch, the bull-like Lei Shan was heavily smashed back with his body dragging against the ground while he flew backwards. Chapter 56 Yang energy in the earth. Father, as he saw the figure that appeared in front of him, Lin Dong's mood turned slightly joyful and he immediately greeted his father. You cheeky fellow. I told you to just stay back and observe. How dare you barge into the manor on your own? Naturally, the one who had appeared in front of Lin Dong, was Lin Xiao, who had immediately rushed over after he saw the signal. At this moment, he had turned his head and was furiously scolding Lin Dong. Third master, please do not blame young master Lin Dong. If he did not lead us into the manor, I am afraid that this steel wood manor would have been completely devastated by the Lei family. Qin Ying, who was standing to one side, hurriedly walked over as he pointed at the wrecked forest grounds and explained. 
Upon hearing these words, Lin Xiao was instantly shocked. As he turned his head towards the direction that Qin Ying was pointing, he saw a black forested which was filled with a nasty smell. Immediately, his facial expression turned extremely ugly. Lin Xiao, though we've lost this steel wood manor to your family, before we officially hand it over, this place still belongs to the Lei family. To actually dare and invade this place, have you no respect for our Lei family? Just as Lin Xiao's facial expression turned ugly, an angry shout sounded out from nearby. Following which the Lei Ying duo, leading about ten men, rushed over. Humph! If I had not barged in, the Lei family would have completely destroyed the entire Steelwood Manor. Lin Xiao icily laughed as he darkly stared at Lei Ying and the rest. Upon hearing these words, Lei Ying's and Lei Ruo's facial expressions changed. As they stared at the area around the Steelwood Forest District, they furrowed their eyebrows while secretly cursing in their hearts. Third brother, what is going on? Right at this moment, Lin Ken also rushed in together with a few skilled practitioners from the Lin family. Upon witnessing this standoff, he softly asked Lin Xiao. Lin Xiao briefly explained the events. When Lin Ken heard that the Lei family were so despicable that they were planning to destroy even the soil from the steel wood manor, though he was usually a calm person, rage instantly filled his heart. After all, this was truly a low blow. The Lei family is truly remarkable. After stalling for so long, you actually plan to completely uproot this area and destroy the land. Lin Ken coldly stared at Lei Ying and the rest as he icily said. To one side, the skilled practitioners from Lin family were now tightly gripping onto the blades and sabers in their hands with steely expressions. They evidently sensed that a huge battle could break out at any time. After their ploy was uncovered, the expression on Lei Ying and the rest's faces turned distorted. They decided not to conceal the truth anymore and Lei Ying replied in an indifferent manner. The steel wood manor is the fruits of our Lei family's labor. Why should we serve it up to the Lin family on a silver platter? Upon hearing these words, Lin Ken and the rest grew even more enraged. The Lei family's character is truly admirable. From now on, this steel wood manor belongs to our Lin family. If there are any objections, you can raise it up with me. Lin Xiao threatened as a cold light flashed in his eyes. How dare you! At these words, Lei Ying's and the rest's faces twitched. However, when they remembered that Lin Xiao had reached Heavenly Yuan middle stage, they could only choke back their anger. After all, if they fought now, they will definitely get the shorter end of the stick. Hey, since the Lin family is so obsessed over this steel wood manor, we shall give it to you. However, please take good care of it. In the end, all of this will eventually return to our Lei family. Lei Ying stared menacingly at Lin Xiao and the rest before he icily chuckled. Without further ado, he immediately waved his hand and departed with the rest of his crew. As they looked at Lei Ying and the rest's backs, Lin Xiao and his group's facial expressions hardly improved. After all, with all the damage inflicted on the steel wood manor, the output of steel wood had definitely dropped substantially. Those god damned bastards. Lin Ken's face turned red as he cursed them in a low voice. Lin Xiao also released a soft sigh as he said, Let's inspect the steel tree forest area around the steel wood manor and check the extent of the damage. Yes, after hearing his words, the guards from Lin family spread out rapidly and entered the steel wood forested grounds. After approximately half an hour of inspection, they returned to report their finding. Though their reports only made Lin Ken's and Lin Xiao's facial expression worsen. Standing beside them, Lin Dong also furrowed his eyebrows. There were still several full-grown steel wood trees remaining in this area. However, the biggest loss was that the Lei family had completely poisoned the soil. Therefore, even if they could still plant steel wood trees in the future, the overall harvest would drop tremendously. Sigh. Let's inform father regarding this matter. The old man really valued this steel wood manor. Once he knows about this matter, he will definitely be pissed off. Lin Xiao sighed as he told Lin Ken. Yes, Lin Ken gave a pained smile as he nodded. Right now, this was all that they could do. 
As he stared at their expressions which were twisted with rage and disappointment, Lin Dong also sighed inwardly. This ploy by the Lei family was truly vicious. Once news of this matter reached the Lin family, in just half a day, Lin Zhenshen led a group of men to personally inspect the steel wood manor. As he gazed at the rotten and foul-smelling forested grounds, his facial expression turned horrendously dark. Lin Dong sat on a cliff and looked down upon a large hall. From that hall, Lin Zhenshen's angry roars could be clearly heard. Even though Lin Dong was not seated within the hall, he could not help but shiver a little. After all, this was the first time he had seen Lin Zhenshen so furious. Seems like the Lei family had really crossed the line this time. How frightening. Seated beside him, King Tan licked her lips as she softly muttered. This time, she had tagged along with Lin Zhenshen and the rest. Lin Dong forced out a chuckle before he stood up and said, Let's go walk around. I believe Grandpa's anger will not simmer down any time soon. It would be better to let father and the rest handle this. Okay. King Tan nodded her head as she cheekily smiled. Lin Dong let King Tan sit on Little Flame as he led the way into the deeper part of the Steelwood Manor. The Steelwood Manor occupied a huge piece of land and its surroundings were extremely beautiful. If it was not for the faint putrid smell from all around, it would be an exceedingly wonderful summer vacation house. Steelwood Manor has a special dark soil that is necessary to plant steel trees. It is said that a long time ago, the area where the steel wood manor is presently located, was a volcano and all the dark soil came from when the volcano erupted. Now that the volcano has vanished, the dark soil is a limited commodity. Since the Lay family has wrecked large patches of soil, I am afraid that the steel wood output will fall drastically in future. That's why Grandpa is so angry. In the serene woods, Lin Dong casually explained to the young lady beside him. Oh, King Tan gently nodded her head as she looked around and said, The temperature here is higher than outside. Oh, after hearing these words, Lin Dong was taken aback. Though he tried to sense it, he realized that he was unable to feel the heat. In a flash of inspiration, he suddenly recalled that due to the terrifying chilling cold in King Tan's body, she was extremely sensitive to the temperature of her surroundings. This moisture content here is rather high. How can it feel warmer? Just as he figured out the previous question, Lin Dong was again puzzled as he softly muttered to himself. He squatted down and grabbed a handful of black soil with his right hand. Just as his hand touched the black soil, his body suddenly jerked as delight surfaced in his eyes. There is a trace of yang energy hidden within the land here. When Lin Dong grabbed the dark soil, he could vividly feel a suction force emitting from the stone talisman embedded within his right palm. Due to this suction force, a faint stream of air was sucked out from the dark soil. Even though it was only a tiny amount, the air felt burning hot like sunlight. This was something that was completely different from yin energy. This type of thing was commonly known as yang energy and it was absorbed by all heavenly yuan practitioners. How can this be? Lin Dong was puzzled. As there was only a faint amount of yang energy contained within, if he did possess the stone talisman, he would have never discovered it. Nonetheless, it definitely existed. Lin Dong lifted his head and looked further into the depths of this place as his eyebrows tightly knit together. He immediately took a few hundred steps forwards and he grabbed another pile of dark soil. As I progress deeper, the yang energy in the dark soil gets stronger. After he noticed this change, Lin Dong was even more puzzled. Even though the amount of yang energy was rather pathetic, why would there be yang energy embedded in this soil in the first place? Unless, below the surface, there is something emitting yang energy. Therefore, traces of yang energy were mixed into the soil. Lin Dong's eyes flashed as he involuntarily prodded the ground below him. Seems like there was a hidden mystery in this steel wood manor. Chapter 57. Yang Yuan Stone. Big Brother Lin Dong. Did something happen? Seated on little flame, King Tan inquisitively asked after she saw Lin Dong's peculiar actions. Lin Dong waved his hands and did not reply. He lifted his head and somberly surveyed the surrounding before he grabbed soil from north, south, 
east and west directions in order to test the concentration of yang energy contained within the soil. The soil to the north seems to contain more yang energy. Lin Dong dusted off the black soil on his hands and beckoned to King Tan before immediately dashing towards the north. Behind him, King Tan immediately urged Little Flame to follow. Human and beast sprinted through the lush forest as Soft's ray of light penetrated through the tree leaves and illuminated the woods. Most of the land in the Steelwood Manor was made up of virgin forests. Upon cursory inspection, it seemed that the Lei family had concentrated their efforts on the steel wood. Therefore, they did not bother exploring the other parts of the forest. After running a short distance, Lin Dong would bend down to grab some soil in order to discern the direction before once again heading off. This search lasted for approximately half an hour before Lin Dong finally stopped. The soil here was extremely dark in color, and when Lin Dong grabbed the soil, he could vividly feel that the yang energy contained within was more highly concentrated than anywhere else. Big brother Lin Dong, this place is scorching. Seated on Little Flame's back, King Tan's exquisite face was now drenched with sweat. Since she arrived here, she felt as though she had entered a furnace. If Lin Dong had not insisted, she would have left immediately. Just endure it for a while. Lin Dong smiled as he tried to pacify her. He gazed around and discovered that they had nearly reached the end of the woodlands. He could also faintly smell some traces of wild beasts. Instantly, he went on guard while signaling to King Tan before he crouched down and slowly walked forward. Moments later, a valley appeared in front of his eyes. As Lin Dong carefully scanned the valley, his eyes quickly concentrated on the two black figures that were hidden deep within the valley. These two figures seemed to be two black panthers. Their entire bodies were pitch black and it looked like they were wearing a suit of black armor that completely covered every bit of their bodies. When the sun shone on them, a glaring light was reflected off and their verdant eyes revealed a savage and cunning temperament. Demonic Black Steel Panther. As he looked at those two black metal-like panthers, Lin Dong involuntarily gasped. These two demonic black steel panthers were demonic beasts and they were equally fearsome as the fire python tiger. A matured demonic panther likewise possessed the same might as a heavenly Yuan practitioner. Currently, from their sizes, it was clear that these two creatures were in their prime. Therefore, these two creatures were the equivalent of two heavenly Yuan experts. Lin Dong never expected that such deadly creatures were hidden in the depths of the Steelwood Manor. It's no wonder that the people from the Lei family did not dare to venture this deep into the woods. It turns out that there was this kind of danger lurking about. Lin Dong muttered to himself. Just as he planned to silently retreat, a mysterious undulation was suddenly emitted by his right palm that had been placed on the ground. This undulation shocked Lin Dong. Soon after, he carefully bent down on all fours. If the stone talisman vibrated, something must have attracted its attention. Lin Dong placed his right palm flat on the ground as he quietly felt the undulation. Meanwhile, he slowly moved his body in response. It was a long while later before he finally stopped at a slight depression in the ground. As he stared at this slight depression, Lin Dong was somewhat puzzled. Soon after, his fist ferociously slammed down. Soil immediately flew in every direction and an inch-wide hole was revealed. It was evident that this hole existed long ago, however it was covered by a layer of soil on the surface. Just as this hole emerged, the undulations from Lin Dong's right palm intensified. After some hesitation, he decided to stretch his hand into that hole and randomly fished about. Seated nearby, King Tan looked at Lin Dong, who was now kneeling on the floor and digging rocks and soil out of the hole like a pangolin. An odd expression surfaced on her tiny face as she was evidently uncertain of what Lin Dong was up to. Under King Tan's strange gaze, Lin Dong's continued to dig around in that hole for half a day. However, all he managed to uncover were some stray pebbles, and he found nothing of interest. After he dug for a while more, he still did not uncover any treasure. Just as he was so frustrated that he was ready to call it quits, his hand suddenly grabbed onto a warm stone in the hole, and when he clenched the stone in his palm, the undulation of the stone talisman finally stopped. Found it, 
As he sensed the change in the stone talisman, Lin Dong was delighted. He immediately pulled out his arm as a light red rock appeared before his eyes. That stone did not have defined edges, and was colored a light red. It was also translucent like a crystal. Holding the stone in his hand, he could feel a faint warmth, as if he were holding onto a ball of sunlight. This is, a Yang Yuan stone. Lin Dong was lost in a daze as he stared at the light red crystal rock in his hand. Suddenly, he took in a deep breath, and a look of awe surfaced in his eyes. Yang Yuan stone was a rather special crystal stone. It was said that it could only be formed in the deepest parts of a volcano. Not only did the crystal stone absorb the Yuan energy between heaven and earth, but after bathing in lava in a long time, they also managed to assimilate a part of the Yang energy from the lava. This Yang energy, was akin to the lifeblood for heavenly Yuan practitioners. Lin Dong had once heard from Lin Xiao that in the Great Yan Dynasty, many heavenly Yuan practitioners would carry around a few Yang Yuan stones. However, these items were not cheap. Therefore, they were rarely seen in Qingyang town. Lin Dong had never expected that he would actually uncover a Yang Yuan stone. After all, it was rare for Yang Yuan stone to appear by itself. Due to the special circumstances needed for its formation, anywhere a Yang Yuan stone appears, there would tend to be a load nearby. This load could be small or large. However, even if it were an extremely tiny load, it would still be considered as a massive fortune for the Lin family. This place used to be a volcano. Therefore, it is not impossible for a Yang Yuan stone load to exist here. Lin Dong's mouth could not help but twitch in excitement. He tightly gripped the Yang Yuan stone in his hand and abruptly stood up. Growl! Just as he stood up, in the valley ahead, the two demonic black steel panthers suddenly growled. The growl seems to be directed towards his location. We have been discovered. Lin Dong's facial expression changed as he rapidly dashed back and leapt on little flame's back. Then, he held on to King Tan's slim waist and shouted, Quick! Let's go! At his shout, Little Flame let out a tiny grow before it immediately stretched out its four limbs and dashed out of the forest like a whirlwind. Sigh! Let's first gather some workers to be stationed at this steel wood manor and try to clear up the poison within the soil. As for the rest of the steel wood, let's cut it down first before testing if this area is still suitable for planting steel wood. If it's impossible, let's not waste too much manpower here. In the hall, after an afternoon of howling, Lin Zhenshen finally stopped his pointless rage as he sat on his chair and solemnly commanded. Yes. Upon hearing these words, Lin Xiao and the rest forced a smile as they nodded their heads. They were evidently disappointed. Initially, what they thought would be a huge score turned out to be a dud. Bang! When Lin Xiao and the rest were nodding their heads, the door to the hall was suddenly slammed open as Lin Dong immediately barged in. After seeing his dirty appearance and flustered expression, everyone was shocked. Just as they were about to comment, Lin Dong took out a light red crystal rock and heavily placed it on the table in front of Lin Zhenshen. Grandpa, this time, our Lin family has struck gold. Chapter 58, Load. Yang Yuan Stone. As he stared at the light red crystal stone that Lin Dong had placed in front of him, Lin Zhenshen was slightly taken aback. Soon after, he also fished out a red crystal stone from his clothes and realized that it was identical to Lin Dong's. Ha ha, you little chap. You are indeed lucky. Lin Zhenshen chuckled as he grabbed a teacup nearby and took a sip before continuing, pass this Yang Yuan stone to your father. It just happens that he has need for it. Grandpa, this was dug out from a deep part of the steel wood manor. There is probably a Yang Yuan stone load hidden there. Lin Dong's face turned slightly flustered. Spit. Just as Lin Dong finished, Lin Zhenshen immediately spat out the tea in his mouth. He quickly stood up as he looked at Lin Dong with blood-red eyes, trembling as he spoke. What did you just say? Yang Yuan stone load. Standing in the giant hall, Lin Xiao and Lin Ken were also shocked after hearing Lin Dong's words. They clearly knew how important and valuable these Yang Yuan stones were. For heavenly Yuan stage practitioners, it was an irresistible item. 
if they were able to open up this load, it would definitely be an exceedingly huge treasure trove. Compared to that, the steel wood business had become second tier. Even the Lay family who had been here for several years could never have imagined that hidden beneath this steel wood manor, lay such an enormous treasure. Of course, if they knew about it, even if someone were to tempt them with ten fire python tiger cubs, they would never even consider using this steel wood manor as a wager. Lin Dong nodded, pointing at the light red crystal rock. He said, I dug this out from that place. Grandpa, all of you should know that this kind of Yang Yuan stone seldom appears alone. Who? Lin Xiao and Lin Qin breathed out deeply as they exchanged a look. Moments later, both of them hoarsely said, the steel wood manor used to be a volcanic region long ago. Hence, it possessed the necessary conditions to create Yang Yuan stones. It is not impossible for there to be a Yang Yuan stone load nearby. Take me to the place. Lin Zhenshin's breathing sounded hurried as he paced around the giant hall before he urgently commanded. Lin Dong nodded and replied. However, there are two demonic black steel panthers there. Oh, after hearing about the two demonic black steel panthers, Lin Zhenshin's facial expression changed. Promptly, he gritted his teeth and said, It doesn't matter. If there is a Yang Yuan stone load there, let alone two demonic black steel panthers, even if there were more, we will utilize any means to get rid of them. Upon hearing these words, Lin Dong nodded his head again. Without further ado, he turned and left the giant hall. He summoned Little Flame and mounted it as he swiftly led the trio of Lin Zhenshin, Lin Xiao and Lin Ken back towards the deep forest grounds. They traveled at full speed and in approximately ten minutes, they managed to arrive at the place where Lin Dong had discovered the Yang Yuan stone. It is indeed a demonic black steel panther. As he stood at the top of the valley, Lin Zhenshin looked at the two demonic black steel panthers below as he solemnly nodded his head. These two creatures were after all as powerful as a heavenly Yuan expert. It was going to be troublesome to get rid of them. Lin Zhenshin muttered to himself before he turned around. Behind him, Lin Xiao and Lin Ken were hurriedly using shovels to dig around the hole where Lin Dong uncovered the Yang Yuan stone. This matter was too important and it would be unwise to get ordinary folk to help out. Therefore, the two of them could only personally undertake this task. To one side, Lin Dong involuntarily chuckled after he saw Lin Xiao and Lin Ken digging like laborers. Lin Xiao and Lin Ken did not have to time to bother with Lin Dong. The two of them were concentrating on swinging their shovels as they ruthlessly increased the size of the hole. Thanks to the efforts by these two heavenly Yuan stage experts, in approximately half an hour, the small hole that was only inches in depth became a large hole several meters wide. However, what puzzled Lin Dong was, even after they dug such a deep hole, they did not find any other Yang Yuan stones. However, the vibration from the stone talisman embedded in his palm clearly hinted to him that there was something hidden below. The sun gradually set down, sinking below the flat horizon as the gently glowing moon rose in its place. Very soon, the light rays that illuminated the land turned dimmer. Father, this time, I am afraid that Dong Er just got lucky. Inside the deep hole, Lin Xiao wiped his sweat as he lifted his head and looked at the tensed up Lin Zhenshin, a forced smile on the former's face. At these words, Lin Zhenshin also sighed as disappointment filled his eyes. It seems like he was overly optimistic. After all, it was not so easy to discover a Yang Yuan stone load. Let's call it a day. It's getting late. Lin Zhenshin waved his hands as a beaten look filled his face. The two in the deep hole, Lin Xiao and Lin Ken also shook their heads with a pained smile. Things sure didn't go their way today. First, they received a rotten steel wood manor and now they acted as laborers here for almost a whole day. As he saw their disappointed faces, Lin Dong's eyebrows knitted even more tightly together. He immediately leapt into the giant hole and took the shovel from Lin Xiao, before he proceeded to vigorously attack the ground. Seeing Lin Dong's sudden move, Lin Xiao knew that he did not want to give up so easily. With a gentle sigh, he patted Lin Dong's shoulder. Just as he was about to ask him to relax, 
A crisp, ding, sound echoed out at the spot where Lin Dong's shovel fell. In the serene woods, this, ding, sound was not particularly loud. Yet this sound caused Lin Zhenshin and the rest to tremble. As one, they turned to look at the area where Lin Dong's shovel had hit. There, they discovered a faint light red glow peeking out from the soil. The three of them stood in a daze as they stared at the traces of red light. A split second later, Lin Zhenshin directly leapt down. With a wave of his sleeves, a powerful gale emerged and immediately turned over the layer of earth. As the soil was swept away, a bright red glow instantly emerged. What appeared before their eyes was a somewhat translucent light red rock strata. On closer inspection, one could vaguely glimpse chunks of light red crystal stone hidden within the rock strata, like gemstones that sparkled and glowed. Red light reflected of the four faces, and on those faces, was a look of delight and awe. This is truly, a Yang Yuan stone load. Lin Ken foolishly stared at the red rock strata. Suddenly, his body began to tremble violently. Their Lin family would undergo a transformation because of this. The heavens have blessed our Lin family. Lin Zhenshin looked up to the sky, so overwhelmed that tears trickled off his wrinkled face. Now that they possessed this load, their Lin family's expansion rate would explode. At that time, besides Qingyang town, even among the entire Tiandu region, their Lin family will boast a considerable status. As he gazed at their elated expressions, Lin Dong finally heaved a sigh of relief. He threw away the shovel in his hand and sat on the rock strata as he bathed in the warmth sensation emitted from it. A derisive smile emerged on his face as he imagined. If Lei Bao knew that there was such a treasure hidden below the steel wood manor, would he vomit blood and die in rage? Chapter 59. Killing the Panthers. Lin Zhenshin chose to securely lock down news of the discovery of the Yang Yuan stone load. The only ones who were privy to this information were Lin Xiao, Lin Dong and a few other selected individuals. After all, this matter was simply too important to the Lin family. If they were able to successfully develop this mining load, their power would undoubtedly rise dramatically. At that time, even the well-known Qingyang town powerhouse, the Lei family, would be unable to hold a candle to them. Of course, before this load was developed, it must be kept secret. If news of it was leaked to the Lei family, they would employ every mean to destroy it. In fact, it was likely that they would directly ally with the Si family and pulverize the Lin family. Two days after confirming the existence of the mining load, Lin Zhenshin decided to station 50 to 60 percent of the Lin family members in the Steelwood Manor. He had done an extremely extensive job of tightening the security of the manor, turning it into a steel fortress. Furthermore, Lin Zhenshin had also moved thousands of workers from other Lin family establishments into the manor. Most of these people would be assigned to cut the steel trees. However, this was only a cover. Those who were absolutely loyal to the Lin family were secretly transferred to the deep forests, where they would help to develop the mining load. Of course, they must first get rid of the two demonic black steel panthers. If not, the mining operations would never go smoothly. For many years, these two demonic black steel panthers had ruled over that particular territory with their heavenly Yuan level strength. Furthermore, their hides were as hard as steel and their reflexes quick as lightning. Even a heavenly Yuan human practitioner would find them exceedingly difficult opponents. In order to deal with the two demonic black steel panthers, Lin Zhenshin, along with everyone else, had made ample preparations. Grandfather was even planning to take part in the battle. However, they had to be very cautious as against two demonic black steel panthers, even the slightest slip-up may result in catastrophe. From a high ground at the entrance of the valley, Lin Dong peered down upon the two demonic black steel panthers below. He shifted his gaze as three figures suddenly jumped down from the top of a cliff, the tips of their feet gently bouncing down the walls of the cliff before steadily landing on the valley floor. Growl! Just as the trio of Lin Zhenshin and two others landed in the valley, the two demonic black steel panthers were alerted by their presence. Deep and low growls immediately sounded out in the valley. I will handle one of them, the two of you take the other. Let's end this fight quickly. 
If they escaped, it may cause problems in future. Lin Zhenshin glared menacingly at the two demonic black steel panthers as they leapt vigorously onto some rocks. With a low shout, he immediately dashed forward, a bright Yuan power erupting out of his body. Within that forceful Yuan power, yin and yang energy seemed to flow in almost perfect harmony with each other. Heavenly Yuan late stage. Based on grandpa's current strength, he is just one step away from completely harmonizing yin and yang energy to form a Yuan Dan. Lin Dong gently acknowledged his grandfather in his heart as he gazed upon Lin Zhenshin's imposing visage. However, when Lin Dong recalled how difficult it was to step into the Yuan Dan stage, he could not help but furrow his eyebrows. Having heavenly Yuan stage strength was indeed enough for one to be called an elite fighter, yet it still did not reach the level of a warlord that could intimidate an entire region. In the Great Yan Dynasty, only those who had advanced to Yuan Dan stage were worthy of such a title. Even though there were only a few heavenly Yuan stage practitioners in Qingyang town, they were not that rare of an existence. For example, in the Lei family, there were approximately four to five heavenly Yuan practitioners. However, in the entire Qingyang town, there was not a single person who had reached Yuan Dan stage. Based on this fact, it was enough to deduce how difficult it was to synergize one's yin and yang energy and condensed it to form a Yuan Dan. While Lin Dong was distracted, the battle below had already begun. A vigorous Yuan power constantly gushed about, stirring up the gravel and dust on the floor, a level of energy not commonly seen. Though it was tricky to deal with these demonic black steel panthers, based on Lin Dong calculations, he estimated that these two demonic panthers should be at Heavenly Yuan middle stage. Since Lin Zhenshin had long progressed to Heavenly Yuan late stage, and Lin Xiao and Lin Ken were both at Heavenly Yuan middle stage, they should be able to win this battle easily. Just as Lin Dong predicted, faced with the trio of Lin Zhenshin, Lin Xiao and Lin Ken, after the two demonic panthers experienced the initial ruthless counter-attack, signs of their eventual defeat gradually began to appear. A series of roars continuously sounded out as the creatures became more and more like cornered animals. Bang! In the middle of the valley, a muffled sound suddenly echoed out. Lin Dong immediately turned to look, only to see that Lin Zhenshin had forcefully stabbed his two fingers at the forehead of one demonic panther. A powerful Yuan power gushed forward, causing Lin Zhenshin's two fingers to become sharp as knives, directly piercing through that demonic black steel panther's hard skull and killing it instantly. Chun Yuan finger, as he saw that familiar attack, a flash of awe surfaced in Lin Dong's eyes. Lin Zhenshin was definitely at Heavenly Yuan late stage. The force displayed by his Chun Yuan finger was at least several times more powerful than Lin Dong's. At the very least, Lin Dong did not have the slightest bit of confidence in being able to penetrate that Heavenly Yuan tier demonic beast's skull with one thrust of his fingers. In the instance that Lin Zhenshin killed one demonic black steel panther, the other creature immediately released an angry roar. Growl. Just as its growl sounded out, howls from several other ferocious beasts sounded out in reply from the surrounding forest. It seems that the demonic black steel panther had growled to attract them. As he sensed the rumbling sounds of the beasts converging on him, Lin Zhenshin's facial expression slightly darkened. He never imaged that this demonic panther could actually summon other wild beasts. Even though these wild beasts were not as fearsome, if their numbers were large enough, they would still pose a major problem. Oh, as Lin Zhenshin furrowed his eyebrows, above the valley, a red shadow suddenly flashed out as a deep tiger hiss swiftly sounded out. Immediately, the footsteps of the other wild beasts paused as they actually stopped their advance. Hey hey, seems like that fire python tiger also possessed this ability. Upon witnessing this situation, Lin Zhenshin heaved a sigh of relief. Nearby, Lin Xiao and Lin Ken attacked simultaneously, with a two-prong attack from the front and back, they finally finished off the other demonic panther in a single punch. These creatures are really difficult to handle. Lin Xiao and Lin Ken exclaimed as they wiped their hands while gazing at the fallen bodies of the two demonic black steel panthers. 
Little Flame, well done. At the top of the valley, Lin Dong smiled as he praised Little Flame, who was beside him, while patting it. Little Flame intimately rubbed against Lin Dong before it immediately released a deep roar as it leapt down into the valley. Next, it approached the demonic black steel panther corpses and opened its tiger mouth to begin tearing the bodies apart. Finally, it managed to uncover two pitch black crystals within the corpses. With a flick of its tongue, the two crystals were swallowed into its stomach. This little one is really knowledgeable. It actually knows that there are demonic crystals within their bodies. That level of intelligence is actually quite high. At this point, Lin Zhenshin furrowed his eyebrows. After all, ordinary demonic beasts did not possess such intelligence. Father, we have resolved this final problem. Shall we start developing this mining load? Lin Ken smiled as he asked excitedly. Yes. Lin Zhenshin beamed while nodding his head and said, Tomorrow, I will dispatch Lin Mang to Yan City to first find and discuss with some merchant associations on establishing our sales and distribution channels. Then we will be able to immediately sell the Yang Yuan stones straight after they have been mined. After finishing, Lin Zhenshin held his hands behind his back. With a casual smile, he softly said, Every dog has its day. Hey hey, the Lei and Si families have bullied our Lin family for so many years. Now it's time for payback. Upon hearing these words, a cold glint emerged in Lin Seo and Lin Ken's eyes as they slowly nodded their heads. All these years, they had silently endured, causing resentment to build up in their hearts. Perhaps, in just a little more time, they would finally be able to dish all this pent-up resentment at the Lei and Si families. Chapter 60. Tough Training. Qingyang Town, Lei Family. Lei Bao was comfortably resting on a soft sofa in a lavish hall. At his side, two beautiful attendants were carefully massaging him. Is there any activity in the Lin family? Lei Bao, whose eyes were lightly shut, suddenly asked. The Lin family have deployed a huge amount of personnel to the steel wood manor and they are guarding it very closely. To Lei Bao's side, a middle-aged man dressed in embroidered robes answered. This man was Lei Pai, second in command in the Lei family and Lei Li's father. Just a bunch of country bumpkins. As expected, they amount to nothing. Upon hearing these words, Lei Bao involuntarily chuckled. Now that a large part of the steel wood manor had been ruined, most of its value was lost. However, the Lin family still acted as if they had found a treasure. Ha ha, even though the steel wood manor had lost its former glory, to a low-class family, it is still a valuable asset. How could they give up on it so easily? Lei Pai smiled as he answered. Those bastards from the Lin family caused our Lei family to lose a steel wood manor. I will not so easily let this matter go. Lei Bao opened both of his eyes, revealing an icy glare. He turned to look at Lei Pai, who was standing beside him, and said, Go to Yan City and make use of our contacts there to prevent the Lin family from selling the steel wood. Hey, I want to make sure that no one will do business with them. Yes, upon hearing these words, a sneer surfaced on Lei Pai's face as he nodded his head. How is Lei Li? Lei Bao suddenly asked. Losing to that brat from the Lin family was a great blow to him. Lei Pai sighed as he answered. It's only natural to experience wins and losses in martial arts duels. If he cannot even handle this loss, how can he expect to amount to anything in future? Lei Bao furrowed his eyebrows for a while before continuing. Later, go to our storeroom and take out the stored Yang Yuan pills, and give it to him. With that item, his training progress should hasten. In future, make sure to cripple that brat from the Lin family. Many thanks father. After he heard the words, Yang Yuan Pill, a flash of delight surfaced on Lei Pai's face as he immediately thanked his father. Go, also, remember to instruct the men to increase surveillance on the Lin family. Humph, it's not so easy to take something away from my Lei family. As he finished his words, a sinister look surfaced on Lei Bao's face. After the demonic black panthers were dealt with, covered development of the mining load began. Everyone that was selected to take part had to pass through a stringent selection process. 
the selected workers were generously compensated by the Lin family and also allowed to bring their families to the Steelwood Manor. This way, not only were they provided with a place to stay, but it also served a second agenda, a way to safeguard the secrets of the manor and ensure there were no leaks. With regards to this project, Lin Dong was obviously of little help. However, he did not return to Qingyang town because of this. After all, there were many ancient and deep forests surrounding the steel wood manor. In these woods were numerous demonic beasts, and he was planning to train himself there. After the clash with those guards from the Lei family, Lin Dong clearly understood that he lacked experience in actual combat. If he did not possess such powerful Yuan power and mastery of martial arts, he would have encountered great difficulty when he faced the Dai N duo. With regards to actual combat, Lin Dong was unable to target other humans. Therefore, he turned his attention towards the equally fearsome demonic beasts, and, the deep forest surrounding the Steelwood Manor provided him with the perfect training grounds. Growl! In the serene forests, an angry roar suddenly sounded out, causing the tree leaves to shiver. If one were to turn towards the direction of the commotion, he would see a giant green wolf pouncing towards a human figure. However, just as that giant wolf opened its foul-smelling mouth to snap the human figure's neck, two fingers suffused with a vigorous Yuan power stabbed through the giant wolf's soft underbelly and fresh, causing hot blood to spurt out. When the fresh blood started to spray out, the human figure pushed the giant green wolf away as he attempted to catch his breath. Numerous scars dotted his body. He was clearly someone who had experienced much fighting. After panting for a while, the human figure finally stood up, revealing a young teenage face. This was Lin Dong. Right now he turned to look at the giant green wolf that had collapsed at this feet and involuntarily laughed. The green wind wolf was a demonic beast that could equal an earthly Yuan practitioner. In these two months, Lin Dong had fought numerous times with this fellow. Initially, all he could do was retreat, but now, all he needed was a single blow to end the creature's life. The current Lin Dong did not look much different from two months before. However, he gave off a different aura now. That aura completely unrelated to one's looks, but rather, he gave off the feeling of someone who had overcome several life and death struggles. After Lin Dong had dispatched the green wind wolf, a red shadow immediately dashed out from the woods and tore apart the green wind wolf's carcass. When it realized there was no demonic crystal inside, it released an unhappy growl. That red shadow was naturally little flame. Over these two months, it had accompanied Lin Dong as it also refined itself battle after battle. Thus, it now wore countless battle scars on its body that were results of its fights with other demonic beasts. Right now, after these two months of fighting, there was a bloodthirsty stench on Little Flame. The scars on its body made it look exceptionally fearsome. Bit by bit, the glorious aura of the fire python tiger was emerging. Under normal circumstances, the growth rate of Little Flame was baffling. Although it did enjoy the most luxurious treatment and even managed to devour some demonic crystals under Lin Dong's care. Growing from a newly born cub till it was now almost the same size as a mature fire python tiger was indeed stunning. Based on Lin Dong's knowledge, Wu Yun's fire python tiger cub was only as big as his thigh. Furthermore, its combat abilities were far below little flames. With regards to their differences, Lin Dong was also at a loss for words. However, he was thankful that he had followed the stone talisman's decision that day. After all, Little Flame was definitely special, compared to the other two cubs. In these two months of training, both Little Flame and Lin Dong had improved substantially. However, the only thing that Lin Dong felt regretful about was that he was still quite far from progressing to Earthly Yuan later stage. Though as a consolation, he had completed unblocked all seven inner channels of the King Yuan arts. Overall, the fruits of these two months of training were rather sweet. It's getting late, let's head back. Lin Dong took out a bottle and poured out an elixir pill, stuffing it into Little Flame's mouth. Then, he gazed at the dwindling pills in the bottle as the corners of his mouth formed into a bitter smile while he shook his head. As Little Flame grew, it had become increasingly picky. 
The stone talisman Ling liquid was unable to suffice it anymore. As he mounted Little Flame, Lin Dong whistled. In response, Little Flame turned into a red shadow as it swiftly dashed out of the woods. Once he returned to the steel wood manor, Lin Dong quickly went to wash up. After he changed his clothes, he headed towards the mountain behind the manor and passed through a heavy barricade before finally reaching the mining load. Right now, the mountain had completely changed. There was a long tunnel stretching deep into the mountain as, ding ding dang dang, noises constantly sounded out from within. Guarding the tunnel entrance was Lin Seo. Beside him were two large cases. These cases were filled to the brim with light red Yang Yuan stones. Father, the harvest seems pretty good. As he gazed at the two cases of glittering Yang Yuan stones, Lin Dong licked his lips and smiled. Right now, we don't have enough utilizable manpower. Therefore, the number of Yang Yuan stones that we can harvest per day is still limited. In these two months, we managed to harvest 487 stones. Lin Xiao replied. However, his expression indicated that he was extremely satisfied with this harvest. After all, this was already equivalent to their entire past year's income. These 400 plus Yang Yuan stones can be traded for approximately 40 Yang Yuan pills. Yang Yuan pill, Lin Dong was stunned as he inquisitively asked. Some elite practitioners are able to harvest the Yang energy within these Yang Yuan stones and condense them into Yang Yuan pills. These pills are extremely beneficial for any practitioner below Yuan Dan stage. Based on my calculations, it takes 10 Yang Yuan stones to produce one Yang Yuan pill. Hey hey, for some major factions, these Yang Yuan stones and Yang Yuan pills are probably a better currency than silver or gold. Lin Xiao was evidently in a good mood as he slowly explained. Oh, Lin Dong was shocked. This was the first time he heard of this. Father has already decided. Tomorrow, we will send 300 Yang Yuan stones to Yan City and exchange them for Yang Yuan pills in order to bolster our Lin family's strength. Heading to Yan City tomorrow. A flash of delight surfaced in Lin Dong's eyes. Yan City was the largest city nearby, and it was quite famous even in the entire Yan dynasty. It was far more exciting and lively than Qingyang Town. Ha ha, you are the star of our Lin family. Rest assured, I will definitely take you along tomorrow. At Lin Dong's expression, Lin Xiao could not help but laughed as he promised. Lin Dong chuckled and then turned his head as he looked at the chest filled with Yang Yuan stones, a look of awe on his face. To one side, Lin Xiao said a little more before leaving after he instructed the guards to keep a tight watch. Just as Lin Xiao walked away, Lin Dong involuntarily reached out to grab three Yang Yuan stones. When his hand grabbed the Yang Yuan stones the stone talisman embedded his his palm suddenly vibrated. Following which, the light red glow of the three Yang Yuan stones darkened rapidly. Moments later, the stones turned dull before eventually disintegrating into dust. As he witnessed this sudden development, Lin Dong's facial expression also changed drastically. Chapter 61. Yang Yuan Pills. This chapter was brought to you by Alexei Miller and Ryan Clark. Gazing at the powder falling from the palm of his hand, Lin Dong's facial expression changed drastically. Just as he was about to panic over this matter, he suddenly saw tiny streams of light shooting out from his right palm before finally crisscrossing together and, to his surprise, condensing into a thumb-sized fiery red pill. When that fiery red pill appeared on his palm, Lin Dong's eyelids violently blinked twice. Recalling all the magical properties possessed by the stone talisman, he deduced that it had likely refined the three pieces of Yang Yuan stone. As his lips opened briefly, Lin Dong discreetly stuffed that fiery red pill into his sleeves. Then, as he turned around to look, he heaved a sigh of relief when he realized that no one around had noticed this sudden turn of events. Next, he extended his palm again and grabbed three pieces of Yang Yuan stone, before he immediately exited the mining load. Just as he ran into the woods, he shouted towards Lin Xiao with a laugh. Father, let me play with some Yang Yuan stones. After he shouted, 
Lin Dong immediately left without waiting for Lin Xiao to reply. This brat. As he stared at Lin Dong's back, Lin Xiao helplessly shook his head. However, he did not take this matter to heart. After all, Lin Dong now held an extremely high status in the family, one that may even exceed his, and no one would think to complain if he took a few Yang Yuan stones. After Lin Dong exited the mining load, he immediately slipped back towards his room and shut his room door tightly. Finally, he heaved a sigh of relief, as he flipped over his palm and a fiery red pill immediately appeared in his eyes. This fiery red pill seemed much more potent and rich compared to the elixir pills refined from those grade 3 elixirs. Thanks to this fiery red complexion, it seemed like this pill contained a massive amount of energy, it felt extremely warm. Is this the Yang Yuan pill that father previously mentioned? Lin Dong muttered to himself, as he fiddled with this warm fiery red pill. The Yang Yuan pill that Lin Xiao had mentioned previously, was refined from Yang Yuan stones by certain skilled practitioners. In fact, the actions of the mysterious stone talisman seemed exactly similar. However, father did mention that in order to refine one Yang Yuan pill, it would typically require 10 Yang Yuan stones. However, previously, the stone talisman only used three Yang Yuan stones. Lin Dong furrowed his eyebrows. If this pill was really the so-called Yang Yuan pill, then there can only be one explanation. The mysterious stone talisman refining skill is at a truly terrifying stage. While others require 10 Yang Yuan stone to refine one Yang Yuan pill, it only required three pieces of Yang Yuan stone. Its efficiency was more than three times. As he thought of this point, even Lin Dong felt a little taken aback. If news of this matter spread out, it would definitely cause a major commotion. In fact, after this commotion, the most likely possibility was that he would be captured by some powerful major factions, and forced to refine Yang Yuan pills, daily in a tiny dark room. Lin Dong wiped off his cold sweat, as he immediately focused his attention on the three Yang Yuan stones on his lap. He was curious to determine if the stone talisman truly possessed such a terrifying ability and he decided to test it again. As this thought flashed through his mind, without further ado, Lin Dong immediately removed the three Yang Yuan stones from his lap and stacked them on his right palm. Buzz! Just as that three Yang Yuan stones were piled on his palm, tiny streams of light burst out from his palm against. Under the glare of these light beams, the Yang Yuan stone began to darken rapidly, before it immediately turned into a pile of dust moments later. Just as the Yang Yuan stones turned into dust, the light beams crisscrossed, as a fiery red pill once again appeared on Lin Dong's palm. It is indeed the case. As Lin Dong stared at that fiery red pill, he involuntarily heaved a deep breath, as a serious expression surfaced on his face. This matter must be concealed. As he softly sighed, Lin Dong released a pained laugh. Perhaps some truly powerful practitioners possess such a terrifying refining ability. However, he was not one of them. Right now, he was not some powerful elite practitioner. Hence if he displayed this ability, it will not only inspire awe, but also bring about disaster. In fact, it may even devastate the entire Lin family. Let's test out the effects of this Yang Yuan pill. Lin Dong flicked his head, as he gradually calmed himself down. Then, he took off his shoes and sat on his bed. However, he did not immediately swallow that Yang Yuan pill. Instead, he chose to exert King Yuan arts first, in order to absorb the Yuan power from between heaven and earth, and strengthen his body and Dan Yuan. Lin Dong kept training quietly for approximately an hour, before he finally popped that Yang Yuan pill into his mouth. Thud! Just as that Yang Yuan pill entered his body, Lin Dong's both ears suddenly heard a loud echo. Instantly, a tsunami of warmth energy quickly spread across his body. This energy was rich and powerful, however it was not savage and could be easily absorbed. Therefore, one's body felt extremely warm, just like soaking in a sauna, extremely comfortable. As that warm energy circulated around his body, it seeped into his bones, inner channels, and flesh before it finally poured into his Dan Yuan. 
Hua la la. As that tsunami wave energy poured into his Dan Yuan, Lin Dong could vividly feel that the Yuan power within his Dan Yuan had grown and strengthened. Eventually, he even heard crisp, Hua la la, sounds echoing out. Huff. As the Yuan power in his Dan Yuan grew stronger, steam starting to emerge from Lin Dong's head. Moments later, his calm body began to vibrate uncontrollability. As he opened both of his eyes, a bright Yuan power involuntarily undulated on his body's outer surface, just like tidal waves. Earthly Yuan later stage. As he sensed the powerful Yuan power within his Dan Tian, an uncontrollable delight surfaced on Lin Dong's face. After two fruitless months of training, he had finally achieved a breakthrough. In just five months' time, Lin Dong had advanced from Earthly Yuan early stage to Earthly Yuan later stage. This training progress is enough to shock anyone. Even that famed Lin Langshan, took two years before he advanced from Earthly Yuan stage to Heavenly Yuan stage. Even though it was difficult to advance from Earthly Yuan later stage to Heavenly Yuan stage, Lin Dong was confident that, in a year's time, he will break through to Heavenly Yuan stage. Lin Dong's was already a talented individual. In addition to his own hard work and perseverance, and help from the stone talisman, his training progress is unmatched. This is indeed a Yang Yuan pill. Lin Dong lifted his head, as he exhaled a mouth of white air. A comfortable sensation slowly spread out across his body, as he muttered to himself, while keeping both of his eyes gently shut. Chapter 62. Yan City. This chapter was brought to you by Ryan Clark. The next day, in front of the steel wood manor, were several horse carriages neatly aligned together. Stacked on these horse carriages, were piles of bounded steel wood. On the surface, the purpose of this trip to Yan City was to sell steel wood. However, the real motive was to sell the Yang Yuan stone. However, this real motive could not be easily revealed. Or else, it could lead to some unexpected trouble. With regards to this first sale, Lin Zhenshin placed heavy emphasis on it and he decided to lead it personally. In addition, he even instructed Lin Xiao, Lin Mang and several hundred guards to accompany him. This was a pretty significant force, and normal bandits would definitely not dare to harass them. Lin Zhenshin rode atop of a handsome horse. With a powerful aura and a tough body, one has to truly respect this old man who single-handedly built up his family in this Qingyang town. Has everyone arrived? After a cursory inspection, Lin Zhenshin turned his head towards Lin Xiao and asked. Seated beside Lin Xiao, Lin Dong also rode on a handsome horse. For this journey to the Yan city, the most important thing was to avoid trouble. Since little flame will inadvertently attract much attention, it was best to leave it in the steel wood manner. After hearing Lin Zhenshin's inquiry, Lin Xiao nodded his head as he replied in a deep voice, It's all ready. We can leave any time. Good. Upon hearing his reply, Lin Zhenshin nodded his head in satisfaction. Without further ado, he waved his hand as he promptly raised his whip and instructed his horse to dash off towards the main road. As Lin Zhenshin left, the massive army immediately followed amidst a series of echoes. As he clipped his legs around the horse's back, Lin Dong turned to wave goodbye to King Tan, before he immediately followed behind them. Yan City was the closest major city located near Qingyang town. Of course, this was only a comparative way of speaking, because when Lin Zhenshin and the rest arrived at the outskirts of Yan City, it was already noon. The major road leading up to Yan City, was filled with people and it was extremely crowded and noisy, causing Lin Dong to involuntarily swallow his tongue. Even though they had not arrived at Yan City, it was already this crowded. One could only imagine the crowd when one arrives in the middle of Yan City. Dong Er, when we arrive in the city, do not stir up any trouble. This Yan City is extremely complicated, and there could be many powerful people hidden within. Remember that some of them must not be offended. As he stared at Lin Dong's inquisitive face, Lin Xiao, who was standing beside him, immediately warned him. Lin Dong smiled, before he suddenly asked, Father, this Yan city is so much bigger than Qingyang town. The battles between its major factions must surely be more intensive. 
In this Yan city, approximately one major faction dies every month, while a new faction takes its place. So what do you think? Lin Xiao smiled as he answered. However, in this Yan city, there are three major factions that stand above the rest. No one can threaten their position. Oh, which three? Lin Dong curiously asked. Yan City Lord Manor, 10,000 gold merchants and Blood Wolf Gang. Lin Xiao pursed his lips. These factions were definitely in a different league compared to their Lin family. In these three major factions, there are numerous highly skilled practitioners. In fact, some of them even have Dan Yuan practitioners. In the Yan City outskirts, even though there are numerous other factions, most of them rely on these three major factions to survive. Lin Dong silently muttered to himself, as he gently nodded his head. In this place, only a Yuan Dan practitioner, had the right to speak. Ha ha, no need to be discouraged. Once our Lin family successfully develops that mining load, we can develop another Yuan Dan practitioner. At that time, our Lin family will have a place in this Yan city. As he saw Lin Dong turn silent, Lin Xiao thought that he had been discouraged. Therefore, he immediately approached him as he smiled and told him. After hearing these words, Lin Dong smiled. Dan Yuan stage. He was truly curious regarding this stage. The horse carriages calmly traversed through the crowd as it finally reached the gates of Yan City. As he saw that nearly hundred foot tall wall surrounding the city, Lin Dong swallowed his tongue again. Comparing Qingyang town with this city, it definitely seemed a little lackluster. After they paid a small token at the city's gate, the horse carriages successfully entered Yan City. After they passed through a dark and serene tunnel, immediately, a deafening noise swarmed them like a tidal wave, causing Lin Dong, who was not prepared at all, to feel a little nauseous. Moments later, he recovered his senses, only to see huge crowds of people on the streets. As he turned to look at the grand architecture in the city, he involuntarily released a deep breath. Let's look for a place to rest first. This was evidently not the first time that Lin Zhenshin and the rest visited Yan City, as they seemed pretty familiar with the roads when they lead the carriages through multiple streets, before they finally settled down at a serene inn. They settled their plan in the inn. They would split into two forces. The first division would be led by Lin Mang and he was in charge of selling the steel wood. As for Lin Zhenshin and Lin Xiao, they would personally take charge of two cases of Yang Yuan stone. Finally, Lin Dong and the rest of the guards would stay behind in the inn. As he saw Lin Zhenshin and the rest leaving, Lin Dong was exasperated. 